Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Again, part one. Again, this is Ron Moore along with Lady Zelda and Mexico. Hello. Oh, wow. It feels like we've already done this before. Well, you guys have. Exactly. And thanks Deja to, vu. Yeah. And thanks to World of ECW Plays, I mean, Long Plays, for allowing people to use their footage, providing we give them credit. And so, yeah, some of you know the story of why we're doing this again. And so, yeah, so thankfully, so this LP belongs to Ricky C of World of Long Plays, and... He's ECW. Yep. Ricky CW, I fell. Um, Alright, so, now we get to do this LP again. And unfortunately, Tibbs is not joining us this time, uh, but he definitely is watching for sure. And now we see Link sleeping here as the great DQ tree. Is, Same as uh, our viewers who are watching. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's uh, dreaming about what the great DQ tree is going to reveal to him later on. Oh, he does have a fairy. Well, that's not fair, Ree. Ha 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 ha. Woo, Rick Fairy. Fail. Rick Flairy. Imagine if Ric Flair was a fairy in this game instead. Woo! Listen! You know, oh, I kind of want that to become a thing. There's Lady Zelda. There's Mexico. <laughs> There's me. Do -do -do -do. Now here's Bear 13. Navi, where are oh. you? Where art thou? Come hither. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, we don't have the rights to Bear 13 anymore. Oh, we yeah. Right. Dang it. Strike three, we're out. No, Bear would never see that. Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Male volant forces. Oh. Potpourri. Male volant. <laughs> Potpourri Forest? Oh, Kokiri Forest. Well, I would imagine a Potpourri Forest would actually smell quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought it was Navy instead of Nobby. I still can't get enough of those um, Christmas puns with Navi's name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Feliz Navidad. Bye-bye. <laughs> get a haircut, Jeff. I guess I'll go over here. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> now I'm the home of Link. I mean, Ricky C. Ricky C, what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> My friend read this wrong. He goes, "Hey, Simon," when he says, "Hey, come on." He read, oh god! He read as, "Hey, Simon." I looked at him. I go, "Dude, that's come on, Simon." Really? That's actually the first that I've ever heard of that. Because normally, just people, you know, read it as "Come on," not Simon. Simon, jeez. Sounds like Jamaica, Simon. Exactly. Let's DJ from Street Fighters narrating this. Now Link sets off to an adventure. And 
And here comes in who I thought was Saria. Because it looks like it says, you know, the way your name is spelled. I thought it'd be Saria because you say Maria, not Maria. But whatever. Reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld with George. They're talking about how you say De a Demi Moore? And I think Jerry goes, I think it's, I think it's Demi, yeah, Demi Moore. And George says, I never heard of a Sami tractor trailer. Oh, hey, look at all the Samis parked. <laughs> Wait, what now? What? <laughs> Alright, Stone Cold Sisters with us. Oh, dang it, this is Jeff. It's a me! Oh, uh, yeah. It's a me, Mario! ECW. <laughs> One of the biggest douchebags in the game. Mido. Mido. He say some Mido for that uh, butt hurt and the cramps. I almost called him Mido the other day when somebody was like, um, who is your least favorite character? And I was like, Mido, hands down. <laughs> I still prefer him over Tinkle, or whatever his name is. Oh yes, the little uh, wannabe fairy guy. Yeah. Now <laughs> oh, these are Tinkle's magic words, be sure not to steal them! Oh, I'll file a copyright strike on you! Oh, we don't need any more of those. That would be the end. Yeah. I got the maps that you need! Thanks, Mrs. Skip Rogers. Press Z at the top. Uh, you can try Z ZZ top? Fail. Oh, but I dig ZZ top. I was watching, uh, Say by the bell the other uh, day or last night, Dustin Diamond was doing commentary on his part where he wears a long beard in disguise, and he goes, "There's Screech Z Top." <laughs> I was like, "Nice." <laughs> so I'm the only one that here didn't that didn't get that. Oh well, do you know Say by the Bell? Oh man, it's been years since I watched that show. Do you know ZZ Top? I know ZZ Top. He has a long beard. Screech is wearing a long beard. He called himself Screech Z Top instead of ZZ Top. Oh gosh. I feel like Jay Leno here. I had to explain the joke. <laughs> nah, I, I got that. All right, let me explain it. That's Mr. No Shave November here. Way, way past November, dude. Looks like he's ready to fight you. Jeff fighting, trying to fight anybody that says Sega Genesis sucks. That sounds about right. Genesis does. Or how about Nintendo is what Genesis isn't? I fail. <laughs> Ronnie, I heard that. Oh wait, Jeff's now on the call. Yeah, that's right. No, oh shoot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I was about to get ran over by AVGN's Rolling Rock. <laughs> and now word from our sponsor, Rolling Rock. Yep. Oh, copyright striked. How about third party instead? What's well, about to be a party okay. up in here as Link now gets the Popery Sword. Do -do -do -do. What if what if you use that to kill Ganon in the end? <laughs> use the Kokiri sword to kill Ganon. Could you imagine the dynamics? Right? Maybe there's a. I'm sure you can do a ROM hack of it though. For those that know, I'm actually know how to that. do that. Do it, Ron. Then we'll do it on the right. channel. I don't even know how to hack my own computer. Come on, get in the hole! You too good for your home? <laughs> As Lady Zelda's plotting some evil plan over there. Um. 
Come on now, be a lady. I thought that, you know, um... Exactly. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to go into the shop. Oh, wait, this ain't a shop. This is just where you get more hearts and rupees. Rupee is not ruby. Or whatever. Potato, potato. There's got to be some poor unfortunate soul out in the world who has called them rubbies. <laughs> rubbies, yeah. The same guy that said <laughs> the same guy that said Simon. Might be me. You know, I oh. feel bad pronouncing these names wrong, like uh, Saria instead of Saria, Skultula instead of instead of Skultula, uh, and whatever Stella. else. But then I hear people like Simon. I'm like, jeez, I don't feel so dumb now. But we got messed up too back in Shadowgate. Where the narration said, you see a seam around the globe. He read it as, I see a seam. Jeez. You know what? I'm going to go back and look for that. It's part three. Shadowgate part three, S2K. Seymour, let's get some rubbies. Yeah. As the little blonde girl from Little House in the Prairie over here just stares at me. Go skip through some flowers or something. Get out of my face. <laughs> I'll tell my daddy on you. Oh, shut up. I'll get Mr. Ingle to get his axe <laughs> and hack him up. <laughs> Alright, so I guess a little bit of farming going on here or grinding or whatever you call it. Or farming. I just get farming and grinding mixed up. Turns out they're different. Grinding is where you actually grind to level up. And farming is where you're collecting, like, rupees or killing enemies to collect energy or currency or whatever. And you do a lot of that Hold in Simon's Quest. Hold that, which I suck at. I'm not good at either one. You got the DQ shield! Oh, yeah, I, I think it's Deku Tree, not DQ. Almost D sounds like DQ. Yeah, I was about to say that DQ Dairy Queen. <laughs> the Dairy this Queen tree? Yeah. Don't tell Jim Cornette about DQ. All right, and... Link now equips the wooden shield. That girl over there is praying. Praying that they don't get robbed, I guess. Jeez. Alright, now we're ready to see the Deku Tree move, douche. But I don't want to. Oh, you're talking about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have those things, you idiot. Good grief! And that douche is still a douche. No kidding. Shoot! Maybe because I'm not such a douchebag. Now, Tibbs made an interesting point right there where he goes, Grumble, Grumble. He said that's actually in reference to the little monster that says, Grumble, Grumble, in one of the dungeons in the original Zelda until you feed it food. There's a DQ stick. And if you don't like this game, you can stick it. <laughs> Aren't we just full of puns? Oh, destroy the, uh, I forgot what those plants are called. Deku Baba? Oh, uh, Deku Baba, yeah. There was a wrestler way back in the day called the Giant Baba. It always goes back to wrestling with me. And there he is. The Pringles guy. Oh, no, the great Deku tree. <laughs> you have arrived to the tree of woe. To the tree of woe, it can talk. Ric Flair, the tree of woo. Woohoo. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's very Mario right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ricky C, the time has come to test our courage. What is this thing called courage you speak of? Huh. 
I saw a meme where it says, when I was a kid and I seen this, this scared me. I don't think I should go in because does he w really want me to help him or is he just hungry? Maybe a bit of both? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he eats you, that'll help him. And I have to enter the darkness, the void. Crunch, he's, crunch. Because he's empty inside. Inside the great Deku tree. He's like, never mind, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Could you actually imagine, though, having, like, all those webs inside of you? All right. It reminds me when you actually walk into a spider web and it gets in your mouth. Ugh. Coming into my web of deceit. All right, thank you, Charlotte. What's up? You'll be hearing that a lot. Hey, listen. I remember when Tibbs made the comment of when you're on uh, the spider web closer to the top, and Nobby goes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Sounds like the Metallica song almost. Hey, hey, I'm your light. And whatever the lyrics were, I forgot. <laughs> no, you're trying to make me think on that. <laughs> yeah. But maybe Navi just wanted to go metal for a little while. That's sad but true. That skip gives us the map. I'm watching those scammer videos on YouTube. The scammer goes, check your goggle map. Check your goggle map. <laughs> okay. Goggle map? So I bought some goggles that have... <laughs> Electronic maps on them and what? Uh oh, DQ. You know th that little scrub kind of kills me. <laughs> yeah. I don't want no DQ scrub. A DQ scrub can't get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side on my best friend's ride. Make a death metal version. Trying to holler at me. I don't want no <laughs> Remember, what was that number? Uh, <laughs> hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me, maybe. Remember that song a few years ago? Such a hit. Oh, yeah. It was like hugely popular. Someone said there's a death metal version. Here's my number. Dun, 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 so call me, maybe. Oh, God. There's a fairy, I mean, <clears throat> there's a fairy slingshot. <laughs> Would I beat this game? Not by a slingshot, oh, I fell. Now that was actually kind of funny when you tried to be metal with the slingshot. There's <laughs> yeah. a, uh, I mean, there's a fairy slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that long shot pun though for another time, if you know what I mean. But another ocarina of time, oh, I fell. I can just picture somebody like taking this situation. There's a fairy slingshot in the tree! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I like to hear Mexico, I like to hear JR commentate over Ocarina of Time gameplay. If Mexico is still with us. And maybe not. I think Mexico pulled with Jeff and fell asleep on us. Should I poke him with a stick? I mean, is our commentary that bad? Lepo. Oh no, he's not in the call anymore. Oh well, maybe we'll try to get back in later. <laughs> well, I didn't know that, that was until weird. you uh... Anyway. Now it's just us. <laughs> Well, I guess Mexico disappeared on us. I don't know what happened to him. I was abducted by aliens, but as soon as they saw it was me, they returned me immediately back to Earth. Oh, dude. Oh, what, what, what really happened there? Well, I offered to poke him with a stick, but then I got no response. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're censoring me. Yeah. They're like, nope, we gotta get Mexico out of this. Yeah. 
All right, so Link in a puzzling situation. Well, not really. It's one of the easiest puzzles so far in the game. But I thought Mexico lives matter. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Ask uh, Humanitu Guerrero, Super Crazy, and Psychosis. Uh, is that the... I don't even remember. Is that the first gold sculpture he just collected? I couldn't say. Somebody in the comments make yeah, a yeah. comment about... Uh, recovery heart. Aw. Have any of you guys ever recovered all skull chores? No. Definitely not. <laughs> I haven't either. <laughs> I think Tibbs has. Of course he has. Yeah, yeah, he did say that he did. He's like, I have. And I'm like, well, yeah, I figured you would. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He did say it in the original recording of this before it was taken down for BS copyright. Oh, indeed. Yep. I still have those two videos and. If anybody, anybody ever want to seize them again, I can re-upload them, but only maybe as enlisted. So I won't get taken down again by Mr. I own Ocarina of Time. Now I got the compass. You shall not compass, Phil. <laughs> I think I made that dumb pun in Link to the Pass. Link to the Pass? I don't remember, Phil. Alright, this part's fun. Here we go. Uh, That's the part where we stand on the web. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, say, what? And now he goes, uh, uh, nothing. That's what I thought was going to happen. Was, see that meme, uh, uh, Victoria, I shared on Facebook where the guy goes on the phone, I don't know who you are, but I will find you. And Chuck Norris goes, and you're what? And he goes, uh, nothing. Never mind, sir. I had the wrong number. <laughs> oh, I got to see that. That's funny. I'm wearing a Chuck Norris shirt right now as we speak. This video is sponsored in part by Chuck Norris. Oh, been flagged and taken down by Chuck Norris. <laughs> he'll get those uh, strikes removed for us if we tell him. Yeah. Chuck Norris can do anything. And he'll take down their videos, see how they like it. It'd be like, I'm going to take down your videos. Hard. <laughs> yeah. This other Skulltula. Or and what I, I originally pronounced it as, Skulltula. Yeah, that's, how I, that's pretty much how I pronounce it, too. Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat, when I first read his name, when I was a kid, I thought it said Liu Kang. And Shao Kahn, I thought it was Shay Shao Kane. Shaquane. Shaquille O'Neal. Shakira. 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 Shaq. <laughs> Shaq Fu. The owner oh. of L1 Games says, unpopular opinion. Shaq Fu's not that bad. Whoa. Shots when fired. Say that. He did get one thumbs down from the last time I checked. I wonder if it's from that comment. Problem. Uh, I told him. Having, I still have nightmares. About Shaq Fu. My semi popular opinion Simon's Quest is not a bad game. Uh oh. Let's find out what happens here on this video. You know, I've realized that some people pronounce Deku as Deku sometimes. I think that might be how you actually do pronounce it. Cause I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I used to pronounce it as Deku too, and then uh, another Zelda guru named Lens of Truth 1689, aka Danny, who has done commentaries on this channel before. Um, he pronounced it as Deku, uh, Ghost Skulltula, and other names. I think I learned from him the right way to pronounce some certain names. So it might be Deku. Could be. Link, I thought it was like. I'm just kidding. I was one of the idiots that thought that uh, in the original Zelda game that Link was Zelda. Mm -hmm. Shots fired! Shots fired! 
Especially if you mention that in the Hyrule Warriors group, you'll get targeted. Ooh. Good thing to know. Yeah. What the fuck's going on with that idiot? Uh, yeah. I get banned and blocked. I was banned before from that group for no reason. And I asked administrators, um, what did I do? And they said, we don't know, uh, we didn't ban you. It turns out someone got power hungry and started banning people at random, and they, they, uh, let me come back. Jeez. Sounds yeah. like the McMahons. I, right when I posted the link to, uh, the LP of, uh, Faces of Evil, I got banned. So I thought someone got mad at that and thought I was trolling. But oh. turns out, no, I don't know what the heck's going on. Some administrator was just power hungry and probably thought, you're that fine. game sucks, you're banned. You're fired. Who knows? I posted it. Someone made a uh, video, uh, a video, a picture where it shows the New Day, and but their faces were in the Triforce. Like on one Triforce, one piece that said Courage, other one Power, which is Big E, and Wisdom was the other member. So people, <laughs> I got some negative comments over that. Well, any publicity is good publicity, they say. Oh, yeah. There's a DQ stick. Oh, oh, baby, was it Goma, Agama? I think it's Goma, right? I don't know, you got me. You got me. You got me! Got me. <laughs> I think I, oh yeah, I did, I already said that. I posted a link or whatever to that video or whatever from The Walking Dead in one yeah. of the comments. Yeah. So they kept asking, they're like, what? 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 I've heard that from somewhere. I was like, yeah, if you've, you've seen that show, you know what it is. Yeah. The running living. The running living. That's even more scarier. Yeah. Oh, I forgot what was on the other side of this wall, but I don't have a bomb yet. I think it's another Skulltula. Do you know that, Victoria? Hmm? Is that another Skulltula on the other side of that wall that you're supposed to bomb? Uh, I think so. Terrorists. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Man, all the Zelda games I've played were in 2D. I'm not used to oh, What ones have you played? I think Zelda 2 and that's it. <laughs> I've actually got... So, uh, right. uh, um, a Zelda collector's disc for GameCube. I'm sure you've heard of it. Yes. Um, yeah, where it has uh, Zelda's one and two, Ocarina and Majora's, along with a Wind Waker demo. Yeah, that's it. That's a good collection. Is right there like there. a second quest, an Ocarina of Time, in that disc also? Master's Quest? Is that what it is? Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's just the Ocarina, but I, I'm definitely aware of the Master Quest though. I think that's one I got a while back when I had the GameCube when I first bought it back in 2003. Wow. Uh. It was like a Christmas gift to me going on a couple of years ago, and it surprised me because my mother isn't, you know, <laughs> that tech savvy, but she did her research, and since I got a Wii original that's GameCube compatible, she was like, yes, I did my research, and I'm like, I'm proud of you, but when I unwrapped the gift, I nearly died because I used to have the um, Ocarina of Time game cartridges for the Nintendo 64, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 here we go. And thanks to World of Long Plays, this video quality is much better than my quote unquote <coughs> video quality on the Rom War channel of <laughs> the LP of this game. Ooh, shots fired. But Ooh. at least for that, at least I can say I used my own footage for that one. Took about almost three years to finish the LP, but I will. It's better than if you would use Mexico's footage. <laughs> Fine every time. Your face is annoying. <laughs> Ooh. The Coupe de Grace or Coup de Gras. Finn Balor's move. Dude. 
Oh, here we go. Wait for Tibbs to post a comment. Yes, you do bomb that wall to get the Skulltula. How stupid are you? No. First boss battle of the game. First boss battle of the game. No DQ. Whoa. What kind of a pupil is that? Queen Goma. Vincent, this is your mother. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> Where are you going? That's it. Oh, wait. He's taking a dump on us. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Jeez. No, Goma droppings. Which is better? Goma droppings or Hestu's golden turd? Who's golden turd? Hestu's Golden Turd from Breath of the Wild. Oh, I haven't played Breath of the Wild. Which, dang it, which Tips is here? He, he's that, um, giant dancing Korok dude, I guess. Because you have, like, hundreds of Koroks all over Hyrule and everywhere and in between, and just, man, they're everywhere. Uh, even in the places that you wouldn't even think to look, and um, if you collect all 900, then I guess you'll just get something awesome or something to that effect. I have to look it up. Yeah, I'll have to look that up to see. Which I would rather have happen to me. Here, here bust him in the eye. Link, what are you doing? Just keep hitting him, Link, you idiot. I guess I'll do a backflip. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, Link uh, hit the wrong controls back then, I guess. Full of bear 13. Yeah. Oh, video flag. Oh, yeah. Dang it, it was bear that took down ST2K. Plot twist, Ron Moore takes down ST2K. Uh oh. It's me, ST2K! ST2K. It was me, all along. I flagged the videos. Even my, even my commentators, even my friends bought it. Even SC2K bought it. Oh, one more hit should do it. Link, you can hit it right there with the. Bell. Come on, Link. Wow, this is much better than the CDI game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Legend of Zelda, a Tiger Handheld, coming soon. <laughs> like I said, I played Zelda too, and that's pretty much it. Link, are you drunk? What are you Link, right there! See, kids, this is why you shouldn't go on quests and drink at the same time. I'm drinking a little bit too much of that, uh, Lon Lon milk at the, at the Lon Lon bar or something. Oh, no. Oh look, we got a little feller dressed in green hitting up the milk bar. What you having, son? <laughs> I have some of the friendly Long Long Spirits. <laughs> you got a heart container? I can't hardly contain myself. As Link dies and goes to heaven? Jeez. Oh, wait. The end. Well done, Ricky C. This is a tree from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Turn face. Oh. Wouldst thou listen? Swindoll, when Swindoll played this, he got, he picked no, so the Deku Tree goes, no, Jody, you must listen. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Swindoll.
Story Tom. Too bad Tibbs ain't here. What are you talking you know, about? He is. Comment. <laughs> <laughs> this evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. That's the best Tibbs impression I can do. You know, golden star for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like bomb right there. He's going to send me a private message. Ronnie, <laughs> your imitation of me. I said, yeah. <laughs> oh, he'll probably message me too going, hey, Zelda, did, did, did you? Oh, my God, his, his impression of me. I swear. Oh, I know. He was great, right? <laughs> <laughs> Then the goddess of ECW, then the goddess of W, a neighbor of the goddess of WCW, and Farrar, the goddess of WWE. They all formed one together to form the WWE Network for only $9.99. <laughs> First month free for new subscribers. Watch the Royal Rumble NXT take over this weekend. And the next thing you know, one uses a ladder and climbs up. <laughs> Nero's love, gasp! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a triple threat ladder match between Link, Zelda, and Ganon, and you gotta, uh, up there, you gotta grab the, the, the Triforce. I'd buy that for nine ninety nine a month. Yeah. It's my shiny, though. I called it first. <laughs> 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 Imagine Mauro Ronaldo makes a cool on commentary with that. You got Zelda, the, the goddess of wisdom! Uh, or, not the goddess, but, uh, she's the one that would have the Triforce of Wisdom. Link, yep, the Triforce Force of Courage, and Ganon, the Triforce of Power. These three in a triple threat ladder match for total control of Hyrule. Hyrule once fell into chaos, but with these three pieces joined together, harmony and peace can once again be brought to Hyrule. But who will win? Who will win the ladder match? I can't do golden commentary like Mar Ronaldo. Unless you get the golden power. Mara would say something like, If Ganon wins, this planet is doomed. All of Hyrule will be doomed. If Ganondorf wins the triple threat match this Sunday. Thou must never allow... No. <laughs> Mara, <laughs> Mara, <laughs> Mara not doing the, the Deku Tree. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. And the next thing you know, you see a, a belt with the three sacred jewels on it. Yeah. <laughs> The High Rule Heavyweight Champion, HH. Uh, no, High Rule Championship Wrestling, HCW. But eat, but eat, but eat. That's all, folks. Yeah. <laughs> WrestleMania B Link versus Ganon for the HCW Championship. With, uh, I don't know, Zelda is the, uh, I guess Zelda would be in Link's corner. Who would be the special referee? A freaking tingle. <laughs> no, Sheik could be the special referee who's actually undercover as Zelda. And there's the spiritual stone of ECW. For those of you who don't get that, click the link in the description box for the April Fool's joke back in 2011. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I remember that. Some people got mad at that, too. Because it was an April Fool's joke, and I said, I found out a new spiritual stone in Zelda. This is a, a glitch for the first time discovered. Check it out, and then it turns out... <laughs> It's spiritual stone of ECW. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to X1 Saint for doing that for me. Good one. Oh no. That's pretty. Well, that's not depressing at all. Yeah. I remember seeing that the first time. That's sad. He actually dies. Boo. Boo. All right. So Indeed. that is the end of part one dash two of 
this LP, and hopefully the, we can actually finish this with any more co BS copyright interruptions, which I don't think we will, because once again, thanks to World of Long Plays for allowing people to use their footage. And there we go. That's it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. I guess that's it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Welcome to Let's Play Golden Ear for the N64. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady Zelda, or is it Lady Goldeneye this time? Or well, depending. Uh -huh. <laughs> or maybe it's Lady Natalia. Well, last time I checked, I had light arrows and a royal blade, <laughs> not a gun. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. So GoldenEye for the N64, and yes, this is ECW mode here. So I'm gonna go all out in this one. Yeah. Anybody else just love the freaking intro to this? Not right. Yeah, me too. And that music. Oh man. Starring Ron Mower. <laughs> Mayday, I think it's Grace Jones, that's right. Grace Jones. Archangel yeah, Zero. Uh oh. Barry uh -oh. Samedi, who looks like one of the bosses in uh, Wrath of the Black Manta. Alright, so time to select a mission here. And what, what cheats do I want to enable for this particular level? For the first level here, the dam. Oh man, this brings me back. Uh, yeah, I've never had to use Game Shark to unlock all these, but I actually, uh -huh. I actually did unlock the invincibility cheat on my own, legit, which was one of the my greatest accomplishments in gaming. Sweet, awesome. Can't say I've done the same. So it's very hard. You had to beat the facility in a minute and thirty seconds, I think, on Double O Agent. That's yeah, very I hard. That in a magazine, like it, it tells you exactly what you needed to do. And I was reading the magazine, and it kind of gave you like little hints, and like. But at the same time, too, it's like it's you know it's skill, so it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, and it's gonna look different here because of the emulation. So obviously the sky is not black, but that's the emulation for you here. But oh well, and the audio is not gonna sound exactly the same either because this. ROM or the simulator in particular really uh, does not emulate this game perfectly or maybe depends on the settings and I'm not too familiar with N64 emulation. No, I thought you were going to say it wasn't going to sound the same because I was on this commentary. Well, that too. That too. Not me. Not mine! Imagine walking dead with N64 go not style right here. Oh god, hey. yes. Okay, I just killed a guy that looks like uh, a character from the Big Bang Theory. I don't know his name. Uh, not Sheldon. Sheldon. Not Sheldon. Not uh, Penny's. Howard? Not Penny's husband. Uh, I guess it might be Howard, the one with the Julie Bowl haircut, him. kind of, I think. Next thing there, you know, there he is. There he is. I'll just kill him again. <laughs> yeah. Just for that, you'll give you a thumbs up. You'll be seeing people like fight over comics and stuff. Yeah. How that? That is it was so easy to sneak up on them. Of course, because I'm invincible. I'm I'm nah, Boris. I think... Boris is jealous because I am invincible. Yeah, but the question is, whose side are you on? Right. I'm a double agent, so. <laughs> yeah, what that's you... why I asked. <laughs> Like, what would y'all do if Nintendo created a version of this where it's like Hyrule style and you're just like going around shooting your enemies? Oh, cool. Oh. So you play as Wesker here if, if you're a double agent. Oh, dang. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> could you all imagine Ingo on a mission? Oh, God, I couldn't. Well, there's Bison. Oh, wait. No. There was. There was. Wait, who? Uh, who? Men on a mission? Yeah, Ingo. No, 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 no. Oh, Ingo. Wait, Ingo from Ocarina of Time? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. 
All right, here's one of the mission objectives. Uh, use covert modem. Or I forgot what it was called. Install covert modem. I think. What I'm supposed to do here? Uh huh. I remember watching my friend play through this or whatever, and of course we play multiplayer, and I would get killed all the time. But watching of course. Him, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I would get killed a lot too. Uh, and multiplayer wasn't good. The facility level was fun though. Uh, and multiplayer. Like, do you guys have any favorite um, areas here in game? Because as a kid, I, I loved the freaking silos for some weird reason. Um, uh, like I said, the facility. I also love the caverns, which is not in the movie. I think there's two levels in this game that's not in the movie. That's the silos uh, and uh, the caverns. I think the rest of the game. Um, is in the movie. Whoa. Or some areas. Like, right here, this part of, of, you know, the first level here, the dam, it was in the movie, but that was like the very, very beginning where you just see Bond running and he does the bungee jump. But you don't see this part right here, but I mean, yeah, but like, as far as like levels that were not in the movie at all, was the silos and the caverns. And, well, no, I, and that's right, and the two bonus levels in the, uh, after you beat the game. Sweet. Awesome. There is again Howard, the duck, or whatever his name. Oh, again. Man, Howard's a around everywhere in this game. He's not gonna like this video. Yeah. He's not gonna like this again, video. there he is. Man, he's. They look. Boy, the creators of Golden. Well, uh, that show wasn't out yet when this game came out. <laughs> uh oh. That's gonna blow. Oh, no, wait. That was one of the mission objectives. Offsite data backup completed. Oh, I love this gun right here. I think my favorite gun might be the. Dang, it's hard to say. The automatic shotgun. Oh, automatic shotgun. There you go. Just the satisfaction of going to someone's face and. Uh, boom! Just like in uh, the Punisher series on Netflix, where he shoots that one Irish gang leader right in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> Point blank. Oh, hey, this right here. Yeah. I really like the sniper rifles. Ooh, I like the uh, Dirty Harry gun right here. Those are good yeah. too. Imagine Dirty Harry. Now, Dirty Harry, this style in a video game, that would be awesome. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, the golden gun. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I remember that too. I got killed by it so many times. I was like so mad because like one of my brothers, we would um, do the two player thing and I'd be tr like, trying to hide from him. He would always find me and I'm like, oh no, that freaking golden gun. Right. Now, there's... I will say this though, nothing more satisfying than taking somebody out that has the golden gun. Yeah. Take that. Now... There's a part of this game that was a part of this level that was not used. And it's like in the far uh, end of the level right here. Uh, I could go down there and I guess show you, but it's uh, nothing really to look at. You can't hardly see it. It's like another mission objective that was scrapped from the game. You got to take a boat and go to, the, to an island somewhere in this level and do s something else. But for some reason, they scrapped that from the game. They're just like, yeah, no, we're not gonna do it. Yeah. Now, where's the cord? That's a thin cord. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like he's di doing the diving headbutt. Chris Benoit headbutt. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I should have said that. I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I played this game first before I ever saw the movie. Sweet. And all right, so. And part two will be the facility, one of my favorite levels. And we will see you guys then. Until then, God bless and take care. Stay ECW. Shaken, not stud. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man. Hey, yo! Hey, Ricky C. What? His name is Link. Oh, wait. So, Min Ricky C. 
Yeah, Ricky mm. CW. Uh, that's my my middle my do, my doll. Take my doll for that butt hurt over here. Uh, is blaming me for the death of the Deku tree. I didn't kill him, you douchebag. That was the great Ganondorf with his evil power. And now, Link is going to finally leave the Kokiri Forest to go on an adventure. Don't let the White Knight stop you. Yeah. All right. So, normally, well, Link is not a real Kokiri because any Kokiri that leaves the forest will die. There's uh, the woman that put him in the friend zone. Yep. Someday. No. Oh. See, he didn't leave. He was pushed out because he was different. Uh, yeah. I saw a meme online somewhere. A new song at the Hedgehog level. The friend zone. <laughs> What is that rotisserie chicken you bought at grocery store? Oh no, that's the fairy ocarina. Of not time. Yeah. Perfect timing right here as Link receives the fairy ocarina. A memento from Saria, or Saria, whatever her name is. Sorry, so, sorry, I can't pronounce that name right. It's an acronym for uh, select item subscreen. Yeah. Oh, you can play notes. Oh. Yep. Wonderful. Okay, awkward moment as he doesn't know what to say and just runs away. Not that he says anything anyway. <laughs> and she's all alone. But that's what you get for putting him in the friend zone. Exactly. Now, how rural field? There's some lawns to mow. I will say. Right? Yeah. Oh no! Did you see? Did you see him? If not, you will here in a minute. Ah, oh, jeez. Is that a? Is that an owl in, like, uh, Justin Trudeau mode? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> owl snow? Fail. Uh, yeah. Shut up now. Can I press start to skip? Right. No. Cannot. No. I said this in part one when when Jody first played Ocarina of Time, back when it first came out, the DQ Tree says, Will you accept uh will you be brave and uh accept this challenge or whatever he said? Jody picked no and the DQ Tree goes, No, Jody, you must do <laughs> No, you are not being A1 cutting. Yeah. Now Link has to Hyrule Castle. We are live Perfect. from Hy Hyrule Castle here. Live from a capacity crowd. Oh, there's nobody out here. There is a high rule in there. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, better make it before uh, sunset there. No. Roll, Link. Roll. Roll. Yep. Okay. Air roll. Yeah. If you don't roll, he's probably not going to make it on time. He's not going to make it on Ocarina of Time. Am I wrong? Wait. No, he's not going to make it. 50 to the 20 to the 10. Touchdown. Oh, wait. He made it. Oh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to change his mind. Too late now, Link. <laughs> yep. All right. You're locked in. Build the wall! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back alley. Yep. The, like, pros Oh, there's a prostitute. Oh, jeez. Ew. That ECW. 
Howard Road, Castletown at night in a back alley. Yep. We want to meet her in a dark alley. And so we go back out here to the market. Now there's a, uh, yeah. Sing a song like, uh, 16 candles. Yeah. Hey, what is Link trying to do here? I think he's trying to talk to the guy in the window, but. Yeah, you, well, you need a, uh, oh. you need a boots. No, he's trying to find the right dog to take to the woman. Is, is there a right dog? Hmm. Right. Nope. <laughs> That's not the white dog. I forgot my dog. I think it's a different color from the rest, or... Yeah, it's a, it's a white dog. Oh. Well, that's racist. Why does it gotta be white? I mean... I know. Can she... Oh. Do, not black dogs, like Pete? Yeah. Oh, there... There oh, it is. Yep, there we go. EWW. <laughs> extreme. 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 I, I yeah. <laughs> little uh, Richard. Thank you to heart. <laughs> yeah, for returning Little <laughs> Richard home. Link never knocks on doors before he goes in there. I did know a little girl that, uh, when I was a kid, this little girl would not knock on people's doors. She would straight up try to open it. I'm like, what are you doing? Her mom had to tell her a lot of times, no, you do not open the door without knocking. Whoa, who's it's that? Cat. That's like Vulcan Raven from the uh, Congress. Hell, you're solid. Uh, I, I didn't like this part. I would mess up a lot of the star all over. They are right, yeah. <laughs> you know me, I would do the same thing here. Why does it have to tell you every fucking time? I know, right? That's why I mentioned it to my princess. We know you got a fucking key. No, you got a new key. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, this is the last one to get it right, hopefully. Yes. Dramatic moment. Oh wait, time got some chaos. There we go. Winner! Uh, you are winner. A quarter of a heart. Yeah. That hardened my heart. <laughs> yeah. Harden your kingdom heart? Eh, yeah, fuck this. Unless you're chronologically confused. I wish! That I keep seeing remakes. Resident Evil, Kingdom Hearts. Eh, ah, let them go. Well, they I were think... good in the past. Stop it. Well, it depends on how good they are. I can understand. Resident Evil 2 being remade for sure. Like, I love the remake of Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. That was freaking awesome. I'll throw a bomb chew at it. <laughs> Alright, there's Malin. Oh, here we go with the uh, difference. Oh, your clothes are different. Get out of here. Hey, you're different. You can't play with us. The guards just looking at him. Um, where do you think you're going? But okay. There's Howrow Castle. Dang it, there he is again. Leave me alone, you freaking stalker. Whoa, break his neck. Help me, Ricky C. I broke my neck. <laughs> I think I made this joke before. This owl right here. Guess what his favorite restaurant is? Uh, 
Yeah, Applebee's. Nope, Hooters. Ah! Ah! It was either me or Tibbs made that joke. I forgot. In the original uh, recordings of this. What a hoot. Alright, so... I think now I'm going to try to sneak into Hyrule Castle. Look at the beautiful full moon. I remember doing this at first when I first did this 20 years ago. I was like, "How do I get past these guards? They're everywhere." I was like, "How do you sneak past them? I, they just throw them out." <laughs> That's pretty cruel to do that to a little kid. You can't you can't get away with that anymore. Yeah. I was a train. <laughs> oh, there's Malin. <laughs> Is there a uh, weird egg? Yeah. Coming? Weird egg. Weird owl. Oh. Yeah. Weird egg. Uh, this that's one bad egg. Where's someone egg the top of? Jody's car when we were kids, oh, really? and he blamed me. I said, "Let's do that." Yeah, well, someone had to be tall enough because I was taller than the other kids back then. Yet, someone had to be tall enough to throw an egg. I go, "You don't have to be tall to throw an egg on top of a car. You could just <laughs> what? He jumped." So I don't know if he's being serious or what. <laughs> no, it wasn't me that ate your car, dude. I, I did uh, egg some doors and stuff when I was a kid. Not proud of that, but I did not egg his car. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. Uh, okay. Well, the, the sheriff was corrupt, so. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, the egg hatched. All right. Now, this part right here, see, I was confused. I was like, how do I get past these guards? Because if I go up here, they're going to see me, and I somehow figure this out right here. Oh, that guard is totally not paying attention. Don't Totally don't hear the footsteps behind him. So I guess I'm speaking, safe right here. Speaking of metal here. <laughs> right, yeah. And they, these two games came out the same year. The same, uh, around the same time. Uh, uh, Ocarina of Time came out one month after. Indeed. I still have a uh, CD that was, it's a PlayStation whatever the hell it was called back then, exclusive thing. It's got like a little trial of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, a couple of other games. Para Rapper the Rapper. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mario, really let himself go. What a turn here. Yeah, plenty of shut up. We have some shut mouth. Don't you see the? Hmm. Like Tim, the Toolman Taylor. Huh? Well, Tim, you gotta understand life. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what the, what's the sky doing in the ground there? Whoa. Okay, anyway. Okay, as I pull on the Brahma bowl crate, I guess the rock delivered this, I guess I smell what he's cooking. I can see what you're... Do what? I can see what you're pushing. Yeah. I messed up right here. It took me a while to figure this out because I I, when I was pushing the crates over here, I didn't push all the way to the left. Or like right, right now, he's pulling the crate all the way to, uh, over here, and I was trying to push it toward the, the water hole over there that you enter in. But I didn't push all the way, so it didn't go. It would go any more forward. So the corner of the crate got stuck at that little rising right there, the little curve. And I was like, well, I can't push it any further, so I don't know what to do. And I realized. What I did wrong, I think Venom 22 had to show me, oh, I just need to push it one more inch. I felt stupid. 
You can just walk over it. Yeah. Yeah. Castle Courtyard did this right the first time, surprisingly. As we hear some uh, George Jefferson music. I don't know what, or, what, whatever that TV show was called. I forgot. The Jefferson. Damn, show. easy to my lottery tickets. Yeah. Speaking of Metal Gear Solid again. Exactly right. Conspiracy going on here. These games came out around the same time. And... ECW. ECW. Where's the radar? Wait, Link. No. What are you doing? No, Link, don't be greedy right here. ESW. ESW. Extremely slow walking. Right. Link is getting greedy. Right. I never did this. It wasn't worth it. I mean, There's you... always to pay. Yeah. Unless you know the pattern. Like Link does here. So. I, but I never, definitely never did it when I first got here. My goal was to get to the princess and not get caught and thrown out again. We get rupees. She can't use your sword here. That'd be kind of, well, no, not in a kitty game like this. Rated G type game like this, but like, what well, if you just use your sword, you kill a soldier, but game over because you can't do that? Just like in Metal Gear Solid 2, if you kill a Marine on the, on the ship, it's game over because they're the good guys. <laughs> Snake, what are you doing? Snake! Snake! <laughs> uh,. Link, what are you trying to look at that window or something? Peep and Tom, why don't you have a seat over there? Fishing mail. Yeah. Here we go with the now the castle courtyard. We saw Zelda over there. Yep, looking through the window. Yep. Yep, stalking. Uh, Is that Luigi? I think I just seen a I picture of Yep, there's Luigi right there, yep. And <laughs> Awesome. Oh, Link, what are you doing? Use a slingshot to get some I think, rupees if you shoot at the window. No, don't, don't shoot. No, don't, not this one, though. Don't do it. Don't cause any trouble. Idiot. <laughs> the guard is not going to throw you at, out. He's probably going to throw a bomb at, at you, being a little kid. That's pretty cold. What the? What are you doing? Uh, so, she didn't hear the chicken. She didn't hear the cuckoo, but... She just, I don't know, I guess heard her breathing or something, and then she turns around. Uh, she is cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a fairy? So great, if you have a fairy, you're immediately from the forest. Oh, okay. Great. Well, you know, in folk, Hyrule, in folklore, it was foretold that... It was told or prophesied, whatever. Uh, the bards told a story of fairy people living in the Kakiri Forest. Uh, furry, furry people? Yeah, furry, <laughs> yeah, furry, furry people. <laughs> and that light turned into a figure. <laughs> yeah. Getting carried away. Carrie White? 
uh, Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Ricky C. From Ward of Long Plays? No way! Can you keep a secret? Shh, it's a secret to everybody. One day it was raining and, oh. Chocolate rain. Oh, I geez, mean. Wow, that's, that's way back in the day of YouTube, when YouTube was good. Right? Oh, should have said that, third copyright strike, we're done. <laughs> if someone with the ECW heart makes a wish, it would lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. And, uh, ST3K. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Science th th Theater ST3K. <laughs> hmm. Set the Sages. I had a phone company called Sage Telecom. Oh, dear. Yeah, they sucked. Anyway. The Temple of Time. You know, little known fact, but the Temple of Time is actually a time of the temple. Hmm. Ah, perfect timing there. Reaction 52. AVGM, uh, AVGM is playing, uh, time warp tickers and when you kill something that says time he goes time for what time to play another game <laughs> wasn't that the uh, the shoe or the, the pair of shoes your pair yeah. of fingers oh it was a thing okay yeah oh it was the fingers ah. I'm surprised he didn't make a joke I got a, I got a finger for you right here <laughs> that's what Stone Cold would say actually Come on, pair of fingers. Got... I got one finger for you, and here it is. Now give me a hell yeah. Link looking through windows again, except this time he has permission. Regrettably. Yeah. The first time we actually hear about Ganondorf is actually a link to the past. Instead of just Ganon, he was there was a reference to Ganon Dwarf in that game. Oh shoot! Right. Well, uh, speaking of Avigan again, I'm chronologically confused. All right. <laughs> well, didn't they come out with the Hyrule book that actually revealed the timeline? Hell, I don't know. If they did, that's a mistake. They should have kept it a mystery. It's supposed to be a secret to everybody. I heard there was a uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out book, but eh. <laughs> I ain't spent money on that shit. <laughs> I would have back then, or my parents would have. If I begged them to. <laughs> but conquering Hyrule is free. Yeah, but conquering Mike Tyson, <laughs> totally different. That's the, that's much harder. Hero in green. Did that, does that guard right there not see them? Well, he's just standing exposed. Actually, it looks like a, a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Like a conehead skeleton. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Please don't bring up that movie. Uh. You got Zelda's letter. So I'd always say that always in the, in the past recording audio for uh, SC2K. I just got hand this letter here. Uh, so and so, you're about to get banned if you don't post a message on this group. You get caught for passing notes in class. 
Yeah, he stole that idea from me, actually. Uh, well, actually, we came. I came up with that idea. I, just, I was gonna hand this letter, but he actually made it funny. Whoa, jeez. I first seen him like, oh, jeez, who the heck scared me? The, uh, the hand movement there is uh, slightly familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, basement boy, this is what you do. <laughs> Memorize the song of ECW. Ding, ding, ding. ECW. ECW. You got ECW's lullaby. Paul Heyman teaches you. ECW's lullaby. Those are, uh, Heyman crackhead eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fire me! Yeah. You brave blood. Uh, nuclear Island. Yeah, or Donut Mountain, or whatever the... <laughs> Donut Mountain, that sounds like a Mario Kart track. I think it is, actually. Yeah. Uh, Donut Plains. Like Donut Plains, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Here's a song, now go to Death Mountain. Yeah. Good luck. I can't support you. <laughs> but go ahead. You're on your own, kid. Yep. Are you gonna order something, kid? Uh, whoa. I have to order my ass out of here. <laughs> Get to the Death Mountain. And he will go to, I guess, maybe Death Mountain in part three. Until then, die. God bless and take care. See ya. Welcome to Let's Play Goldeneye Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. Alright, can't forget all these uh, awesome cheats on ECW mode. Yep, Invincible as well as Invisible. And you can't see me, right? Yeah, playing in John Cena mode here. And there's the mission objectives, so let's get started in the bathroom level. Man, this is such an awesome game! Yeah. I was like, I've, I've, I've played it a few times before, not really good at it, but I've enjoyed it. I've also seen, oh, nice. Thank you, pardon. Forgot to knock. Sorry, Steven Seagal. Too bad, too sad. Yeah, yep. I've seen multiple playthroughs of this game. Or I've always watched a lot of friends play this game, and it's just cool to watch them play through it and see how good some so many people are at this game. And I'm like, all right, let me try this. And then all of a sudden, oh, I died. Yeah. It is pretty ECW. Oh. So was that? Uh, he fell face first in the urinal. Oh, man. You know what this reminds me of? What is this? WCW backstage assault? What are we doing? No, I'm joking. All right, yeah. All right, so. Yeah, I always call this the bathroom level because that's what you start out as. And I would yeah, play this a lot in multiplayer with a friend, and I would get whooped a lot. Oh, 
Alright, picked up a clearance B card. Be careful. Right. There was a, a B video, there's a lot of bees swarming around, and I posted a comment under S2K saying, Be careful, B E E careful. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The Hudson B. No, yeah. Kidding. Someone flagged me, and no, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. Well, it's YouTube. I believe it. Oh, boy, I will cut you. What are you playing? Is Bon Quiqui here? She don't need psychiatry. She'll cut you herself. Whoa, that flew right in front of his face. How could he not see that? Right. Oh, oh, oh. I got his hat. Hey. Oh, wait. I got him in the head. He's holding his neck. It's like he don't even know where it's at. Man, this job's He's a like, pain oh. in the neck. And he disappeared. He was never there. Look, how's that not cutting Bond's hand? Anyway. Um, you got me. You got my... Alright. These guys, of course, they can't see me, so... But they can't hear me? Come on. It just stands there! Well, maybe they hired some deaf people or whatever. Maybe this is a Yeah, but he that... felt that. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, what do we got here? Is that Mr. Kenny from uh, Robocop? Damn well, could be, huh? There's a scientist. Hello. Oh, that's wrong. Goodbye. Why did I do that? Yeah, we I'm a won't douche. Say that. Didn't fail the mission, though. I think if I kill one more, though, I'll fail. Well, in the movie, uh, one scientist, at least one scientist is killed, but that was done by Trevelyan. Hey, we're trying to keep this accurate, so. Yeah. yeah we'll figure it out. Ah, here's my uh, favorite shotgun. Seth Green, sorry. Not, we're not sorry. Ah, oh, sorry, I tried to shoot your hat off. Sorry. Let's see if I can do it. I'll shoot around the ear. Oh, wait, he's holding the wrong side of his neck. Anyway. Okay. You, put your hands. Oh, wait, you can't see me. You can hear. What the heck was that? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh. So I'm playing as Hollow Man here. Kevin Bacon here. Yeah. That was a scary part of the movie where he messes with that woman in the hotel room, moves the mirror, and then he grabs her. She's like, oh, what the what is going on? Like a ghost is grabbing her or something. Man, that was crazy. I remember the first time seeing that. I was like, I was a kid too. I was like, what the? <laughs> yeah. Hands up where I could see it. All right. I love the sound effects of the guns. I know whoever had fun making the sound they had fun in the sound department in this game yeah where is Dr. Dork uh, I think he's hanging out with Dr. Doolittle oh uh, yeah <laughs> oh look at that no bond that's cute get out of here yeah that's what I think about your bond no. <laughs> oh Thought, who's shooting at us It's Kevin Bacon. Oh. Alright, now that I got their attention. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> I got two double sniper rifles at close range. What the heck? What a 44 Magnum, man. Fail. The most powerful handgun in the world. Or actually, uh, the Cougar Magnum, whatever. Thank you for that information, Star Soldier. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and this game's much better than Mega Man 5, which I would agree with. <laughs> I would agree too. And the game's better than Mega Man 5! <laughs> oh, Ooh, here we go. The ECW gun. The Sandman gun. No, I'm joking. Okay. There's Dr. Dr. Oh, wait, I forgot! He can't see me! He can't. Well, then, see. what good are you? Dang, I forgot when, you, when you're invisible. He can't see you, so therefore you can't rendezvous with him, which means you failed the mission, or you can't complete the mission, so you must abort the mission. Idiot! Looks All right. My, looks, that looked like my report card right there. Failed, failed, failed. <laughs> or my college uh, grades. Mm -hmm. Abort, abort, withdrawal, WW. All right. Um, let's do this again. This time I'm not invisible, because Dr. Dork needs to see me. And like I said in part one, I did complete this game in under a minute 30 seconds on Double O Agent to unlock the invincibility cheat, and that was very hard. Something that I can't ever see myself doing. 
Yep. I probably win the lottery before I do that. Yeah. Which would be awesome. Then I could pay somebody to do it for me. It's very hard because you got to also remember rendezvous with Dr. Dork or Doke or whatever his name is. And he's in random places in the level. So you got to hope to find him. Oh, <laughs> you got to hope to find him. And in the meantime, everybody's shooting at you here. It's very hard. And no armor, I don't think, either. Man, it was so hard. I just... Man, I, I, I just kept on... Kept at it, kept at it, and I was able to actually do it. I was like, wow. And I told Venom22 in high school, Dude, I, I did it! I finally unlocked the cheat! If there's anybody that deserves a thumbs up, it's definitely you. That is ECW. Yeah. Or, of course, they'll never be proven, because I never did it on YouTube, therefore it never happened. I've had a buddy... He used to record game footage or whatever on VHS, you know, how you could just, you know, connect the wires. What is it? The red, blue, whatever, or the red, uh, yeah, to, it, the, red, to yellow, the VCR, wire. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me and Swindle actually recorded a bit of footage back then of NWO Revenge. Oh, sweet. The lost footage. I have some lost footage too of my own. I, somebody didn't believe that I could beat uh, the original Resident Evil in under two hours. I have some lost footage. It's on VHS. It's when um, I took down the videos off YouTube because the quality was bad. But if I get a VCR with my red, yellow, and uh, white cables over here, I could probably capture that footage and maybe one day upload to YouTube. So you never know. I don't know whatever happened. Oh, you know what I know? What happened exactly happened to that VHS tape? I lent it to my friend or whatever, and he watched the playthrough or whatever, and he's like, "Oh, you probably had somebody else play it for you." I was like, "Dude." I have no uh, idea. Shut up. Me. I was like, why am I handing you a VHS tape or whatever with the gameplay footage? It's obviously me. It's me. Yeah, it's me, Austin! Whoa, yeah, the way you hit him, I just completely destroyed him. No, you turned him into Swiss cheese. Yeah. Swiss cheese mode activated. With the CW mode. Yeah, before there was ECW mode, there was invincibility mode in GoldenEye. I remember Conan O'Brien did something, not Clovis Gamer, but him and uh, Andy Richter were actually in, um, I don't know, like, it looked like they were in a video game of some sorts. It was, wasn't was really GoldenEye, I don't think, but people were getting killed, and you could hear the GoldenEye sound effects. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. I think I've heard something about that. Now I definitely want to go look that up. Nick Arcade, Golden Edition. That'd be pretty cool. Coming soon, Ron Hack. No, I'm shaking. The Ron Moore Ron Hack. Yeah. <laughs> Rambo oh, mode yeah. now. Ah! I'll take it. I was about to say Rocky mode. <laughs> there was a moment where Rocky 3 where Rocky became Rambo. When a Mr. T <laughs> goes, Hey woman, why don't you bring your pretty little self over my, over my, uh, my da, 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 over at my apartment tonight and I'll show you what it's like to be the real man. And Rocky goes, You what do you got? Alright, there he is. Dr. Dork. He was in the movie. I wonder what Bond movie he was in or maybe he's just a character in his game um i can tell you come on somebody in the comments must know yeah dun 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 nothing like the sound of glass breaking to bring back that experience yep man i remember first playing this game the memories are so awesome. The rumble pack, everything. I remember my friend. We when we used to play four players. He had three rumble packs. I would be the person that got stuck without one. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, that's super lame. I'm like, dude, how does everybody else have rumble packs, and I'm like the only one sitting here? I was like, could we alternate? It's because you're like, Mexican. No. It's because I wasn't Mexico back though. <laughs> that's racist. Not like that, now. He's Mexican. Mexican. He don't. He don't. Uh. Now, were you playing with friends that worked for EA? You had to pay to uh, unlock the Rumble Pack? Yeah, that sounds about right. Damn you, EA. 
There's 007, I mean, uh, 006, rather. 006. Alex Trevelyan. Sean Bean. Brace yourselves! ACW mode is coming! It was all too easy, Alec. Alec Balwick. Half of everything is luck, James. <laughs> and the other half? Fate. I better use the, uh, was it? Do have remote mines? Mind your own business. Oh, wow. Bond had a, had a smartwatch before all of this. Oh, shoot. Shut the door, Alec. There's a draft. Alec? No. Finish the job, Chase. Blow him out to hell. You have 10 seconds. Nine, about five seconds. Eight, seven, six, six five, single, four, <laughs> three, two, for England, James. No. Hold your fire. You blow the gas tanks. All right, so I just try to destroy Bison right here. I mean, General Room off with the Taser boy. Everybody yeah. shooting at me. Which, sadly, the actor that played as a room all passed away a few years ago. Rest in peace. Forgot his name, but I'll look it up later. Someone in the comment section wants to say what his name is. What? Well, where are you going? Oh, that's a good question. What are you doing? Where are you going? You're supposed to go up the stairs. Um... Well, everybody's like choking. How come they're not choking on the gas? I mean, I'm not either because I'm invincible, but if you can hear Bond, <coughs> how come the soldiers aren't dying? This poisonous yeah. gas. This poisonous ass. Oh, there he is. Liquid, I see you. There he is. Come back here. Where are you going? I found you. Come here. Oh, oh, come on. I know you felt that. <laughs> What'd you do? Hit him with the handle? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle it. Can you play as a room off in multiplayer? I forgot. Uh, I forget. It's been it's been so long. <laughs> he just disappeared out thin air. All right, then. Bye. All right, uh, all right. Okay. Let's go back over here now. Hopefully one day we do a live stream. We should do a multiplayer live stream on live, on live, online on S2K. That'd be cool. That'd be ECW. Dang, I gotta use the door decoder again. So the code is five, 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 five. Yep. No, I'm sure. Five-time WCW champion. Should you be dead? Like Mickey and uh, the Punisher remake. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Bond. Like a boss. Like a boss. Completes the facility. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of the facility. Part 2. We'll see you guys in part 3. In their runway. Where you get to run away with me on an adventure fail. Until then, God bless. Take care. Till next time, people. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Let's Play Golden Eye Part 3. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico. And we are back for another exciting episode of Golden Eye, a game which I suck at, but I enjoy watching. Yeah, and I wasn't good at this game either, which is why I'm cheating. And this is the third level here, the runway. Plane, find plane, ignition key, destroy heavy gun, replace, yeah, emplacements, destroy missile battery, escape in plane. On regular agent, it's easy, because all you got to do is get the key, I think, from the desk in one of the rooms, and then go straight to the airplane. That's it. Makes sense. Now I'm invisible right here. You can't see me. Not that you would want to. Yeah. 
but she can feel my bullets. <laughs> Looks goofy. Oh boy. Yeah, this was such a popular game. Everybody that had a 64 back in the day were like, well, you guys don't have GoldenEye for your system. Ha ha ha. Right? Like, yeah. But I, I agree. It's a very good game or whatever if, you, you know, if you're good at it. Not like me. If you suck, you're like, I'll pass. I remember the commercial where a room off goes, you can't win. Dunna, 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 GoldenEye for Nintendo 64. I think uh, video game commercials back then were a lot better than they are now. Now it's like, it's, I don't know, they suck compared to back then. Yeah. Baby, it's cold outside. That's because it's winter, that's why. And the sky is black. Oh, it's nighttime? No. Immolation glitch. Glitch? The, the, the... Wait, the glitch gremlin is here? Where? What? What? Right. Well, wait a minute. What? Wait. Okay. So even though I'm invisible, the drone guns can still see me? Uh, uh, uh I've never, so I, I never knew that. Wow. I, I think it's to get see body heats or something. Or maybe the game was programmed to where soldiers can't see you but not the guns or the camera I think it still see you as well some smart ass in the comment section will be like of course they think can see you they they have thermal blah 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 and it's like all right we finally get it but Th that's what you get for cheating that. I just destroyed it with a tank bullet and killed that guy in the process <laughs> this guy over here don't see don't notice anything he's trying to swat flies what you swatting at oh swat at that the end for him and I destroyed the missile battery it's funny, I'm not in the tank, but you can still shoot tank bullets. It's freaking hilarious. That is, I've been, I wanna, I'm holding back laughter from looking at that. That's so hilarious. Well, this gun sees me. But you can't hurt me. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? I'm on ECW mode. I'm right. On cloud nine. I'm sorry. No need to get copyright claim. Yeah. Ah, fail. No. Oh. Pull the earnest. Of course, in every one of my LPs, I somewhere along the way I die. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. It's not he, an earnest, he he knows Ooh. he knows something's going on. I killed him earlier. What the heck? He's back. Oh, I keep missing him. He wait. He can see something. He com keeps coming toward me. It's like I'm the predator. What is that? Oh. Oh, whoa. All right, you're cut. You can clock out for the day. You are dismissed. I would say something else, but I think Donald Trump and Vince McMahon have it uh, copyrighted. You're... No, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> you're fired. It's the same guy. There's like twins or triplets. What is going on here? I don't know. Maybe it's like that game fear. Oh. They just cloned a bunch of copies of him. Copy right. paste. Copy. It's like Melgar Solid. We're originally octuplets. Um, I remember when I first seen that, I was like, what the? It all makes sense now. No, it doesn't. This guy's coming after me yeah. here. Was oh, that me? Oh. Not me! Not, Not me! me! Alright, nice. Sorry, headphone users, we're sorry. Alright, cool. Now you can tell you failed the mission whenever it don't show the ending cutscene. So whenever you get in the plane... And you don't see the cutscene of him flying away. You're like, oh no, I missed something. Like, oh, I dunged up, screwed up nail. Yeah. All right, so there's the end of part three. And we'll see you guys in part four. Until then, God bless and take care. Until next time, folks. Thank you for joining us. License to cheat. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 4. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, all guns. I'll take that. Yep. More cheats. Yeah, now this time we are at the surface. And you know, on the surface this game looks cool. I definitely agree with that. I mean, this is a really cool game. I mean, I suck at it, but it's still a cool game. No. You know, we've barely scratched the surface here. Whoa. It's an emulation uh, sky glitch. 
Whoa. Nah, I probably just need some tips from uh, Skip Rogers. He could help me out. Yeah. The only thing frustrating about this LP is just the emulator I used. It, um, or maybe the way I configured it. I probably didn't configure it right. The music and... Well, this is common with emulator emulation. The music and graphics, uh, especially in this case, is not going to be as good as the original console version. Which is unfortunate, but it's still an awesome LP to say nonetheless. Yeah, and uh, for these losers here that I'm killing, we got some nice consolation prizes. I fell. <laughs> oh, oh. Ow. These that guys. Hurt. These guys are much. These guys are the real stormtroopers because they can actually hit you, but not me because I'm cheating. They can't hit me. You can't hit me. Well, they can see me this time. I'm not playing as John Cena this time. Or in John Cena mode. Open up! Open the door! Knock, knock. Who's there? Someone well, let me, me in! Yeah. Not me! Someone not let me, me in! Because I can't get in. Yeah. Not me! Open the door! Someone open let me in! Door. Someone let me in! They're shooting my! They're probably like, no! Don't open that door! Yeah, with these polygonal Christmas trees. Merry Christmas, anybody watching this around Christmas. At the recording yeah. this time, it's far from Christmas. <laughs> yeah. All right, here at the barracks. I remember junior high, we had barracks. Like classroom, out, little buildings outside. Oh, man, I remember those, too. Yo, what the heck was that about? But anyway. No, you guys aren't good enough for a classroom inside, so we're putting you outside. Yeah. That's all. It's sad, but true. Yeah. No, go back to the golden gun. No, <laughs> Rocket launcher. Yeah. I want to try to shoot the other barrack from here with my rocket Ah, oh, dang it. The freaking door closed on me. Fail. I thought we had an open door policy here. Uh, I guess not. Who shut that door? Here we go. Ooh. Oh, got it. Nice. Oh, oh, dang. <laughs> I miss, keep miss. Oh, there we go. It's like, sorry to blow you up. No, I'm not. Right. Love the track. I remember a friend that played through this. He unlocked a bunch of stuff. And immediately after finishing this game, he's just like, all right, I'm going to play it again. I'm like, well, all right. You just done playing it. But at the same time, too, when you unlock stuff, I could see how eager you would be to be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to play through this game again. Yeah, that's the uh, high replay value of this game. It's really good. Huh? Oh, come sense. on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, it's Monday Night Raw. The pyros are going off. And two rocket launchers, as if one is not dangerous enough. <laughs> you can still hear the gunfire. You can still hear them shooting at me. No, do choo 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 choo. Okay. All right, I gotta shut down communications. There we go. It's like, geez, how do you even walk with two rocket launchers in your hand? Right. Like, okay, that's impenetrable. Oh, what we got here? Oh, EC dump, oh. EC dump. Oh, I thought he exploded in a bunch of, into a pile of money, which would have been pretty <laughs> cool too. Oh, you can't shoot the trees. Yeah, this game is uh, it's uh, environmentally friendly, somewhat. Yeah. You can't harm the trees. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yes. Yeah. Destroy Ooh. Dumb Drum from Donkey Kong Country there. Oh no, was he in there? No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, now this looks like the intro to Raw. Money Not Raw back in 98. It shows the video of everything blowing up and Scud missiles or whatever the heck it was. Raw is war. Welcome to the war zone. I'm JR also Jerry the Key Lauder tonight. We got Kane against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Shut up, JR. 
I'm sure you've seen it before, but I, my buddy of mine, in Chuck Money Beeble, has an old VHS type. I believe it's called The Best of Monday Night Raw Volume 1. <laughs> nice. I'm like, I'm surprised he still has it. I'm like, whoa. Now if only he had a VCR. Yeah. <laughs> whoa. What's this douchebag doing? Get out of here. Come with me if you want to live. Whoops, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Come Copyright with me. Here. Hail Mary. Ah, oh, strike three. Oh, just throwing grenades here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll take that out with me. Put that on America's Funniest Videos. Whoa, you rolled. Sure oh, wait. Oh, that's a detonator. I don't have anything uh, planted. Taser boy. Yeah, use a taser. Yeah, I mean, wait, a taser uh, has paintball shots too. Oh, there we go, the tank missile. Yeah. I will cut to you. That's knife. This is still <laughs> not nice. Oh, I, I better be careful. I don't want to get us that copyright. Yeah. Are we gonna watch out for Ron Moore? Hopefully, he doesn't. Flag this video, you can't use my footage. Right. Oh! Knife to see you. Whoa, Hitler! Hitler. Get out of here. <laughs> what is that? Oh, cool. Whoa. Yeah, seen... Man, you guys never end. So, how did you like the controller for. Uh, well, I played it. I actually thought the control was pretty decent or whatever for, for this game in general or whatever. This, but in general, I didn't really like the 64 controller. But for this game, it, it worked out kind of well. Oh, yeah. It was perfect for this game. Oh, he's trying to run. Well, you started you it run. shooting at me. You can run. No, you can't run. You can't hide. You can you hide, die. but you can't run. Wait. You can epic fail. Man, everything's just destroyed here. Oh, well, you can tell wait. this is Oh, the safe is locked. I need the blueprint. I need the Matt Morgan. It's 555-555-5. Five, 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 five. Yeah, I got a... What is the combination like in an uninvited? You got to use the <laughs> note. I think you got to use the note on the safe. That's how you uh, uh, open the safe or however it was. Look, there's Hitler's hat. The heck? Get out of here. Get that out of here. Ooh, this video isn't very box friendly. Right. You destroyed those poor boxes. Oh. They didn't do nothing to you. Right. Dun dun EC ECW Whoa. Oh, he almost got out of the way, though. Almost, but almost don't count. Yeah. I was almost a millionaire. I was just off by a few numbers. Yeah. All right, so what else to do here? Let's see. We have not used yet. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I think so like, every, everything I? yeah everything in there has been destroyed. It's gone. It's long gone. Long John Silver. Oh wait, there's the safe key. There we go. Now I get to the safe. Yeah, when this game came out, I remember one of my buddies. I'd be like, "All right, there's two things this guy's doing. He's either playing Golden Eye, or walking his dog." <laughs> this game yeah. was his life. Which I don't blame him. I mean, it's a really good game. Like I said, I suck at it, but I mean, come on, it's it's still a fun game. Is it Chuck Money? Nah, he he was more of a Sony person or whatever. It was my old buddy Christopher. I forget his last name. Ah, oh, dang it! I just went back to the beginning. Oh no! You're back at the beginning. Well, I guess we'll we'll just start the LP over. Yeah. We're live. Oh no. Oh! EC dub! EC dub! Let's 
It's like if you're not a fan of snow, please do not watch this video. I say it like towards the end of the video. I like Al Snow. Morning. Al Snow. Oh. Bits and chunks of pieces everywhere. Okay, as we approach Spectrum Cable now. Before I get to the satellite dish. Oh yeah, I need to go back to that barrier. I'm gonna see if I'll just hit the dish from here. What happened? Oh. Oh, I did, but is it destroyed? I don't know. Do you work for the cable company? You're trying to take out the satellite? Right. Who, 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 who set you to do this? Was it Time Warner? No, I'm joking. It was, uh, Clearwire. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, it was Comcast. They're trying to take out all the other cable companies. Uh, that sounds about right. Cap shout Comcast. Oh, shout out to all the people watching this video on Netscape browser. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> on, Windows, uh, on Windows 3. On Windows 3. Oh, got him. Alright, now to get back into the safe. Is it safe? Better safe, safe than sorry. Oh. There we go. We Got go. the bunker plans or the Archie bunker plans or whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh. And I think the first first person shooter. Wow, that's hard to say. Did the idiot not see really... me? Did the idiot not see me with a rocket launcher? Uh, I, I don't think he saw that either, too. Boom! Then again, he's quicker um, with the light, lighter gun. He could probably he probably thought he'd shoot me, then move out the way or something. He's like, haha, I'll shoot him and then I'll move out of the way. Oh, no! Yeah. All right, now it's time to... Wait. No, helicopter's not there. Where's my ride? Come on! Oh, wait. Um, I'm supposed to go in over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, shoot. No, I'm not. Oh, man. You gotta call up your Uber. Right, yeah. Oh, there's, there's a delay in traffic. Right. Now, now they're really coming out of the woodwork now. I'm not supposed to exit through there anyway. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to exit through... Uh, I forgot. Man, I haven't been in this level in a long time. Oh, there they are. The, the special ops, I guess. You guys want some? Come get some. Look, I like how these guys try to be all fancy and agile. Get your Colonel Guile from Street Fighter the movie uniform having asses out of here. You guys are done. Surf Ninja's uniform over here. Look at him. Look at him. How about I hitting him? Come on. Ooh, there we go. And he's down for the count. Okay, I supposed to go down that, uh, yeah, over here. That's right. That's the surface, too, I'm thinking of where you go through the bunker, I guess. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, this is how. This is where I exit. Okay. Here since I've seen this, so it's been a while. Uh, yeah. I couldn't tell you where. Look, just use a rocket launcher to destroy all the padlocks at the same time, and there you go. Look at that. <laughs> it's like wee. Reminds right. me of silent. You just jump down something. Yeah. Well, anything but silent with those rocket launchers and tank bullets that are used. All what? right. I can't hear you. My ears are still ringing. <laughs> and that's how. I, <laughs> in the next level, I'll get to the Archie bunker in part five. Until then, God bless and take care. As always, thanks for joining us. Till next time. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part Cinco. This is Ron Moore along with BioPhoenix and Jeff. Hello everyone, with BioPhoenix here. They, they call me Push It, Push It Galore. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and the alignment is off in this video. It looks horrible, but as Ken Kenji and Funime, whatever his name man says, it's it's better than nothing. Re recorded on Ronnie's 1997 Panasonic video camcorder. Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of problems with this one, but at least the actual gameplay footage and the audio is great. So there we go. It cost me eight thousand dollars for this camcorder. It won't even record straight. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at okay, I got the paint paintball mode enabled. And look, look, those aren't paintballs. That's like rainbow NES connectors, uh, for your cartridge or something. Looks like a bunch of uh, volume button 
Yeah, really, that's in weird. Volume. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... I got uh, the invincibility cheat here, infinite ammo, all guns. And... Yeah, I already set off the alarm. So you have all guns, but yeah, you're still using a pistol? Come on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, right? Well, there we go, switching up a little bit. I was trying to be a little stealthy, quote-unquote. And try not to make any mistakes yes. here, because even though you're, I'm cheating, I can still fail missions. Says, says, says Ronnie, who just got himself every weapon. Come on, Ronnie, you played this game. Uh, uh, dude, it's more fun to cheat in this game. There's so many it's awesome more, this it's, it's, it's more fun to cheat, man. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> Don't let Boris get killed. Oh no, he's the I, best of my character. I am invincible! <laughs> Put your hands down, Jeff. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, ca I can't do a good uh, British person faking a Russian person impersonation. Just doesn't work. <laughs> you know who that? You know who that actor's name is? Alan Cummings. He's got like the worst name ever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's this world coming to? Uh, <laughs> uh, this guy. Honey, take. This guy making a star soldier face. He's like, it's a bunch of the same faces. Ronnie takes my R-rated jokes and turns them into PG every day. Yeah. It's funny how he's just like casually walking around with people shooting guns in his direction. Yeah. <laughs> Could y'all like shut up and leave me leave us alone? He's trying to up Oh oh, oh shoot! Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. No, Otacon died. Otacon wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt. <laughs> Skip Rogers would say this. Tell I have Otacon up. Activate the mainframe computer. I'm too busy looking at hot anime chicks. <laughs> yeah. My Japan maze. <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's try this again. Only I could fail while still cheating. Speaking of Metal Gear, I, I was dating a girl at the time. Luckily, it's not one that I'm married to. Um, and she wanted to go see the voice of Raiden uh, from Metal Gear Solid. She's like, yeah, let's go see him. And he's like, such a shill. He's like, yeah, $25 to autograph and uh, get out of my way. It's, it's like, hey, well. Huh. Oh, um, Quentin Flynn? Yeah, he's kind of a little douche. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of disappointing. Because I actually like a few roles that he's done and, like, other stuff. Like, like, he f appears friendly on the internet, but in real life, as far as what I've seen, I've helped run a couple cons, and he was at one of them, like I said, and it was, uh... Anyway, yeah, that, that's that's cool. that. Oh, yeah. G give me David, David Hater any day of the week. <laughs> don't be a David Hater. Oh! Yeah, don't be such a hater! <laughs> I want to be Cam Clark. Yeah, that'd Who's be that? cool. I know that name. Who is that, Ronnie? The voice of Liquid Snake and Leonardo. Oh, yes. BROTHER! Yeah, he plays in a lot of stuff. He's always oh, usually really good. Yeah, there's an interview online. I forgot the website, but uh, they interviewed him during a podcast, and it was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. I actually uh, maintain a pretty decent friendship with uh, Paul Eating, the voice of Colonel Campbell, and he's like in everything. Cool. Oh, dude, he's amazing. We he get really him. is. We should get him in some message 2K commentary. Yes. yes, let me just call him. I'll just, I'll just send him a quick uh, email. Mr. Eiding, I know you're pretty busy traveling from California to Australia all the time, but maybe maybe you could spend 10 minutes on our SD2K 2 um, Let's Play of GoldenEye. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, you just missed our LP of Metal Gear Solid. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, actually, the story of the Twin Snakes is pretty interesting. David Hayter took a huge pay cut to get all the original cast back. Yeah, that's right. I heard about that. Yeah, uh, Paul was telling me about it. And it was it was pretty interesting. He's like, yeah, I heard I heard they were doing it, but I, I heard they were going to get new voice actors. And he's talking to David and he was like, no, no, I took a big pay cut. You guys are all coming back. You're all getting paid. Now, wait a minute. There was some that did not come back. No, I, I know. Well, some some couldn't, and there was a lot of other reasons, but the majority of them did. I All think right. Naylin was one of them that wasn't, I think. And Meryl, I think, too. Meryl? Okay. And Naomi. I'm not sure, but... I thought Naomi was the same, but I could be wrong. I mean, I might be wrong. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take out this camera and that guard with the rocket launcher here. <laughs> I always like the sound effects of the, um... What? Oh, look at that! <laughs> You know, you know. Let, let's get back to Go Nair for a second. I always found interesting that the 
you know, the company made this, they used those SGI computers, those, like, weird, uh, crazy color-looking computers with, like, you know, back in 1997, it had the process of, like, 500 megahertz when you're barely shoving around your 32 megahertz Pentium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I try to get away. See, I had, like, two bazookas for a sec. It's, like, crazy shit. A taser hey, boy. <laughs> There you go. All right, Jeff, take me to the mainframe terminal. Now! Uh, no! No! Yeah, hey, no. I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know I'm a hardware guy in real life. I don't do much software. You might need another person. Oh, yeah, well. My, oh, favorite, right there. The my favorite game on the Taser Boy is <laughs> like <in> Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I stunned him. <laughs> He's not moving. <laughs> You, you uh, know, I I just want to give a hearty um, uh, oh, a hearty red letter media, media. How embarrassing for all the actors who had to digitize their faces. And it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna look, you're gonna look just like in real life. And then you see it, and you're like, oh, how embarrassing. Yeah, have you seen that meme I shared on Facebook where it shows Steven Seagal, and it says, uh, why does Steven Seagal look like the guy you shoot on the toilet in Goldeneye? <laughs> <laughs> It, yeah, if you ever seen, yeah, if you ever seen that, you gotta check that out. Oh no, I just, yeah, yeah, it's a little few days ago. That's right. All right, with my digital camera here. There we go. Nice. You know what a digital camera looks like in 1997? You're getting like half a megapixel. You're not gonna see garbage, right? <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> Dang it! I failed the mission already because I stunned Boris. He can't move. Oh no! He's the one that has to activate this uh, mainframe right here for me to download the information. You, you go back, you go back to M with your pictures, and she's like, "What? What? What is this? I can't tell. Is it a screen of some sort?" Right. Yeah. <laughs> like back in the day, Nintendo Power, where you try to take a picture of your high score, and you take it to the photo store, and it looks like oh, crap. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too exposed. The flash is a problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, come on, Jeff. I mean, uh, Otacon. I mean, uh, Boris. Let's just <laughs> get, get going here. Knockers. Knockers. Ha ha ha. Oh, you idiot! He he, he directs internet porn for a living now. Yeah. Well, at least he activated the mainframe, so now I can uh, download data. Says I remember how. <laughs> how do I do this? Guards are coming out to him. What is he doing? I don't know. He's looking at his watch. Right. <laughs> and, oh, the data thief. There we go. This is how nice. you download stuff off the internet in 1997. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's so incorrect. You gotta run it to the... You gotta run it to a... Um, uh, it could be a phone line or it could be a, just a parallel port. So you gotta rig it up. Oh, you got the wrong drivers for the data. The data grabber. You gotta sit there. Yeah. Try to find the correct drivers. Where'd I put that floppy disk? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. Whoa! Apparently they're, here, they're here to send me off. <laughs> we can't seem to shoot this guy. It's like he's got some barrier around him. Alright. Alright. And on this beautiful night, I escaped the bunker. Archie Bunker. Into <laughs> the Siberian Wasteland. <laughs> yeah. Mission failed! Oh, wait. No. Alright, so... That is the end of part five of the bunker. See you guys at part six. The silo. Until then, Fish and mailed. Fish. Yeah. Later, guys. All right. See you. Bye bye. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part Six. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico, and this time, Lady GoldenEye. Ha. Ha. Ha, ha. Now at the hey. silo, and yeah, this level was not in the movie. Yeah, I was probably in the deleted scenes, and no, I'm joking. <laughs> well, according to this game's timeline, this game takes place two years ago. It'll show it on the bottom of the screen right there in just a second. I remember. You know, I still love this level. Yeah. It's time. And I still suck at this level. It's time to celebrate <laughs> this awesome game. Sounds very ECW. Yeah, so we're on a time limit here. 
eight minutes oh. to complete all the mission objectives. EC double you EC double. I heard Bear Thirteen is game. Is that true? Uh, we'll find out. I think he's one of the unlockable characters in uh, multiplayer. All right, got the circuit board. Yeah, <laughs> I love how the scientist is like, yeah. Yeah. Drop your wallet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh wait. Got to Ooh. plant all the plastic explosives everywhere. But there's plastic here. Plastic. Okay. D plastic and fantastic. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, dang, I forgot. I f <laughs> I'm still armed with the plastic. There we go. Shoot, shoot, shoot some. Oh. He got pwned. Hey, you. Wake up. Turn around. There you go. <laughs> turn around so you can die. Jump down. Turn around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on a second. I can't resist. Gotta love all the pink stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, distort. Ah, oh, dang it, I hit the stairs. Just one, not two. I'm joking. There we go, destroyed the dumb drums from Donkey Kong Country. Ha! <laughs> this company is made by Rare, so who knows? Ooh, this game's on par with Resident Evil Survivor. Did I say this company's made by Rare or this game? Both. This game was made or produced or whatever the heck by Rare. What did Nintendo do? Just license it? I believe uh, so. Yeah, I think so. Someone in the comments probably knows. Now that's a rare chance. Yeah. Oh! There we go. I like the automatic shotgun. My favorite shotgun in the world. I never used one, but I have on here. Have you ever used a gun, kid? You ever fired shots? I played Golden Eye. Oh man, I totally miss the Ramon mites. I would use, I would actually use those all the time. Yeah. Like one of my brothers would get so cheesed off because I'd find him, blow him up, repeat. <laughs> no, you, no you, he's the guy sitting on the toilet in multiplayer in the facility. He go, hey, you, you blow him up in there. Talking about, whoa, brother, you really did blow up the restroom. <laughs> Literally. Thing. There's no smell of vision. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this video's been thumbed down because of the horrible bathroom jokes, horrible bathroom humor. It's like, dude, what kind of bombs did you drop in there? Molotov cocktail. Right. I want to use the claymore. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Objective C completed. I guess I got all the uh, key cards or. Whatever the heck, I forgot what objective C was. Okay, now he raises his hands. That's nice. Yeah. Bit uh, late there, wait, bud. Wait, I thought... Okay, he was supposed to drop a key card for me to get in the door. Oh, wait, let me plant the plastic explosive there. Um, yeah, I couldn't make him... I don't know, did he drop the key card? Find out. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Ah, uh, no, well, where's it at? I'm, whenever we're in this... Oh, there it is. Dumbass. <laughs> Earth to Ron ECW. ECW. Hit it, guys. EC. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Trying to get copyright. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Last one will be by Vince McMahon. Yeah. Oh. His earlier has been terminated. Yeah. You're terminated! With pretty colors. Yeah. Pretty paintball colors all over the place. Oh, he got in the way, you idiot! I was trying to hit you, dumbass! I'm sorry, but like, after when somebody shoots them, it just looks like they just drank a bunch of red Kool-Aid and got it all over. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Right in the head! Right in the kisser! You want some too, huh? You want some of this too, old man? Huh? No. All right, take a picture of the uh, satellite or wherever that is. Get the camera, you idiot. Not that plastic. There we go. Yeah, plastic. We're not fake here on the S2K. All 
All right, one more plastic explosive, and then that ends that mission objective. All right, y'all. You know what? Hold on a second. We we'll do something fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. All right, and. Wow. Oh. I knew oh, oh, back to that. oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing people too. Anybody near the doors? Anybody near me? Oh, there's a room off. Get him. Blow him up. Oh, wait. Oh, well, you can't blow up a room off. That's right. I don't think so. So I'm a, like a, I'm a suicide bomber here. Everywhere I go, I'm just blowing everything and everybody up. Sweet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you are a disgrace to family. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this. Uh, this automatically gets a thumbs up from me. I yeah. Like explosive. Yeah. Probably <laughs> you would love this. Wow. <laughs> so it's nice to know that I wasn't the only one who did this back in the day. I just blew everything up. All right, yeah. And you can do that when you're invincible. Yeah, just tuck away the rocket launcher right there like it's nothing. Who are you, Link? All right. Ooh. Wait a minute. Everything's already blown up. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Ha! Ah! Oh. Oh, wait. That's it. That's the end of the silo level. See you guys in part seven for the friggin' frigate. Refriger refri refrigerator. Whatever the heck it's called. What Until he said. Yeah. Yep. I seconded it. <laughs> I'll third it. God bless and take care. Till next time, people. Stay alive. Stay alive! Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Goldeneye. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. Alright, let's get this started. This did not forget the awesome cheats though, of course. Yeah. Oh, this level. I remember this level. I suck at this level too. So now we're at the frigate. Well, you frigate got me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or the fr frigate frigate. I think I used to call it frigate. Whoa. Real dark. It's pitch black. Wow. Whoa. I guess the moon must not be out. Look at this. More emulation glitch. It's supposed to be a sky and water. And look at that. It just that, the much how scary that is. In real life, it, it, it's dark out here. You don't see no water or anything. Like in this big void, looking into the abyss. I imagine you know if you're out in the middle of the ocean, yeah, it probably does look like that. Assuming you know it's dark, yeah. Can't get me. No, on I mean you probably still see the water waves at least, especially if there's a moon out. Yeah. Well, it looks like the this movie Pitch Black. You play the this one here. Oh dang it! Hostage got killed. Uh, that's his fault. Don't worry though. He had a life insurance. Not me. You want some of this paintball? Yeah, so this is tricky. You gotta do all the mission objectives without. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. The explosion killed another hostage and I failed the mission. Jeez, man. That's freaking hard. You didn't fail the mission. The mission failed you. Man, you gotta get through this level without killing the. Uh, more than two hostages on Double O Agent. Right, let me start this again. This time I'm going to alter the cheats a little bit. I'm going to be invisible so that they can't see me and won't start shooting at me or start shooting at the hostages. Sweet. Now I'm playing as John Cena again. It would be an awesome multiplayer character to play as. So who just killed me? Yeah. I did. You couldn't see me. Kevin Bacon. Hello, man. It's Dr. Doke, freaking traitor. Dr. Dork is now one of the bad guys. Oh no. That's a secret code to ride around that little jet ski there. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I remember the frustration of this level. Oh, I killed the guy. Whoops. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Look at it. Ha ha. They can't see me. They don't shoot the hostage. If you want some, you can get some. No. Run! Almost shot him with all his enemy. <laughs> Too bad.
two guns are better than one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you staring at? Yeah. yeah. Remember I had a friend, he's all, the cheats take away from the game, it doesn't make the game fun. No, no. I, b I believe you're wrong, the cheats make the game really fun. Right? Mm -hmm. That guy. What you swatting at? It's like he's gonna shoot a fly with that gun, waste bullets in the fly. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get that fly. Yeah. That's not gonna fly with me. It's not gonna fly, but it's pretty fly for a while. My grandmother told me, you better straighten up and fly right. So one time I straightened up. And then I tried to fly out the window and I fell onto the ground. No, I'm just kidding. Ouch. Painful. I gotta stand there. What was he looking at? He was just daydreaming, pondering his life. Well, I better do well, something in my life. <laughs> oh, well, forget that now. Dun, dun, yes. Easy! W! For the cell phone days, so people weren't sta star uh, standing around staring at a little tiny screen. So. Yeah, let's head a Nokia or whatever. Those invincible phones. A Blackberry. Yeah. Project. All right. Use the tractor of the helicopter. There we go. Do I shoot that? Is that the missile battery or the... I'm thinking of Mission 3. Or the engine for the ship? No, I have no idea. Uh, I'll try to <laughs> shoot through the helicopter blades. Man, I'm pretty good. I shot through the blades. <laughs> Star Soldier will be there. Right. All right, man. Wow, look at all the pretty, pretty colors. As I'm in the engine room here, I guess. Loud freaking we room. Apologize. We apologize for our colorblind viewers. It looks completely awesome. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Uh, wake up. Uh, I go back to sleep. Go to sleep. Alright, so I gotta disarm this bomb right here. I think you... What do I put... Oh, well... No, that's not how you do it. Oh, I killed somebody down there, though. No. Okay, I messed up. You gotta... Not defuse the bomb that way by touching it. You gotta use, um... I think... Hold on a second. You effed up. You effed oh, up. Oh, bomb diffuser. You... There we go. <laughs> Alright, so I have to start over again right here. <laughs> Let's do this again. Uh, I'm, I'm sure many of our viewers that have played this game have been in the same situation again. Well, looks like I'm starting back over. Yep. <laughs> our bear. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'll get a comment. You're an idiot. When I first played this game, I knew not to touch the bomb. I knew to use the bomb diffuser immediately. I knew knew about that, but it was only because I used to read like those one magazines. Was it tips and tricks, and they would have strategy guides? Yeah, I didn't have that. I just, but I think I first played this game on agent then secret agent and then I I never got this far dolo agent the farthest I got without cheating on I mean obviously you gotta I think like you got you gotta beat those levels first I mean I, I didn't have game shark at first I could just unlock everything but I had to earn those cheats but uh, legitimately the farthest I got in this game was double O agent the runway oh and I, yeah, I couldn't beat that I was like yeah I'm done <laughs> There we go, that's how you do it. This you is how we do so it! What's that? I so you can only rage so much in this game. Yeah, rage with passion, just like Goblin. Uh, rage against the machine, I was thinking. Streets, I of ra Streets of Rage against the machine. Streets of Rage against the machine. Now available on Sega Game Gear. Yeah. And those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Goblin215, I forgot the exact name. Goblin's a live streamer on YouTube. Awesome content, check him out. Indeed. Oh, walking around with my favorite guns. Yeah, alright. Yeah, these guns are ECW. They really come in handy in the jungle. You're like Kevin Gates. I got two guns. No, I'm doing <laughs> Okay. Alright, I think I'm done here. Yeah, I just gotta find a way to get back to the freaking jet ski to get out of here. If I'm going the right way, probably not like it. Oh, look. Yeah, someone else to kill. Yeah, don't ask me for directions. Right? I need GPS. Come on, Bond. You got all those gadgets and stuff. You don't have a GPS. Actually, while I'm lost, I'm looking for more people to kill. That's right. I forgot. I started over this, so these guys are alive again. All right. Now, that should be the end of uh, 
Or is it? Uh, yeah. Or is it? <laughs> As I look into the abyss from TNA, that is it. Bond is finished with the frigate. Nice. He didn't even get one drop of blood on his suit. Yeah, friggin' forget it. All right. So the boat level the frigate is done. Oh, time to go back to the surface for surface yes. two. Yes. And, yeah. And part eight. Until then, God bless. And take care. Till next time. Till next time, folks. Thanks for joining. Welcome to part eight of Let's Play Goldeneye. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. Jeez, Ron, how many parts is there? I'm joking. It's probably gonna be about twenty. Yeah, it's Sweet. probably gonna be about twenty. And we're back at the surface again. I wonder why we gotta come back here again for. We'll find out after this commercial break. No, I'm joking. Yeah, it's com like the video just started. <laughs> yeah, it just started. Yeah, it's like a it's commercial. Like, oh! Commercial for uh, well, winter's oh, pretty much over with now. I was gonna say it's gonna be a commercial for a winter fur coat right here that, that Bond's wearing. Oh, you'll stay warm, I guarantee it. Yeah, you definitely will. Especially yep. when it's 100 degrees out, you'll be you'll be you'll be sweating up the storm. See, they're wearing one too. I guess. Shoot, shoot. Well, well, unlike them, Bond wouldn't be caught dead wearing that jacket. I fell. <laughs> I said jacket, whatever uh, you call this thing, freaking coat that's built for a tundra. His fur coat. Yeah. Fat Peter guy in like little coat. Yeah, video taken down for copyright by Peter. Peter, oh no, he's wearing a fur coat. We must flag this video. Yeah. The ultimate enemy, Vita. Yeah. I've never seen this much snow before in my life. I have, and Die Hard too. Oh yeah. Whoa! There's the gang. Cool in the gang. No, I'm joking. Yeah, what's it called? Wally No Bear, the No Bear, and the Wally Gang, the No Gang. What was it called? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Amy G reviewed it. Wally Bear and the No Gang, I think. Dang, that's, I think that's what it is, yeah. Swindoll will say something like, Wally Bear and the Ho Gang! Thank you very much, Godfather. Yeah. All aboard the Ho Gang! In the night black sky. In the sure is dark out. glitchy is black sky. Their wit project or what? No, I'm joking. Yeah. Alright, destroy all surveillance cameras. Oh, I look at him trying to be cool and rolled. He got shot in the neck for it. Relax, dude. Just paintballs. You guys act like you're being shot by real bullets. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's for real. Yeah. Or is this Child's Play 2 or 3? Yeah, 3 is what I'm thinking. I think Andy went to the military academy. Problem Child's Play, where Junior and Andy team up against Chucky. I'd watch that. Me too. Now on Netflix. Now on the ST2K channel. For 99 cents. cents. Yeah. 99 cents. And you can't copyright claim that. Too bad Enzo Amore is not on this channel, and you can't claim that. You can't see me. Yeah. I'm not in this. It's just my voice. I think Enzo is a uh, Gunstar Hero or Green's uncle. Uh... Ah! I think the same thing. And so I love games where you can get infinite ammo. You can just have the time of your life. Yep. The time of my life. <laughs> Not an ECW. ECW. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, me. Blow, blow up the barrels. Yeah, me. Me. I didn't look 
us on commentary along with uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah, Rock Wee and Bull Gentoo. <laughs> more of these junior high school barracks. So don't rage, don't rage quit now, no, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, an inclement weather day. That's why there's no students in the barracks. It's a snow day. Yeah, maybe in Missouri this is nothing, just a regular school day, but in Texas would everything be closed. Alright, now inside the communications tower again. Customer sure. service. How may I help you? No, I'm joking. Yeah, alright, all surveillance is destroyed. Now shut down communications and Wait, what? Objective B failed. Well, how are you going to shut down the communications? I... I hit the B button. Shut down communications, and yet I failed. Isn't that my mission, to shut down communications? That's what that is right there. Hmm. I don't oh, know what I tripped an alarm. You can hear it. And now all these people are coming after you, and they're going to... Alright. Wait for the airstrike. Nope. This is what you gotta do, actually. Is destroy. That's how you shut down communication. You destroy it. Because I accidentally radioed. And when they didn't hear anything back, they assumed something was wrong. This when they sent the cavalry. Oh, there we go. Oh, there they are anyway. What the heck? Get out of here. Uh, yes, with my Desperado gun. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone, Stay thought. Away. That's what I thought. What? <laughs> that was awkward. Whoa. Alright, I think I'm done here. I think I gotta just... I gotta put a tracking device on the helicopter, I think, next. Yeah, there it is. Fully looking helicopter. Looks now like. there's tracking devices everywhere. Call our phones. The government is tracking us just right now, the second, as you're watching this video. This is before the uh, GPS days? Yep. Well, I think they kind of had GPS back then. If you watch, well, at least the GoldenEye, well, it's the satellites. So when they show 790 being destroyed, they show the satellites. So, yeah, Goodpus was around back then. Not a tracking bug, a uh, mine. All right, now I gotta run. After that, then I escape in here. Well, I'll make sure it goes off first, so th I think uh, for the mission to be complete. Be there in 30 minutes or it's free. Oh, I guess it's already complete. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, it's going. All right. Oh, yes, we made it. Oh, all right, we escaped the enemy. And so, uh, oh, shoot. Um, okay. Oh, man, well. That's bad. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 9. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and BioPhoenix. What's up, everyone? Alright, this looks like it's going to be a good part. This is going to be better than Part 8. Eh, who knows? We'll find out. Uh, part 8, Bond was captured in the bunker. Bunker Part 2. This time he is bunker. one of the prisoners. Yeah, this level will drop you bunkers. Now <laughs> Bond is a prisoner in the bunker. Yeah, I remember this level took me like forever to actually do. That squarehead soldier with his uh, surf ninja or street fighter the movie army uniform. But anyway, um, so right here I'm cheating, so I'm actually armed in the jail. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in real life. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Whoa, look at the wall behind her. They execute the prisoners in here. The name's Bond. James Bond. Natalia Friedrich Simonova. Simonova. Natalia Neidhart? Natalia from WWE? That'd be, that'd be a lot easier to pronounce, yeah. Yeah. This music right here, I remember playing this game a lot in high school, and this level, this music right here, 
would be in my head because I'd be bored. So this oh. music would be in my head. Yeah, like, I'm so bored, and this like just fit the moment. Yeah, I mean, being in like school, the fits this situation. You're in yeah, jail. Yeah, school and jail, they're the same thing, pretty much. The same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I like this. I guess because the nostalgia factor of the game, and I was playing this a lot during high school. I remember during Channel One News. I don't know if y'all had that in y'all school or not. Or this is the thing, at least in my state back then. Channel One wow. News, where we watch in homeschool. I mean, homeschool, homeroom class. Home. And uh, <laughs> they show the news and stuff. During the commercial breaks, they would show commercials of this game. And it showed a room off saying, you can't win. Then it goes back to explosions. dun 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 Get gold not today. Channel One. I haven't heard <laughs> anybody bring that up in, I think, like 10 years. 20 years. Yeah, well, <laughs> probably t about 20 for me. Uh, yeah, one of my high schools did that, where they had, like, a TV up, and they had, like, little things on it. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's ugly. Ugly. It's like Jeff on Jeff. Heroin, heroin or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what, Ronnie, you're the one on drugs watching Matlock. <laughs> uh, okay. You must think I was born yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, you know, the guard didn't see me with a knife pulled out. <laughs> he just walks away. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Alright, so I'm armed to the teeth here. Wait a minute. <laughs> a grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah, these guards are terrible. They didn't check to see if I had any weapons. Let's see if he'll notice this. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, shoot. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, oops. So I gotta abort and try again. <laughs> Too bad, too sad. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a horrible jail. Supposed to disarm people before you throw them in there, dumbasses. Yeah, people like with a rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your guns, sir. Here's your guns. Right, yeah. Yeah. Here we go again. Oh, I'm hearing myself in the background there. Alright, there we go. Here's some echoing. Hopefully, uh, Natalia will echo my sentiments, and as I apologize to her for killing her, I fail. It's a different guard this time as I use a magnet. Stop or my mom will shoot! <laughs> Slow reaction time. <laughs> oh! I glance at the... Insane. Yeah. I will cut I you. I'll cut you up. She don't, she don't look impressed. You think I'm impressed? Wait. Okay, for a second I thought he had like two like right hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bringing a knife yeah, to a gunfight. Oh, you all? <laughs> the Punisher movie, the remake. Now you are one dumb son of a bitch, bringing a knife <laughs> to a gunfight. Kills him with a knife. Oh! Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Low blow. I oh! Hit. Hats off to I you. <laughs> you knocked the hat off with the knife. <laughs> That guy's ugly. Oh! oh. I yeah, I always thought that face was like really creepy looking. Yeah, really. Especially with big head mode on. And when oh. you go like, right up close, it's like all you see here is his ugly freaking face. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the safe is locked. Is it safe to leave this room now? Skateboarding. What kind of, what kind of a screensaver is that? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Dang, that's a tough monitor. That's probably a 2003 gateway. <laughs> the Not door me. is locked. Dang it. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. The last part you were in, Biophoenix, was the the first bunker. The first time I was in the bunker level. Yeah, the one with uh, Boris, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. The Hawaiian shirt man. <laughs> yeah. Don't you see the we All should right. go to the main control room. If Gen 2 was in this video, he'd be like, yeah, you should go in the kitchen. Oh. That's true. Sorry, Blue Rose. Should be laughing. Give me a thumbs down on the Discord server. <laughs> it's alright. I'll She's... give you a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> She's just walking around all nonchalant. Not impressed at all. It's like, I'm out of jail, but 
I'm not impressed that I'm out of Gale. Yeah, there are times where I've accidentally shot her because I thought she was the enemy. <laughs> Have sure you seen you the YouTube videos where uh, there's a video called Golden Eye in real life? Um, no, I don't think I've seen that one. Not that I can remember. No, I don't remember that. In one of the videos, it shows, like, you know, real life actors. Natalia, this woman, cannot stand in front of her accidentally getting shot, I think. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea how many times I failed this mission because I accidentally killed her. <laughs> yeah, whoa. These guys look pissed. Yeah, oh, nice move, nice maneuver there. Vince That's McMahon, what a maneuver! Whoa! Here are my people gun. <laughs> yeah, dude, give him my space, dude. Check out S2K on MySpace.com. Oh, God. <laughs> MySpace. Whoa. Oh, jeez. There's No Limit Soldiers, Master P here. Make him say, oh. Ah! <laughs> na 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 na. When someone's lying, I'm like, what? Let me hear you say, uh. Na 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 na. You lying. <laughs> Alright, I just killed Archangel Zero. Jeez. I've actually played this game listening to Master P, so. Oh, I got the uh, tape. Whatever that's supposed to be for. Isn't yeah. the tape have a, the cover of uh, Goldeneye the movie? I think it does, yeah. It does. Yeah, so you're playing the game Goldeneye, but the, the movie Goldeneye was, is within the game. Inception right there. Yep. yep. <laughs> no, Inception would be like Street Fighter and then Street Fighter the movie, then Street Fighter the movie the game. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Maybe Bond should like watch the movie so then he can like, you know, predict the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, Atari got shot there by the guards, but she's invincible to the guards, but not to Bond's gunfire. She's just walking around like Yeah, running around like not trying to take cover. She's a fearless woman. She's at the point where she just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. You think I'm impressed? Oh, shoot. What happened? Oh, Rumov has activated the Golden Eye satellite. Okay, well, I'm not going to complete the mission on time before we get blown up. So I might as well not even try here. I'm going to fail. <laughs> might as well go out with a bang and the blaze of glory. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up. E easy dub. I think Natalia got out already. She's smart. Uh oh. Two. One. <sighs> oh, here we go again. Like in part, what was it? Six were non stop explosions in the silo? Oh, that was so hilarious. I'm, now, <laughs> I'm, I'm a suicide bomber again. No pun intended. Whoa. Yeah, let's get out of here. I failed, but let's get out of here. Oh. Uh, I think that means Atari escaped. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> There's explosions uh, inside. Yeah. Nice report card. Yeah. Failed report card. Yeah, forget it. I'm done. I'm going to move on to part 10. <laughs> I had enough fun in this level. I'm not going to try to get the compare staff casualty lists or whatever else it was telling me to get. I'm done. I did my damage. So at least I escaped. At least yeah, me, we are done. At least me and yeah, you're done. at least me and uh, Natalia Nyhart escaped. So all right, guys. See you guys in part ten. How, how you say ten in Spanish? Oh, uh, I wasn't sure. If Mexico yeah. doesn't know. Yes. No one does. Yes. Oh, Diaz. Okay. Nintendo Diaz. Phil. Until then, <laughs> God bless. Take care. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you at the crossroads. See you at the crossroads. Crossroads. Ha, <laughs>
And Link now goes to Kakariko Crackhead Village. Crackhead Village. Yeah, so, yeah, Link just uh, got through leaving Hauro Castle. And Impa, Impa Limpa, Oompa Loompa, whatever her name is, uh, taught him, taught Link the uh, song of the royal family. What is Link, what are you doing? Uh, this ain't uh, Mario 64. I know, right? That's what, what is You're that? not going to get it here. Look at the top left up there. What is that black dot at the top left corner? Um, it's a watermark. No, that's weird. Why would the watermark be up there? <laughs> That'd be a dumb place if someone put the watermark up there. It's better than the middle of the fucking screen. Yeah, like, uh, this is a free version of, uh, ACS. Download today. All right. Now, Link is in Crackhead Village. No, oh, man, you can't, you can't hear the uh, old depressing music or old farm music play. This is night time. Right. There's an Evo there's, guy. There's a big crackhead right there. Yeah. Bear can do his voice. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Here, have some crack. Yeah. <laughs> what a douchebag. You know what? You could probably use the Ocarina of Time to smoke crack. Oh yeah, I never, never thought of that. Use it to vape. But, the Legend of Zelda, uh, Bomb of Time. Oh, like a, a cracking time. You're not supposed to use that for uh, vaping, Rick. Rick, you're supposed to use it to play songs in the Ocarina. Fuck off. You're not supposed to have a space weed. I wish you were in the live stream last night. I was talking about Prairie Park Boys, and I said, what was that guy's name? Was it Bubbles? <laughs> Rest in peace, Wendy. Yeah, rest in peace. Was it Jim Dunham? Uh, John Dunsworth. No, Jim Dunham. I think there's a car salesman here in town. I got that name confused. Yeah, and I realized this this December this year, the 10th anniversary of Patrick Swayze's passing. D uh, dang it. Yeah. Hold on. Too soon. Too soon. No. Now the graveyard here. Now here's Bear 13. Get out of my graveyard. You kids get off my lawn. <laughs> now you're digging your own grave here, Link. Yep. Ah. Magic beans. Uh, you don't have any yet, right? No, bear. No, bear's the one that sells the magic beans in this game. Okay. There's another gold sculpture. What's that great keeper's name again? Dumpe or whatever the heck? Uh, Dump. Dumpe. Yeah. <laughs> Dante. Dumpe's Inferno. Dampe's Inferno. Yeah, Link can't get that gold sculpture yet. He don't have uh, the boomerang. <laughs> That's messed up. I mean, Link's a douchebag. First he goes into people's houses without knocking, now he just desecrates graves. What a douche. Well, kick it open, you idiot! Now, Stuart, are you? There it is, the Holly and Shield. Ah, uh, now he's gonna go play the song of the royal family over here. The Crest of the ECW family. So I played the song the Roy Famous. Yeah, that's right. The Zelda's Lullaby. Zelda's Lullaby? Fail. Some wicked lightning. Right. Looks like nobody to a 80s rock video or something. <laughs> Ride the lightning. Yeah. Oh, good God! What was that, King? It's like lightning came down to shut the grave. Ah! Oh.
Royal Family's Tombstone Pile Driver. <laughs> of course. Uh, now, see, here's what's crazy is all these bones didn't get Tombstone. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. Uh. Oh, here we go. Bats. It's always bats. Yeah, bats in games again. Keese. Keese my ass. Reese's Keeses. Surprised they didn't market that back then. Reese's teams up with Nintendo. Buy new Keese's Pieces. To promote Ocarina of Time. Uh, yeah, that would have been terrible. Yeah, I'd be in the shape of... I don't know, those Halloween Reese's uh, cup, uh, cupcakes. Uh, what are they called? The Reese's... Uh, <laughs> not the not the Reese's Pieces, the... Uh, what are they called? The little chocolate uh, Reese's. Whatever they're called. Reese's Pieces? Well, Reese's Pieces like the actual pieces. But what's the actual... The, uh, oh, peanut butter cups. Yeah, butter, peanut what? butter cups, yeah. Cupcakes. <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> I had a teacher named Reese Reese, a kindergarten teacher. I think he used to call her Reese Reese's Reese. Pieces. Oh no. The Redeads. Ah, uh, this is like a, like a big ass toilet. Yeah. Watch out for the shit. Right? The toxic sewage there. <laughs> Are those the same ones when you get close to them, like you freeze? Yeah, and they hug you. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, this is the uh, the day song or whatever sun song, right? Yeah, the ECW song. Yeah, the moon song. I mean, sun song. This is like damn near the best uh, song in the game. Most useful. Yeah. As far as the best sounding, uh, that's a tough one. Probably, uh, I like the song of Storms. Yep. You know. The, uh, the Scarecrow song. <laughs> <laughs> Look off. Quit playing that music in my graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have that ocarina play the sun song at work i guess like to kind of like uh, the time to pass faster to get off and if you can't have the remote control from click that's probably the next best i would play the song for time or whatever it's yeah. called someone at work said if you had to have one superpower what would it be she said the teleport i said i agree because <laughs> i mean instead of driving to work Boom, you're at work. You don't have to go through traffic, you don't have to fly anywhere. Just teleport at Mega Man. Boom, you're there. I would wish for a, uh, a Tesla that has a bed in it. Then it would just drive me. Yeah. Whoa. Link's got good balance here. Yep. Good so news. Some Undertaker stuff there. At the Kakariko Village. You get those crackhead chickens. Yeah. <laughs> those sissies prancing around. Bear 13, his family. <laughs> yeah, remember this guy. Get all the chickens here, help her out with that, and you'll get a bottle. Yeah, you got like four or five more. Yeah. It kind of looks like uh, the teacher from Matilda. I've never seen that. But, uh, wah, 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 wah. 
Yeah, Matilda, it's an alright movie. Danny DeVito's in that movie. The douchebag in that movie. He's like uh, the best character on Sunny. He was also in that movie, what's called, uh, uh, Throw Daddy to the Train. Oh, Throw Lolo from the Train? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got the, uh, the trick from the Goonies. <laughs> Wait, which one? Uh, Chunky? No, the, the, the old chick. The mama. Oh, I thought it said the kid from the Goonies. And yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah, um, I was like, which kid? The main kid or Chunky? Or He made that noise. I was like, uh, that Chunky? But yeah, I don't know why, why, why are you stabbing that box? <laughs> hey, it took a, a link of a while to figure it. It's like, you know, I think I was trying to tell you something. I know she's annoying, but listen to her right here. And she knows what she's talking about. I mean, I, I found that out when I first played this game. I, I knew that, that there was something there because Navi turned green. So I rolled into the crate, and that's how I found the rooster or the chicken or whatever, the, the cuckoos. And... Venom 22, Lewis couldn't figure it out. I said, dude, just roll to the crate right there. It's telling you something. And he did it. He goes, oh, I'm not, well, I don't roll around crates like an idiot all the time, so I won't be able to figure that out. I'm like, no, dude, shut up. You're just mad because I found out before you. I'm <laughs> He goes, who rolls around like an idiot roll to crates? He's, she's telling you to do it. That gives you a clue, the green arrow. Do something. Yeah, come on, Link, do something. Like, pick up the... There you go. Jeez. Listen! Now, Link just got a bottle, didn't he? Did he just, like, steal the cuckoo back from her? <laughs> yeah. She's like, hey, you give that back. That's fine, because, hey, if you, if you return it, you could still keep it. Or something. <laughs> Link apparently has already been down here, so... Oh, yeah, time to get those bugs for later on. Dude, this game really does have a lot of bugs in it. Yeah. At least it's not with yours mask. Ugh. Right? Whoa, I think an airplane is flying over your house right now. Yeah. Who flies at this time of day? Yeah, right. And that wind flare. Or sun flare, or whatever. Sun flare, yeah. Brick flare? Yep, you got it. Go dropping the bugs into the soil right here. Get in there! In order to get another gold sculpture. <laughs> yeah. I just see one of those things in real life. Jesus. It's freaking scary. Can you believe this game is 20 years old? I know, right? 20 years old. <laughs> ah. Ooh, ouch. Now time to go. Oh, be quiet. Oh, Douchebag, fine, then. Look up, I'm watching Canadian football. That nobody cares about. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, this, yeah. this video just got copyright striked by Star Soldier. Oh, okay. All right, now time again. Back in Kakariko Village. So what is Link up to here? Now they see a hole in the wall in the back of the house. There's a hole in the wall house. Instead of a hole in the wall store, fell. Oh yeah, what's up with the, uh, the like little white screen there in the uh, menu? It's supposed to be like Link or whatever. I don't know. I had glitching problems on my LP on the Rumor channel. That 
Where's that? At least the watermark's gone. Yeah. That guard just let Link open the door, straight up going to someone's house without saying anything. The guards here, the guards in Hyrule have always been known to be weak. I mean, granted. You know, they made them away. That's what happens. Granted, Twilight Princess, uh, geez, like, they, they were being taken over by Zant and his army, but still, like, some of those guards were sissies anyway, the ones that were supposed to go and help protect Telma and, and Link and, uh, Lila. They was like, oh, 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 and then, oh, I gotta go, and they all ran out like cowards. It's all about the weight, yeah. Whoa. Skull Skull's up there in the ladder. Gotta kill it first. ECW. Look here. Yeah, watch out for that moon, Link. Oh yeah. No, that's the that's the uh, baby face moon. Ouch. Oh, okay. Now, that's the same moon it turned face. Yeah, it hasn't been put over yet. This is before the moon turned heel. Because remember, this came out before. Oh, okay, face. yeah. You got it, you got it. Now, there's another one. Did you ever collect all 100 of these? Hell no. Me either. I haven't even watched a video of somebody collecting all 100. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, World of Long Place be the one to do it. Okay, that was a waste of time. What? 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 Uh, maybe that's something later. I don't know. Here's this douchebag. Yeah, dude, you're just a kid. You can't read. <laughs> I bet if Link wanted to, could really kill him right now. Just stab him right in the balls. Well, Breaking that might, ball. That might not kill him, but might make him wish he's dead. Yeah, Link's got permission. This is Ricky C. His name is Ricky C? What a plot twist. Ricky C. Ricky C.W. Yeah, I got a dumbass. Don't you see it on my back? It's bigger than me. I know, right? So this douchebag here is going to ask Link a favor after the way he's been treating him. Yeah, that's the way it goes. This is what triggers the uh, game to open the Happy Mask shop for Nate to go into later. I'm sure. I mean. Right. <laughs> Don't pull the trigger. Your name is Tigger. Don't mess with me because I'm a badass. Whoa. Death Mountain Trail. Schwarzenegger. There, there we go. go. Oh, yeah, you said it right that time, unlike Wrath of the Black Panther. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, tech types, or whatever they're called. Yeah. That's Resident Evil spiders or something. No, those are bigger Resident Evil. Oh! Remember those giants, the giant spider in Uninvited? Uh, no. I don't. No. I don't, no. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen or played. Uh, yeah, you were running body doing the LP with me on S2K. Oh man, see, this is what happens when you turn 40. We're <laughs> <sighs> Star Soldiers up there with Saturday you. 64. <laughs> yeah. You never forget that. Right. Jeez, yeah. I wish you could forget it, but anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
And of course, you never forget the black turn white. Yes. That was good. Man, come on, man. If you're gonna beat Ganon, you gotta do better than that. Fighting a freaking giant tar tarantula. You're gonna fight bigger spiders than that. Well, he actually did. did. Yeah, he beat Goma. Come on. If you can beat Goma, you can beat that spider more easier. Well, he did actually beat it more easier, but he had to fight the spider and Twilight Princess. Remember that <laughs> boss battle? Yeah. yeah. Here's Moron. I mean, Goron. Hey. Lay off, lay off the Gorons. <laughs> they rock. You see, you see, we're both racist. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Alright, so this Goron here is talking about what's inside Dodongo's cavern. Link cannot go in there yet. Is this, is this the beginning of the uh, uh, secret crop? Or whatever they yeah, call it? Uh, yeah. Because oh. they say it like five times. Yeah. Moron City. Can I get a rolling rock hill? Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to see a man. Hey. Okay. Bear, I want to see a man. <laughs> I don't know there's anything wrong with that. W. C W. W. A C. Okay. Ah, uh, there. Bomb flowers. Imagine that in real life. Well, yeah. A bomber can disguise a flower. <laughs> disguise a bomb as a flower. Disguise a flower as a bomb. Oh, man. Is this like off the virtual console or something? I don't know. Why? Because it used to be not bomb flowers. It was like, uh... Secret crop or special crop or something like that. Well, I think yeah. I think the other Gorons talk about it later on when we go inside the city. Yeah, I'm probably just old. Yep, that's probably. <laughs> yeah, and Link cannot pick up. He has to have the special Goron bracelet or whatever the gauntlet, gauntlet, whatever the heck it's called. Got to run the gauntlet here with Clint Eastwood and his wife. All right, Goron City. And they, uh, they feel lucky. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're in Venezuela. Is he scratching his ass like Homer Simpson? <laughs> Pretty much. It's a rock hard butt. <laughs> yeah, he must work out. Yep. Pump you up. Remember the episode of Beast and Butthead where they're at the gym and they're watching that woman work out? She turns around, turns out it was a man with blonde hair. Oh, yeah. Beavis goes, ah! And Butthead goes, you were checking out a dude's butt. Shut up, buddy. You were checking them out, too. No, I wasn't. Uh, I was just seeing if you noticed and stuff. Uh, 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 pshaw, pshaw. What is that in the way? Oh, it's the uh, platform. Oh, the redstone. That's super crap. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the Gora. Good. You remember the spiritual stone of ECW? Uh, no. The April Fool's joke I played that year. X1 Saint edited the uh, Kokiri Stone to say ECW, and it was a uh, April Fool's video. And I said I discovered a, another secret stone, a uh, glitch in the game, thanks to so and so for helping me out. And it was a spiritual stone of ECW. Uh, yeah. Someone got mad. I think a few people got mad. Thumbs down the video. You douchebag. Yeah. 
Remember, I made a uh, April Fools video where I just said, "Not like on YouTube." No, I'm not April Fools. Yeah, that was in the thumbnail too. April Fools. Hey guys, happy April Fools Day. That's it. Bye. But of course, none would beat the uh, April Fools joke of uh, 2010. Oh, absolutely. Good stuff. As I, as I was say, if you don't remember that, then something really is wrong with you. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, if I didn't remember that, I would just... I think even if you, if you were to get Alzheimer's one day, you probably still remember that. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yep, I'd be sitting in a wheelchair in a old folks home. And this time, Jeff comes up to you and flips you out of your wheelchair. How's it feel, J-Man? <laughs> I've been waiting for this year. I've you! I've been waiting forever! Yeah. <laughs> then he coughs, falls over, and dies. This time he falls asleep for good. That was his mission in life before dying, just to get you back, tip you out of your chair. Oh, this guy uh, is Darunia, the king of the Gorons, and he's pretty pissed. Ah, there it is. There it is. Yep, special crop. He has a good reason, though, to be pissed off. He says, this is a moron problem. Okay, then. Hey, good luck with that. Yeah. I wish you well. Oh, wait. You're... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we already heard that. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, that damn thing at the top is back. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what that is. I don't remember okay. seeing that. I don't remember seeing that when I played this game. And that is not the right song to play. In front of Darunia, he's like, nope, nope. Uh, Link is twiggered. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's uh, uh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? What the what is <laughs> Why is a uh, five-year-old Bio Phoenix spinning around with the statue there? Yeah, it's like a uh, street fighter. I mean, foil. Streets of four, are you? We're on shop. Hey, ECW. ECW. Back. You gotta have a bag. Welcome to the shop, you can't buy anything, but, yeah. You can look around. Feel free to grab. Nice, oh, uh, Steve Bomber, thank you. <laughs> bombs, bombs, bombs! Yeah. Oh, you can hear Saria's song. Yeah, that, uh, that Sorry bitch. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stop right here as Link continues to venture on. We will see that happen in part four. Until then, God bless and take care. Have a good one. Welcome to time to or let's play a Golden Eye, part ten. This is Ron Moore along with Bio Phoenix and Mexico. Hello everyone. It's good to be here again. Or yeah. is it? Alright, yeah, now we're in the statue park. And there should be a statute of limitation. No, wait, fail. Uh oh. <laughs> this level always creeped me out as a kid. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, like that uh, statue would look like. Ooh, it looks haunted. Yeah, it looks like a statue of uh, Kenneth the Baker, the president of Arms Tech in Metal Gear Solid, or Fat Man in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, yeah, nice reference. 
somebody, one of my, uh, one of the people that subscribed to you actually was uh, live streaming Metal Gear Solid 2 today, fighting Fat Man. <laughs> oh, nice. Two guns, because two guns are better than one. Right. <laughs> nice moves. <laughs> Not so smooth, I think so. Ow. Yeah. Smooth. Who remembers M.I. Smooth from WCW? Oh, wow. I I've never thought I'd ever hear that name again, seriously. Mr. Information <laughs> Smooth, formerly known as Ice Train. Wow. Now I'm at a loss of words. Isn't that right? Oh, oh, I. I look, at, look at his hat! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! He, he died for the uh, paint fumes. <laughs> Man, paintballs are more dangerous than real bullets. What's going on here? But this music doesn't fit the stage. I always found the, the music was kind of like weird. Duh! AC Duh! <laughs> Easy dub is like triumphant music, like you're a hero. All right, you're doing it. You're doing great. Keep, keep it up. Yeah, like at first it sounds really creepy and like dark, and then it's like it goes to like superhero music. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know what they were doing here. Yeah. And I am like lost. Me. It takes me forever to find Valentine sometimes. Good thing this is like... in Mexico. Fail. No, I'm just... <laughs> no, isn't he a um? A shipment container or something. He's in the orange, uh, yeah, orange shipment container, whatever it's called. Yeah, he's. If I could just find that, I'd be good. And then you got all this like weird stuff on the wall. <laughs> Whoa! Well, who should? Oh, well, thank you, idiot. You helped me find it. <laughs> wow. Hey there. You know, sometimes I find myself just hanging out in shipping containers for just no reason. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> yeah. Had, they had to find a private place to meet, even though this is different from the movie. Because in the movie they meet, well, Bond finds him at his at Valentine's club, and then they go into Valentine's office to talk. And then, that's when uh, later on, uh, I think Valentine sets up a meeting, helps him set up a meeting with Yanis in the statue park right here. Oh, all right. I yeah, gotcha. and it's actually always think it was Janice. <laughs> Janice. ECW. Da, 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 da. ECW. E What's this giant sewing machine? Oh, yeah. you see that? Some dumbass <laughs> threw a grenade trying to hit me and end up killing one of their own. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. I would say friendly fire, that's more like, um, excuse my language, dumbass fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that now? Okay, now I gotta find where Yanis is at. Hide and seek. Yeah, oh, this is where you know you're going the right way. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> This is where you know you're going the right way when people are shooting at you. Makes sense. See, that's why I like watching your uh, LPs or whatever. You never know what you're going to see. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to see. Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. Where anything can happen here at the World Wrestling Federation? And you never know what's going to happen. Shut up, man. <laughs> I think your pace going to fall off. Oh, look out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I love these guns right here. The AK, uh, no, assault rifle, whatever they're called. Looks like an M16. Uh, is the M16? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a sniper, I isn't think it? They are. Isn't that a sniper well, it's, rifle? No, nah. it's, a, it's, it's an assault rifle. It looks like that. Oh. And I think it's called AK-47, I don't know, AKA, I don't know. Nah, I'd rather take it AK-74. That statue again. Alright. The creepy statue. Well, they're just appearing out of thin air. Yanis and his <laughs> men. Alright, that's it, I'm out of here, I'm scared. Alright. I'm scared! No, I'm not gonna put away the gun. Forget you. Put the gun away. 
<laughs> sure. Right. See what's gonna want to use on him. Now I better just uh, play safe right here. Whoa, what? Alec Trevelyan is Yanis? You gotta be kidding me. We know, we know whose side he was on. <laughs> Not ours. Not me. Well, it's me, Bond! It was me all along! What have you done with Natalia Neidhart? I don't know, but her father's going to the Hall of Fame with Bret Hart this year. Yeah! What a shocking turn of events. Yanis is Alec. He's been alive these past nine years. Yeah, let me bring a knife to a gunfight here. <laughs> it's like, hold on, I gotta look at my watch for a sec. Yeah. This game was futuristic before, uh, nowadays. Now everybody has smart watches and they do the exact same thing. Yeah. That or be glued <laughs> to their phone. <laughs> a few years ago uh -huh. when I see people talk on their watches now, I'm like, who are you, James Bond? <laughs> Yes, he's the AR-33 assault rifle. That's what it is. Oh, I got three minutes to get to the helicopter. Uh-oh. Did you just say three minutes? Uh-oh. <laughs> Rest in peace, Umaga. Definitely. Or Jamal, or whoever he was out of the two. Jamal? Yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. Yeah, I remember. Rosie, too, passed away. Yeah. Actually, this December, I think, be ten years he passed. Wow. The same month as, I think, Patrick Swayze and Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Crazy stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember seeing Three Minute Warning, uh, I think, live in Phoenix, Arizona, going or whatever to Monday Night Raw, and I was like, those guys are huge. I'm afraid of them. Who they beat up that night? Was it those, uh, uh the, the two lesbians? Uh, the one night that I'd seen or whatever, I remember it was, it, it, there was a Phoenix episode where I, I think the Dudley Boys, I think it was like eight on one, eight on two or something. It was the one day when Dudley Boys got beat up by like a, a grip of people or whatever, when Eric Bischoff saw, I don't know. It was, it was that night. And I remember them being there too. Three minute warning. Wow. I remember the be those two lesbians. Remember Eric Bischoff and HLA? Oh, yeah. And then the, uh, the, those two women must be tough. They really took a beating. I think that they were stiff with them. The, the body splash off the top turn, uh, turnbuckle. And I, the only thing I didn't like about Three Minute Warning was their instant music. I thought it was stupid. That was the stupidest music I've ever heard. Three minutes and an hour to kill. <laughs> Shut up. You could have had better music. I don't know if Jim Johnston was responsible for that or what, but he could have done better than that, but oh well. What were they thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, gotcha. Rosie, after they split up, Rosie became the SHIT. Oh, yeah. Superhero in training. Yeah. With the hurricane. Yeah. Oh, I don't man. know. So now I uh, rescued Natalia. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, I'm gone then. Later, guys. Finish the rest of the LP. Yeah. We're out of here. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, what whoa, is this? Whoa. whoa. What's going on? That guy's... Oh, he's mad. Calm down, dude. Does the letter in the fence mean James Bond? <laughs> right? Calm down, man. Eat a Snickers. You're not yourself. Here. Yeah. Better? No? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot you. Now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Perhaps you'd like to shut up. Shut up. All right, Ron. Well, I guess I will. Right. <laughs> no. No. They didn't, even, they, they didn't even disarm him. Yeah, he still has to he go. Still <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All That's right. all. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. All right. So that is the end of part ten. See you guys in part eleven in the archives. Until then, God bless and take care. All right, take it easy, everyone. Goodbye, good night, good day, good whatever. Hey, everyone, Body Phoenix here. <laughs>
Welcome to part 11 of GoldenEye. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy. It's good to be back. Or is it? All right. <laughs> All right. So, Bond and Natalia have been captured. Uh, <clears throat> they let him wow. hold the rifle. Yeah, I'm like, what's the deal with that? What? Are... We could stop him anyways. You sound a bit like Small Tommy Wonderful there. <laughs> Alright, so they're there. Look at that guy on the left. Creepy looking. Creepy pasta. Easy dump for you. Music sounds all detective, detective y and then all heroic. <laughs> it can't make up its mind on what what it wants to be. Yeah, just like in the Statue Park. Oh shoot! Yeah, Ooh. oh shoot is right as they shoot me and oh, what's the matter, guys? Man, you guys are horrible shots. I just oh. love how that one guy just rolled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm rolling because this is funny because <laughs> I'm in ECW mode. You guys can't shoot me. Well, you can, but you miss. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Ah, yep. rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, yes, got my Desperado guns here. It's always fun being an ECW wiener. An ECW wiener? <laughs> yeah, yep. Indeed. What she said. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa. Oh. I thought I killed that creepy guy already. He, there's his life again. Jeez. Maybe he's a zombie. There he is again. It's like quad, quadruplets or something. I don't know what's going on here. This Someone's is getting too creepy for me. Blank. There he is again. What the heck? Whoa. There he is again. He's breaking into my neighbor's car. I can hear their alarm going off. Whoa, is that Dr. Light? Yep, skip. There's your map. Man, forget your map. I bet Skip's jealous that I finally hit 100k. I mean 100k. Uh, 1k on, uh, I wish 100k. 1k on the Rombor channel. Yeah. You're jumping the gun quite a bit there, I'd say. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet! Not yet! Whoa, you sound like no I'm be <laughs> being censored by YouTube. Yeah. Ooh. There's a petition against Mexico. I just know it. Yeah. And I know who started it. They're in this call. He he rolled in the door. He's trying not to laugh, look at him. Well, kinda hard not to. So I gotta rescue Natalia and but before I leave, Natalia, I gotta talk to Defense Minister Miskin and get the key from him in order to get something from the safe. I forgot. Is it safe to go in there? Let's start to light again. Hmm. It's a creepy guy again. Oh, is it creepy bastard? Or oh, creepy pasta? Or whatever it's called? <laughs> yeah. Creepy pasta. Either or. or. Whoa. All I heard was, it all, all, all. Dang it, I'm using J-Man's internet. Are you sure you're not using Small Tubby Wonderful's internet? No, I don't have his password. He's watching. Hey! Now, wait a minute. I upgraded my service, so shut up. Why do you still sound like Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jeff is Small Tubby Wonderful's love child. That's disturbing. Good Whoa. lord, you sounded like a Family Guy character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Man. Sounds like, sounds like, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. It's not like the boss or, or crime boss from the cartoon cops or some sort of New York gang gangster. <laughs> listen here, say, listen here, suck face. Oh, gosh. That, that brings me back to when I was like 13 years old and we were like right in the middle of moving to Iowa. And there was this lady, according to my brother and my uncle, and <laughs> we, were, we were looking for more boxes. And... 
she was like, don't touch those boxes over there, you see? You see? And then my brother turns around and goes, meh! <laughs> <laughs> now that's an awesome story. Cool and story, like, sis. What? Cool. <laughs> cool. Makes a cool story, sis. Before I escape with Natalia Neidhart, I have to find Defense Minister Michigan, who in the movie was played by the same actor who plays the bad guy in the first Bad Boys. Whoa. And he's in here. True story. Okay. Alright, as uh, Lady Zelda's dogs make an appearance and commentary. Yeah. Apparently. Who let the dogs out? Well, you can thank the neighbors for that because they're noisy. <laughs> yeah, Bond knows firsthand that uh, even best friends can be capable of a betrayal. I got the say. Where did she come from? What? Okay. You got me. You got me. All right, now I got whatever the heck that was. Now I can escape with Natalia. Whoa, look at the Castlevania sky here. What the heck? Uh, I don't know. Weird. Or is it? Yeah, we. Yeah, what is this? Resident Evil LP? This, this ain't Mexico's LP. Dun 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 dun. Stone Cold! <laughs> Stone oh, no, wait. That means Bond and Talia. Look at Talia trying to look badass. You, were, you wouldn't be there if, if it wasn't for Bond. Exactly. Oh, that Gentoo is here. Yeah, you'd be in the kitchen instead. <laughs> All Jeez. right, so see you guys in part 12 where we take it to the streets. Until then, All God right. bless and take care. Or is it? Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time here in Long Long what? Ranch here in Part 4. This is Ron Moore along with Lady Zelda in Mexico. Thank you very much, Raven Inspector. Okay. <laughs> Even more southerner -er, Raven Inspector. Nailed it. Well, Mario let himself go right here. Jeez, in his retirement days. Holy smokes. That one chicken. The one chicken's pecking him to death. Oh wait. <laughs> ECW. <laughs> As Lady Zelda's dog makes an appearance. Or maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. If only. Is Lady Zelda still there? <laughs> Yes. Oh, there she is. Yes, okay. You just can't see her. You just can't oh. see her. Oh. So she's a female John Cena. You can't hear me. All right. So this is the bonus game right here, where you gotta find three of the right chickens that you're supposed to bring back to him. It's like uh, this is, uh now work for our sponsor, KFC. I was thinking the exact same thing. Easy to KFC. Um, Alright, so Link has just captured three of the chickens, and you get a bottle right here. Barbecue sauce? Uh, you know, no, this ain't J the Legend of JR. Alright, so now Link leaves oh, that. Man, and phone. Yeah. Long, long range. When I first got to this part of the game, for some reason I just <laughs> was like, Whoa, welcome to Long, Long Ranch! Welcome to Long, Long Ranch! So, seriously, you know, okay... Nintendo did this on purpose. This guy looks like Luigi. You know, you got Mario, then Luigi here. Luigi turned heel finally. He got sick of Mario getting all the glory. 
turned on him like Matt Hardy turned on Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Or which way <laughs> yeah, I remember that 10 yeah. years ago. I remember that storyline. Matt yep, loves you, Jeff. Fine, Matt loves you, Jeff. He still jumped off the ladder and threw a table. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's how brothers are. I would know. All right, it's time to stop horsing around. And here's Malin. I freaking love Malin. <laughs> yeah. Malin reminds me of, uh, I don't know, she makes me think of Kolvok or Cowback from SC2K. Oh, yeah. Epona. Whoa. A lot of horse. This game has a lot of horsepower. And now a sponsor from our sponsor. <laughs> He's a, now a sponsor Crown from Royal. our word. The sponsor from our word. I've been drink drinking too much uh, Crown Royal. Yeah, well, Jamie is not in this part. I think Alexa put a stop to that. And all right, so now Link is putting. Uh, I mean, he's learning the opponent song. Easy double you, double you. Easy double, you. Tibbs is watching. Ronnie, you waited all the whole time to say that. <laughs> it's how you ruined the song. No, I thought he made it better. No, oh, no, the magical moment. Ah, uh, you know, I miss Tibbs' presence on here. I do, too. Ah, oh, does that douchebag get out of here? You hear what I right. have to say again? No. Yeah, Tibbs is missed. Especially in an LP like this. Yeah. I uh, appreciate all your work, Tibbs. Yep. You did really. He'll probably most likely be in the less disgusted, if nothing else. I right, got another gold sculpture. Now Link is going, I think, to the, yeah, that barn over there to get a heart piece. Oh, look out. Oh, I thought these would get ran over right there. Oh, man, that would have been, that would have been brutal. Actually, Nintendo used Home on the Range as the music for this part of the game, but they got sued and had to change it. No, not really, but... Alright, now Link is going to get the heart piece. And now, word from our sponsor. Got milk? As you push the, the rocks, crates... Exactly. Let's see. Whoa. We don't have a cow, man. I remember I told the teacher that. The teacher got really mad at me. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> though. I was like, I was like, I told you not to have a cow. Right, yeah. You did the opposite. You did the opposite, and now somehow I was sitting in detention. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate, you know? Alright, have a heart. Peace. Oh. I've seen one of those before at a pawn shop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Come on, financial aid and placement services are available. Whoa. Told you, worth more sponsor. Yeah. Not really. Not really! No, it really happened. Ron Moore hit over a thousand subscribers. Yeah, it's it about happened. time. It took 12 years, but hey. It's very late. ECW years. Better late than never, right? And I can brag that I was like one of the first few hundred subscribers. Yeah, that's right. Along with J-Man, Swindoll, Bear. I guess formerly we got. I don't know if we got still subscribed to me or not. It's <laughs> an interesting question. Then again, they're not, that, that does not necessarily mean he unsubscribed because what I've been hearing, YouTube unsubscribes people from channels. It's true. It's damn true. Which is messed up.
I know there's a feature like in YouTube or whatever you could go to or whatever. And you can see who's subscribed to you and it actually tells you a date or whatever. Like when these people subscribe to you. Yeah, Going Mon was one of my very first subscribers. And then he resubscribed to me a while back and I said, oh, well, hey, thanks for subbing again. He goes, I, I thought I was already subbed to you. So, so that yeah, so, something's not YouTube right with that, yeah. I get very mad if YouTube did that because I think I've been subscribed to you for a long time. And if it did that or whatever, then, well. Yeah. Ugh. Like, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Subscribed. Well, look I've out been for the. For years. Look, look out for the pee hats. Uh oh. Run, you idiot! Be like, oh, what is this? Oh, never mind. He's trying to kill me. Never mind. Exactly. When I first played this game, and it has like, oh shoot, and I, was, <laughs> I ran away from it. Back in the Kokiri Forest. The stuff nightmares are made out of. Yeah. Oh, don't turn into a creepy pasta. Yeah. <laughs> the ECW, the ECW. You know, Tibbs was in this part. He would be telling stories. This part right here amazed me. Back then, just think about it. In the Lost Woods, and, and just go into this story time voice that would just uh, put you to sleep in a good way. J-Man always said Tibbs had that storytelling voice that would just put you right to sleep. He'd be perfect like for reading like a bedtime story or something. He'd be like, alright, I'm going to play this uh, bedtime story read by Tibbs. Good night, kids. Imagine him reading a creepypasta story to you as you Ooh. go to sleep. That's some nightmares for sure. Oh man, that would be a game changer. Yeah. Tibbs reads creepypasta. Coming soon. Yeah. There's a restaurant that actually serves a pasta and they call it creepy pasta. No, not really. I made that up. But then again, who knows? Who knows? Maybe by now there probably is. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Oh no! Whoa! His name is Link, you idiot. Who is this angry guy right here? Angry birds? The original Angry Birds is probably a Ninja Gaiden. I can see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just broke his neck. Oh. Ow. Could you imagine a Ninja, a, a Ninja Gaiden and Angry Birds crossover game? Oh, jeez. Somebody's Thank, gotta do it. Thanks for the nightmares. Yes, please fly out here now. I'd rather deal with the Ninja Gaiden birds than him, but anyway. There's always yeah, that indeed. flappy bird where you have these ridiculously difficult controls. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I never got into that. I think I, yeah, I played it one time and that was like the end. Yeah, Link, I don't think you can quite dive that far yet. You gotta follow your ears, follow your heart, follow the music. Follow your nose! Wait, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Toucan Sam, who made his appearance in Barbie for the NES. Oh, yeah. Was well that as, LP on the channel? Yeah, and uh, Linus Spacehead, he, he, as well, he uh, made, made an appearance in that game, I think. Uh. <laughs> uh. Good idea. Oh, right the side of the head. There Which we, go. we go. Which way do we go? All right. I'm getting lost. I'm not even playing the game. Yeah, oh. As a member of the wolf pack. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. I think yep. that's how it goes. This, this is scary. Me. Yeah. We might wind Whoa. up in the body bag. Alright. This sacred wolf has been pwned. Now it's time to go through here. But you gotta watch out though because Sloth. 
Sloth and his brothers, or whatever these things are, juggernauts, were knocking to the water, knocking against the wall. Whoa. Oh, these wait. These guys broke up. Whoa. Yeah, those, those are not the Deku scrubs that talk to you. Broke. And take money from us. No, not really. Come on, Link, hit him with the guitar. Camera angles are much oh, better than in Mario 64 and Castlevania 64. You uh, can do it. <coughs> there we go. Oh, wait, man, I think it has adult Link with those juggernauts to knock you in, uh, to the water. Never mind. Holy smokes. Tibbs, get it right, Ronnie. <laughs> We will. We'll just put it in the description. Anything we messed up on, we'll just put it in the description. Yep. Well, here we are. The Sacred Forest Meadow. And there she is. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. Ha! How long has she been waiting? Never keep a lady waiting. I think he's warm. And she uses the uh, HEB rotisserie chicken to play her song. <laughs> Easy freaking dub, Easy double you. So <laughs> Whoa. The game won't let you forget. I was when I first played this. I'm like, man, how how am I gonna remember all these songs? Oh wait, ever, you just go to your inventory screen. You know, I still remember when I asked you and Tibbs, oh, who went around collecting all gold sculptures? I did. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was like, of course you did. And I'm like, of course. <laughs> I knew course. you would. And I'm just like, uh, I got some here and there, but I was kind of lazy about it. Yeah, I cared about the main quest. Right. Well, also cared, I also cared about the bigger and sword, and that was a uh, disappointment. <laughs> or at least one of them is that I think I forgot. Like, doesn't it break after a while, or do you gotta get the right one? Uh, that's a good question. Somebody in the comment section would yeah. know the answer to that. T tips? Not me. Yeah, Tibbs. Tibbs. I want to say it breaks over time, but I can't swear to it. That's where my memory's kind of like, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> oh, I think if you... I forgot. I don't know if you buy it, and then it breaks real quick, just by cutting grass or something. One time it broke on me. Uh, but if you got go through all that trouble, like go, run all those errands, and get the bigger and sword that way, I think that lasts the whole game. Then again, I don't, I don't know. I'm probably way off on that. It's been a while. Maybe. He dun, dun. Broke over 6,000 guitars, never drew a dime. Uh, yeah. It's been a while. Uh oh, man. The copyright strike. <laughs> no, we got flagged by Jeff Jared because I just said that. I'm sorry, Jared. I actually like you. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah, forget Elias. We like Jeff Jared. Nope, I still got a guitar coming towards me. Is it the 20 miles per hour? Is it the Zoro guitar? Ah. I mean, I mean Zoro. Did I say Zoro? Zora guitar? Zora? I don't know, but it's gonna hurt. You again? Jeez. Yeah, is hope this this owl yeah. from uh, the Iron Masters commercials? Yeah, owl bundy. Two pairs of glasses, sixty-nine dollars. <laughs> Was not for the Tootsie Roll commercials. <laughs> Oh. Do the, do the Tootsie Roll! Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it on me. I'm gonna start laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke his neck again. He won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck! And all without the help of Mr. Rogers. Exactly. Holy smokes. Well, rest in peace, Mr. Rogers. 
<laughs> Indeed. I'll think about uh, Skip Rogers every time I use a map. Yeah. That's the only Rogers I ever think of. Hello. Man, Achievement. I remember. Achievement unlocked. Use a map. That reminds Dude, me of that one things. time where I was just like, we have the maps you need, and you're just like, okay, Mrs. Skip Rogers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have an actual map. Map. It's a bike map or whatever and all that for, like, bike trails or whatever. So every time I use that or whatever, I always think of Skip Rogers whenever I'm riding my bike. Yeah, I use GPS. Well, I know Skip would love that. Skip, use the GPS. Yeah. You, Mexico, use your uh, map. Use your actual map. Pull out this big-ass paper map. Or like that one scammer right, told Hoax Hotel. Check your goggle map. Goggle map. Yeah, check your goggle map. Now I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on the internet right now and type in goggle map. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Link got the hard piece from the Skull Kid is now back at Cra Crackhead Village. Whoa. Indeed. <laughs> Remember, folks. Remember, kids. Crack is whack. Jeez, Bastion Booger now is talking to Link here. E C W. I love that song. I just forget the words of the song. Remember the part uh, in the Majora's Mask where you talk to one of those four giants and they're teaching you the next song to learn, and one of them goes. And I go, forever I go, stuck in my head. And I said, E C W. And Tibbs goes, <laughs> Ronnie's been waiting the whole video to say that. Good gosh, y'all just like him. Oh, we should make a ROM hack with that, Ron. And G then when somebody be playing it, that it goes E C W. Nah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Jeff has been cursed here. Uh. No, I, I, he just didn't get enough sleep. That's all it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> you know what, Ronnie? At least I don't watch Matlock. And at least I didn't play Shoutgate 64. Oh, man. And I could have Toppy Bear of the Genesis. No, it would not. <laughs> <laughs> Argument invalid. <laughs> I could have Toppy Bear of the Saturn. Nah. Probably not. Definitely not. not. Saturn don't have that 3D power, huh? Yeah. Whoa, we guys pretty happy. Oh, thanks, we guy for the adults wallet. Whoa, what did he do? Did he Wait, pocket from somebody? Well, you know, it counts because of all of my donations from on Twitch. Uh, all right. Whoa, how do we open the door? And end up in Moron City. The I don't know. Dude, what's a moron? If, if for those of you following me on Facebook, you saw my vacation pictures. I took a picture of a mountain, and Ravnus Spectre posted, "Go visit the Gorons." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't think about that too. He said it. I was like, "What? What?" I was supposed to be in Gerudo Valley here, <laughs> not, not the Gorons. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this song will put him in a good mood, and he won't be such a, a douche. Hopefully, it won't put me to sleep. This part is hilarious right here. Well, if we hear Mexico snoring, we'll know why. Yeah. <laughs> Link just backs off slowly, like, what the heck? <laughs> I would, too. All right. Oh! Slowly, oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on, come on! Seamon! Seamon. The, the hot beat. Bust the flow, Mexico. Well, my yeah, name right. is Link. I don't wear pink. Watch out, cause uh, uh I like I like the fink. What fell? <laughs> Shoot, I'm that Jane man. I don't bust rhymes. Just like that, depression's gone. You know what? If maybe sor sorry, a song is a cure for depression. There you go. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Or is it? Oh, the spiritual stone of fire. He's all, he's all serious business again all of a sudden. Well, what about Ron the Moore's of ECW? What was that? The Ballad of ECW? But what about the spiritual stone of ECW? Oh, yeah. 
That's a very <laughs> rare stone to find. I only found that one time. That's back in 2011. April 1st, 2011. You've got the thing! Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. I just, I, it, that thought just popped up in my head. What if, like, he held up a stone and it said ECW? He goes, you got the spiritual stone of ECW! And I started laughing to myself. And I had my friend make that for me. And that was hilarious. Stupid, but hilarious. You had I still to be love there that. to experience it. Yeah. And then watch all the little other Hylians be all like, well, we were told that there was only three spiritual stones. Yeah, then the video gets <laughs> copyright claimed by WWE for using the ECW logo. And then I can see that happening. Yeah, I can definitely see that happening. Yeah, seriously. You know, if they want a con content ID or, or or third party, that's fine. But that'd be messed up the copyright claim. So much for being an ECW winner. Yep. You're a winner. Wait, You're a winner. Link don't need to go through there. What's it? It's time. Now Link should be able to go inside the Dongo's <laughs> cavern. Do it, Link. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do, do it. Do the thing. Do it live. All right, that was brilliant. I right, ten years ago, when I first seen that. Freaking thing sucks. I'll ride it and we'll do it live. Jeez, who's that? What just stop me here? The ball rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. Sorry, Bear Thirteen. We'll let you get back to your regularly scheduled ECW. Is regular scheduled NHL hockey? Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Wait, is this where you actually talk to the the Biggeron? Big Goron? You got me. You got me. You got my. Yeah, I nope. believe it is. So I don't know why Link's going here yet. He, uh, probably not a good time to go here. Unless he just wants to get the place ready for later on. Oh, smart. Clear, clear the path for later on. Oh, you better hurry. Hurry. Oh, oh fail. Uh, oh, is this Mexico playing now? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> NLP, NLP with Mexico. Yeah, Resident Evil Broad Chronicles. Check it out. Oh, wait. Oh, fail. He bounced off the, oh. the wall. It does look like me playing. <laughs> Next thing you know, what's this guy doing? It looks like he's just fishing. Yeah. What's he like, doing? Hello, guys. What's he doing, Mommy? Oh, there he is. What does oh. this word mean? <laughs> yeah. What is ECW? You might get that a lot. <laughs> ECW. That's, that's why I li literally created the video. What does ECW mean? And I sent it to this one girl that I worked with. And she responded with, I still don't get it. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. Well, well get over here and let me slime you through a table. Yeah, you get it now? Half Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Half Nelson. <laughs> Half. <laughs> We're taking over the BWO. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> And then watch the other people at, at like whatever wherever this is taking place. Hey, can you do that again? I'll pay ya. <laughs> oh, oh Link. <laughs> you know I used to fail right here too, so I can't be too hard on Link. Oh, this looks like fun. Oh, why, why can't money? Why can't money grow that fast on uh, trees or in a well, place? Be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Come on. I have some money oh, right on, here. Don't, Actually, don't a few, pull a Mexico. Uh, I, have a, I still have a few pesos. It's just souvenirs now. Sweet. Ha! Ah. You can use oh, them at Jeff's store. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, well, I don't know. I have 550 pesos left for my vacation. Jeez, how much did you get for that? $17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so Link enters the Dodongo's Cavern, and we will see that in part five. Until then, God bless and take care. See you later. That's the end for now. Or is it? Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 12. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady GoldenEye. Oh, oh, oh funny. <laughs> Insert fake laugh right there. And we, oh, oh, oh. And we play as uh, J Man here. The name's J Bond. J Man Bond fell. Alright. J Crown Royal Man. Yeah. J Dog. Damn, that's hard yeah, to J -Dog, say. Yeah, J Dog, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're taking this <laughs> to the Let's streets. J Dog in the house. Those are twins insert standing there next to each other. <laughs> Ronnie will insert J-Man's rap video at the end of this video. <laughs> yeah. That's more old school. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, Hitler! Die! Because he's a dog. J-Dog. Hey. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, oh, here we go. Gotta get inside the tank. I love this part. Yeah, me too. Well, listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ECW. Now it's not the time to check what time it is. Oh, wait. Party time! Yeah. Oh, yeah, I use tank bullets, of course. Unlimited tank bullets. Yeah. Oh, it's a strong building. Uh, that it is, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I missed a car! Oh, I didn't that time. Or did you? Huh, <laughs> right. Oh, move out the way, civilians. Oh, that guy's an yeah. idiot! Look at that! Oh, I guess I'll just walk casually toward the tank and shoot. Oh, yuck, yuck. Well, let's just stand right in the middle of the street, why don't we? Yeah. <laughs> that guy's fearless. Oh, the explosion actually got him, not not the tank. Alright, so now I gotta look for uh, Valentine, or whatever his name is. Ouch. Ouch is right. There you go, I gotta try to jump. Or he did jump. Scratch. He did jump, but oh. he jumped into a tank bullet. Oh, mine or your own business? Oh yeah, what? that totally oh, gives a whole new meaning to mine your business. Whoa, the rules are reversed. Now they're using rocket launchers on May. But I'm invincible, so haha. <laughs> too bad, too sad. You guys can't touch me. Can't, can't touch, touch this. this. Dun, 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 dun. ECW, you can't touch this. Can't touch this. Next week, we'll get MC Hammer and Vince Russo on this LP. Oh, jeez. Didn't Butthead say one time, touch what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, these cars should be parked in the middle of the street like that. Yeah, those people fail their driving test. Yeah, let's just park right here in the middle of the street. Yeah. Okay, I got here and found Valentine. The time's running out. Uh oh. What happens when the clock hits zero? Y two J. No, I'm shaking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> when I first seen that, I, th I was like, I wonder if it's the Ultimate Warrior coming out. No. Some older guy that I used to know or whatever that watched wrestling was all into it he kind of speculated he said oh no it's gonna be chris jericho and i'm like who and he's like well you'll see i think the internet revealed that kind of i'll use yeah, these moonraker he... laser guns and time is up uh-oh ah, okay well what do i do now you just pulled the mexico you failed i bowered i bowered how does one pull a mexico you just have to fail in your video, that's it. Ah, fair hey, enough. Mexico, <laughs> pull my finger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Ron always sees in my videos like some weird glitches or something that's not supposed to happen, usually happens. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hey, you, sir, come here. Come here, where is Valentine? Where's the room off? Get out of here, go fix your teeth. Ooh. Maybe he was just trying to do jazz hands. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like douche hands. Oh, look out. <laughs> Move, you in idiot, innocent civilian. More like idiot civilian. Get out the way! 
Move. Whoa, whoa, a quick cut to here. Here's, here's Valentine's Day, whatever his name is. Valentine. Holy. Okay, and we talked to him. Talking to him buys me more time because he contacts his contacts and slows down a room off. That's a lot to say, and that's a lot to take in. Yeah. What's it for you, Valentine? Business is business. Mr. Bond, I'd like to see my competitors out of action. Fair enough. Objective A completed. Alright, so I, he bought me some time here. And I gotta hurry up and rescue Natalia. Get out of the way, Seth Green. Oh, oh, wait, there. Okay, now he did it. That's right. Man, five extra minutes. There we go. There we go. There's been plenty of time to catch up with Natalia and. A a a a a a a a a whatever his name is, <laughs> and we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> I think our Ron mower is malfunctioning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This video is sponsored by SC2K. Oh wait. And Pedialyte. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, one brand dog food. If J-Man was here, you know what it'd be sponsored by. The J-Man Crown Royal. Yep. The Crown Royal Rumble. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to see that become a thing now. Crown Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, J-Man and his drunk friends. No, J-Man, Sandman, uh, Steve Austin, whoever else drinks. <laughs> you know, that would be actually pretty interesting. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Ronnie and then, in Mexico oh. on commentary. Oh, Mr. Leahy. Mr. Leahy would be in that <laughs> Royal Rumble. He would freaking win it. Alright. Guess I'll put my boat down for that one. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to this uh, driving test simulator. Right. <laughs> yeah. Battle tanks for Nintendo 64. This is why you shouldn't drink and drive, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, more rocket launchers. He's a rocket man. Yeah. The movie The Rock. Have you seen Rocket Man or have you listened to Rocket Man? Well, it's you. You're the Rocket Man. Ooh. Holy crap. Get out of the way, oh, idiot! <laughs> guy's trying to die. We're just going to casually just roll over these. <laughs> yeah. Get off the streets, you idiot. Go hide somewhere. All this Take chaos out, out here. Talk. Have y'all seen the movie? Yes. Remember this part of the movie? Ah, this he tried to jump out the way. You see that? He's too late. Oh. Too that, bad, too sad. That civilian is running toward me. I think he does have a death wish. Yeah, the movie was awesome. Like, he's just going through town, the tank, trying to catch up to a room off and Natalia. That was a pretty awesome part. One of my favorite parts of the movie, yeah. I'm like, ooh, Look at this tank. guy. I try to hit him. Flirting with disaster, he is. You can't touch him. Yeah, unfortunately. For, forget it, I'm getting out of here. Uh, there we go. Them like a boss. Though. That's right, don't look back at the explosions. Well, background explosions make everybody look cooler. Right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to so go test out your theory. <laughs> the next level will be the depot or the teapot or the... Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot, whatever it's called. Next thing you know, Ron Mower's new entrance. Dan it, Dan it, explosion. <laughs> Ron Mower. Uh, yeah, new intro. <laughs> Maybe about Brian Trusty? <laughs> Who knows? Until then, God bless and take care. Stay crown royal. All right. Oh, man, I forgot to record. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. That was, like, that was my best stuff. Welcome to part five, part cinco, recording on Cinco de Mayo of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Ron Moore along with Lady Zelda in Mexico. Hello. Insert fake laugh right here. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're now to Cavern, ECW's Cavern. Ah, oh, shut up.
Magic Fairy. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, so shiny. Yeah, I love ECW's cavern. But you said that this was... Wait a minute! Oh, no. Bemos. Well, beam me out, Scotty. Ah, oh, fail. There's the bomb crop. Bomb the wall right there. I think the... Maybe get one of the keys or get a map or something. I forgot. It goes boom, boom. Nice. All right, either a map compass. Yeah, it's one of those two. ECW! You found the skip map. Oh, Skip Rogers would love that. He yeah. has the map that you need. Yeah. Whoa! And so the level just started and I'm already lost. Which way do I go? Yeah. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Oh, God. Welcome to Mexico Cool Navigation. Remember Shame It Man we made fun <laughs> of the big show? Which way do you go? Which way do you go? Dude, which way do you go, George? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that, but I remember it now. <laughs> I remember it like it was just yesterday. But or, it or 20 years ago. Yep. Are you on the WWE, either one? Yeah. Alright, there's the next water bomb. Oh, it's the true stone. It's staring at your soul. Ah, Link doesn't have the, uh,. Truth, mask of truth yet. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I plead the fifth. You're in the courtroom breathing the mask of truth, and you, <laughs> and you still lie the whole time? The, hey, mask, would. the mask of ECW? Man, the BMOs. I remember how annoying they were now, late to the past. W? Oh, it was dark. Oh, no, wait. Now, here come the crocodiles. I mean, the baby Dodongos. Oh, no. And they just Marty give you hearts. <laughs> Up there, Navi is trying to show Link a clue, and maybe we'll see that later on in the game. Of what to do in that part. <laughs> Smart. I mean, soon. Rom hack with Ron Lord. Ah, another go, Skullchilla. Skull you later. Ouch. Well, how do you get it? They can't jump right there. <laughs> can't, touch, can't touch this. No, no, you can't get it with that. Well, how would you get it? I forgot. You, you had the boomerang yet. Do the backflip. Backflip into it, maybe. Navi, why don't you grab it for him? Lazy? All you do is just... Yeah. There, there he goes. There you go. And yet they say she's right supposed there. to help. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna roast the fairy. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot, watch out. Oh, imagine if crocodiles came from the ground like that. Oh jeez. Maybe they're uh green with envy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a bunch of croc. I agree <laughs> with you. Oh, it's barely got that. A green with me? Wow. A Ronnie green with me? Fail. Don't worry, we'll just do it over. I'm sorry, we're live. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. skit interview ever. Sid uh, interview ever. Yeah, people give Sid a lot of flack for his botched promos, but he actually did do a lot of good promos. I remember I got Mattis or whatever when he had to, like, what was it? When, when he had to uh, surrender the, um... What was it? WCW title or whatever when they vacated all the titles in WCW? Yeah. That kind of pissed me off. Yeah, I remember that. 
We need to talk. No, shut up! You should have said they cut a promo. Let me tell you something! You want this title from me, boy? You're going to have to take it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> perfect. Now we're going to get a copyright uh, claim because oh. that was just so perfect. Copyright claim from Kurt Hennig's family. And then here comes a charming Tibbs thing. Yeah. Say cutting a promo. Imagine him cutting a heel promo. Yeah, I can see Tibbs like a heel manager, like a the younger brother of Dr. Harvey Whippleman. ECW, 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 ECW. I already forgot the words to the song. Yeah, they read the letters. Well, use your shield! Well, why? That makes too much sense. <laughs> yeah. Or does it? Avoid the lava! Someone got, someone got so butthurt at Skip Rogers on YouTube years ago. It's not lava! Are you stupid? It's lava! Which is right, but still. Yeah, I've seen the comments on the Skip Rogers channels. I'm like, people do. You're taking this too serious. People take uh, it's YouTube too so serious. funny, dude. So people. That's what made the channel great. That's, that's what made the channel fun. The the butthurt comments, especially on the uh, on the YouTube comments, uh, the 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 comments section of the channel. <laughs> one guy said, one of the reasons why he created a new YouTube account was to get away from Skip. Um, have you heard of the block feature? Wow. Jeez. I guess not. It's rather unfortunate. And hey, why'd you want to block Skip? What do you ever do to you? Doesn't he exactly. have a cousin named Jump? Oh. No, he has, he has a cousin named Kip. Kip Smithers. Snark. <laughs> oh, here's a medium sized Dodongo. Wow. I'd be mad too if somebody cut my hind in. Right. Exactly. Gee, way to go at it there, hero. Look out. <laughs> it went yeah. boom boom. He Come definitely out. went out with a bang. It all started with a big bang. Theory. <laughs> <laughs> Or did it? I don't know. That's a good question. All right, open up the next door, or the next, or raise the next bars to open up the next door. With the razor's edge. Doesn't this give you sort of a little bit of a 007 vibe? No. I I mean, like with the door thing, whatever you want to call it. No. no. Really? <laughs> You're getting the LPs mixed up. I know, but still. I am getting the LPs mixed up. Come on, where's the paintball guns at? <laughs> Come on. Somebody shoot somebody already. This gives what me... about a paintball sword? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this gives me a Legend of Zelda feel. Wait. Well, you're not dying, so it's not a Mexico LP. <laughs> I got lied to. This is Mario Kart, isn't it? <laughs> Which, by the way, Mario Kart and Mortal Kombat have been announced to be inducted into the Video Game Hall of Fame. Ooh. Now all we need is a uh, ST2K Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, right. And this is a Jobber Hall of Fame. Oh, this is cool right here. <laughs> this takes a while. <laughs> Sounds about right. Whoa. Oh, those are spider webs. Those are tree, uh, not branches, whatever you call them. Vines. Well, I heard through the grapevine that this game was cool. 
Vex are cool. Through the magic great Vex are cool. Yeah. Okay, so oh, whoa, whoa! The statues come to life. Whoa! Yeah. Watch out! Whoa. The thing's going mad, I tell ya. Yeah. That's actually a perfect impression on your part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, the wrong. Wait, say it again. Race the cool, you cut out. Oh, I'm being censored by YouTube. Oh, <laughs> yep. What is it with YouTube and Mexico? Right. It's like, oh, he's trying to talk. Here, let's just cut him out. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Coulier, cut him out. Bye. <laughs> Ron will upload this video, and all the parts that where I'm supposed to be talking will be cut out. <laughs> unless, OB, oh, unless OBS cuts you out by not recording you, and just cut recording me. Oh, oh, look out! Oh, oh! <laughs> Although yeah. wouldn't that be crappy if it just didn't record any of us at all? Right. Oh man. Wait, I'm confused. Why didn't Link? Was there a treasure chest in there that he was supposed to open up? Uh, you got me. I'm not sure. I got my. Oh, there's a rob. Or maybe Link realized he got to do something else first. Oh, jeez, this game looks like. I tell you what, it's not golden. I tell you what's reminding me of now the the way things look. Freaking Shellgate 64. Oh no. Oh, oh. Ugh. I'm starting to fall asleep. Oh, Jeez. Sleep, people. Just watch this video K channel. That's one thing Skip Rogers would not do on YouTube. Well, it's Shao 64, so Gentoo Jin did it. <laughs> Good old Gentoo. It's like, I dare you to do it. And he's like, alright. And I dare him to do Resident Evil Survivor, and he did it. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should dare him to do uh, K Paso Ning, or whatever it's called, PS2 in Spain. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe we should dare him to do a Hong Kong night nice Oh wait, I think Jeff already did that. <laughs> yeah. I dare Jeff to do Matlock for Sega Genesis. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Imagine the music on that. The dog shaking his head no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we have Max's vote. Imagine Matlock on Sega Genesis with that music and that audio chip. <laughs> da -da 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 ECW. I remember me and Swindoll, uh, Swindoll used to make fun of the intro to that TV show, like you know where it showed the intro, I don't know if you, act, you guys actually watched Matlock, but back they showed the intro where uh, it, it freeze frames her face and then on the right it shows it shows them in action so to speak and then it shows the credit of the actor's name and all that stuff, like Andy Griffith, dun, 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 dun. it shows his name and his face is frozen on the left side of the screen and on the right it shows like scenes from the show. And uh, Jody said, uh, look at him, look at him, he's got a booger hanging out of his nose, ha <laughs> ha Which he didn't, but it's just funny for some reason when he said that at that moment. Uh, he's got a booger hanging out of his nose, ha <laughs> And Jeff used to get on to me, Ronnie, well, you watch Matlock for that? That's for like old people. And that triggered me, I got all over Jeff and said some bad things to him, I forgot what I said and I apologize later on. <laughs> well, trigger me timbers. Yeah. You know what? I'll create a time to be better than the Genesis. I I don't I don't agree with that one bit. Maybe better than the Sega Saturn. No. No, Sega Saturn couldn't do 3D. Right. Oh, you can't. Well, it can, but it would. It's not. It wouldn't come out like this. It wouldn't be this good. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. He landed on top of it. Ouch. You know that's gotta hurt. Wow. Like they say in NBA Jam, boom shakalaka. All right, that had nothing to do with this. <laughs> uh, Shaq Fu. Oh man, I'm surprised nobody's done that on this channel. Don't look at me. Not me. I already played through that game when I was younger. Uh, Gen two, maybe if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Gen two's like hell no. <laughs> 
Who in their right mind would touch that game? I would never touch that game again. That was I, I never did. I, I, I've seen it. I remember the commercial. I didn't know what to make of it. It sucked. Period. It was bad. Was there a campaign to like bury all the games in the world of Shaq, all the copies of Shaq Fu? Uh, I know there was like a thing for everybody to destroy every Superman 64 cartridge. I don't know about Shaq Fu. That sounds about right though. Were you a foo if you play Shaq Fu? I like how Shaq talks like this. You know, he has his deep voice. And <laughs> <laughs> you sound like oh one god, of god. No, I feel bad. Characters. If we get it, if we get a thumbs down, it'll be from Shaq. Who came up with that? Shaq Fu, like he's a basketball player. He's not. I mean, did he like practice karate or something that we didn't know about? And they said, hey, let's put you in a fighting game. What? No, but he ate fortune cookies. That's about it. How about Shaq Fu basketball game? You ever think of that? And they got Michael Jordan trouble in the Windy City or something like that. Like I don't know what's going on. Yeah, when they started making weird games like that, people were, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just because of how big of, I don't know, star power. They're like, oh, you know, we'll make it, we'll make something, and then, you know, everybody will buy it. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Here we go again. Here I go again on my phone. Damn, that ECW, ECW. <laughs> How about oh yeah, that Charles Barkley shut up and jam. That makes sense, you know. Basketball. Dave Robinson's Supreme Court basketball, basketball, I think, is underrated. Ooh. Like what and it's on the Genesis. Genesis. Oh, boy. Here we go again with Jeff. But, but seriously, it, it was on the Genesis. Genesis. I, mean, I mean, it might have been also one for SES, but the one I played was on Genesis. It's pretty cool. Oh, what would you say Genesis the worst does. game is that you've ever played? The, what, was what was that? that? What would you say the worst game is that you have ever played? Like, literally. That's, That's a, a tough, tough one, and I want to say Action 52, but that might be tied with a uh, Shaggy 64. Shaq Fu for the win. Or for what? the loss. What about you? The Zelda CDI games? <laughs> Those oh. are good jokes. I don't know if y'all know, but we did do uh, Faces of Evil, I think, on the channel a while back. Yeah, yeah, so, so check, check it out. out. So check, check it out. out. Let's, Let's play Legends of Zelda, the feces of ECW, uh, <laughs> like a year or so ago. <laughs> All right, it's another pouch. pouch! Oh, wait, nope. Bomb bag. Oh, I thought it was the ECW bag. It's, it's a douche bag. <laughs> oh, my. Really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Really there. He went there. All right, what does it say? Giant to don't go. When he sees red, a new way to go will be open. Oh, cool. Hmm. What kind of clue? I mean, uh, what kind of clue is that? What, what could the clue be telling us? And here comes Navi stating the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> hey, over we go. Oh, yuck, oh, yuck. Here we go, kids! Woo! What's, what's, what's the name of uh, uh, Christopher Walker? Not Christopher Walker. Christopher Glover. Oh, this is not his nostril. Is he standing on a dark booger? Ooh. Could be. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That, that was his eye. Not nostril. Idiot! So it was inside the eye socket. I was going to say Christopher Glover's laugh. I see that. <laughs> Or, uh, not Christmas, Christmas Lover, but, uh, George McFly. Oh, oh that's, that's what the clue was telling us. Ah! It opens up for you. Alright. Alright, this is your big mouth. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, you're talking to that man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You he close your mouth. Oh, wait, not yet. yet. Okay, okay, now close. Close the tower. 
uh, what's down, down that hole? Pit? Oh, oh no, no, switch. switch. A, Nintendo a Nintendo Switch. Ooh, what color is oh! it? I like the neon. A Nintendo 64 Switch. Oh, I'd oh. like to see that become a thing now. Tim's gonna comment. Ronnie, you're joking about the Switch? <laughs> Here you go. Ronnie, I'm not streaming more comment right now while watching your video. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Welcome to the ECW Caverns. Yep. Oh, oh! Right up at Texas, in Georgetown, there's a place called Interspace Caverns. Ooh, really? It's like a tourist attraction where you can go inside these old caverns and just, yeah, look around. It's pretty cool. Or is it? I haven't been there since I was a kid. That sounds cool. Oh, oh man, these locks, jeez. I remember it took me a long time to do this right for some reason, I'm an idiot. I think I pushed one of the blocks, like, um, I guess all the way over there, I forgot what I did, I did something wrong, I forgot. It took me forever to get past this part. This is why I stick to 2D Zelda games. Well, Link, make your mom, you wanna go? Which way did he go? Which way? Yeah, which way did he go? <laughs> Speaking of which way did he go? Lion King motion picture coming out this year. Link, he come to town. Speaking of motion picture, who wants to see Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> uh, I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to see it just for the heck of it. Why not? I mean, if it sucks, it sucks. I'm not going to expect much. Maybe because my low expectations, I might actually like it. Uh, it and it's got to be better than Mario Brothers. If it sucks, then we can go on, like on a two-hour rant on ST2K, and we'll talk about the video or the movie. Yeah, Dra right, this is our two-hour rant. Yeah, Drago. If it sucks, it sucks. On 10th anniversary, we're going to a 10-hour rant. No, I mean 20th anniversary. Excuse party. me. July 20th, 20th, 20th. No, 20th anniversary. What am I talking about? No, we started in 2009 in. on YouTube, not 1999. YouTube wasn't even around in 1999. <laughs> Who we started before YouTube. Yeah. Actually, S2K was around before, the website was around before YouTube, but not not the channel, of course. We, 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 we did infomercials. Yeah. ST2K on infomercials. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be uh, Don West. Guys, check out this latest video of GoldenEye Part 11. Or Rob Motor goes to the archives. You won't believe it. Oh, I believe that. Link got burned. Better believe that. Does he need some aloe for that? Right. Some aloe money if he gets divorced from Zelda. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look out. And now word from our sponsor, Lady Zelda. <laughs> Are you tired of some green clad dude smashing your pots? <laughs> call That's the, an awful thing to say call about the, me. Call the law offices of uh, Ganon and Ganon? I don't know. The law offices of Ganondorf and... Uh, they, what was his name from Twilight Princess? Zant. I remember every children of this fat woman. A fat woman click clocked to the shoe store today. And then she told Al Bundy, You will be hearing from my attorney. And he goes, Would that be the law offices of Hagen and Dawes? Oh. <laughs> he always had a good comeback. I I'll say that. Yeah. How dare you say that to my face while I say behind your back, my car is only going to have to take a gas. <laughs> I remember that. You know, I'll totally admit, though, I do find Zant rather comical. Oh, yeah, he's a he's a man-child. I'm like, oh, man. Okay, yeah, this guy's funny. I like him. He would throw a fit. Yeah. Oh, here, let me do this, this, like, goofy little dance while you, like, try to hit me with something. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. So hard. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoa, right. what the? And now we're from our sponsor. Nope, we ran ran out of sponsors. Yeah. They all gave up on. Whoa! King of Dongo. Wow. He can open his mouth quite wide. Right. 
Yeah, I was gonna say something, but it would be appropriate. Yeah. I remember when I first, yeah. Oh, I remember when I first got to this when I was a kid. I was like, whoa, this is cool. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, ECW, and ECW, ECW. Oh, shoot. Oh, wrong timing. There we go. Fail. There we go. Oh. I was doing commentary on the on my uh, original LP on the Wrong Word channel, and I said something like, "He got through Obama in his mouth." My roommate had walked in at that moment. He goes, "What'd you say, Obama in a mouth?" <laughs> Obama. I said, "No, man." <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. Oh, Ouch. Yeah. How is he no. still alive? No, you got me. I'm not sure. Imagine Jr. commentating over this. Good God, what a behemoth! That behemoth's gotta be two tons, King! Wait, wait a minute! He just threw that ball right in his mouth! I always like the commentary with the JR and Paul Heyman. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, one time it looked like they were re like they were really pissed off at each other for real, but not really. That was funny. That you was can't, like you just can't tell. They're freaking good actors. That's what makes wrestling great, which is when you make it look real. I'm not gonna lie, I miss Paul Heyman on commentary. I didn't care too much for him on commentary, but I like him as the heel manager. Yeah, he's much better at that, but I, I think it's just, I don't know, just some of the stuff that he said or whatever was just... And I loved him <laughs> for how he ran ECW. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of ECW. Well, it looks like Link slayed the beast as Brock Lesnar rolls around in defeat. Ah, he'll be back in a year. And into the lava, just like Crocomire from Super Metroid. It's not lava. Yeah. One star. What about lava cakes? Yeah. Lava soap. It's pretty good soap. Give us five stars on this video. You think Find though he'd learn after the first bomb that hey, it hurts and it's gonna kill you? <laughs> yeah. But no, he just keeps gobbling those things up. Speaking of goblin, check out Goblin Two One Five on YouTube. Awesome channel. ECW channel. Link has seen the light. So he's dead? Oh, wait, there he is. Fail! <laughs> Whoa. What, what you do? Right, you almost squashed me. You almost squashed Link. It's a squash match. <laughs> he has nose on strength. He's rocking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you almost sounded like a cuckoo. <laughs> I'm speechless. But how are you talking if you're speechless? His mouth's not oh, even yeah. moving. I see. This whole conversation has been pre recorded, that's why. Fair enough. Let's <clears throat> shake hands. No, don't. Freaking crush your hands, literally. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, that was his sword fighting hand. Well, you better pray he's ambidextrous. Yeah. I remember Walker Texas Ranger, he goes, I don't know, he must be one of those amphibious types. And Trevet goes, you mean ambidextrous. <laughs> Ooh, so shiny. ECW. BWO. You got the spiritual stone of ECW, ref points of reference. I didn't know that ECW can have rubies. Holy crap. Well, there's a ruby riot in uh, WWE. Well, there you go. Who's talking, Hulk Hogan? Whoa, 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 whoa brother. Hey, there's no, a making it impersonations. Yeah. You should go see the great fairy, brother. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Hey, brother. This part's hilarious. How about a hug? How about not? Runs away. Well, I would, too. I'd freaking kill him. They'll kill him, yeah. with, they'll kill him with kindness. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so that is the end of part five. Dodongo's Cavern defeated. See you guys in part six, where Link goes after the uh, was the spiritual stone of Walter. Next, Walter. Spoiler alert. Of Walter. What is spo water? Spoiler alert. All right. Until then, God bless. Take care. Woo. Streets of fire. Yeah. Streets of fire. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Oh, hey! Six time, WCW, no, I'm joking. It doesn't work that way. Alright, we gotta bomb these boulders out of the way. I think Link right now is trying to get uh, to one of the fairies. Gotta get to the top of Death Mountain, ECW Mountain. That'll be easier said than done. Oh! Look okay, coming in his I face. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Ouch. Ah, I fell. Link just got through defeating the Dongo's Cavern. Link is playing. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that every time there's a fail, it's gotta be Mexico. <laughs> or oh, Ramor. And. So Link should be getting ready to head to Zora's Domain, but not quite yet. There's a few uh, errands to run. When I was a kid, when someone said run an errand, errand I thought that they were saying Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. A-A-R-O-N. -A A-A-R-O-N. I thought they were saying, I'm running some errands. I'm like, who's Aaron, first of all? Second, where are you running him to? What? We don't have a cow, man. Whoa, hey. I'm that's... running him through this table. Link, are Slamming. you trying to get PETA to come to our channel? And Link didn't even get no milk. What was the point of that? Got milk? Apparently, no. Got milk. You got me. Not me. Yep, it's June. Not me. Oh. Forgot about this part. Yeah, you got to use your Holly and shield. For protection here. Use it. Oh! Use it. Yeah. Oh. Right. oh! What? Still got him. Still got him. This, oh. this belongs in the beginning of the video, not the middle of it or towards the whatever. Yeah. You were just crushing the device. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, I guess only if, like, it's with Ravenous Specter and J Man. I try not to. Use any profanity? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm not J Man. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I guess Lady Zelda will be right back with us in a minute. <laughs> Lady Zelda will be right back, but but don't turn away. We'll be right back after these commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. War the war zone. Say, Link against Ganondorf. What about it? Destroy, destroy those sculptures, whatever they are. I don't know, I think it was, what was it, the other day I was riding the bus or whatever and I saw somebody wearing a, a Zelda t-shirt. I didn't see exactly what it was or whatever, but I noticed Link or whatever, so I was like, oh, there, I guess there's some hope for this generation. They know who Zelda is. Yeah. But the question is, do they know this game? That's Mr. Owl again. Oh. He, he's a real hoot. He's trying to sell us some glasses. Two pairs of glasses, $69. Or whatever it is, 59 whatever. I can't remember. No, this is not an ad. It's That's just me. Ad next to our video. No! We always go off script. I only write like two lines and that's like, hey, how's it going? And then the end, all right, that was a good video. Those are the only two lines I ever write down. Yeah. All right, let's bomb this place, bomb this wall, see what's behind here. Oh yeah, I think this is to, uh, oh, yeah, there we go, that's right, duh, Great Fairy's Fountain, I thought it was going to the Death Mountain Crater, that's another entrance, here we go. That fail. Ah. You 
you get the bomb and you place it. And then it goes kaboom. Yeah. I think in that order. Easy dub. Easy dub. Easy dub. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh boy. Look at Link's face, he's horrified. I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> well, his face looks oh. better than hers right now. Yeah, that that's true. <laughs> the plot thickens, or does it? You ask me. No. Maybe. Link! You know, whatever backpack it is that Link carries or whatever, I gotta get one of those. He seems to always carry a lot of interesting things. I just need it to carry a few things. Right. Not all the things he has. It's like, alright, Link, what do you have? Alright, I got some bombs, some swords, fairies, this, subway sandwich, golf clubs. No, I'm joking. I could go on. Alright. But I won't. But I won't. Tell Mexico to shut up! No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of thumbs downs. It's like, oh man, Mexico's in this video? No, that'd be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Chuck Money will thumbs down it. There we go, the spin attack. Nice. I like that attack. Yeah. It just makes me dizzy. Yeah. Alright, Link, we get it. You use the sword. Let's go. Yes. Don't Show cho off. Don't chop at it. It's not a sword. You're not a sword. That's not a sword. This yeah. is a sword. Yeah, he gets the master sword. This is a sword. Now this is the Death Mountain Crater. Get ready, folks. Are you ready? No. Oh, that's right. You can't go in here yet because you don't have the the uh, Goron tunic. Not. We are not ready. We will be right. We gotta get back <laughs> down to Kakariko Village. Hang on to his talons. Hang on and do it well. And do it live. This part okay. is this part is fun. I do enjoy this part. They're gonna build a, a high rule theme park, and you can actually ride this ride called the uh, the the Owl Gabora Gabora, whatever it's called. No, no. <laughs> so somebody in the comments will be like, "Wait, wait, is that for reals?" Unfortunately. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, so you land on the roof right here, back in Kakariko Village. Woo, I have here. returned. Oh, wow, there you go. What happened, a power outage? Yeah, like a Transformer blew, and it went out twice, and I'm like, seriously? No, we're not playing Transformers. This is Zelda. Oh, I, oh, you went. I swear I had nothing to do with that. Somebody <laughs> please slap Techno Ganon for me. Okay. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, uh, Ganondorf is really attacking us here, and YouTube is going to probably side with him. Oh, Link's making fun of me. Can you destroy his channels? Sure, Ganondorf. Hashtag, no. hashtag Ganondorf Adpocalypse. <laughs> All right, back up Death Mountain here. I guess if we got something else, come on, Link. When are you going to go? When are you going to head to freaking Zora's domain? Yeah, Link, then I'll actually have something good to say on this commentary. To get there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do some more farming. Some more farming. Yeah. Oh! Jeez. <gasps> oh, holy. Magic jar. Because we've never seen that before, so let's celebrate it. Celebrate. Good times. Ah, Come that's on. what he's doing. Getting the gold sculpture. <laughs> oh, well, you can't get it yet, because you gotta get the boomerang to grab it. I, I love boomerang. Much boomerang. That's not a boomerang. This is a boomerang. <laughs> what well, goes around comes around. 
That's another Al Bundy yeah. joke. An episode. He tells this fat this fat woman goes, "This ain't over with Bundy. What goes around comes around." He goes, "Well, judging by your orbit, I got another ten years." Oh. Oh. Sounds like a Mortal Kombat 2 scream. Oh. Oh, what's in here now? Oh. Maybe some more rupees? Some rupees? Yep. Uh, 50 rupees. Oh, he's maxed out now. Rupees are groovy. Yep. He maxed out his discover card. I was a part yeah, of it. Yeah. I was part of a Zelda MSN group years ago. I forgot about the currency in India. I said, that'd be. Well, nah, there's no rupees in real life, but that'd be cool or something like that. And this. One fanboy got mad. There are two rupees. There's rupees in India. I'm like, geez, okay, I was wrong. Sorry, but uh, stop, <laughs> stop being a fangirl. There are two rupees. The moment you are wrong on the internet, somebody will rush in and correct you every time. That's just how the internet works, people. Yeah. Every freaking time. Yeah. Or how like you're not doing good in your live stream, and someone comes in, oh, you suck. Uh, or if you're cheating against the CPU, man, what are you cheating for? Like I have one, someone one time in my uh, Mario Brothers marathon, Mario One, Two, and Three, I was uh, cheating because I was, I was having controller lag. I said, man, I'm gonna even up the challenge a little bit, so I was using uh, invincibility in Mario Two, and someone came in I never heard of, and he goes, oh, what, are you, what are you being a, this douchebag's cheating? Turn off invincibility, dude. What are you doing? Why are you cheating? And finally, Goblin or somebody banned him from the chat room, or Danny might have banned him. <laughs> and, Seriously? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm cheating against the CPU, first of all. If it was against a second player or multiplayer online person, then I can understand, you know, being mad because that's not cool cheating in multiplayer. It all, it all goes back, if I remember, I'll, I'll plug uh, Raven Inspector's video where he rants about cheating in single player games. Meaning, if it's your People game, you can cheat game. all you want. Watch that video, people. Seriously. That's what made me subscribe to him. That's how I got to know Raven Spectre. Is that video right there? All right, I want to check that out now. Yeah, it's called it's called cheating in single player games, and he does a freaking hilarious rant. I'm not going to spoil it. Just listen to it. He's uh, especially just one part where he talks about people that say get good. It was just funny how he reenacted that. Could you imagine um, running into a tech titan in real life? Oh, I'd be so horrified. I mean, I hate spiders as it is. Not so much the spiders, just like just the venom that's inside of them. I don't want them to bite yeah, me. I've seen a tech I wonder if tech have have venom. venoms. Mm, that's a venoms. Good Plural. Somebody in the comments venoms. will correct us. They'll be like, yes, they do. Y yes, they do. I can't believe you don't know that. Oh my god, subscribing to Mexico. <laughs> You're incredible, destroying the Dodongos. <laughs> do you mind if I call you Big Brother? Do you mind shutting up? Oh, I can't believe I snorted. <laughs> Mrs. Urko now with us. Ha 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 ha. Did I do that? I, th there's this rap song. I think it's from uh, Master P. I'm not sure. It goes, uh, it ain't my fault. Did I do that? And um, I looked at Lu yeah. It was Lewis, Venom 22, playing that in his truck. And I said, what is this? Steve Urko turning heel on ECW? Is this his interest music? <laughs> we were all waiting for that one day to happen, Steve Urkel to turn hill. It turn hill. Happen. That'd be his interest busy in ECW if he was the hill. Uh, it ain't my fault. <laughs> Did I do that? He comes out looking like Stefan Urkel, but more of an evil version of Stefan Urkel. Just looking all thuggish. Remember the episode where he was undercover as a gangbanger to infiltrate the dragons that, that beat up Eddie Winslow? That's the first thing that came to my mind when we, I started thinking about that. Yep. I do remember that. He would look like that, except he would talk like Stefan all ghetto and all that stuff. That'd be cool. And ECW Steve Urkel, he goes to the Transformation Chamber, but then one day he, Laura or someone convinces him to turn face again, so he'll go back into the chamber. Now he'll be a tweener, because he'll go to the chamber and transform to face and heel and whatever he wants. Just like Big Show. Yeah. Oh. Now Big Show has his own, uh, forget Elimination Chamber, WWE Transformation Chamber live on pay-per-view. So I, it's all in the start of the pay-per-view he was face and then in the middle he is heel and then he turned back face and by the end he was heel again and by the time he left the arena who the hell knows yeah big show versus uh steve urkel who's the better tweener Ooh, follow me on tweener wait 
Say hi. Oh, it's got Ah, my eyes. Oh, jeez. You're killing me, Smalls. Yeah. I work with someone, somebody that would say stuff like, Ronnie, you're killing me. And she sounds just like that. We all just laugh whenever I imitate her. There's always somebody like that that'll do that. They'll be like, you're killing me. I'm yeah. Like, well, it's yeah. intentional, just yeah. so you know. You're killing me, well, Biggs. Yeah. Just embrace it, man. Well, yeah. that's kind of the point. That's why I'm doing it. Just letting you know. <laughs> I was going to say okay, something. You... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, what would you say that your most favorite version of Castletown is? Like, in what game? Uh, man, I might have to say Twilight Princess. That is a good one, I'll admit. What is yours? Um, to be entirely honest, I think it's a toss-up between Ocarina and Twilight Princess, but... Probably Twilight Princess just for the ladder. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the ladder. Oh, wait, a ladder? At least you can pick up cats and dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to remember what part you're talking about, the ladder. We did the LP on this channel back in 2016, or no? Yeah, the end of 2016, early 2017, if you want to check that out. Because that was celebrating the 10th anniversary of its release in North America. Yeah, I tripped out on that. I was like, whoa, 10 years. Wow. I remember I had mine in reserve since June 2005. And it finally came out on GameCube December 2006. No kidding. And I finally got it out. And then my boss calls me into work. No, not me. Now, I had caller ID. I could have just said nope and not answer, but I liked him. I liked the job. I helped him out. And I said, you know what? When I get off work, I have all the time to play it because I can stay up all night and play it. So that's what I did. Hey, there you go. ECW Princess. It had a funny acronym, though. The Legend of Zelda TP. Okay. Wake up, Victoria. Yeah, you can't you can't pull a Jeff. You can't just fall asleep during the video. Maybe yeah, I yeah, <laughs> yeah. And seriously, well, Jeff, Jeff would li not during commentary on thing, but literally fall asleep during uh, like uh, Skype conversations back then. To where the first time that happened, me and J Man or whoever it was, we thought something was wrong because he was still on the call. And he would not respond. We thought like, did did he die or what the heck happened? Jeff, are you there? <laughs> Jeff, maybe he I'm sorry. Into a spaghetti monster. <laughs> sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dang, if you're that uh, tired, you could should have said something. We let you go. We can oh, take a hint. It's me. Nice. It's me, Austin. I'm an ECW. AEW. AEW. This means right here. Reminds me of uh, some old song I heard years ago. She'll be coming around the mountain when she... No, I didn't end it. <laughs> hey, I can't Aww. think. She'll be coming around Death Mountain when she comes. Hey, I like that version. Who is she? Malin? Zelda? We'll make a ROM hack of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would love it. Yeah. I like the... That'd be cool if this game had like... Or someone would probably make a ROM where you could play as a Goron or a Zora. I mean, like Majora's Mask is like that, but I mean, like, do it for Ocarina of Time. That'd be cool. Yes. Do it, and then do it live. Yeah, Nintendo do it live. Hire this guy. Yeah. They'll probably just put a copyright claim on me for mentioning it. Wow. All right. I would say I'm shocked, but yeah, that that tends to happen. Nice, you too. You're a winner. You are a winner. Not an Oscar Mayer wiener? <laughs> right. That would be better. Alright, yeah, got the well. bomb chew. Yes! You got the thing! Alright, back to the market. I said well, Walmart with the dogs. Yeah, right. Well, Link did. Ah, here it is. The Happy Mask Shop is open. My name is Lonk, and I'm gonna save the world. 
creepy face. Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> Darn it. Snorted again. Hey, you know what? I'll see you in Majora's Mask. You'll be begging for my masks then. Oh, no. Just... Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Majora's Mask at? I want to buy that. The Michael Keaton Mask. You, you borrowed a Keaton mask. mask. You're, You're not Batman. Batman. Wait. Wait, wait what? Pikachu no. Mask. Pika who? No. <laughs> Pikaboo. Pikaboo. Yeah. Alright, I'm looking at my script. I haven't said anything that I said I was going to say, so... I'm just going to throw it away. <laughs> SC2K. Unscripted. Uncut. Uncensored. 99.999% unscripted. Yeah. Do we come in DVD form now? Are we coming, uh... uh video CD. The VHS form. VHS and video CD. Now, let's skip Roger's channel. Never mind. What would really be funny is if we came on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have some of my old lost footage that I deleted from my channels are on VHS in my closet. What? Yep. But That's I gotta get a, I gotta get a capture device first before I re-upload those. I, I don't know. I might put it under playlist to run more archives. Oh, nice. Yeah. So hopefully one day. Yeah. I'm right, gonna get another uh, power from uh, one of the fairies. The fairies that also make appearance in Resident Evil when I die. <laughs> when I first seen these fairies right here, I'm like, whoa, uh, what? It's creepy. You and me both. Oh, but a magic spell. Bad. Magic spell now. <laughs> oh, Den's fire. I Den's fire. Streets of fire. Did you get Den's fire? Yeah, everybody talk weird. All right. Not normal. Yes, Dan's for you. I'm doing the doily boy. I'm at the gang. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna talk normal. I don't want to offend anybody. Not that I haven't already. Breathing in 2019 will offend somebody. Yes. So will sneezing. Yep. Oh, that'll Pick out you. Here we go, the demonstration of dance for ya! Let's do it. Nice. We're gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Oh man, you don't cut sounds like that. That's messed up. Oh. Well, what are you doing? Oh. Link is trying to get him thrown out. He's getting yeah. himself thrown out so that he can exit out of here quicker. You know what I really love is seeing these memes on the internet of Link going, Hey, my name is Link and this is Jackass. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've seen those. I've seen oh. them. I've seen... It's brilliant. I'm telling you. Wait, so Link and Ryan Dunn do something together? That would be awesome. Or would it? The Link and no, Billy Gunn. That'd be something. The one Billy Gunn. The one Billy Gunn. That was stupid. I know. It was so horrible. But it stuck in my head forever. It's, it's just music. I like I kinda liked Billy and Chuck though, because they were funny. That was hilarious. Yeah, the they were like ambiguously gay. But then they made it look like they actually were gay. I'm like, wait a minute, it's supposed to be ambiguous with it. That's not funny anymore. And then to where I guess like and then that they had the wedding and Rico was supposed to like have them get married. Remember like, that? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not. <laughs> but it was that was a cool moment though, because Bischoff was the the preacher in disguise with all that Hollywood makeup, and he goes, "What do you say?" Now wait a minute, guys. Marriage is supposed to be sacred, whether it be for ten years, ten months, or three minutes. Wait a minute! I three minutes. Yeah, and when he said, "I go wait a minute," I had no, I had no idea that was Bischoff. Did you? No, I did. Ah, uh, I, 
I no, I can't say that I did. Uh, I that that her. was a perfect uh, disguise. The way they did it, that was freaking awesome. And then he peeled. As soon as he said, I go wait. Oh, that's Bischoff! And I looked at him closely. That, 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 oh, that's makeup and stuff. Okay, wow. I, I guess I had a feeling it was makeup. I didn't really look at the guy that much. I figured he wasn't disguised or whatever, but I didn't think it was Bischoff. I didn't watch Raw that much back then or whatever. I was more of a SmackDown guy, so I like yeah, to... Yeah, like, yeah, that was on SmackDown. Yeah, that's yeah, because he, he invaded SmackDown. Him and uh, yeah. whoever was with... Oh, yeah, three-minute warning. Yeah, and then I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Who the hell are these guys? Yeah. I guess if I watched Raw, I would know who they are, but no, no, I'm good. Yeah, Watch here we go. Back. Whee! All the way home. Yep. Do, 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 do. Zora's Domain, finally. Finally. The Rock has come back to Hyrule. We got a fish. Now what the Rock is cooking. He's cooking fish. Actually, no, he's not going to cook it. He's going to just straight up take it to... The Zora King. Zora, well, that explains it. Zora the King Lawler. Wait. Remember, when, remember Al Roker butchered his name? He called him Jerry the Ring Lawler, and Jerry Lawler was pissed? Yeah, that was... Wow. Seriously, Jerry I mean. Lawler said something about making fun of him. Tell me, what an idiot! Jerry the Ring Lawler! Wait, what am I talking about? He's not going to get the fish to the king? Dumbass, he's going to give it to... Jabu the Hut, whatever his name is over here. Jabu the Jabu 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 To uh 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 Jonah and the whale over here. <laughs> Give him the fish. Uh oh. Oh, this sucks. This be on Uh okay. Oh whale. Oh well. well then. Whoa. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. So you're playing as Jonah now. Cue the epic theme. Done. That's kind of a disgusting Done. stage, but oh well. Yeah, viewer discretion is advised definitely here, people. The video's been blocked in all countries. TVMA. Yeah. No, that's just me. Videos. So I've Mexico made thousands of warning. videos, but they're all freaking blocked. Every my, uh, well, I think one of my Contra videos is, is blocked in Germany. What? Yeah, it's weird. Crazy. Oh, wow. Your German fans don't approve of that? I didn't appeal it because I don't think I have any German fans anyway from Germany. So I didn't Probably appeal not. it. But if it was blocked in all countries, I would appeal to do something because that's stupid. And appealing that, well, you don't have to dox yourself. But to appeal a copyright strike, you have to dox yourself, and I don't want to do that. Ah, YouTube and their wacky laws. Yeah, that's when why I didn't appeal the uh, original Ocarina of Time parts because I have to get that person my address. Like, what? No way. Oh no. Yeah, that's creepy. Jeez. Here's a. Uh, I forgot her name. Rudo. Rudo. Yeah. It's entitled uh, Zora over here. My daddy says I can have this. And take me home. All right. Oh, Jeff. Well, I gave Sounds you good. the sapphire, so therefore we are engaged. <laughs> yeah, creepy. Why don't you go fall in a hole somewhere? No, I did that yesterday. No, I'm talking to her. Jeez. What nice. kind of life do you lead, man? Uh, ah, ah, good. Game over. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. no way, I guess I'll go in after her. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, oh, yuck. boy. Are you still hanging around here? <clears throat> well, yeah, I have to save you. I promised your father, even though I didn't technically, even though Link didn't technically speak to him. Because Link never speaks anyway. Well, there was this one thing during this one time. Wait, so the jellyfish stay stand still, but the ghost ghost are moving around. Oh, whoa. Tom stands still when you talk to people. I think I understand why they're called jellyfish now because they look so jelly. Yeah. Are you jelling? Right, yeah. Where's the I'm peanut butter jelly. at? It's peanut butter jelly time. So you gotta pick her up and carry her. Just like in real life. Yeah. Is this the real life? 
Is it just fantasy? I saw a meme where it says, it, is it just fantasy? And it shows like Fanta Soda or something like that. I forgot. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> Ron, the meme expert. Yeah. Shabomb. Shabomb. What chip? Shabomb! Oh man, how can I not hit that? Watch out for Bubble Man. This is just one step shy away from a bubble bath. Yeah. I had to destroy Bubble Man in my stream last Saturday. That was a fun stream. Mega Man 2? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, Mega Man 2. I freaking love Mega Man. Yeah, check out the stream, Shameless Plug, that I did last Saturday on the channel. Do it. Do or it not. Now. No. Yeah, I beat the game twice because the second time it went to be on difficult. Yeah, Mega Man, 30 years ago, released this month in America. Nuts. You can't argue with the classics. Right. Well, you can, but you lose. Well, I mean, well, plus, you know, people might question your sanity. Which, yeah. they do that to me regularly anyway, so, I mean... Yeah. You can argue with Skip Rogers, though, when it comes to Action 52. He, think that's a, he thinks that's a classic, but anyway. Ha! You know, technically he's right on Facebook. He said, I want to give a rat's butt cheeks what people think. Action 52 is action packed. Technically, he's right. Not my cup of tea, that game, but. Yeah, yeah it's not good action, but it is action packed. Broken action, but still. Not your circus, not your monkeys? Not my cup of green tea. Or sweet tea. No, you're That's not my bowl of soup, dude. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she'll drown. Uh, she will act oh, well, she'll wow. reappear on the platform, but still. Looks like something I would have done. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, make sure I don't that it don't come out in the commentary. Yeah. Too late. <laughs> you know, one time I made the uh, fatal mistake of throwing her in too deep of water, and then I had to go all the way back someplace and get her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, you abandoned me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, I did not. Well, this game has, is trying to teach you a lesson. In life, you got to keep your head above water. True. Sink or swim. You're right. But I can't swim. Well, you're going to learn or you're going to die. <laughs> I like that accent. That was cool. That's right. I respect you. I said that. He made a quick appearance and left. That was amazing. Are you going to die? That's right! <laughs> Get good, kid! He's going! Oh! Under. Thanks for the help! Oh, oh pff, idiot! He helped you up there, and your dumb ass wow. fell back to the water! I've done that before. Again! <laughs> oh, at least he got him. There we go. Sorry there for trying to count you, sir! No way! Yikes! I'm going home! Those scrubs always kill me. I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> a scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. I can't get no DQ nuts from me. <laughs> Throw in the water. She's a, she's a Zora! Wait, hey, wait a minute! She's a Zora! How's she gonna drown in the water anyway? Anyway. Oh, well here you have to carry me even though I can swim. All right. I haven't learned how to swim yet. Yeah, but you can't die because you're Azora. You can't drown. I mean, you can't die. You can't drown. You can't die by drowning. Uh, uh, have y'all played Mortal Kombat 11 yet? I have not, no. Okay, no spoilers then. Dang it. Never mind. I don't think so. Well, I don't want to spoil it. Anyway. Right. Do you want to get sport Mexico or no? Do it. Okay. Do it. Anybody listening? Uh, watch out for the spoilers. Spoiler alert. Um, I hopefully I try to remember to post a timestamp when I stop talking about it. But ah, fail. Finish him. Oh. And I was gonna say. Um, uh, he this one guy. He's he's like Chronica's. He's Chronica's uh sidekick. And uh, but he can't be killed. He destroy him, decapitate him, whatever. He eventually comes back to life somehow. So Raiden kills him by. 
they're at this place called the, the Sea of Blood, and the Sea of Blood, the Sea of Blood is bottomless. So Raven. Oh, okay, I know about that place. He wraps him around this giant chain. Raiden does, and then like throws the anchor in the sea, and the guy goes, I think his name was Gyrus. He goes, drowning won't, won't kill me, Raiden. He goes, the sea is bottomless. You will fall forever. Sure enough, it showed him falling and falling and falling forever. So he won't die, but it'll be falling forever. So Raiden yep. got him. You can't kill him. Just throw him in the bottomless. Yeah, it's like ocean. the bottomless pit and uninvited. Like I oh. into that pit, you go. Yeah. The pit. That should be a... Uh, I think it's one of the fatalities, kind of, in one of the fan-made Mugen Mortal Kombat games. You uppercut uh, not, uh, Onaga, even though he's a dragon, he can fly, he still falls into, like, this abyss or whatever. But I guess he's oh. too injured to fly, so... Yeah, they, 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 they changed the voice, because at first, in one of the, one of the uh, versions of the game, Onaga goes, ah, and someone in the comment section was like, man, that's not how Onaga sounds. <laughs> so they fixed it, and he actually says F you or something like that as he falls through the abyss. Oh, man. I think I prefer that. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Can you imagine that, though? Falling forever, and you can't die. You just keep falling and falling. Jeez, that's... Uh. I am falling for you, the Shockmaster Valentine card. I was literally just thinking of something like that. That's I, funny. Hey, you, know, you know about the Shockmaster in Mexico? Shockmaster? He's a wrestler. I gotta put that in the description box if I remember. This wrestler named the Shockmaster, he used to be Typhoon at the WWF. And in WCW, he was the Shockmaster. Familiar. And this is a real botch. It wasn't scripted. It was live TV. A real botch. You can find it on YouTube right now. All you gotta do is type in Shockmaster. You'll find it right there. Sting goes, The Shockmaster! And the big explosion. Shockmaster comes through this wall, trips, and falls down flat on his face, and his Stormtrooper glitter helmet comes off. <laughs> he gets back up, tries to play it off. So now it's a meme. And there's a Valentine card. It shows him and it says, I'm falling for you. <laughs> Nah, he's got the boomerang. That's not a boomerang. Oh, wait, yeah. actually it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It's a movie called Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. Oh, forgot all about that one. I think it's, I haven't seen it. It basically, you know, the metaphor goes around, comes around, and I don't, I haven't really seen it, so I can't tell you what it's about. I know it's Eddie Murphy that's in the movie. It's called Boomerang. Oh, ah, back to carrying a giant fish, princess. Yeah, well, not giant, but well, it is a giant fish compared to normal fish. Basically. No. Nah. No, her dad's a giant fish. Hey, do you know how long it takes for him to move? A week. Yeah, you a know week. what? Yeah, uh, that that part, the footage was cut <laughs> out right here. That's probably why the person that recorded this actually cut it out. Ricky C probably cut it out because it uh, just, a, I guess. Uh, a lot of extra stuff we didn't care to need to see, and plus it takes them a week to move out the way of uh, the uh, King's Aura. Ooh. True fact, people. True fact. Or it could take like a hundred years, like in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Are you serious? It takes them a hundred years to move? Or is that a metaphor or just uh, sarcasm? Sarcasm. Okay, I about to say, well, what they did as a storyline, 100 years. He finally moves out the way. I, and Link never I, ages. If, if I were Link, I'd, well, I'd probably get tired of waiting. But then again, he's asleep for 100 years. So, I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. Come, come on, man! man. Hit, Hit this freaking, freaking tonsil, tonsil, whatever, whatever it, is. it is. Do it already! Alright, right, they, they finally, finally got a hit. hit. I do, however, think that one meme is funny, though, when Link is all like, I just woke up and apparently I have to do something. Yeah. <laughs> how can how, how get the fate of Hyrule depend, depend on such a lazy boy? Oh, I just woke up, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, good thing he didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah, oh, I'm still tired, I'm gonna go back to sleep. That Link's like, dude, I just want to lay here, leave me alone. Right. right. 
Oh, here we go again. Why don't you leave me? Your face, your face is inconsiderate. Well, actually, he's a boy, but okay. Dang, Dang what's wrong with this well stomach? stomach? Take, Take some, uh, Tums or something. Yeah, something. Link is the Tums. Nah, and it's not working out. That joke was dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. Perfect. <laughs> now we're actually starting to go back on script. Yeah, I just started about just to a beat bump. Use your metal blade. Use the metal weapon, you idiot. What the? Who's more annoying, Navi or Rudo? Watch out! I had to say Navi because Navi's reading the whole game, but she is helpful. Rudo's just an entitled princess, won't shut up, and blames you for all her problems. Where have I heard that before? No, nope, right? That's, um, that's... So she's a Generation Z, or whatever they're called. Oh, uh, they're usually called um, Echo Millennials or some crap like that. They're actually going to start a new stable in WWE, Gener Degeneration Z. Well, that's stupid. I can't believe they're going to do it. No, I'm just kidding. April Fools! If you're watching it on April. Yeah. We got two words for you. April Fools! Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> now it'll be uh, Triple H's kids when they grow up and start their own group, Degeneration Z. If they're still called Degeneration Z by the time they get of age to wrestle. Well, mine's Generation Ooh. Y, as in, why bother, man? Right, yeah. I'm Generation why? ECW. Nice. Everybody wants to be an ECW wiener! Yeah. Oh no, some people are starting to become AEW wieners now. What? Yep. Alright, are we done with this dungeon yet? I just love how the room just pulsates. <laughs> right, yeah. Imagine actually being inside that thing. I know, right? That would be scary. With upset stomach and acid reflux enemies coming after you and all that stuff. I can just imagine Jabu Jabu out with his friends. Dude, what did you eat? Ron Mower. Uh, yeah. That'll upset your stomach. Beery. He tastes a bit gamey and ECW-y. Yeah. Okay, destroy the Beeries here. Those are fun. And destroy the green uh, tonsil weird tentacle, whatever it is. It's a better way of describing it than what I was No. Oh, oh. Nice. I and I were on the same path on uh, describing it otherwise. Alright, now we all unlock, unlock that door. Ooh, just hit. So if you actually hit the walls of his stomach, is it going to actually hurt Jabu? That's the interesting question. I don't know. That's... Some, some really fanboy. No, it won't, you idiot! He don't feel it. It's not part of the game. Well, damn! I was just asking a question. You don't have to correct me. It's a rhetorical no. question. Yes. Just like your we face, you. rhetorical. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ah, right, wait. Get the sculpture. Cause got the boomerang now. Arachnophobes, beware. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but I just haven't got it. The lesson there's is, lesson. kill all spiders. Wait. That and well. bonk Ganon's head. Yeah, no, don't kill Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. Whoa. I think the wind just blew from somewhere. Oh, wait, there's the uh, uh, water sapphire, or whatever it's called. I just love how she does this wiggle on Link's head. Yeah. There, now shut up. <laughs> Go get your stupid diamond. Yeah, Sorry. right? I had a brain fart. <laughs> so if I had a brain, I would have those all the time. Well, yeah, of course you have brain farts. She's got a hole in your head. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Ravenous Vic. Now he would disappear. Anytime! <laughs> it's amazing how it wound up all the way in there. Right. 
That's why he has an upset stomach swallowing a freaking sapphire. Oh, wait. Whoa, what? Oh, well, he also whoa. swallowed a very entitled princess. An octopus? Yeah, that'll make, yeah, yeah, that'll make anybody sick. Ugh, whoa. Bear 13? My, you've gained some weight. That he has. Uh, oh. Shut up. <laughs> That's the result of, uh... Octo Rock divorces kids. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry I can eat an Octo Rock. I want to say it looks flattering, but it does not. It looks flattering. <laughs> oh yeah, my God, green butt. I like this mini boss battle music though. This is fun. ECW. I just part right here. East W. East W. East W. East W. East W. East W. I think one or two more hits would do it. Oh wait. Be my ring oh, Ron. never mind. That's it, huh? Oh. You got him, sir. That's your that's your ringtone. East W. Now you'll get tired of that real quick. <laughs> All of a sudden, we are the champion starts to play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Bohemian Rhapsody will start to play. That Ooh. Mamma mia, mamma mia, don't you let me go. Be a Ozzy Bop. I work with a woman named Mia. I call her Mamma Mia. <laughs> Ooh. Was she ever sick of the pun? No. A lot of people call her that, and she loves Bohemian Rhapsody too. Dang. And she you saw the movie the from Bad Bunny. <laughs> I haven't. I have not. I never saw that movie. I need to see it. Dude, where'd she go, George? <laughs> where'd you go? There we go. Oh, it goes down! Yay! Yay! Another puzzle. You know what? At least this game isn't as puzzling as Oracle of Ages. Oh man, I had Oracle of Seasons back in the day. That's the one that I played and, and really enjoyed. I had a uh, purple Game Boy Color, and I had the game cartridge. Lord know, knows what happened to the game over the years. I think I have the Game Boy somewhere, but I know I have my brother's like teal colored Game Boy with Frogger 2 on it. <laughs> yeah, Oracle of Seasons is freaking ECW. I still have my original it's Game a good Boy game. There's supposed to be a third one called Oracle of, uh... I forgot. Oracle of Time, maybe? Or like Oracle a of ECW. Yeah, we, like yeah, we have Age of Seasons and... It was supposed to be Time or something. Like, uh, okay. She actually makes an appearance, I think, in both the games where you just talk to her, but she's... But she's an Oracle. And, uh... But there's supposed to be a third installment to make it a trilogy, but... I don't know if they didn't have time to make it. Or it just got scrapped for some reason. I gotta look. I gotta do research on that. I'm sure someone in the Zelda group will say something. Yes, you idiot! It was called uh, Oracle Time. You dumb. No, no. And that's the world we live in, people. Oh, here we go. You know, it's like if a person is wrong, correct them. Don't belittle them. I know, right? Well, yeah. you're stupid. You should know. No, listen. I'm, I've watched live streams of people that were not playing my favorite game right. Hey, yeah, deep down it kind of fr frustrated me, like, oh, no, 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 go there. But I don't actually attack him for it, because not everybody's good at the game you are. There's Baron Lemonade, whatever is that, Baronade. Sounds like a type of lemonade or something. Berenstain, Berry. Berenstain, is it Berenstain? Oh, Berenstain. <laughs> Alright, this is a weird boss. Weird don't begin to describe this guy. Whoa. I love I love Baronade, but I also love the water temple boss. Oh yeah. Um this look at it. Now it looks like uh when it starts spinning around here in a minute, it looks like a ride from Six Flags or a fair or That's something. What I was getting ready to do. Oh well, look out. I like the water temple boss in Twilight Princess. Oh that one too. I like the fire boss in Twilight Princess. He was on fire. He's on fire. He was hot. 
he's on fire. He hit three straight shots like an NBA jam. I remember like when you first see him, he's, he's chained up. He's like real dark and black. And then uh, I think we were like joking, like that, that there was a racist comment. Then when he then when he when he ignites and lights up, we I goes, "Am I black now, brother?" <laughs> Gosh! Oh wow! <laughs> Best part of the video. Oh, yeah. right? oh. That was a fun part right there. It's part eight of Twilight Princess. Check that out. Tibbs was in that. That's, he said that's when he started to really feel at home with S T U K. Damn. Come on, Link. Every video, but man, I really miss his presence on here. Yeah, I do too. But he's too good for us now. No, I'm kidding. That's not. That's not this. That's uh someone else from Master 2K that left us. Never mind. Next. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> Metro cool has. Hey, I can hear you guys. Now, Tibbs would like to be in these commentaries, but you know, life. When you're married to work full time, that can take up a lot of your time. Love and marriage. Yeah. Love and marriage. Shut up, pig. Ow! Perfect imitations. Did you miss me, Al? With every bullet so far. Oh! <laughs> it's still funny we told that woman. He goes up. The woman goes, Well, I hope you get cold in your Christmas stocking on your stocking on Christmas morning. And he goes, and I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> oh, he always had, he was, yeah, like, he always had good comebacks. He always said interesting things. One of my favorite ones was when he goes, you'll be hearing from my attorney. And he goes, is that the law offices of Hagen and Dawes? <laughs> I believe so. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's it. Ugh. I just love how these bosses just like blow up or disintegrate. Yeah. Disintegration X. Disintegrate into something full. Oh wait. Nice, another hard container. Well, have you ever played um any of the DS Zeldas by any chance? No. Well, like there's Haven't. this one boss in them that I like. That's he's called Skeldrich. Skeldrich. Yeah, and I just. I love the mechanics of that one, because if I remember right, you shoot at his spine to bring him down to your level, and then you, like, um, attack his head. Ah. Rudo's still complaining, even though we saved her. And, whoa, ah! Women, am I right? <laughs> no, I am not that'd be funny. If, that. That'd be funny if you made a kitchen joke. I think I'm gonna go make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> now see if Blue Rose says something to you on the S2K Discord server. Uh, Victoria, are you turning on us women? But I am a woman. <laughs> a woman, yeah. And I'm a man. I can, do, I can do a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I want that spiritual stone. Gimme, 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 gimme. If you say nothing really, she leaves and the game's over. You have to start over. No, I'm just kidding. That would suck. Whoa, wait. Uh, no. Uh, well, I, I don't want to be engaged to you, but I'll still take the stone. It's not the spiritual stone of ECW, but it'll do. It'll do. I can take it to Jeff and he'll buy it. Yeah. How much would Jeff give us for that? Well, I'll give you guys store credit. Now, he'd be like that guy from, uh, what's it called? Pawn Wars? Or Pawn Stars or whatever? I can only give you five dollars. I can only do five dollars. That's the best I can do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a slap in the face. Yeah. You know, I still wonder what people would do if it was the spiritual stone of ECW. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet Sapphire! Dusty Rhodes manager? Nope. But Link got the third spiritual stone. Now the next part, Link, will now go to I think a Hyrule Castle or the, the Temple of Time, I forgot. It'll be interesting to see what happens in part seven. Until then, God bless and take care. Later. That's it. That's the end of the video, folks.
Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 7. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy! It's good to be here. Or is it? And is that it is. Link has just defeated the third dungeon or uh, Jabu Jabu's belly. And after being engaged to Princess Rudo, he now <coughs> heads to... I forgot where he's supposed to head next. Oh, there's... Oh, no. Get away. Get away from her. No! Yeah, especially him. It takes him forever to move out the way. Move out the way. Whee! That part's fun. Do, 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 do. Well, Link has all three spiritual stones. He should head to the Temple of Tom now. You know, I love the music there. Yeah, me too. But Link likes to get sidetracked, so he's probably going to do some farming and or grinding a side quest here. Uh, I'm in the same way too, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, Zora's River. What His was name that? is Long. Wait, what was that side quest called in Twilight Princess where you get like the armor, a certain armor, and it, oh. it every time you take damage, it takes rubies about? away from you. But now I'm trying to think of it. Now. The ECW armor or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember back in the day, I think I was getting frustrated. Cause I, I thought it was part of the game. Like, you had to get it. You couldn't beat the game. And someone in the Zelda MSN group said, no, that's just a side quest. Oh, well, what is this douche armor? <laughs> Sounds about right. I forgot Sounds it. It costs right. a lot of rupees, I think, to buy that uh, Castletown shop. Seems legit. You just wasted all your time and money. Yeah. Who else is digging this music? Hyrule failed. Rabbit Inspector. Welcome to Hyrule failed! Here's the Both best of Zelda Ocarina time! Rabbit Inspector with his uh, 20 second cameo appearances. Yeah, I try to give him a commentary seconds. tonight, but guess what he's doing? Uh, live streaming? Nope, working. Eating pizza. Oh, working. Who works? <laughs> yeah, that's overrated. Right? I mean, who cares about <laughs> pills? What was that one guy from In Living Color that worked, like, how many jobs? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, 15 jobs, and they had a son. <laughs> you only got five jobs, you lazy bum! <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, uh... What's his name said? What happened to that nice young man you were dating? He had a hundred job, and she said he dead now. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Wait a minute, Link. What are you doing? You can't. You don't have to scale yet. You can't go down there. Yeah. What Silly are you trying to hero. do? How dumb are you? You're trying to pull a Mexico. Pretty You're darn. To pull a damn Mexico. How does one pull a Mexico? You just fail, and you've already done a Mexico. <laughs> Fair That's enough. That's why I don't live stream. <laughs> okay, well then, by that logic, I've pulled plenty of Mexicals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the actual term's called Mexifool. No, I'm joking. Mexifool. <laughs> you Mexifool! Alright, play the sun song. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Oh, he forgot that he's going to look up the notes. There we Let's go. see, how does it go? Yeah. Well, I've had to do it. A lot of us had to do that. Okay, we're supposed to play this song. Wait, I thought that was it. Oh, no, that's the storm song. Just the, the, the storm song. <laughs> the storm <laughs> sun. <laughs> All right, now it's not time. Where's, where's Dampe or Damp or whatever that old man's name, name is, the gravekeeper? I don't know. I, I almost want to call him poster, Dank though. Meme. <laughs> Dank Meme. <laughs> okay, now Link, uh, wait, you, you, he's got the boomerang now, so now he can get the token. <laughs> ah, fail. What? Oh. There you go. Oh, okay. I never got all hundred sculptures. Tibbs did, though. I'm sure you did. I did. Tibbs will be real quick to, uh, to bring that up. I did. Yeah. yeah. Of course he did. Wait till the let's discuss. Ah, the Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. I got all 100 sculptures in this game. Hee <laughs> hee. 
All right, that's it. I'm doing my let's discuss. I'm going to do it pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Tibbs does. It's the only time he has for us anymore because he's Mr. Big Shot. Work full time. No, I'm just kidding. Meanwhile, Ron Mr. is all like, I'm done, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm done, <laughs> man. No, at least when Tibbs, when Tibbs does <laughs> promise to make uh, an appearance, at least he follows through. I'm like, we got <clears throat> But anyway. Our Mexico. In wait, but what are you talking about? Oh, crap, I forgot. I... Oh, yeah. Remember, I would always forget about the commentary, so I'd be like, wait, wasn't I supposed to do something? Oh, crap, I was supposed to do commentary yesterday. Yeah. Whoa. I think I've gotten a lot better, though. Is it? Whoa. Is it just me to get freaking dark? It's darker yeah. than my humor out here. Yeah. <laughs> on my flashlight. More like my soul, Ooh. actually. <laughs> Whoa, that's deep. <laughs> dark souls. That's actually oh, so wait a deep. Minute. Adele was rolling in it. Oh, dang. Ha. I mean never to be mean to you. <laughs> well, the rumor has it. Rumor has it. Well, rumor has it something's about to happen here because there's a cutscene. Now, if only Link could set fire to the rain. Right. Commercial's about to happen. <laughs> okay. Whoa, wait. I love this scene. Who's that? Oh, it's Zelda. And Impa. Do, 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 do. Dang, she's got an arm. She plays softball or something. We're just gonna Whoa. that right Oh, there. shoot. Oh, there he is. He's got a big nose. Ganon dork. Who, me? Well, yeah, I mean, if the shoe fits. <laughs> Ooh! That, oh, that yeah. horse is ECW. Maybe Ganondorf wants to be an ECW wiener. Yeah. Possibly. You've got guts, kid. You've got mail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is funny. I mean, Link with that little Kokiri sword is not going to do nothing to Ganondorf. That's for sure. His big ears. The whole you've got mail thing just totally brought me back to my childhood when we'd power on the old Windows 98. You've got mail! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch! Did the Hadouken on him. Hadouken. I'm sure you How you duking? I love Gandor's theme. His ECW theme? Or his WWE theme? I'm checking. I did create him on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. What? I knew that, folks. Just in case you didn't know that, that's why I brought it up. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know that. Good time. Oh, man. Well, Ganondorf is going after Zelda here as Link to stands there like, well, I got pwned. Pwned. Oh, no. oh, don't worry. My name is Lonk, and I'm here to save the world. Huh. It's, it's all it's all sunny and uh, friendly now. After all, after that. Oh wait, that's right. I get the Ocarina of Time. Oh, what the heck just happened? Now there's a big giant fireball in the sky again. Yes. <laughs> you know what kills me is when I see memes of Link diving into the water, going after the Ocarina of Time, and then just tossing aside sorry as like, nah, who cares, I got a blue one now. Right, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Whoa, is Zelda talking to him through tele telepathy? Through MySpace? What is it with uh, Zelda games and telepathy? Uh, uh, telepathy is lovely. Yeah. You got me. Oh, Link's learning a, learning a <clears throat> new song. This song opens the door of ECW. I welcome that. And the temple of ECW. That's right. We gotta fight the evil, uh, Paul Hamendorf? I fail. Uh-oh. 
you've learned the song of ECW. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I just YouTubed it. I was like, all right, how do I do this? Oh, all right, YouTube. Yeah. Now, Ricky C., play this melody in front of the altar in the temple of ECW. You must protect the Triforce. I was going to make a joke, but I didn't want to try and force it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Hyrule Castle Town, and then Link will enter the temple of ECW. Like, what would you say your most favorite version of the Castle Town theme is? Mm, I don't even remember what Twilight Princesses sound like. It was, um, it had a lot more variety to it. Like, you would go to certain parts of the town, and it would kind of change depending on your location of the town. That's cool. Uh, I'll go with see all of the above. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Link looked a little different right there. <laughs> We're just going into Temple of Time, and here we are. Uh-oh. Yeet. I said yeet. Yeah. <laughs> There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye ye who owns three spiritual stones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm never going to take this seriously now. <laughs> right. <laughs> now you think of that word. It's not meant to be taken serious. <laughs> yeah. It just as, as soon as I replay this game and re-enter the temple, I'm just gonna like hear, hear you ye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. Here we go. The three spiritual stones come to life and circle around you, and they find their place on the, uh, I don't know, what was that altar of time? Game over, man. Game over. I'm checking. Oh, so shiny. Which will open the door of ECW. <laughs> did, 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 John Cena. Oh yeah, speaking of John Cena. Yep. That has to be the Master Sword. I want one. Wait, I'm broke. The ECW Sword! If only I wasn't so damn broke, I would buy one. Yeah. Living La Vida Broca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Here we go. CW. Alright, all is right with the world as Link has the sword of ECW. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh oh. Uh uh, what? Guys, I'm scared. Is it bad that his eyebrows and hair reminds me of Sriracha? <laughs> Sounds so good right now. <laughs> like, it was a random thought, but I got to thinking. Oh man, what has Link done? Maybe he turned heel. <laughs> Whose side is he on? Yeah, who's not is he on indeed? Know. Well, if we what can't rely heck? on him, where's he at? Who can we? Where's he oh, at now? Who can we rely on? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's in Goldeneye. Joking. <laughs> Wrong LP. This, is, this place is more moist than freaking homemade Whoa. cake. Who's that? I am Roro, one of the ancient sages. <laughs> I'm dead. You killed it, Ron. <laughs> For Good real, work. I like. I can never say his name right. I don't think Roro. -ro -ro. I say Roro. -ro. It's like one of Victoria's dogs trying to pronounce his name or something. Roro. Roro. -ro. It sounds like. It sounds like. 
<laughs> oh my god. It sounds like Max barking. <laughs> it's hard to take oh. him seriously when his name is Raru. <laughs> whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Peter Pan did grow up. Damn. I was quick. You're a big kid now. Now you can pull up your own diapers. And he suddenly got his ears pierced. Right? You know, when I first played this game, I thought, like, because I knew Link would eventually grow up. But, like, I thought as you beat the dungeons, you start to grow older and grow bigger for some dumb reason. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, this is where he becomes an adult. Oh, okay. Oh, yuck. Plus, I think the owl said, oh, hey, Link, Link, you're getting bigger now or something. Or stronger. I forgot what he said. And then I got to hear, I'm like, oh, this is when he officially becomes an adult. Like, over, pretty much overnight. What, what feels like... A few seconds, but it's actually been seven years. Jeez. Yeah, it happens just like that. One day you wake up and you're like, "Oh, where'd my life go?" Right. You know, I sometimes I wonder if he would think behind the scenes, "Who let me suddenly adult? I can't just adult. I was just a kid five seconds ago." They probably got this idea <laughs> from the movie Big. <clears throat> oh. I don't know if you've seen that, Victoria, but Tom Hanks was a 13-year-old yeah. oh, kid, yeah. and then he wishes to be an adult. He's th 35 years old, so he's an adult with a kid's mind. Yeah. So Link yeah, is a well, kid a at heart. Yeah, nowadays, so that's kind of, yeah. Yeah. Although I think um, the fate of what happens with the Ocarina Link and other installments is kind of sad. I, Raru, am one to say <laughs> just <Yeah>. and... <laughs> Indeed. I'll ask, I'll ask uh, Tibbs, is that how you really say it? Ra Raru? Raru? I mean, I, am I saying it wrong? or Somebody's going to correct us in the comment section. It's oh, someone's going to get when I post like, this. You the say it like this. When I post this in the Hyrule Warriors group, it's not pronounced Raru, you idiot. <laughs> well, damn, that's the way I'm going to pronounce it then. If it's going to piss you off that much, I'm going to say it like that. Right. Whoa, Link's got a co big coin. I want to say it's either Raru or Rauru. Oh, like, it might be Rauru. It's funnier just to say Raru. Raru. I Raru. Raru. Just like in the movie, uh, <laughs> what was that movie, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the guy thought he was badass, I am Taserface, and everybody starts laughing at him. I am one of the sages, what? Raru, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say that again, Raru. <laughs> okay, Raru. <laughs> I'm gonna just call him Raul. Raul. <laughs> Raul. Ra Raul from Street Fighter. Raul. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I said Raul, Max lifted up and looked at me like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> can he hear us? Oh no, he can't hear us, can he? I'm sure he probably can a little bit because he's he's actually not that far from me. I say Raul. 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 He looks so confused. <laughs> Tilting his head. Whoa. Wait, who's that? His eyes got all big. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Who is that? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, like, whoa. Yeah. Now I got chance going. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> if only you knew. So who is this mysterious figure? Now he just thinks I'm a no. mental case. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I don't like where this is going. E -C -W I don't know where it's going. C -W. You know, uh, when it's pronounced uh, Raru, it almost sounds like Ragu. Ragu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got Sriracha and, and uh, Ragu on the brain today. Yummy. Yes! <laughs> and now word from our sponsor. I'm joking. Yeah. Get a copyright <laughs> claim. No. They can endorse us. Yeah. A lifetime supply of... Five Sages. I used to have... I used to be a... Uh, I used to have service from a phone company called Sage Telecom. 
That's awesome. Yeah, they were trash, wow. but anyway. <clears throat> they were trash. Like, here, let me tell you a story. Well, they sucked, but anyways. Well, basically, <laughs> I, 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 pay, I did a check by phone. They got, they got the routing number wrong, but because they messed up, they still couldn't take check by phone payments from me anymore. But, sir, y'all the one that put the wrong routing number in. I know, but because it, it bounced, even though it was our fault, we still can't <clears throat> accept it from me anymore. So, <laughs> instead of, you know, owning up to their mistakes, I just I had to pay a different method. I said, <clears throat> nope, I'm done. I left somewhere else. Uh, I, went, I, went, I went to somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so we got a, so there's five other sages besides Rairu. And <laughs> so I guess in part eight, maybe we'll meet the uh, other, the second sage. So see you guys in part eight. God bless and take care. See ya. Be there or be square. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Part 8. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy. Thank you for joining us, folks. Now Link is leaving the temple of ECW. Whoa, look at that. Let's ECW... Anybody explain that to me? ECW Mountain. Whoa. Whoa, jeez. The mark has been ran down. Holy smokes. And all the redeads. <laughs> Those things kill me. Yeah. Alright, back at ECW Field. Dark and gloomy East. Whoa, wait a minute. It's getting. Oh, looking all pretty again. Oh. Oh, Al Roker here. We got a bright and sunny day ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> with a slight chance of rain. Hey, yeah. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Ha! Beat me to it. <laughs> I know you're going to say it. That's why I had to say it before. ECW. Oh, it's getting gloomy again over Lon Lon Ranch. That's, that's pretty emo. Let's see what's going Cloudy. on here. Leak. Whoa! Welcome to, uh, 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 Lame Lame Ranch. <laughs> lame Lame Ranch. <laughs> everything's, everything's, that sounds about right. Everything's emo. Sable. Oh, Stable. Oh, I thought you said Sable. Oh, wait, you Whoa. did say it. Who's that? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, of course. Ganondorf is to blame. Ever since that one guy. Thank yeah. you, Gandalf. Yeah. But Dad, wait. So that's that's Malin. Uh, Whoa. yep. All right. So Ganondorf has effed stuff up. Only me, definitely. Whoa! Is that a grown-up opponent in there? Who's this douchebag? Oh, is that Ingo? <laughs> freaking oh, uh, meth head Luigi or whatever the the heck? Maybe hey, while Luigi about gets that. some hard times. Right? Yeah, Ingo. I N G O and Ingo was his name. Oh, I always found it funny how his name was just one letter short of Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's stop horsing around. Let me go in there and visit Epona. I see Epona. what you did there. I gotta pay 10 rupees. I know how it's done. Link, <laughs> Link knows more about horses than you do. You're just a horse's ass. Ooh! Burn! You heard it here first, folks. I wish the four horsemen show up. Ric Flair... <laughs> The horseman just beat the crap out of this guy. Woo! Listen here! You and look over at Tal uh, Talon. You shut up, fat boy! I'll take your daughter. Woo! Wait a minute. No, I think Malin's underage. But anyway. 
Alright, let's... Yeah, let's... Yeah, we're all Chris Hansen to come. Rick Flair goes, Ah, God! No! No! She told me she was 18! No! There's a Pona! Oh, no, wait, there's a Pona! <laughs> we're getting on the hot horse! Get good! Hey, yeah. ECW! 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 EC oh, fail! And now, a word from our sponsors. Boy, do I feel like a horse's patoot! <laughs> I, uh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> for the love of God! Points for reference? Uh. Points for reference. Let's see who gets it in the comment section. That's what I'm uh, right. Yeah. About. Come on. Light heavyweight, probably. Yeah. Matt. Or Chris Farty's cousin, uh, Ravenous Spectre. I did not know that. I did not know that fact. It all makes sense now that I think about it. Now. Yeah. I fix your eyebrows. Jeez. Thick ass eyebrows. I wish the rock could come over here and give in the people's eyebrow along with the people's elbow. So Link failed right there, so he's got to... I forgot what you got to do to unlock opponent here. You got to, like, jump over the hurdles right, or what? I forgot. Uh, you got me. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess you got to play uh, opponent's song. The only person that would know is Bear... I'm joking. Or Lady Zelda. Lady Zelda. Yeah, I know it like at some point, um, after you if I remember right after this part, um, you like jump over um the area where we're like not freaking surrounded by fence and then you like jump all the way out into Hyrule Field. Okay, so right here first, if I remember correctly, you have to beat Ingo two times in this race. Too fast, too fiery. It's kind of tricky right here too, because I think the first time is kind of easy. The second time it gets a little harder. Oh yeah, that's why I viewed him as obnoxious. I'm like, come on, just get away. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta get good. Yeah. Oh, he beat him. Horse. Freaking! I think last time I rode a horse was 2000. It's been a while. A wow. while. But what about you guys? Uh, <laughs> probably when I was a kid. Yeah, same for me actually. <laughs> but it was a nice horse. I mean, the only thing I know about horses is the Ford Horseman. Yeah. Whether you like it, or whether you don't, I don't. Uh, dang it! Uh, <coughs> if I stop choking on something. <coughs> Whether you Don't like it, wrong, we'll just do it again. Oh, whether you don't like it, learn by God to love it because it's the best thing going today. Haha. <laughs> Woo! That was perfect. A plus. Kurt Hennig? Mr. Perfect. Ah, uh, he lost again. Oh. Haha, -huh, sucks to suck. Oh, man, he's like. It looks like he's wi having withdrawals right here. Right. This guy never blinks, does he? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, wait, I got a script right. Are you following? Alright, so Link is trapped here. Whatever will he do? I have no idea. Maybe James Bond will come rescue. A <laughs> secret hidden Wrong mission. LP. You know what? LP's so awesome. You oh. know what? I didn't actually know you could jump over that. I would, when I played this game, I like jumped over like one of the other fences on the other side of the ranch. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, where he just like stopped. Yeah, but he didn't. Uh, rod fast enough, I think. That's why our opponent didn't jump. Oh, come mm -hmm. on. You could have jumped right there. Well, maybe not. I would have broke his legs. 
And we don't need PETA coming after this channel. Knowing PETA, they probably would anyway. Unless it's PETA Wilson from Left M Nikita. Or PETA oh. Griffin. <laughs> yeah. P, uh, P, Tear, Griffin. Peter Griffin. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, uh, when Family Guy used to be funny. Is Simpsons still funny? Um, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> I mean, the last time I really cared about anything about The Simpsons was the, the movie. Yeah, it's been a oh, while. Yeah. And that movie was alright. I mean, it was cool that it came out with the movie. It was pretty cool, but it wasn't... I gave it a 7 out of 10. Could have been better. I think everybody was expecting more. That's all it was. I mean, it was the first time they were going to do a movie. It's like, oh. And I'll admit, I went to the movie theater, saw it. Me too. They should have had that as the series finale. I just end it right there. I always thought that would have been an interesting way to, like, yeah, there, there's so many ways they could have just ended the Ending it with the movie would have been good, but they're just making too much money. Like, all right, let's milk this till we can't milk it anymore. Yeah, and it's animated. You know, it's a cartoon. It's not like a real-life uh, sitcom or anything because, you know, everybody gets old. <laughs> if Seinfeld's still around oh, yeah. today, that wouldn't work. Oh, man. Whoa, uh, okay. We're in this mysterious place here with this... This guy, if you remember him, I love this music though. Easy dub, easy dub, easy freaking W, easy W, <laughs> hoo hoo. Get your ECW ringtone, st2k.com. I'm that kid that with the Ocarina. So most of the Zelda games I played were in 2D. Then again, mostly I've only played Zelda. I would like for there to be, I wish they would reverse it. How about a 2D Ocarina of Time and a 3D A Link to the Past? Oh man, I'd welcome this. Easy dub, easy freaking W. Nintendo, this is your guy. Yep. Uh, copyright strike, uh, that's our idea. Uh, we didn't give you permission to speak on it. Permission? This is America. You learned the song of we ECW. We don't need no permission. <laughs> Pretty soon, they're going to copyright our thoughts. Uh -huh. They're going to yeah, copyright strike our ideas. Idea. Like, wait, we, we detect that you had this idea in your head. We had the idea first, even though we never used it. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm going to have to copyright your breathing pattern because that's the same breathing pattern as the CEO. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if Sega was smart, they would have taken advantage of Bomber Games coming at, coming at them. Or not coming at them, but coming to them and saying, hey, uh, we made this remake of Streets of Rage. You want to do business? They would have made a ton of money off of that, and I would have been happy to pay for that game. No, instead of, oh, let's cease effort. and desist, because it's our intellectual property, which is true, but if you're smart, you would have made money. No wonder you end up being a, a third-party company. Mm-hmm. Sega and their mistakes. I could make a video about every single one. I remember someone saying, Still never be done I don't remember anymore. Nintendo beating Sega. Where have you been the past 20 years? What? They're a third-party company now. And he said, they chose to be that. They had to choose to be that or go out of business. Nobody beat Sega. Sega beat themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Dreamcast was successful, but it just wasn't enough to save them. Yeah. So Sega you didn't do everything. Sega was a great company, but they just, they, especially after that, uh, Cease and desist order of a Street Rage remake. I thought, you know, this is why you're probably not a console company anymore. Just yes, stupid folks, decisions we're like about this. Sega on a Nintendo LP. Oh, burn! Doink, doink. The clown? <laughs> uh, wasn't Doink the clown played by Chris Jericho? Well, one time when he jumped uh, William Regal. Oh, okay. I always thought it was Chris Jericho after. Uh, Matt Bourne oh, was, was the, the main one. To the play Brooklyn the character, and then there's like maybe one or two other people to do it too. But Matt oh, Bourne was the main Brooklyn one to do it. Oh! WWE champion. Uh, Tom Brandy actually played as a patron before, besides Dale Wilkes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I can hear Jeff listen to this video right now. Hey, <laughs> leave it to Ronnie talk about wrestling. <laughs> that was brilliant. And you know what? Speaking of brilliant, say yes, brilliant, Ronnie, okay? And yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, anybody needs to know this, I do not hate Sega. I know they made a lot of mistakes. Heck, I was part of uh, Strictly Sega of America with Jeff back in the day. Yeah, and if they were brilliant, they would have taken advantage of the Street Rage remake. Like, I don't like, hate sweet. them either. But yeah, me either. I, I just I just never had um, any of their consoles, but um, a relative of mine, like, way back when, like, probably 99, 2000, I was just a little shit. Um, they, he had a he had the Dreamcast, and I'm like, oh. And then I got reacquainted with it by looking up like random game consoles, and I'm like, oh yeah, hey yeah, I remember this thing. Here's its Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, Genesis did do when Nintendo don't what become a third party company. Oh, exactly. There's oh, Nintendo's but... and Nintendo don'ts. I mean, I love Sega. Also, I love I love the freaking Genesis and Master System. Oh, he's a hook shot. So he's a basketball player now? He's hooked. That's, uh, that's coming from me live streaming NBA Jam <laughs> the other night. That was cool. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going to get crushed by that door. Is this Shadowgate? The Shadowgate 64 LP? Yeah. Hey, oh, what is this? Not me. There's some blocks. Play the song of time. ECW? That was ECW. Yeah. 9.9, yeah. 9, to be exact. 9.95! Yes. Easy dub, easy dub, easy freaking W, easy W. Should be my ringtone from now on. No, Link, well, you can't grab the stone wall. It, I guess the red dot kind of makes you think you can. What's that red dot? It's my laser on my gun. <laughs> uh, to be honest, actually, I don't know. Let me fire my laser. You can't, uh, you got to jump on the little merry-go-round right there. I think he's got it now. Have y'all played Twilight Princess? Oh, yeah. Remember, was it the, uh, the ice temple or the, the frozen mansion, whatever it was, where you gotta, oh. you gotta, like, swing on that shan or make the chandelier move? Oh, yeah, Yido's house. Yeah, and I, I was stuck. I was like, how to get, how to get past this part? I think I had a look at a YouTube video or something. You gotta like hit the chandelier with your big ball and chain or something to get to get across. It all makes sense. Yeah. You know, still to this day, I can't help but make a Sia reference every time when it comes to that part. <laughs> uh, uh, what reference? A Sia reference for song chandelier. A Sia. Who is a Sia? A Sia. A, 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 a Sia W. <laughs> Or yeah, see ya later. Do you uh, see ya this? UFC ya. Uh, there's Poe. Tommy Poe. Boy. Oh! I don't have enough rupees, I'm Poe. Yeah, right, yeah. There used to be a <laughs> restaurant here in town called Poe, folks. Really? Yep. There's some place that would serve a Poe, folks sandwich. Come on, Link. You do better than that. <laughs> Link, what are you do? You can't get up there, you wish? Oh, no. Link is lost here. This ain't the Lost Woods. Hello, my name is Lonk, and I'm here to save the world. They should have uh, made, uh, made a Tiger... <laughs> they should have made a game with uh, Tiger Woods called the Tiger Lost Woods. Tiger Lost Woods. Coming soon. To Wait the a GameCom. minute. What did wasn't Link supposed to collect the pole soul right there or something? That's what I would have done. That's weird, but anyway. What are you doing? He don't have time to get sidetracked. He's got a, 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 a world to save or whatever. All I do is get sidetracked. Yeah. What, do you get sidetracked in spirit tracks? Ooh. If only. Oh, who's that up there? 
Not me. Oh, dang, how do you get up there? Good question. A oh, bear 13 shop. Open only during the day. Wake up, bear. We know you're hibernating. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up. Get up, cash and rupees and get up. <laughs> I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Whoa, push him off. Ah! Is it 500 rupees? Could be. Man, he's looking hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was he doing up there? Oh, he's uh, camping. Wait a minute. <laughs> she. And I'll be saying, stop messing around and get to the Kokiri Forest. Oh. Get to the forest and get good. That's not a real fan. That was just a plant. Silly Deku Baba. Tricks are for kids. Uh, the giant Baba is a legendary wrestler. Oh, yeah. See, it, it does always go back to wrestling. I got a problem. Ronnie, you're a wrestling attic. I don't live in an attic. attic. I'm not an attic. What are you talking about? Oh. All right, here we go. The Lost I'm... Tiger Woods. Yeah. Hey, I grew up in the ruthless aggression. So. Right, the tooth toothless aggression. Toothless oh, aggression. Here's this pansy again. This panty waist up. My doll, or whatever his name is. Ooh. You know Link could just slice his head off if he wanted to, but this is a rated G game. Uh, now <laughs> fail. On the PlayStation. Yeah. Maybe if Link rated was in Soul Calibur. No. <laughs> oh yeah. I liked playing as Link in Soul Calibur. Yeah. Yeah, my doll doesn't recognize him. He's like, who are you? Oh, yuck. Who are you? Who are you? It doesn't matter who you are. It only matters who I am. Yeah. What matters is that you know you're old and shut your mouth. It's a family matter. So Did my, I do that? Midal said uh, that Link, that he, he reminds him of Link. Well, that is Link, but he don't know it because Link has grown up and he doesn't realize he's not really a coherent. He's actually a highly Spoiler alert. Well, Deku Spoiler Tree alert, told that story already. <laughs> Begin the game. Or did he? Oh man, I would have grabbed that part. So when Link grows up, he just gets a job. And it yeah. gets way more boring. Yeah. Grown up. Oh yeah, this part right here, you gotta watch out for the giant hog soldiers or whatever the heck they are. Yeah, next thing you know, you're in the wrong temple. Yeah. No. Oh, oh. I didn't expect that. No, no. Well. Link, what are you doing? Don't climb up there yet. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, well, You're what's that noise? Do I hear a loud, uh, I heard something. That was weird, anyway. Yeah, that was kind of weird. No, Link, what you do? Use your hook shot from a distance. That's what I did. Link, are you trying to get killed? And then all of a sudden, somebody plays All Star by Smash Mouth. Yeah. I'll do it. I got the track <laughs> loaded right now. It's just listening to it half an hour ago. That's funny. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I never thought of doing that, but it would be easier just to use your hook shot from behind from a distance. No, you just gotta, sometimes you gotta do things the hard way. Oh, wait, well, I didn't know you can destroy them with a bomb.
Some Melgar solid action here. Some get my action. L get my LPs mixed up. I'm doing what? Twin Snakes, Golden Iron, and Ocarina of Time at the same time. Oh, you know that's got to hurt. Oh, no, Boom no, you. Oh, ooh, he stabbed right in the throat. Ouch. He should be dead. Boom shakalaka. It's just like in Mortal Kombat 11. All those moves they do on you, you should kill you, but it don't. The match continues. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Move out the way, you idiot. You know what he's okay. doing? He's throwing the match. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Get him, Link. You know, to this day, though, I still do love Metal Gear Solid. Me too. Like, I want to say that it might be in the old childhood game collection uh, still, because I stumbled upon um, the PS1 after, like, what seems like 3,000 years, and I found a bunch of games that I used to play, and I'm like, oh, hey, here's Ape Escape, here's this, here's that, and I think it's possibly in there. The shield's not going to work right there, you idiot. It's like, hey, man, I'm trying. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I just bought Metal Gear Solid 2. For the first time, I've not played that game probably 17 years. Oh, it's wow. been quite a while for me too. So when I play that game again, I'll get so lost. Back then, I, I, beat, I could beat it on extreme and get all the doll tags. Now I probably could even probably better beat on very easy. Don't remember any of what the doll tags are. Uh, better than me, I probably couldn't beat it at all. The only Metal Gear I ever beat was the Solid for the PS1. That's pretty solid. Solid. Give, do me a solid. <laughs> Lee can't get past this guy. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. No. What, Link? Oh! I think he sees a hook shot, right? Or did use a sword? I forgot. Dude, the Link shot. You're not a sword. That's not a sword. This is a sword. Your face is a sword. Ooh! You're a sword loser. Yeah, I'm not Kurt Angle. Oh. You want some aloe vera for that say? burn? Whoa. A creepy stalker again. That tree stump where that was, what, uh, sorry, a secret place? Oh. Or whatever it's called. With this bedtime it's near music. house, right? No, I'm sure. <laughs> This is bedtime music. Imagine listening to this, and while Tibbs tells you a story, you'll be put to sleep real quick. Insert Tibbs audio right here. Yeah. The, the minute, minute of forest. The minute stake of forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn it down. You forget, and he goes, no, idiot, listen to me, let's do this again. You ever thought about that? Like, what if you mess up and the GPS is like makes fun of you? That's not where I said to turn. Now listen to me. Turn this way. That'd be hilarious. That would, yeah. I would. You have learned the minuet of ECW. Where are you going? Um, it's like, oh, okay. hey, where'd they go? <laughs> just a flash in the pan. Did that really just happen? Uh, yep. You know, I always thought it was funny how he stares at the ocarina while it just shimmers. <laughs> yeah. The way Sheik made an exit once it's Kung Fu. What's that Kung Fu? The legend continues BS. Uh. I am Kane. I can no longer help you. And he just leaves. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so that's the just end of like that. Yeah, that's the end of part eight. We'll see you guys in part nine, where Link will enter the Forest Temple. Jeez, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I love this part. <laughs> it's getting good. Finally, yeah. it's getting good. Get All right. Good. Until then, God bless and take care. See ya. Till next time. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. This is Ron Moore, once again with Mexico and Lady Zelda. 
Howdy. Let's get this started. Yeah. It's good to start it. <laughs> How about be good to finish it? Uh, I don't know when that'll happen. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm talking about my LP. This LP will be done in 2022. <laughs> 500 years later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Link took out the wolf. Oh. We're actually at the entrance to the Forest Temple. Not quite inside the Forest Temple yet. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep. Link is uh going to con the walls up here. I think there's a gold skull chilla. Yep, there it is. I love those things. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they cute? Pwned. There we go. Yeah, the Force Temple. I mean, not my favorite temple in this game. It is cool, but man, it would drive me crazy. Uh, just, um, I was not good at this temple. I really wasn't. It can be confusing, and we'll get to that part a little bit later, but... Yeah, this is still a cool temple. This music, though. <laughs> there you go. We just need the Ron Dub version of it. It sounds way better. Ron Dub, yeah. Ron, EC, Ron Dub. E Wait, fail. That don't sound right. EC, Ron W. All right. Oh, watch out. Of course, you got to see these guys, the, the uh, Skull Watchillas. Skull now, Watchillas. Featuring narrative by Tibbs. Yeah. <laughs> right here, Ronnie. If you recall, these four ghosts right here, you got to you gotta catch them all. No. <laughs> <laughs> got to catch them all. You got to kill all four of these ghosts right here. In oh different boy, parts, like yeah, wow. in different parts of the temple, yeah. In order to light those torches back up to proceed further into the depth, the de depth, the depth of the forest temple. Dep, 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 dep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got another one. E e w. This is how you do it. Yep. You can have it any other way. This is how we do it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he beat me to it. <laughs> 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 gotta be quicker. Yeah. Oh, Man. you gotta be quicker than that. Oh. Trying to beat Ronnie in references is like trying to beat the Dompe race in the graveyard. No, wow. or maybe trying to beat the uh, runner in Hyrule Field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That makes All right, gotta fight these two douchebag skull guards. Stalfos, whatever they're called. Do you want to kill a Stalfos? I love this mini boss battle music, though. Same. Oh! Wow. Oh, what's going Whoa, on? Oh, it's right on. Link's standing right there, I think. <laughs> He's standing right there. Nice. I'm already <laughs> lost. Where we're at. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the Force Temple. Not oh. that I ever got this far. Oh, that block looks familiar. <laughs> I was about to say, he forgot the notes. <laughs> so let me check my note. Yeah. It's like, how do I do a thing? How do I hero properly? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, watch out indeed. Yeah, that... Whoa. I remember doing this LP on my channel um, using the PS2 controller. And, oh, this temple was... Uh, it's challenging enough, but trying to play this game with a PS2 controller is a bit awkward. I can't even imagine that. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that would have to be a bit strange. Yeah. 
And so my favorite Nintendo controller was the GameCube. Lame. Mine was the SNES. That was, yeah. Gotta love that music. <laughs> right, yeah. Let you know you're in danger. <laughs> I'm gonna make it my ringtone. The force is strong with this one. Yeah. Ooh, shiny. Yep. Shiny happy people. Shiny happy people. <laughs> Alright, could this be a map or a compass? It's a map! It's a map! You got Tell the Skip thing. Rogers. I got the thing, yeah. The thingamajig. The what's he who's it? What's he who's it? I never heard that one before. The thing of my bob. Something, the thing something. of a Bob Saget. <laughs> the thing oh, of a SpongeBob Saget. Wait. I almost snorted. <laughs> snorted what? <laughs> oh, just snorted. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hola. Oh, come on, that's on target. Oh, that's on what? what? Look at that. What is up with that? Okay. Yeah, okay, there you go. That was, man, that was, a, that was BS. He was in pretty much the same spot as he was from before. I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Yeah, Gliotch. Gliotch. You Gliotch. Don't do it, Link. You have everything to live for. <laughs> the what now? That's a good question. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot answer that. What are some of y'all's memories of this temple? Never made it this far. Well, um, I'd have to say mine... Well, I, I think arguably my most favorite would have to be the uh, twisted hallway thing. Because it just really screws with you. Yeah, that was twisted. <laughs> it would make me rage quit. Ganondorf, want to play a game of Twister, Link? <laughs> oh, like, you oh, choking? <laughs> highly unlikely. But damn. Yeah, highly unlikely. Yeah. Row, <laughs> row, <laughs> See if Shadow and Chance are over there perking their ears again. <laughs> Thank you, that douchebag auto rock in the water. I hate that thing. Sometimes I forget about the size of that Deku Baba. Right, yeah. Giant Deku Baba. I wonder if that's in reference to the Giant Baba, the old school wrestler. Deku Ali Baba. Very well, Oh! Oh. Snap, crackle, pop. Link went doink. The clown. <laughs> doink. <laughs> Who I thought was played by Chris Jericho because I never knew all these years. <laughs> Surprise! What, it was Jericho all along? What? Uh, even Link here is confused by this temple. This temple's pretty challenging, especially if it's been a long time since you played through it. You know, I really do love, um, you know, the atmosphere, like the music and everything. Because, um, like one time I just got bored and I looked up the Forest Temple theme on, um, well, right here on this thing that we're on right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, somebody left a comment saying, well, it sound, it's like calming, but it, it's like there's a sense of uneasiness. Like, it's calm, but something's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that, uh, no, not ambient. I don't know if you say ambient with uh, just a creepy ambient atmosphere to it. Yeah, it's like, you can relax, but don't get too relaxed. Yeah. Oh, this part of the level. Or the dungeon. Oh, jeez. So, which way do I go? Right. Which way do I go? <laughs> Seriously, which way do you go? I think somebody put something in the milk. Right. <laughs> hmm. 
Where's Skip Rogers? Which way do I go, Skip? First of all, don't drink milk. Drink Ovaltine. Ooh. And second of all, he has the maps that you need. Right. And now, word from our sponsor. Ovaltine. Yeah, word from our sponsor, the Score More Points tapes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this freaking block, you gotta push it a certain way. To be able to figure it out, and I mean, I know there's arrows that point in the direction where you're supposed to push it, but yeah, this is a puzzling dungeon. Well, speaking of puzzling, we'll get to the puzzling part of the dungeon a little bit later on. You know, this situation is filled with dad jokes right now. I think Link. I'm ready to, oh, I'm sure. ready to hear a bad joke. <laughs> I think Link has another thing in mind. Hmm, <clears throat> shoot for it. Oh, uh, there's another one. Oh. Did that wall oh never mind. A lot lot uh there's a lot of part of the walls that uh look discolored. A discoloration. I'm like, hey well, bomb that area. Oh wait. That's a pattern of <laughs> the wall. It's like the discolorations. Soundfield. It's it's like a slight it's like a discoloration. It's all moving blocks. It feels like I'm playing Tomb Raider. <laughs> Not that I played that game. I played a little bit of the very first one. That's the only one I played was yeah, the first I saw ABGN's review of the bad ones. <laughs> it's all they're all bad. Joking. Man, I remember um, playing some of the earlier ones too, where she was a lot pointier. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. To say nonetheless. <laughs> it was like it was kind of like a demo. So yeah, if I remember right, we didn't really own it at the time, but. I was just like, oh, here, let me just try to go down this hill area. Here comes enemies, and I'm, like, trying to shoot them, and I fail miserably. <laughs> so well, easy to die in that game. Were the movies any good? I liked them. Link, you can't use the grappling, the long shot. You gotta use an arrow. And Link don't have the arrows yet, I don't think. I believe not. Think, Link. What are you gonna do now, Link? Maybe try to slice through the wall again? Yeah. Maybe if you had the big moron sword, you could do it. <laughs> Ooh. Man, that was more of a burn than the Gerudo Desert and the angry Mario son. <laughs> Which has been attacking Texas lately. Apparently! <laughs> Under attack. Yeah, my girlfriend and her sister visited last week and. They're like, man, it's hotter down here than in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Texas. They say everything's bigger in Texas anyways. Yep. Including the sun. The sun. Hide from the sun. When I was a kid, my dad would sometimes call me son instead of Ronnie. And I'll go, wait, so I have two names? I like son better. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> ah! All right, come on, Mario. Sixty-four camera angles and Castlevania sixty-four camera angles. Oh jeez! So those were the days. I love those games, but yeah, the camera angles not the best, especially in Castlevania. For a split moment, I thought you said something about a camera's ankles. I'm like, what? Camera, <laughs> Kurt Angle. <laughs> the ankle lock? The ankle lock. No, we can't do that yet, Link. Can't do that yet, Link. The more you know. Yeah, it's going through the dough. Ah, oh, here we go. Twisted, Twisted City. Twisted Sister. Could you imagine doing this while intoxicated? Oh, man. I have a panic attack. It's like, what's going on? It's like the room is spinning, and then the hallway is spinning, and it's twisted. I remember on a mission trip years ago, we were painting this room, and uh, a few people inhaled a, a, 
a little bit too much paint. And so they said, oh, the walls are moving. <laughs> and Wolfram goes, wait, it is moving. <laughs> yeah, they had to get Holy. out there because they inhaled in a little bit too much paint. Yeah, painting. <laughs> yeah, too much paint. Yeah, painting too much Mario paint. All right, here we go. Another mini boss battle. Oh, well, look at that. How come he's not falling in the pit? He's special, that's why. Yeah, uh, get special treatment. Just like Upper some people on Twitch. Into the pit. Right, up coming to the pit. Finish him. Da, Get da, da. over here. I like to see a Link, a uh, Zelda tournament fighting game. Zelda, I mean, I know it's kind of happening in Smash Brothers, but I mean, like, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat style. You play as Ganondorf, Link. Uh, That'd be awesome. Play as That'd uh, be interesting Impa, Zelda, Zant. Man. <clears throat> ECW play as Midna. That'd be cool. Someone on Twitter, I think there's a, a question on Twitter saying, if you could pick a character from the Zelda series to where they had their own game, who would it be and what would it be called? Someone had put um, the the Legend of Zelda, Midna's Curse, where you could play as Midna. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's probably like something like that hasn't came out. Right. All right, fan-made uh, game programmers, do that now. And of course, you get taken down or cease and desisted, but oh well. Yep, that's all that would happen, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I know Nintendo has the rights to it, but man, Nintendo was smart. They capitalize on that and, like, make money off of that. You know, there was somebody on um, Facebook who had wished. Oh, well, I wish that there was a game where instead of you playing as Link all the time, you can just play through Ganondorf's perspective and learn more of his backstory. And someone's like, uh, we already, in a way, have that, which is Hyrule Warriors, but I'll admit, though, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. I've always wanted to play that. I never got to. All right, he's got the bow, which I think, I don't know if that means he has arrows. Let's see. Oh, nice, he does. 30 arrows. All right. Nice. Comes with arrows. Arrows sold yeah. separately. A Aerosmith, yeah. Aerosmith. So now you can shoot. See, like, now you can shoot the... Well, you gotta be sneaky about it. Shoot them while they're in the picture. <laughs> and uh, then they come out and you kill them. And that's one to be... That's how you light the four torches in the center of the temple. Oh, I did not know that. Come on. Oh, nice. Wow. Alright, here we go. There's the first one. Oh, but you gotta oh, shoot well all three that. pictures, but you can't be that close. You get the picture. The struggle. Dang it, free control. What's he doing? That's not gonna do anything. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Alright, no, you can't be that close. Oh, you can if it's the last one. Alright, because you, you shot out. You shot him in all the other pictures. All right, now you gotta go to the, uh, now you gotta go down there. There you go, to the bottom, and then fight it. All right, look out! You can't hit it though when it's invisible right there. Then there you, you go. Now, now there you go. Yeah, I used to use my arrows, Link, using this trusty sword here. Right round. Oh, you can do it, Link. Do it. Huh? Let's just, yeah, try to slice the torch. Yeah. Come on now, pass the torch. There you go. Nice. Would, wouldn't he be a backstabber by that logic? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Got another key. All right, progress. <laughs> the way he walks up those stairs, looks like he's tired. <sighs> Should have took the elevator then. Yep. Back to the twisted hallway. This is a twisted situation, folks. Yeah. Now you can shoot the eye. Whoa. Oh, nice. Now the Twisted Hall is straightened. Yeah, straighten up. You better straighten up. Get the power. 
no power. Yep. Oh, nice. What's in this nice shiny little chest? It's a good question. Oh, oh, shoot! You hear that? The wall master was about to come down. Oh no! Some people get so freaked out by the wall masters. I can see that. Yeah, he is freaky. Oh, we got the boss key. Nice. We got the Sasha Banks key. And oh, there, there he is. You hear him? Oh, he's back up now. That thing is creepy, man. I mean, seriously, it is creepy. Imagine that real life giant hand coming down and grabbing you. Yeah, no. No thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> I'd be worried about what it was gonna do with me. Right. Well, give the man a hand! Like I said, I wanted a hand, but not this kind of hand. Right. Take exactly. time with the wounded hand. Kill it, you idiot! Jeez. Touchdown! Right, yeah. The Legend of Zelda football. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they have Mega Man Soccer, so. I was about to say, they got Mega Man Soccer, why not Zelda football? <laughs> hey, why, why not? not? How about Zelda tennis? Mario tennis worked. I can actually see that happening. I, I, I wonder if they'll actually endorse that. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Endorse the horse. If you could play as a Pona. <laughs> what? Pona. A Pona. Because she pones people. Oh. Alright, what's behind door number one? We don't know, so let's go back out the door. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. Floor master. I said wall master. Well, whatever. Whoa. Oh! Floor master just sounds like he sweeps and mops your floor a lot. Link just got busted in the mouth. Knuckle sandwich. Right? Oh, they split up. Uh oh. There we go. Link won by split decision. Ha! Huh? Looks like he has a split. Personality. <laughs> now it just makes me wonder what people would do if those hands just kept splitting into tinier hands. Right? That kind of happened. Well, no, not, never mind. I think in Ninja Turtles 1, you shoot this uh, weird. You don't know, shoot it. I want to talk about. You. I don't know if y'all played Ninja Turtles 1 on NES, but there's these enemies. They jump around, and when you hit them two or three times, they split up into smaller men. They jump around, and they get harder to kill. Oh, that I do remember that. Sounds annoying. Oh, there's another ghost sculpture. Come here, you little booger. I said come. Jeez. Get over here. Right? Yeah, if they had like, Finish it. If they had the Legend of Zelda combat. Link would be almost like the equivalent of Scorpion with his long shot. Except he don't speak, though, so he wouldn't really say, Get over here! He'd be like, Tur huh? Huh? If my memory served me right, wasn't Link in, like, an exclusive character, like, on some Soul Calibur game or something for the GameCube or something? Yes, he was. Oh, okay, so I wasn't losing my mind. Yeah, I well, think not I, yet, anyways. I think it might have been GameCube, but yeah, he was on the Soul Calibur game years ago. I wonder how he played. It'd be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I never played any of the Soul Calibur games. I think Venom 22 and Archangel did. Yeah, that's the only thing that got my interest about that was I was like, oh, Link, Soul Calibur. Right. All right, more arrows. Bundle of arrows. Arrows. A bundle of arrows brings a bundle of joy. Arrows. Yeah. All right, climb the ladder of success. Climb the ladder, grab the briefcase, take it down, cash in the money in the bank. Yeah, at my job today, I saw like three or four different ladders. Three big ones and one small one. <laughs> I'm thinking ladder match here. This this area this area of the job is just begging for a freaking ladder match. Where everybody gets nice. hit with ladders and Terry Funk puts it around his neck, spins around, knocks everybody down. Oh, time to make the hallway twisted again. 
Imagine if you got in trouble in school, you had to go to the principal's office, walk down the twisted hallway to, to miss, uh, dang, what was his name? Her name. The, the principal from, uh, Matilda. <laughs> oh, crap. I know who you're talking about. I just don't remember her name. Yeah. I saw a meme on Facebook. It said, today's generation has Thanos, but we had this bitch, and it showed her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. I said, yeah, she would, she would pwn, uh, Thanos. That Infinity Gauntlet wouldn't do anything to her. Agree. Alright, what now? Oh yeah, this is the next torch we have to light up. I get a kick out of those cackles. Right, yeah. <laughs> they, they just troll you. They're like, eh, you mad, bro? Freaking blackboard from school. Brings back nightmares. All right, Ronnie, your turn. Go up and solve the math problem. Oh, man. And I was not good at math. Still not. I remember one day, though, in sixth grade, I had to get in front of everybody and solve a math problem. But the fire drill went off. I was like, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't have to do it. Really saved by the bell there. That's Exactly, wow. yeah. The irony. All right, so now time to pwn ghost number two. The blue ghost. Ooh, the blue po. She po. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's just sizing him up. All right, one more hit. Dang it, Link. One more hit. Get him. There you go, Lonk. Lonk is here to save the world. Ooh, this must be the compass. Nice. More exercise, Link. Go up those stairs. Yeah. Listen. Yep, the Shadows of Monsters, which is the Floor Master. Almost. Oh, you, oh, you heard him coming, but he got off the floor. Oh, wow. A new hallway now. Yeah, you better, you better move out of the way, Link. He's about to grab you. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I remember this. You got to get on one of those platforms and shoot that eye over there above that door, but you got to shoot it through the torch to melt it. To melt the eyes to, to hit the eye. Oh wow. Yeah, this oh, takes that's precision. A shot. Yeah. I still love this. Only someone like Link or Rambo can do this. Ah! Look at that. He missed. Uh, mind seeing Rambo do it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, nice. Making it look easy. But it's easy not. peasy. Twisted hall this time. Or the Hall of Pain, where you fight Mark Henry. It's like, oh no. Yeah. Rip, rip. Rip, rip, rip. 
Exactly. Big freaking stairs. Just jump up the stairs. Don't walk. Of course, you can climb them too, but... Alright, so I think... What? What was that? Oh, I guess not. Uh, I thought this was going to be the third ghost, you, the third torchy light. I guess not. I think Link went the wrong way here. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it all looks the same to me. Yeah. Yeah, you go down that floor right here, this hole, right? That's right, you do. Whoa. With the checkered floor. It's your move. Gotta watch out, watch out though. The see, see the ceiling falls right there. And you gotta be, see, you gotta stand on certain parts, like the switch right there. It's, it's, it's uh, safe to stand there. And also in the other spot over there where the little treasure chest is. This would be actually oh. both fun and nerve wracking to get through. Right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. More arrows? Arrows? <laughs> oh, no. This is, this is the part I dread. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. Here man, we I go. This, too. this oh, puzzle. Oh. You gotta do this in, so in, in a do? minute. Yeah. There's not that hard, what Ronnie. What do I do? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> you gotta get good. I can do this in one second. Gee. I, I would mess it up. I was never, ever good at puzzles. Ever. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not good at Tetris <laughs> or anything like that. And Oracle of Ages, that game is puzzling. Just as soon as you mentioned Tetris, I had the theme running in my head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then I crack. Now it's stuck in my head. Uh oh. Where did he, he get it? Nice! He did it, alright. <laughs> You're a winner. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Link, size him up. Right. right. And then when he's not looking, hit him. Size him down. Size him down. Fight dirty. Yeah. Hit him when he's not looking. Well, he's just him fight the dirty. Ring. There we go. Go that way, Link. Link getting greedy. Watch out, big spider! Yeah. The big spider. Ah, the last one is over there, right in the center of the temple. Well, we couldn't see because the freaking wall. <laughs> Can Link jump up? There you go. So I thought there, there he is, waiting for you. Now you gotta destroy it. What? What? What in the world? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, they split in four. You gotta hit the real one. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, there's four of them. Right. Really, only one. But what the heck's going on? Yeah. yeah. Which one's the real one? Which one is the real Slim Shady? For the real Slim Shady, please stand up. It's yeah. Imposter King. <laughs> The Imposter Kane angle. The Imposter Kane and Imposter Undertaker. Oh man, I forgot about the Imposter Undertaker. I never thought about doing this right here. You use a spin attack to filter out the real one real quick. I just was shooting with arrows till the real one, till I finally got to the real one. <laughs> and again, I couldn't imagine this part while intoxicated as well. Yeah.
It wouldn't go well. That's all I would say. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody agrees with me. Uh, yeah. Chance is getting very excited about Ryu. Right, right. Uh, Sorry, yeah, Chance. Raru was not in this part. Well, but he might be in the very end of this part. Didn't somebody make a comment about Noisy that? Noisy dog. Or something? What was that, Mexico? Oh, so didn't somebody make a comment about that? The, the, the whole you saying that Ruru or whatever? I thought I seen a comment or whatever from somebody on one of the videos. Might have been. Might have been me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. All the four torches are lit. This game is lit. And yeah, it is now. I guess he's tired. I of love me. that elevator I part. Elevator. <laughs> yeah. It's just missing the elevator music. Oh, Link is behind bars. He's in Hyrule Jail. He's nah, gonna pay his bail. bail. His bail is fifty thousand rupees. Oh. So Suge Knight will come bail him out. Yeah. <laughs> I used to misread Time his name. Row, Link. I used to misread his name. I thought I said Suge Knight or something. <laughs> so Link just signed with Death Row. Yeah. This took me a while to figure out here. Like, what am I supposed to do in this room? Then I somehow found out you gotta push that. Oh, you can push those? <laughs> So I would have never figured it out. Right. Actually, there was a few times too where I got stuck in games and I'm like, dang it, how do I figure out where to go? And like, I'm not gonna lie, I would go to the store, look at the magazine real quick, find out what to do, and then go back home. Yeah, today you just go to YouTube. Back then, I had to go to the store. Hell, I didn't even buy the magazine, I just looked at the part where I needed help. And then the guy sees, hey, you gonna buy that? No, I'm done here I'm gonna... and leave. No, I'm done here, but I am the gonna buy the carpet. Snickers. Yeah. Roll out the blue carpet. Oh wait. Oh wow, what power, Link. Yeah. Can you help me push my car? Yeah. And by help, I mean you push it and I'll just stand here. Exactly. And can I have 10 bucks for gas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 rupees. Here's rupees. Hey man, how much more pushing? Keep pushing, keep breathing, breathing, keep pushing. Just baby. keep Nothing. pushing it. Don't push it. Don't push your luck. Yeah. I always thought it was cool though how this room operates. I don't Just think, like how my room operates. I don't think Link knows how to operate it. Operate it. The operation was a, was a success. That game operation? Oh man, I remember that. The next LP on the channel, Operation. <laughs> board game. Yeah. It's a cool rage quits. This game's stupid! With special guest Board James. And oh. John Cena! Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the weirdest combination ever. Yeah. <laughs> Where's John Cena been at? I haven't seen him. So I've never been able to see him. Only when he's uh, thug, the Doctor Th of Thugonomics. Yeah. Oh, dang it, come on. Ah, oh, the, the boss room is right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. It's all finally. All right. I was about to give this video a thumbs down. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. It's not your fault, Link. It's mine. Not me. Here we go with the boss room. Like a boss. Yep. 
I love this battle. Well, what do you... Who do you fight or what are you doing here? Wow, that just messed with my head a little bit. This is weird. Well, I guess nothing to do. Link better go back. Whoa, wait. What? Whoa! What? There he is. You fight Ganondorf already? Ganondorf! What? Whoa, what the? Ugh, is okay, this is totally it... unexpected on my end. Uglier. Oh, oh Phantom Ganon. Huh. I was just about to ask you about this. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Whoa. You're going, what's this, Mario 64? Just go it's inside a painting. Question. Jump inside the painting. Maybe you go in that level right there. Okay, you gotta shoot him. What do you got? Oh, nice shot, Link. Link got him before he even really left the painting. I've got you now. Nice. <laughs> there he is. Get him. Well, a lot of these are fake. At least doing a good job. Spot. Oh wait a minute. Oh, all right, that's the end of the horsey. Now it's time for Phantom Ganon. Who sparkles? Just bring it. Yeah. I think you hit the projectile back to him, right? Even I'm trying to remember. Huh? Couldn't tell you. Oh. Yep. Ah, nice little game of volleyball. Oh, Link lost that one. How shocking. Yeah. It's your serve. Nice. So, folks, the next LP on the channel, Pong. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised nobody's done that for real. Here we go. Well, I'm sure people have. Well, I'm mean, I mean, talking about the ST2K. Oh. I mean, you got, of course, we've been around for. ST2K has been around for over 10 years now. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's getting intense. Oh, nice. So, that's game point. I keep hitting them, Link. Yeah, keep hitting nice. them. Nice. There we go. Woohoo! Don't you know how to fight, Link? You're supposed to hit them when they're down. Oh, who's that talking? Not me. Oh, it's Ganon. Dwarf. What a worthless creation. <laughs> you created it. That's what you get for underestimating the guy in green. Right. Nice, another heart container. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Whoa, sorry. Uh. Now, where's the ocarina I gave you when we were kids? Oh, Ooh. I just tossed it in the trash. Yeah, I got a pretty blue one. Yeah. <laughs> medallion. There used to be a, some chips called medallion. Tortilla chips. 
they're like a poor man's version of Doritos, but they're still pretty good. Oh man, now I want. <laughs> they're probably not even. Wrong. Yeah, not in my stores anymore. At least I was disappointed. It'd be interesting to see if anybody in the comments remembers them. Uh, Force medallion. I love that thing. Right. Sorry, I will always be your friend. <laughs> always? You mean it? <laughs> Until she unfriends you. <laughs> yeah. I got blocked on Hyrule Book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at? Just a little plant. Whoa! Whoa, jeez! Um, yeah. I that's not. Know. Dang it, Bear 13, that's not funny. Oh, Hi there. Bear 13, I'm Bear 13. <laughs> <laughs> because you and Sorry have broke the curse on the SC2K, I could grow up first. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, shut well, up, Bear. As as he, well, as long as Bear ain't hosting or whatever, we'll be fine. Yeah, he won't be able to be like, welcome to part three of. Oh, Ronnie, Ron, you do it. <laughs> oh, dang. That's spot on. That's sad. ECW! What? That's highly unlikely. Yeah, right. I used to always say it wrong over the years. I said Hillian. Are you Hillian alright? Yeah. Back when SC2K first started, I was a commentator. <laughs> Jeez. But I heard the timeline is official now, right? Oh, I'm so lost when it comes to. I think uh, some people say either this game or Minish Cap is actually the beginning of the timeline. Oh wow! Could be. That's all. Ron Moore's uh, Zelda timeline video. I mean, yeah. I've heard that Twilight Princess is supposed to be after this one. Oh yeah. Because of the hero shade. Yeah. All right. So that is it for part nine here. Link defeats the Forest Temple. So we will see you guys in part ten to see what Link's going to do next. Maybe go to another temple, or who knows. Until then, God bless. And take care. See ya. Be there or be square. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play ECWI. This is Ron Moore along with Mexa Cable. Alright, let's do this, but before we do, we gotta make sure we got all these fantastic options on, as I call them. You got the cheats. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm now the Depot, or the Depot, Home Depot here, as I go after, I think I'm chasing after Trevelyan and Rumoth who have kidnapped Natalia Neidhart. Oh, okay. Man, she's getting kidnapped more than the princess from uh, Mario. No, I'm right, joking. right, yeah. All right, and the music sounds different here because the emulation glitch. All right. I was gonna ask you about that. I was like, whoa, there's something don't sound right. Yeah, it sounds a bit off. Give my AR33, both of them. <laughs> EC freaking W to EC freaking W. Oh, wake up! That's what you that's get. That's the way to handle. Whoa, yeah, that's the way to handle some shooting. You get two guns, yeah, not th one. This is a two. Sh this is a shoot interview. You want to shoot? You. No, I'm sure it makes me think about that Paul Heyman shoot. Yeah, as I say, you want to shoot, cowboy? 
the Ron Moore, the reason why, uh, no, or the reason why you were YouTube live stream champion for a year is because Mesa Cool didn't want to stream Tuesdays. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, Whoa. Wow. These Whoa. drone guns. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, I completely missed it. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Rambo shoot, now, shoot, yeah, Rambo, shoot. just like in a, then a Rambo two, shooting the command center, ah! oh. and then Murdoch, Murdoch going, oh, that's how <laughs> and then uh, Murdoch going, Rambo, please, it wasn't supposed to happen this way. No, it's in the script. It's supposed to happen this way. Yeah. Whoa, man, just on a rampage here with paintballs. Said these paintballs are lethal, just like in was it Child's Play two or three? I oh wow, I think it was three. Yeah. Was it three? Yeah. Somebody in the comments will correct what? me. I know they will. You see that? That guy just walked off the platform and just almost like floated down, landing on his feet gently. Um, is he like That's some kind of freaking like, hilarious? I don't know. Is he like some kind of freaking more? I don't know. Yeah. Whoa! Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blow it up at me. Oh, what the heck? There you go. They go through the shoot. ground there and nothing happened. Shoot, shoot. Oh, objective A completed. Whatever that was, I forgot. I guess destroy all evidence. I don't know. Destroy all the arm or the artillery. No evidence. Yeah. So you cannot prosecute. Whoa. Whoa. They're just waiting for me. No it's witnesses. It's an ambush. So oh, look at that paintball. Possibly. Nice. What? <laughs> Imagine seeing that in real life. Whoa, what is this? Where am I at? In the Matrix. Yeah, you never know what you're going to see on, on the channel or whatever. You can see some pretty weird stuff. Anything can happen here on the S2K channel. We are live. Can I do that again? We're live, pal. I don't know. Just like when that zombie was glitching or whatever, you're like, whoa. I was like, oh, yeah, that's the part I want Ron to see right there. Yeah. <laughs> the zombie, the zombie I yeah. was like, and I'm so happy too that I got that on footage too. I was like, oh, I'm gonna leave that in. That's cool. Yeah, that's ECW. Oh, dang it. Oh, I gotta go upstairs to get the K. I gotta get. Reminds me of Deja Vu, and I live streamed it earlier as of this recording. Um, this key two, three, four, and five. Like, oh, which key works on what? Uh, you got key. No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm trying to do something. Like that. I don't know. Not me. All right. Bond, what are you doing? Go in the train. Oh, he wants to go out with the bang. Oh! <laughs> He's still alive. I'm about to die from laughter. Whoa. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we went out with a bang on that one. And speaking of train, that would be the next level, part 14. The train. Where I might need more training. I fail. I need Ooh, more, yeah. need more uh, training when it comes to commentary here. See you guys at part 14. God bless and take care. Till next time, thanks for joining us. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Goldeneye. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. Thank you for having me. And Stay ECW. What do we got here? Well, we are in J Man's train. Nice. J Man's got the train, Mexico's got the airplane. As usually in old parts of SC2K, J Man's train would interfere with the commentary because he lives near train tracks. And then now we got Mexico with the airplane flying over his house. Sweet paintball mode on. I love that mode. Uh, yep. ECW mode too. All right. You know Two what? Guns? Is it, well, no, uh, hold on. It's not enough. I got a better idea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. In the train. Things just got interesting. In the train too. Rocket launchers on a train. We gotta put a stop to J Man's train interrupting commentary. Yeah, this will do it. Yeah. It's 
like, I can't see what's in front of me. Oh, just a bunch of black smoke, that's all. Oh, you think those boxes will protect you? Think otherwise. You think this rocket launcher got their attention? I don't know, but I'm rocking out right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you smell what the Ron Mower is cooking? Have you heard of Rocket Man? Rocket? Yeah, I'm Well, it's say. you. You're the Rocket Man. It's you! Not me! Let me see what's along. Not me! Alright, destroy all the brakes. Whoa! Yes, more targets. Oh! Just fire. Fire, fire! Oh yeah! Whoa! Was he the leader? Oh, throw a grenade. Oh! Oh, nice! What? I still want alive. Oh wait, dang it, that's not the laser, it's a detonator. Yeah, use a taser, yeah, me. Me. Oh, a tank missile inside the train. Never thought I'd see that. But right then again. Uh, the ugly okay. guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking in the movie, Bond shoots the tank at the train to stop it. So now we got tank bullet inside the train. Whoa, they're all coming out after me now. I'm bringing a knife to a gunfight. How Literally. About, how about rocket launcher to a gunfight? Oh. That idiot ran toward the explosion. There's a restroom. <laughs> well, I'm going to blow the restroom up. No. <laughs> You know how people say that? They go, I'm going to blow the restroom up, meaning they're going to take a dump and stink it up. Ron Muller really means it right here. Kaboom! Well, but there's someone, I heard uh, someone had said that one time in a restaurant. Man, I'm going to go blow the restroom up. Somebody thought he was making a terroristic threat and called the police on him. Uh, what kind of world do we live in where people can't even say stuff or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> All right, destroy these guys and that break unit right there. There we go. Two buds and one stone. Or three you birds. Go, you get a rocket. You get a rocket. You get a rocket too. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what a Stone Cold Steve Austin has on talk show. You get a can of whoop ass. You get a can of whoop ass. Everybody gets a can of whoop ass. That'd be a lot of can of whoop asses. Yeah. Remember that prank call video of Roy Mercer talking about uh, he's going to open up a half a, a gallon of drum of uh, whoop ass or some car or some car dealer. It was funny. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go up there and open up a big drum of whoop ass. Oh. All right, what else can I use here? Oh, the door's locked. Someone's using the restroom. Hey, hey. Nah, you wouldn't want to go in there anyways. Yeah. Do not go in there. Woo! Don't. In that door. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I wonder what they're thinking. How come this guy won't die? Are the bullets even hitting him? Nah. Just, it, it's it's like the movies. They go all around him. They go everywhere, but their actual target. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to be cool. Shooting. Wait. He's posing. Shooting the gun. Get out of here. <laughs> Ugly ass. Get. 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 Get good or get gone. Get the power, Nintendo power. Get the vision, Sega vision. Wait. Sega. Wait, how can you not hear or see that? Yeah, it's um. You want some of my paint balls? Yeah. Oh, here we go. What? Um, okay. 
I'll just leave it at that. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> Come on, he hears and sees that. What? Look at all there, these there. Oh, did you feel that, huh? Okay. Yeah, that looked like it hurt. Oh, Seth Green, take that. Oh, right in the face. Ouch. Let's see if I destroy this break unit with a knife. No, I can't. Because that's not a knife. Here we go. So you gotta take it out with the paintball gun. Yeah. You gotta get good. You gotta get good to get gone! Thank you, Rantanus Sphincter. And now he disappears. Yeah. Alright, all the brakes destroyed. I'm sure if you had audio clips of all of us and you're like, alright, I'm just gonna insert this, I'm gonna insert that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Raven Inspector, I don't remember being on that video. Nah, we just used the uh, old audio. Whoa, there's M. Bison. I mean, Jim or Rumoff. Oh. So fancy, the watch. Yeah. Brick Flair's $40,000 Rolex. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I can... Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> or is she? No, 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 she's really dead. Oh, okay. Start she's... That. Start that again. Dang, got the body armor. That guy's standing there. Do something. Maybe let your partner die. What kind of a he's partner like, are you? He's like, maybe if I if I let my partner die, he'll just ignore me. Well, he's not a YouTube partner. He is not. Oh, got room off. And dang it, you gotta shoot your belly to get the extra time. That's very important in a double O agent. Do it to it. Or else. Alright, so now we gotta find a way out as Natalia tries to track Boris. Take the long way home. Yeah. Have you seen Throw Mama from the Train? Yeah. My watch doesn't do that. My watch doesn't even tell time, it needs a battery. Yeah. Watch yourself. Oh, wait a minute. What? There's still one soldier alive shooting at me. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what? And we take him out with the watch. Hurry up, Natalia. He's in Cuba. All right, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, I thought she... Oh, he just... She found out where he is, but he's... She didn't crack his uh, password yet. Well, woman, you better hurry up! Hurry up, the password's just... We got password. 12 seconds, just like in the movie. Now, come on, now, let's go! I'm telling you, the password. It's password. I'm not gonna make it out on time. I'm coming, James! We need to come fast enough. That's what you get. Now we failed the mission because she would hurry up. She can get good. Jeez. Well, that was fail. J-Man in the background. What the hell's going on? What's going on in that train? Yeah. I'm trying to sleep. Right. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Dang, keep missing him. No, it's not an easy shot. Man. Let's try this again. Come on, get good. Get good. I'll give you six minutes. The same six minutes you gave me. <laughs> it's been about six minutes. What does that mean? It the means six it means, minute it means, it means, it means we've got three minutes. Wait a minute! Did I just hear myself say three minutes? Uh oh. Wait a minute. You mean wait three minutes? Ah. Huh? <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up, or I'm gonna rage quit. Dang it! Why do you women take so long to get done? Uh oh oh. Ooh. Oh, Blue Rose is gonna say something. What was that? Uh, nothing. 
Victoria was Monster fast in the kitchen. Victoria was oh <laughs> Victoria's gonna snort and start laughing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what you get. Well, I failed again. Oh, you pulled a Mexico. Alright, round four, whatever this is. Ah, oh, man, I probably got him, had to run out of ammo. Had to reload. Let's do this again. Ah! Move, no, move to the left. Oh, no. I, I didn't even hit him. Natalia got shot. Oh, uh, the subscribers right. are getting it. They're enjoying this one. Yeah. That's for sure. Come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, I hit him! Look at that! Come on, folks. Welcome to America's Funniest Home Videos. Dang it, I had to reload again. America's Most Failed Video. No, I'm checking. I think Trevelyan is right. You'll never win, James. That's what uh, Rumoff said in the movie. You can't win. Rest in peace to the actor that passed away in real life. You can't win because yeah. you've already won. Now get out of here. Remember the commercial for this game? Oh, man. I'm going to pull it up on YouTube right now. No, I'm <laughs> you remember the Channel 1 News? You remember Channel 1 News in school? Channel One News, and we watched this on commercial. Dunna, dunna. The commercials are interesting. And he would go, "You can't win." Dunna, 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 dunna. Gold knife on Nintendo 64. When the commercials are more interesting than what's actually on the TV, Channel One. Yep. Hopefully, we get it right this time. Oh, yep. Oh, she did. Good job. Good. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Back to the Let's kitchen. Let's go. Oh. Ho. That was Jin's too. He was here Jin's for a second. Yeah. And then he took off. Hurry up. Hurry. Hurry up. They can't shoot Wake you. Wake up, Jeff. You haven't said a word all yeah. LP. No, I'm joking. That's because this is boring. Would have been better on the Genesis or on the Sega Master. Yeah. Sega Master. All right, that's it. J-Man, what the hell's all that noise? Yep, now that train's destroyed and you can no longer uh, interrupt commentary. <laughs> all right, so I think I need more training as we head to part 16. It's a jungle out there. Until then, God bless and take care. Till next time, stay safe, stay awesome. And stay ECW. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 15. Jungle! Welcome to the jungle! This is Ron Moore, oh, along with, I... whoa, the J-Man. Yep, yeah, I'm back. The J-Man is back, all right. Some of our old SC2K old school audience will be thrilled with that. Some people still ask about you. Yeah, well, uh, apparently I have survived. Yeah, well, can you survive the jungle? It's a jungle out there. I don't know. We'll have to find out. That jungle fever. Whoa, whoa. Anyway, I got ECW mode enabled here, of course. Well, okay, yeah, with ECW mode, I'll be just fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, Natalia, let's go to work. What are you telling her to go to work? You know, Gentoo's in this call. He tell her where to go. Yeah, I was going to say that I would love to go to work on her. <laughs> yeah. I remember the scene in the movie. Do you remember the movie that much? Um, I remember uh, Pierce Brosnan's awesomeness. Yeah. And I remember, well, we'll, we'll uh, come upon that in a minute. I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to that part of this level. Oh, whoa, Natalia. Uh, she knows how to use a gun. L listen, you that's see that? She said, oh, that's a nice plant. Okay. I, I could plant my, anyways. <laughs> Oh, look, oh, yeah, I'm invisible, too. That's why they're just standing there. Of course, the drone guns... Oh, yeah, dude. What the... Well, they can see They can see your body heat. That was like the double nut gun from... Uh, ah, what's that movie? From Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. Um, I think the drone guns can s detect body heat. So, when it sees you, it's kind of like seeing the predator in the jungle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Imagine Predator on 64 looking like this. That'd be pretty cool if done right. It would be called, it would be called the Predator. 
the Predator. Uh, Chris Hansen, Hansen is a DLC character. Uh, there, there would be so many chairs. Uh, yeah, to tip over, anyway. Yep, you got it. <laughs> These guys have no clue. Is yeah, there... for a second I was thinking that, that like they were a part of your army or something. What, right. the, what yeah. the hell's going on? Even if they can't see me, they can see Natalia. If they're not shooting her and the drone gun going off, you'd think that would have tipped them off. Unless you got tipped out of the chair. Yep. Oh, Natalia, they're holding her own. She can use a gun if you saw in the movie. He goes, you know how to use one of these? And she like put the clip in the gun very easily. And he goes, good. Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a real man. Yeah. Yeah. I like the music in the stage. No, but, you know, it's, it's cool that this part uh, of the game, this stage, don't have music. I mean, it's the jungle. makes sense. It's a drone gun again. All right, chill out. Shut up. And they don't hear that. Wake up. You're the worst soldiers. What the hell are they staring at? Oh, you know Look. what? It's Natalia. Oh. Yeah, she's trying to. Yeah. I get it. Look at that. She's doing some damage here. It's about time you did something in this game. You get a female this comment. Excuse me? You're saying women can't do nothing in the golden eye? Oh, look at that. Well, she just uh, became invisible almost. Yeah. That's like amazing. Women power. Oh. He got taken out. I'd like to take her out. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Uh oh, it's the Bond. Now, in the movie, like, Jane, she comes down from the helicopter and, like, puts Bond in that leg hold. And then Natalia tries to do something, and, and Xenia goes, Wait your turn, headbutts her, knocks her out. So when Atari gets some revenge right here, of course Xenia can't see me. Look. Oh, wait a minute. Natalia's shooting her. <laughs> It'd be funny if she rolled off the cliff right there. That'd be the end. Well, I mean, it, you know, it kind of sucks because actually the enemy chick is hotter. Yeah. Uh, that's look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the costly yeah, just, <laughs> pull her around. Oh. Damn. Right through the tits. She got her. Wow. And you get a grenade launcher. Yeah, Natalia's. All right, let's uh, let's let's ruin the rain for us. Yeah, Fern Gully for Nintendo sixty four. Some more drone guns. I talked about that they made a Predator video game for Nintendo sixty four. That'd be awesome if Rare did it. So much better than the NES version. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I mean, that's comparing uh, palm trees to coconuts, I think. <laughs> eh, anyway. Well, remember, there's some NES games that are better than 64 games. Michelle Gate. Uh. No, well, ugh. Yeah, ugh, he's right. Start back. Let's <laughs> never go back. Yeah. Yeah, at least there's color here. Yeah, right. Oh, my God, color. In living color, you can do what you want to do. Great show. Indeed. Jim Kerr. Yeah, right. there's, there's too many nut guns here. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy all the ammo. Well, where is she at? Oh, what? what wait a minute. Where'd Damn. You, where'd you come from? She just dirty hairy this motherfucking ass. She just... How did she get up the ladder past me? That guy's ugly. <laughs> I'm just, just going to aim at you. And, uh, the characters in this game are freaking ugly. Characters, if you can call these uninspired enemies, as Sycophant would call them, characters. Whoa, watch out. Got one. You've been getting more than one. Oh! Okay, 
All right, we're done here. Nice. All right. Get in the elevator. Uh, they're all dead. I guess they're making sure. All right, the jungle is completed. Oh man, the next level, that's gonna be something. The command, ce command center, control center, excuse me, I'm thinking the command center, how Jody would make fun of those giant arcade sticks. All right, so thank you, J-Man, for joining us for the first time in, I don't know, six months. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of you, or hear a lot more of you, rather. Yeah, I'll be around. All right, God bless, take care. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 16, where SC2K, where gamers take control here in the control center. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man and Mexico. It's hey good yo. to be here. Or is it? Alright, so protect Natalia. Yeah, I'm still in ECW mode, but she is not. So that can be the challenging part of the stage, is making sure she don't get killed. Well, uh, are the soldiers going to actually move this time? Yeah, because I don't, I don't think, I even pay attention right there. I don't think I enabled inv invisibility. Invisibility. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if I did, Natalia probably wouldn't be able to follow me around. Okay, so uh, no superstars. Yeah. No John Cena mode. Yeah. All right. Of yep. course. Yeah, see, they can see me. Yeah. And they're, yeah, still uh, not effective. Yeah. Not very effective. Not effective at all. Yeah, Two guns is better than one. I never got this far on Double O Agent. The farthest I got on Double O Agent without cheating was uh, the, the airplane level. Oh, what's okay. that level one? Way. Well, where are you at? Where uh, are you at? I guess I gotta let her know. All right, the coast is clear. Get your butt back, back out here. I didn't hear all that gunfire. Everybody's dead. James, you're wonderful. You even see me. You were shut up, shut up in the uh, elevator. There was a, a video camera in there. Oh yeah. Oh. I love this music. Yeah, it's usually used the other way around. All right, but bu bu bust the flow, Ernest. Bust the flow. Oh man, what am I, J-Man from back in the day? No, I'm joking. No, I was running rap last night. That shit was tight. Oh, yeah, I was, oh. I was rapping off the SmackDown vs. Raw uh, <laughs> game. Talk there about, you like go. the lyrics, some of the lyrics is uh, talking about I rock hard like a 70s icon, Led Zeppelin stay away to heaven, my mind's gone. Something, <laughs> something about the natural selection, I'll get inside of you like I'm a chest infection. Your best protection is to get down on the ground. Remember that the members don't clown around. There you go, this this, this uh, video is uh, already going to get a bunch of thumbs up. Yeah, Swindog and Freestyle Rap, he should be in this commentary. Be just freestyling the whole commentary. Be awesome. Yeah, he would say something like, Man, look at you. I'll bust you upside your head. Over there looking like Judge Dredd or something like that. <laughs> It'd be random, but it always rhyme. Out your own head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I grab my shot. I grab my shotty. I'll grab my shotty. your other eye being devoured. Let's yeah. come alive this time. Okay. I grab my gun and go pop, pop. Get my face. I go whop. With the paintball. Not me. You can't see me in living color because you're already dead. I'm looking at your eyes. And uh, up over your head. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll rap for real if you can get Swind Swindoll back. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the 10th got three rap from ST2K. Here's a guy that can freestyle rap. Oh, yeah. Jeff, I mean Boris. Oh, yeah, we gotta get Boris. Man, get out of here. You're trying to shoot me. You see that? I had to defend myself. He had that uh, uh, t shirt Friday Hawaiian shit going on. Yeah. Oh, these mainframes are invincible. Bulletproof. Bulletproof, Cuddy. That uh, computer was... The, the computers aren't bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that movie? No, that was, uh, that was Windows 95. Yeah. Oh! Have you seen uh, that movie, Bulletproof? I have not. Hey. Sounds familiar. Pretty good movie. Damon Wayans, Adam Sandler. Okay, uh, now... Oh, yeah. That was alright. It was alright. It, it was better than Cop Out. Oh, I never seen Cop Out. Good, you win. Good for you. What you a win. cop out. Yep. Hey, sounds good to me. 
Next week, Ron Moore plays The Simpsons, the arcade game. No, I'm joking. No, J-Man already did it. J-Man did it! Yep. <laughs> Instead of Simpsons it. did it. Yeah. Well, what do I do now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, Metroid. You see that guy? I mean, he ain't got no moves. Get out of Maybe if I jump like this, I'll be smooth. Yeah, what the hell is that Peter Pan bullshit? <laughs> It, it, it don't work like that. Come on. Right, You're yeah. gonna try doing that. Yeah. Yeah, this is Metro would be you backtracked like crazy. Die. If y'all seen my uh, <laughs> live stream the other night. It's actually Super Metro, but anyway. Super duper ultra mega Metroid. Yeah. Got Rambo here to destroy all the computers. Oh! Yeah, I, th th those would have been worth a lot on eBay. Come oh, on, dang man. it. What? I thought they were always dead. Is that you, Angel? <laughs> it's easy to impersonate. Yeah. Uh, Crunk Cold? Oh, uh, yeah. Ride the lightning. Spur. Uh... <laughs> yeah, don't shoot that bitch. Wait, what? Well, not yet. Well, he's a douchebag. Yeah, I did need to kill him. He's a douchebag. He deserved to die. Forget him. What? Yeah, he betrayed you like that. What? Where you going? What? Well, forget you then. Oh. And that's the end of the video, folks. No, I'm joking. All right, so I got to start over here. Yeah, Not I didn't think you were really going to shoot her. Wow. <laughs> See, right, look at him. He's running his mouth now. Let him live. That's all right. He'll get his. You'll get yours. Well, this Gleeson call. That was a uh, special occurrence by Jeff. <laughs> yeah, or, <laughs> or or Danny. No, he would have told us a whole great story. No, you think of Tibbs. Ah, oh, okay, fuck it. Whatever. Danny is small oh, time wonderful. It. No, small time wonderful was here. He'd be like, "Hey, you, you forgot to get this key card over here. Ah, uh, you missed the oh. computer over there." I didn't forget. You forgot to get this gun. You know, there's there's plenty more chairs to take. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. shoot! Here we go. We gotta make sure she don't get shot. That's gonna be easier said than done. Yeah. You know, I got robbed one time, and like the other chick that was there, I told her to get the fuck down. Um, that that might have been helpful here. Get down! Wait, who? I got robbed the village pantry. I I worked there. It's a cashier, third shift. Oh, okay. I got robbed. You work at Heritage? I again? told you about it. Oh, oh. I told you about it like ten years ago. It sucked. Oh. That was actually back in 1998. Yeah. I remember that your horrible job story about Heritage. Oh, jeez. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I, well, I just got robbed of money. There. Uh. Not of dignity and pride. Uh, they, they, Anyways, did they, they rob all the pennies you had to take as payment? Uh, no, I actually I, I took the whole hotel and, and just shoved it in the bag at yeah, Bill Trantry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like give me the money, and I had a hard time. Like you have to like put it in a passcode to open up the register. You know, yeah. unless you're make, uh, making a sale back then. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And so I was like, hurry the fuck up. Okay, I'm fucking trying. Shut up. It's like, you're not making it any Here easier. You go. Here you Here's the whole till. I put the, I, I'm telling you, it had all the money and the change in it. I took the whole thing out and slammed it. And it was like a big, you know, wooden bag. Wooden bag. <laughs> you know, those, the, 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 yeah, the paper bags that they don't use anymore because everything's plastic. Um, yeah. And right. the dude was like, get money out of the safe. And it's like, no, it's a two key operation. And you, have to, you can get it out like five tens and twenties, but it takes like five minutes. You push your button and it takes that long. And all right, well, keep your fucking mouth shut. And yeah. yeah. Oh boy. There's a, a horrible robbery podcast. Yeah. Finally, a horrible yes. robbery. And, and, and look at that. Because of my uh, ridiculous uh, back in the day story, the objective was completed. Okay. Objective Wonderful. complete. Uh, achievement unlocked. You told your horrible job experience. Yeah, Done. Yep. Yeah. I have more. There's, but... there's four of them. I don't know if you're the fourth one, J-Man. It was Tibbs and his wife. I was not enough. You come out story time. Well, there you go. 
There's story time. Just as long as Bear isn't hosting the video. There's even an image of what he was talking about <laughs> with his horrible experience. Yeah, Bear couldn't host it. Uh, this, um, um you do it, Ronnie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. I still rather That's have hard. Bear host than we got, but anyway. At least Bear would show up. Oh. Yeah. Okay, now I forgot what I was doing right here. Probably thinking, um, let's yeah. think, lols. Yeah. Lols. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, it was beta. Yeah. There we go. We got to destroy beta. all the mainframes. You're still alive? Let's see if I'm You're blowing still up. still alive. Let's see if I'm blowing up. <laughs> hey, it, won't, it, won't, it, won't, it won't stick on him. That would be fucking awesome if he could throw the Oh! <laughs> okay. Hi. It's like, I didn't expect that, but I like that. Yeah. Yes. What? Another one. That can't be the same person. There's no way he survived that. Yeah, if I seen someone else just get blown up by a, a fucking C4 or whatever, I would run the fuck out of there. Right? Yeah, I would. Well, I think I'd I'll be, be going down. But knowing my luck, I'd be running and, and one would attach, like, directly to my back and I'd yeah. immediately. Oh, look. Yeah. Well, I, okay, I guess I'm. I think there's one more mainframe to look for. Or did I get them all? I don't even, I don't even remember. Let's see here. You um, got me. You got me. Uh, in the uh, hate section. H8. The hate section. Oh, I saw it. Oh, shout I out to that Blockbuster video. Wow, what a difference! <laughs> Oh man, this is more soldiers. Oh boy. Star soldiers. Tall yep. toy soldiers. Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn SNK, that's a YouTuber. You remember him, Mexico? Oh wow. Been been a while, yeah. Alright. Is there like some math going on? I, I see 30 minus 25. I seen I7 or 17. What is Right? Yeah. What's going on? Sesame Street speaking spell. <laughs> right. I had yeah, I had the speaking spell. Up uh, two threes. Four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Get, hey, uh, thanks. Thanks, five. Jackass. Oh, that guy wow. helped me. That guy actually destroyed the mainframe for me. He's like, here, I'll do it for you. I already know what you're here to do, so I'll just do it for you. Yeah. Right. I look a map. Skip Rogers would love this stage. He would. Bring in a knife to a gunfight. How does the knife bounce off of somebody? Right? Well, unless the handle hits him. I mean, even if it's the handle, it would still. Okay. Fuck it. It's, this game defies the laws of physics. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna go watch Slam City. Slam! <laughs> Someone no. was live streaming a basketball game uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Nitro Online, and I said, "Hey, have you played Slam City for the Sega CD?" He goes, "I've never heard of that." <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Slam City is better than Hoops on NES. Oh. Hoops. Do, 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 More do, like do. hoops. <laughs> Am I right? Oh my god. Yeah, that game is a piece of shit. Yeah. That was like, uh, I think it was endorsed by Dominique Wilkins, if I'm not mistaken. Jeez, that's a name I forgot about. I remember Jordan vs. Yeah. Bird. Oh, wow, that's a name. Oh, oh, that game is awful. I remember uh, Bulls vs. Blazers in the NBA playoffs. What about uh, Double Dribble? This is Corn Shack here, and we're playing Double uh, Dribble. <laughs> <laughs> I never played Triple Dribble. Uh, double Dragon, whatever. Triple Dribble. Oh, uh, double uh, dribble. Dribble down, or Double Down, whatever that KFC thing was. <laughs> double Down, I remember that. Uh, I, I, liked, uh, yeah, David, David, I liked David Robinson's Supreme Court Basketball. That was fun on Genesis. I remember uh, King Griffey's... Oh, well, yeah, Major League Baseball, yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't get this till recently. Oh, pretty good game. I didn't get this till recently. David Robinson's Supreme Court Basketball. Get it? Supreme Court... I didn't Supreme get that Court? reference till now, the, like last week or so. You know, he should have had a man game because 
he was the mail man. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. He should have been the mailman in uh, the Zelda games. And you could have had like <laughs> Newman. Yeah. There. Maybe a jam. Uh, like favorite. you, you complete a you complete a level and then you take a three hour break. Okay. Yeah. NBA Sounds jam about right. Tournament edition, my favorite basketball game of all time. Hands down. Yep. All right, that's Thir the end of thirty minus five. Yep, that's the end of the control center, command center, as Swindoll will call it. Ooh, Caverns is next. That's the ECW level that was not in the movie. All right, uh, so. We're going, uh, all right. We're going donkey. All right, so that is the end of part 16. See you guys at part 17. Until then, God bless and take care. Whoa, what I happened there? Okay. Uh oh. What? Till next time. <laughs> oh, I, I apologize. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Part 7. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy! It's good to be here. Or is it? And... Is that it is. Link has just defeated the third dungeon, or uh, Jabu Jabu's belly. And after being engaged to Princess Rudo, he now <coughs> heads to... I forgot where he's supposed to head next. Oh, there's... Oh, no. Get away. Get away from her. No! Yeah, especially him. It takes him forever to move out the way. Move out the way. Whee! That part's fun. Do, 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 do. Well, Link has all three spiritual stones. He should head to the Temple of Tom now. You know, I love the music there. Yeah, me too. But Link likes to get sidetracked, so he's probably going to do some farming and, or grinding his side quests here. Uh, I'm in the same way too, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, Zora's River. What his was name that? is Long. Wait, what was that side quest called in Twilight Princess where you get, like, the armor? A certain armor? And it, oh. it every time you take damage, you know it takes rubies about? away from you? But now I'm trying to think of it. Now. The ECW armor or something like that, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember back in the day, I think I was getting frustrated. Cause I, I thought it was part of the game. Like, you had to get it. You couldn't beat the game. And someone in the Zelda MSN group said, no, that's just a side quest. Oh, well, what is this, douche armor? <laughs> Sounds about right. I forgot it. It That's costs right. a lot of rupees, I think, to buy that uh, Castle Town shop. Seems legit. You just wasted all your time and money. Yeah. Who else is digging this music? Hyrule failed. Revenant Spectre. Welcome to Hyrule failed! Here's the Both best of Zelda Ocarina time! Ravenous Spectre with his uh, 20 second cameo appearances. Yeah, I try to give him a commentary seconds. tonight, but guess what he's doing? Uh, live streaming? Nope, working. Eating pizza. Oh, working. Who works? <laughs> yeah, that's overrated. Right? I mean, who cares about <laughs> pills? What was that one guy from In Living Color that worked like how many jobs? I'm sure. Oh yeah, 15 jobs, and they had a son. <laughs> you only got five jobs, you lazy bum! <laughs> and they, uh, uh, what's his name? Said, what happened to that nice young man you were dating? He had a hundred job, and she said, he dead now. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Wait a minute, Link. What are you doing? You can't. You don't have to scale yet. You can't go down there. Yeah, what are Silly you trying to hero. do? How dumb are You're you? You're trying to pull a Mexico. Pretty You're darn. To pull a damn Mexico. How does one pull a Mexico? a Mexico? You just fail, and you've already done a Mexico. <laughs> Fair That's enough. That's why I don't live stream. <laughs> okay, well then, by that logic, I've pulled plenty of Mexicals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, the actual term's called Mexa Fool. No, I'm joking. Mexa Fool. <laughs> you Mexa Fool! Alright, play the Sun Song. Or not. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, he forgot. And he's gonna look up the notes. There Let's we go. Let's see, how does it go? Yeah. 
Well, I've had to do that. A lot of us had to do that. Okay, you're supposed to play this song. Wait, I thought that was it. Oh, no, that's the storm song. Just the, 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 the storm song. <laughs> the storm <laughs> sun. <laughs> All right, now it's not time. Where's, where's Dampay or Damp or whatever that old man's na name is, the gravekeeper? I don't know. I, I almost want to call him poster, Dank though. Meme. <laughs> Dank Meme. <laughs> okay, now Link, uh... Wait, you, yeah, he's got the boomerang now, so now he can get the token. <laughs> ah, fail. What? Oh. There you go. Oh, okay. I never got all hundred sculptures. Tibbs did, though. I'm sure you. I did. Tibbs will be real quick to, put, uh, to bring that up. I did. Yeah. yeah. Of course he did. Wait till the less discuss. Ah, the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I got all 100 sculptures in this game. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, that's it. I'm doing my Let's Discuss. I'm gonna do it pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Tibbs does. It's the only time he has for us anymore because he's Mr. Big Shot. Work full time. No, I'm just kidding. Meanwhile, Ron Mr. is all like, "I'm done, man." <laughs> yeah, I'm done, man. <laughs> no, at least when Tibbs when Tibbs does. <laughs> Promise to make uh, an appearance. At least he follows through. I'm like, we got. <clears throat> but anyway, our Mexico. In wait, but what are you talking about? Oh crap! I forgot. I... Oh yeah. Remember, I would always forget about the commentary, so I'd be like, wait, wasn't I supposed to do something? Oh crap! I was supposed to do commentary yesterday. Yeah. Whoa. I think I've gotten a lot better though. Is it? Oh. Is it just me to get freaking dark? It's darker yeah. than my humor out here. Yeah. <laughs> on my flashlight. More like my soul, Ooh. actually. <laughs> Whoa, that's <laughs> deep. Dark Souls. That's actually oh, so wait a deep. Minute. Adele was rolling in it. Oh dang! Ha. Remind me never to be mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rumor has it. Rumor has it. Well, rumor has it something's about to happen here because there's a cutscene. Now, if only Link could set fire to the rain. Right. Commercial's about to happen. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, wait. I love this scene. Who's that? Oh, it's Zelda. And Impa. Do, 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 do. Dang, she's got an arm. She plays softball or something. We're just gonna Whoa. Pass that right Oh, there. shoot. Oh, there he is. He's got a big nose. Ganon Dork. Who, me? Well, yeah, I mean, if the shoe fits. <laughs> Ooh! That, oh, that yeah. horse is ECW. Maybe Ganondorf wants to be an ECW wiener. Yeah. Possibly. You've got guts, kid. You've got mail. <laughs> oh. That is funny. I mean, Link with that little Kokiri sword is not going to do nothing to Ganondorf. Nah, that's for sure. His big ears. The whole you've got mail thing just totally brought me back to my childhood when we'd power on the old Windows 98. You've got mail! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. Did the Hadouken on him. Hadouken. I'm sure you. How you duking? I love Ganondorf's theme. His ECW theme or his WWE? No, I'm checking. I did create him on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. What? I knew that, folks. Just in case you didn't know that, that's why I brought it up. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know that. Good time. Oh man, well, Ganondorf is going after Zelda here as Link to stands there like, well, I got pwned. Pwned. Oh, don't worry, my name is Lonk, and I'm here to save the world. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all sunny and uh, friendly now after all after that. Oh, wait, that's right. Gotta get the Ocarina of Time. Oh, what the heck just happened? Now there's a big giant fireball in the sky again. Yes. <laughs> Yeah.
You know what kills me is when I see memes of Link diving into the water, going after the Ocarina of Time, and then just tossing aside Saria's like, eh, who cares, I got a blue one now. Right, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Whoa, is Zelda talking to him through tele telepathy? Through MySpace? What is it with uh, Zelda games and telepathy? Uh, uh, telepathy is lovely. Yeah. You got me. Oh, Link's learning a, learning a <clears throat> new song. This song opens the door of ECW. I welcome that. And the temple of ECW. That's right. We gotta fight the evil uh, Paul Heymendorf? I fail. Uh oh. You've learned the song of ECW. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I just YouTubed it. I was like, all right, how do I do this? Oh, all right, YouTube. Yeah. Now, Ricky C, play this melody in front of the altar in the temple of ECW. You must protect the Triforce. I was going to make a joke, but I didn't want to try and force it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Hyrule Castle Town, and then Link will enter the temple of ECW. Like, what would you say your most favorite version of the Castle Town theme is? Mm, I don't even remember what Twilight Princesses sound like. It was, um, it had a lot more variety to it. Like, you would go to certain parts of the town and it would kind of change depending on your location of the town. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'll go with see all of the above. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Link looked a little different right there. <laughs> We're just going in the Temple of Time. And here we are. Uh-oh. Yeet. I said yeet. Yeah. <laughs> There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye ye who owns three spirit <laughs> stones. <laughs> oh my god. I'm never going to take this seriously now. <laughs> right. <laughs> now you think of that word. It's not meant to be taken serious. <laughs> yeah. It just as, as soon as I replay this game and re-enter the temple, I'm just gonna like hear you ye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. Here we go. The three spiritual stones come to life and circle around you, and they find their place on the, uh, I don't know, what was that altar of time? Game over, man. Game over. I'm checking. Oh, so shiny. Which will open the door of ECW. Da, 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 John Cena. Oh yeah, speaking of John Cena. Yep. That has to be the Master Sword. I want one. Wait, I'm broke. The ECW Sword! If only I wasn't so damn broke, I would buy one. Yeah. Living La Vida Broca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Here we go. CW. Alright, all is right with the world as Link has the sword of ECW. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh oh. Uh uh, what? Guys, I'm scared. Is it bad that his eyebrows and hair reminds me of Sriracha? <laughs> Sounds so good right now. <laughs> like, it was a random thought, but I got to thinking. Oh man, what has Link done? Maybe he turned heel. <laughs> Oh, 
Whose side is he on? Yeah, whose side is he on, indeed? Know. Well, if we what can't rely heck? on him, Where's then who can we? Where's he oh, at now? Who can we rely on? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's in Goldeneye. Joking. <laughs> Wrong LP. This, is, this place is more moist than freaking homemade Whoa. cake. Who's that? I am Roro, one of the ancient sages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> For real, I like. I can never say his name right. I don't think. Rar, 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 say, rar, rar, rar. It's like one of Victoria's dogs trying to pronounce his name or something. Rar, rar, rar. Rar, rar, rar. It sounds like. It sounds uh, like. Uh, my, oh my god! It sounds like Max barking. <laughs> rar, rar. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to take oh. him seriously when his name is Raru. <laughs> whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Peter Pan did grow up. Damn. I was quick. You're a big kid now. Now you can pull up your own diapers. And he suddenly got his ears pierced. Right? You know, when I first played this game, I thought, like, because I knew Link would eventually grow up. But, like, I thought as you beat the dungeons, you start to grow older and grow bigger for some dumb reason. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, this is where he becomes an adult. Oh, okay. Oh, yuck. Plus, I think the owl said, oh, hey, Link, Link, you're getting bigger now or something. Or stronger. I forgot what he said. And then I got to hear, I'm like, oh, this is when he officially becomes an adult. Like, over, pretty much overnight. What, what feels like a few seconds. But it's actually been seven years. Jeez. Eh, it happens just like that. One day you wake <clears> up and you're like, oh, where'd my life go? Right? You know, I sometimes I wonder if he would think behind the scenes, who let me suddenly adult? I can't just adult. I was just a kid five seconds ago. They probably got this idea <laughs> from the movie Big. <clears throat> oh. I don't know if you've seen that, Victoria, okay. but Tom Hanks was a 13 yeah. year old oh, kid yeah. and then he wishes to be an adult he's th 35 years old so he's an adult with a kid's mind yeah so Link yeah, is a well, kid a at heart nowadays so that's kind of yeah yeah I'll show you. although I think um, the fate of what happens with the Ocarina Link and other installments is kind of sad I Raru and one say <laughs> just <laughs> and <laughs> indeed I'll ask, I'll ask uh, Tibbs, is that how you really say it? Ra Raru? Raru? I mean, I, am I saying it wrong? Or Somebody's going to correct us in the comment section. It's oh, someone's going to get when I post like, this. You in the say it like this! When I post this in the Hyrule Warriors group, it's not pronounced Raru, you idiot! <laughs> well, damn, that's the way I'm going to pronounce it then. If it's going to piss you off that much, I'm going to say it like that. Right. Whoa, Link's got a co big coin. I want to say it's either Raru or Rauru. Oh. Like, it might be Raru. It's funnier just to say Raru. Raru. I Raru. Raru. Just like in the movie, uh, <laughs> what was that movie, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the guy thought he was badass, I am Taserface, and everybody starts laughing at him. I am one of the sages, what? Raru, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say that again, Raru. <laughs> okay, Raru. I'm gonna just call him Raul. Raru, <laughs> Raul, Ra Raul from Street Fighter, Raru. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I said Raru, Max lifted up and looked at me like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> can he hear us? Oh no, he can't hear us, can he? I'm sure he probably can a little bit because he's he's actually not that far from me. I say Raru, <laughs> Raru, Raru, Raru. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so confused. <laughs> Tilting his head. Whoa! Wait, who's that? His eyes got all big. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Who is that? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Like, wow, Yeah. Now I got chance going. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> if only you knew.
<laughs> so who is this mysterious figure? Now he just thinks I'm a uh. mental case. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. E -C -W I think I don't know where it's going. C -W. You know, uh, when it's pronounced uh, Raru, it almost sounds like Ragu. Ragu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got Sriracha and, and uh, Ragu on the brain today. Yummy. Yes. <laughs> and now word from our sponsor. I'm joking. Yeah. Get a copyright <laughs> claim. No. They can endorse us. Yeah. A lifetime supply of five sages. I used to have. I used to be. A, uh, I used to have service from a phone company called Sage Telecom. That's awesome. And they were trash, wow. but anyway, <clears throat> they were trash. It's like here, let me tell you a story. Well, they sucked, but anyways. Well, basically, <laughs> I I, I, pay, I did a check by phone. They got, they got the routing number wrong, but because they messed up. They still couldn't take check by phone payments from me anymore. But sir, y'all the one that put the wrong routing number in. I know, but because it it bounced, even though it was our fault, we still can't <laughs> accept it from you anymore. So <laughs> instead of you know owning up to their mistakes, I just had to pay a different method. I said, nope, I'm done. I left somewhere else. Uh, I, went, I, went, I went to somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, so we got a so there's five other sages besides Rairu. <laughs> and so I guess in part eight, maybe we'll meet the uh, other, the second sage. So see you guys in part eight. God bless and take care. See ya. Be there or be square. Welcome to Let's Play GoldenEye Part 17. This is Ron <laughs> Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Oh, hey. We're back. But for how long? Hi. We're back in black. Kind of, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> We're now in uh, the caverns. Ooh, this, this level was not in the movie, but it's still cool. You know, I don't care what this it was in the movie. Okay, look. Okay, I got, um, I got ECW mode enabled, as always. I'm, I'm chasing after Trevelyan in here. You're not supposed to see this part of the game because <laughs> of the enemies firing at you. So you can't kill Trevelyan. But you can chase him all the way and he stops at a certain point and just disappears. Just like a room off did in the facility. Oh, dang it. I, I, well, he's pretty much long gone now. I can't even see that point, that part now. You guys gone. messed it up! Ah! Rage quit! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> We call it J-Man quit here at the Ooh. 2K. Oh, the J-Man quit. That scientist is just <laughs> standing there like nothing's going on. He's like, hey, what's going on? Ah! Oh, that's messed up. I shot him in the leg. <laughs> Get out of the way, idiot. Are you well, stupid? Everybody loves the color being shot at them. Yeah, these are real paintball bullets. It's like in uh, Charles Play, was it two <clears throat> or three? I think it's... I can't... Well, somebody's gonna correct me in the comment section. You'd be like, "Damn it, Mexico, you don't know." <laughs> yeah. Unsubscribe. Get it right. Are you stupid? This is video from the Tech It Realm. If I remember, I'll put it in the description box. He goes around and pretends like he don't get the joke, and, and posts comments saying, "That's not possible. You can't do this." It's just funny, funny video. The way he did it and the reactions. <clears throat> oh. Like someone made that joke saying. I, I wanted to get a, a brain transplant. The doctors changed my mind. <laughs> and, then, and then he responds, That's not possible. There is no such thing as a medical <clears throat> procedure where you, you can have a brain transplant. Are you stupid? Just pretend like he didn't, you don't get the joke. Dang! That's um, a pretty funny channel. Wow. And I like his voice. <laughs> his voice Dang, is just like the, the cool, nerdy voice, yeah. Take it realm over four hundred thousand subscribers. Check that dude out. You know, I really don't care what they say. I think this game's a solid classic. Oh yeah. You could ask anybody that's played any kind of genre of games or whatever. Somewhere down the line, the road, everybody's played this oh, game. Did you see that? One of the enemy <clears throat> bullets was hitting that guy to even do anything to him. 
You know, so well, I do have uh, my childhood Nintendo 64 still. Like, the only two games I have for it are WrestleMania 2000 and Mario Kart 64, but we used to have GoldenEye for it and many, many others. Nice. Any good memories with this game? Well, I can barely hear you, Mexico. You sound muffled. I saw many good memories with this game. There you go. Okay, now he's he's alive. Yeah. I'm being held at gunpoint. <laughs> Somebody put Paint duct balls. tape over his trap. <laughs> hey, they want that body armor. <laughs> Look at him. His gun is full of colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's trippy. Look at that. <laughs> Nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I like that. Paintball is like, it's kind of spread and it's like spread out into the air. That's weird. So pretty, the colors. So pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, did you guys ever use the cheat codes with this one? That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> that, that's, that's all. I, that's the only way I've ever played this game. Uh, like, one level when I was a little kid, I found it to be too challenging, so... I did the cheat to make the characters move stupidly slow, and oh, it was yeah. just so funny. Oh shoot, that guy oh, threw a grenade at oh, me. Shit. Look at these guys. Scientists, get out the way! Get out the way! Stupid Really? How's a scientist? How are they not gonna duck or... Yeah, duck under there in the midst of the gunfire. Quack, quack. Duck. Are you stupid? Move out the way! Move. Oh shoot! Ah! Oh. Oh wait, is it <clears> game <throat> over or not? No, all the technology. Oh. I thought if you kill like more than one scientist and a double O agent, it's game over. Uh, I thought the same thing too. Well, guess not. not sure Let's move on. on. Big Star <laughs> Trek doors we got here. Okay, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm still uh, good to go. All right. Oh, the door is locked. No kidding. Why do you open it? Forgot. I must be that one person in the world that wears their watch on the right arm. <laughs> Actually, I think I used to do that too. Everybody's all white. I wonder if it depends. Right arm. I wonder if it depends, like, uh, if you're right-handed or left-handed, <clears throat> or does it matter? I don't know. Supposedly, what I heard is if you're right-handed, you're supposed to wear it on your left. If you're left-handed, you're supposed to wear it on your right. It's supposed to be opposite or whatever, huh. but. I'm anti-jectrious, like when it comes to like a lot of things. I do a lot of things with my left hand, but I mostly write with yeah. my um. I write with my right hand. Yeah, amped yeah, ambidextria. Yeah. I remember Walker, Texas yeah. Ranger. Uh, this guy goes, well, I don't know. Maybe he's one of those amphibious types who use both hands. <laughs> <laughs> and Trevay goes, I remember that. Trevay goes, you mean uh, amp and uh, where we say ambidextria, ambidextria, anti-jectrious or whatever. Yeah, ambidextrous. <laughs> <It's> amphibious types. <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. What the well, heck? I thought I had the, the water. key card. Why such colors? I got the key card. Well, son of a mother, what do I do? Whoa. Ask Tibbs. Tibbs, what do I do? Well, Ronnie, you gotta go through here and. <laughs> I don't know. Tell us a story, then we'll fall asleep. Well, Jeff's already asleep. That's why we can't hear yeah. him. Yeah. Well, well, you know what, uh, Ernest, don't work a lot, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do well, the you best also... Tibbs impression. <laughs> Jamie has <laughs> said he has that perfect storytelling voice. It is. I want him to like, like if I ever do a narration of my life, I'm paying Tibbs. Right. And so Ernest walked off into the distance. Once it's upon a time, far. there was a game <clears throat> called The Legend of Zelda. And there's a spiritual stone of ECW. And then next thing you know, all the people at Nintendo fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love destroying those monitors. It is fun. Then Tibbs would be like, oh, what happened? Yeah, well, there's lockers over here. All right, object to be completed. Let me get my, let me get my stuff. Check oh, it. there's a code card. Maybe that'll open up the freaking door. The door. Open up the door. It may not be the door of time, but it'll still work. Call me crazy, but one time when I was running from some enemies years ago, I actually ran into one of those, like, door things and just 
hid in it. Nice. Oh wow. <laughs> and now I that's stayed ECW. there. Yeah. yeah. I stayed there. And then they took a little while to find me because it was like it was an area that was kind of similar to this. Except it had a lot more um, railways and stuff. Look at this guy! Where'd you come from? <laughs> what the hell was that? Um. Finally. Not sure. Jeez, I feel like I'm playing that one level on Star Wars Shells of the Empire. It was that complicated level. It's one of the last levels, I think. I forgot what it was called. Wait. What? No, been in sure. here? Um, no? Here we go. <laughs> that. Doesn't that's... got react as slow? All of a sudden, True Colors by Cindy Lauper starts to play. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's something I've Oh, heard. man, so slow. Hey, it's a so classic. Slow. Yeah. There he is. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, get him. Look at that. He just disappeared through the elevator. Cheater. Adios. Oh, look at me. I'm cheating. Look, his gun just disappeared. Cheating in a single player game. Yep. It's all about getting, get. It. The humanity. Yeah. The humanity. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't walk the cradle. All right. That will happen in part 18, which is actually the last level before the two bonus levels. So, until then, God bless and take care. See y'all. Be here or be square or something else. The end. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 8. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy. Thank you for joining us, folks. Now, Link is leaving the temple of ECW. Whoa, look at that. Let's ECW. Want to explain that to me. ECW Mountain. Whoa. Whoa, jeez. The mark has been ran down. Holy smokes. And all the redeads. <laughs> Those things kill me. Yeah. Alright, back at ECW Field. Dark and gloomy East. Well, wait a minute. It's getting. Oh, looking all pretty again. Oh. Oh, Al Roker here. We got a bright and sunny day ahead of us. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> With a slight chance of rain. Hey, yeah. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Ha! Beat me to it. <laughs> I know you're gonna say it, that's why I had to say it before. E C W Oh, it's getting gloomy again over Lon Lon Ranch. That's that's pretty emo. Let's see what's going Cloudy. on here. Whoa. Welcome to uh, 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 Lame Lame Ranch. <laughs> lame Lame Ranch. <laughs> everything's, everything's, that sounds about right. Everything's emo. Sable. Oh, Stable. Oh, yeah, you said Sable. Oh, wait, you Whoa. did say it. Who's that? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, of course. Ganondorf is to blame. Ever since that one guy. Thank yeah. you, Gandalf. Yeah. But Dad, wait. So that's that's Malin. Uh, Whoa. yep. All right. So Ganondorf has effed stuff up. Only me, definitely. Whoa! Is that a grown-up opponent in there? Who's this douchebag? Oh, is that Ingo? <laughs> freaking oh, freaking, uh, meth head Luigi or whatever the the heck? Maybe hey, while Luigi about gets that. some hard times. Right? Yeah, Ingo. I N G O and Ingo was his name. Oh, I always found it funny how his name was just one letter short of Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, let's stop horsing around. Let me go in there and visit Epona. I see Epona. what you did there. I gotta pay 10 rupees. I know how it's done. Link, a Link knows more about horses than you do. You're just a horse's ass. Ooh, burn! You heard it here first, folks. I wish the four horsemen show up. Ric Flair, the horseman just beat the crap out of this guy. Woo! Listen here! You And look over at Tal uh, Talon. You shut up, fat boy! I'll take your daughter. Woo! Wait a minute. No, I think Malin's underage. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's, yeah, let's... We're going Chris Hansen to come, and Ric Flair goes, Ah, God, no! No! She told me she was 18! No! There's a Pona! Oh, no, wait, there's a Pona! <laughs> well, get on the horse! Get good! Hey, yeah. ECW! ECW ECW EC Ah, oh, fail. And now a word from our sponsors. Boy, do I feel like a horse's patoot. <laughs> I uh oh. oh no! For the love of God! Points for reference. Uh points for reference. Let's see who gets it in the comment section. That's what I'm <laughs> right, yeah. Come on. Light heavyweight probably. Yeah. Meh. Or Chris Farty's cousin, uh, Ravenous Spectre. I did not know that. I did not know that fact. It all makes sense now that I think about it now. Yeah. I fix your eyebrows. Jeez. Thick ass eyebrows. I wish the rock could come over here and give in the people's eyebrow along with the people's elbow. So Link failed right there, so he's got a. I forgot what you gotta do to unlock a pony here. You gotta like jump over the hurdles, right? Or what? I forgot. Uh, you got me. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess you gotta play uh, a pony song. The only person that would know is Bear. I'm joking. Or Lady Zelda. Lady Zelda. Yeah, I know it like at some point um, after you. If I remember right, after this part. Um, you like jump over um, the area where we're like not freaking surrounded by fence, and then you like jump all the way out into Hyrule Field. Okay, so right here first, if I remember correctly, you have to beat Ingo two times in this race. Too fast, too fiery. It's kind of tricky right here too, because I think the first time is kind of easy, the second time it gets a little harder. Oh yeah, that's why I viewed him as obnoxious. I'm like, come on, just get away. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta get good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he beat him. I rode a horse. And freaking, I think last time I rode a horse was 2000. It's been a while. Wow. Well, what about you guys? Uh. <laughs> Probably when I was a kid. Yeah, same for me, actually. <laughs> but it was a nice horse. I mean, the only thing I know about horses is the four horsemen. Yeah. Whether you like it or whether you don't... I, uh, dang it. Uh, <coughs> if I stop choking on something. Whether you Why like it... Wrong, we'll just do it again. Or whether you don't like it, learn by God to love it because it's the best thing going today. <laughs> Woo! That was perfect. A plus. Kurt Hennig? Mr. Perfect. Ah, uh, he lost again. Kind of his son. Oh. Ha ha, sucks to suck. Oh man, he's like, it looks like he's wi having withdrawals right here. Right. This guy never blinks, does he? <laughs> Oh, wait, I got a script right. Are you following? Alright, so Link is trapped here. Whatever will he do?
I have no idea. Maybe James Bond will come rescue. A huh. secret hidden Wrong mission. Wrong LP. You know what? He's so awesome. You oh. know what? I didn't actually know you could jump over that. I would, when I played this game, I like jumped over like one of the other fences on the other side of the ranch. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, where he just like stopped. Yeah, but he didn't uh, ride fast enough. I think that's why our opponent didn't jump. Oh come mm -hmm. on! You could have jumped right there. Well, maybe not. I would have broke his legs. And we don't need PETA coming after this channel. Knowing PETA, they probably would anyway. Unless it's PETA Wilson from Left M Nikita. Or PETA oh. Griffin. <laughs> yeah. P, uh, P, Tear, Griffin. PETA Griffin. Ah, dang it. Ah, when Family Guy used to be funny. Is Simpson still funny? Um, I'm going to go with no. <laughs> I mean, the last time I really cared about anything about The Simpsons was the the movie. Yeah, it's been a oh, while. Yeah. And that movie was alright. I mean, it was cool that it came out with the movie. It was pretty cool, but it wasn't... I gave it a 7 out of 10. Could have been better. I think everybody was expecting more. That's all it was. I mean, it was the first time they were going to do a movie. It's like, oh... And I'll admit, I went to the movie theater, saw it. Me too. They should have had that as the series finale. I just end it right there. I always thought that would have been an interesting way to like... Yeah, there, there's so many ways they could have just ended the... Ending it with the movie would have been good, but they're just making too much money. Like, alright, let's milk this till we can't milk it anymore. Yeah, and it's animated. You know, it's a cartoon. It's not like a real-life uh, sitcom or anything. Because, you know, everybody gets old. <laughs> If Seinfeld's still around oh, yeah. today, that wouldn't work. Oh, man. Whoa, uh, okay. We're in this mysterious place here with this this guy. If you remember him. I love this music, though. Easy dub, easy dub, easy freaking W, easy W, hoo hoo. Get your ECW ringtone, st2k.com. I'm that kid that with the Ocarina. So most of the Zelda games I played were in 2D. Then again, mostly I've only played Zelda. I would like for there to be... I wish they would reverse it. How about a 2D Ocarina of Time and a 3D A Link to the Past? Oh man, I'd welcome this. Easy dub, easy freaking W. Nintendo, this is your guy. Yep. A uh, copyright strike. Uh, that's our idea. Uh, we didn't give you permission to speak on it. Permission? This is America. You learned the song of we ECW. We don't need no permission. <laughs> Pretty soon, they're going to copyright our thoughts. Uh, uh, they're going to yeah, copyright strike our ideas. Idea. Like, wait, we, we detect that you had this idea in your head. We had the idea first, even though we never used it. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm going to have to copyright your breathing pattern because that's the same breathing pattern as the CEO. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if Sega was smart, they would have taken advantage of Bomber Games coming at, coming at them, or not coming at them, but coming to them and saying, hey, uh, we made this remake of Streets of Rage, you want to do business? They would have made a ton of money off of that, and I would have been happy to pay for that game. No, instead of, oh, let's cease and desist, because it's our intellectual property, which is true, but if you're smart, you would have made money. No wonder you end up being a, a third-party company. Mm-hmm. Sega and their mistakes. I could make a video about every single one. I remember someone saying, Still never be done I don't remember anymore. Nintendo beating Sega. Where have you been the past 20 years? What? They're a third-party company now. And he said, they chose to be that. Uh, they had to choose to be that or go out of business. Nobody beat Sega. Sega beat themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Dreamcast was successful, but it just wasn't enough to save them. Yeah. So Sega you didn't do everything. Sega was a great company, but they, just, they especially after that uh, cease and desist order with Street Rage remake, I thought, you know, this is why you're probably not a console company anymore. It's just yes, stupid folks, decisions like about this. Sega on a Nintendo LP. Oh, burn! Doink, doink. The Clown? <laughs> uh, wasn't Doink the Clown played by Chris Jericho? Well, one time when he 
jumped uh, William Regal. Oh, okay. I always thought it was Chris Jericho after. Uh, Matt Bourne oh, was, was the, the main one to the play the character. Then there's like maybe one or two other people to do it too. But Matt oh, Bourne was the main Waller one to do it. Be, oh! WWE champion. Uh, Tom Brandy actually played as a patron before. Besides Dale Wilkes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I can hear Jeff listen to this video right now. <laughs> Leave it to Ronnie talk about wrestling. <laughs> that was brilliant. And you know what? Speaking of brilliant, say it's brilliant, Ronnie, okay? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, anybody needs to know this, I do not hate Sega. I know they made a lot of mistakes. Heck, I was part of uh, Strictly Sega of America with Jeff back in the day. Yeah, and if they were brilliant, they would have taken advantage of the Street Rage remake. Like, I don't like, hate sweet. them either. But yeah, either. I, I just I just never had um, any of their consoles, but um, a relative of mine, like, way back when, like, probably 99, 2000, I was just a little shit. Um, they, <laughs> he, had a, he had the Dreamcast, and I'm like, oh! And then I got reacquainted uh, with it by looking up, like, random game consoles, and I'm like, oh, yeah, hey, yeah, I remember this thing. Here's its Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, Genesis did do when Nintendo don't. What, become a third-party company? Oh! Exactly. There's oh, Nintendo's and Nintendo's. I mean, I love Sega also. I love I love the freaking Genesis and Master System. Oh, it's a hook shot. So he's a basketball player now? He's hooked. That's, uh, that's coming from me live-streaming NBA Jam <laughs> the other night. That was cool. Oh, I thought I was going to get crushed by that door. Is this Shadowgate? The Shadowgate 64 LP? Yeah. Hey, no, what is this? Not me. There's some blocks. Play the song of time. ECW? That was ECW. Yeah. 9.9, 9, to be exact. 9.95! Yes. 619! Yes. ECW, ECW, freaking W, ECW. Should be my ringtone from now on. <laughs> no, Link, well, you can't grab the stone wall. It, I guess the red dot kind of makes you think you can. What's that red dot? It's my laser on my gun. <laughs> uh, to be honest, actually, I don't know. Let me fire my laser. You can't, uh... You got to jump on the little merry-go-round right there. I think he's got it now. Have y'all played Twilight Princess? Oh, yeah. Remember, was it the, uh... The ice temple or the the frozen mansion, whatever it was, where you gotta oh. you gotta like swing on that shan or make the chandelier move. Oh yeah, Yedo's house. Yeah, and I I was stuck. I was like, how to get how to get past this part? And I think I had to look at a YouTube video or something. You gotta like hit the chandelier with your big ball and chain or something to get to get across. It all makes sense. Yeah. You know, still to this day, I can't help but make a Sia reference every time when it comes to that part. <laughs> uh, uh, what reference? A Sia reference for song Chandelier. A Sia. Who is a Sia? A uh, Sia. Uh, Sia W. <laughs> or Ia Sia later. Do you a Sia this? You have Sia. Uh, there's Poe. Tommy Poe. Wait. Oh! I don't have enough rupees. I'm Poe. Hell yeah, right, yeah. There used to be a <laughs> restaurant here in town called Poe, folks. Really? Yep. There's some place that would serve a Poe, folks sandwich. <laughs> Come on, Link. You better than that. <laughs> Link, what are you do? You can't get up there, you wish. Oh no! Lake is lost here. This ain't the Lost Woods. 
Hello, my name is Lonk, and I'm here to save the world. They should have made a. Uh, they should made a tiger. <laughs> they should made a game with uh, Tiger Woods called the Tiger Lost Woods. Tiger Lost Woods coming soon. To Wait the a game minute. Com. Wait. Did, wasn't Link supposed to collect the pole soul right there or something? That's what I would have done. That's weird, but anyway. What are you doing? He don't have time to get sidetracked. He's got a a, a a world to save or whatever. All I do is get sidetracked. Yeah. What do you get? Sidetracked and spirit tracks. Ooh. If only. Oh, who's that up there? Not me. Oh, dang, how do you get up there? Good question. A oh, bear thirteen shop. Open only during the day. Wake up, bear. We know you're hibernating. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up, get up. Cash and rupees and get, get up. up. Get up. <laughs> I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Whoa, push him off. Ah! Is it 500 rupees? Could be. Man, he's looking hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was he doing up there? Oh, he's oh, camping. Wait a minute. <laughs> she. And I'll be saying, stop messing around and get to the Kokiri Forest. Oh. Get to the forest and get good. That's not a real fan. That was just a plant. Silly Deku Baba. Tricks are for kids. Uh, the giant Baba is a legendary wrestler. Oh, yeah. See, it, it does always go back to wrestling. I got a problem. Ronnie, you're a wrestling attic. I don't live in an attic. attic. I'm not an attic. What are you talking about? Oh, all right, here we go. The Lost I'm Tiger Woods. Yeah. Hey, I grew up in the Ruthless Aggression. So. All right, the tooth Toothless Aggression. Toothless oh, Aggression. Here's just Pansy again. This panty waist up. My doll, or whatever his name is. Ooh! You know, Link could just slice his head off if he wanted to, but this is a rated G game. Uh, now <laughs> fail. On the PlayStation. Yeah. Maybe if Link rated was in Soul Calibur. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I liked playing as Link in Soul Calibur. Yeah. Yeah, my doll doesn't recognize him. He's like, who are you? Oh, <laughs> yuck! Who are you? Who are you? It doesn't matter who you are. It only matters who I am. Yeah. What matters is that you know you're old and shut your mouth. It's a family matter. So Did I do that? Midal said, uh, that Link, that he, he reminds him of Link. Well, that is Link, but he don't know it because Link has grown up and he doesn't realize he's not really a coherent. He's actually a highly un Spoiler alert. Well, Deku Spoiler Tree alert, told going. that story earlier. <laughs> Begin the game. Or did he? Oh man, I would have grabbed that heart. So when Link grows up, he just gets a job. And it yeah. gets way more boring. Yeah. Grown up. Oh yeah, this part right here, you gotta watch out for the giant hog soldiers or whatever the heck they are. Yeah, next thing you know, you're in the wrong temple. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that. No. No. Well. Link, what are you doing? Don't climb up there yet. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Well, you're what's that noise? Do I hear a loud, uh, I heard something. That was weird, anyway. Yeah, that was kind of weird. No, Link, what are you doing? Use your hook shot from a distance. That's what I did. 
Link, are you trying to get killed? And then all of a sudden, somebody plays All Star by Smash Mouth. Yeah. I'll do it. I got the track <laughs> loaded right now. It's just listening to it half an hour ago. That's funny. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I never thought of doing that, but it would be easier just to use your hook shot from behind from a distance. No, you just gotta, sometimes you gotta do things the hard way. Oh, wait, well, I didn't know you could destroy them with a bomb. <laughs> Some Melgar solid action here. Some of my favorite get my action. Get my LPs mixed up. I'm doing Twin Snakes, Golden Eye, and Ocarina of Time at the same time. Oh, you know that's got to hurt. Oh no, Boom no, you! Oh, ooh, he stabbed right in the throat. Ouch. He should be dead. Boom shakalaka. Just like in Mortal Kombat 11, all those moves they do on you, you should kill you, but it don't. The match continues. <laughs> yup. Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Move out the way, you idiot. You know what he's okay. doing? He's throwing the match. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Get him, Link. You know, to this day, though, I still do love Metal Gear Solid. Me too. Like, I want to say that it might be in the old childhood game collection uh, still, because I stumbled upon... Um the PS1 after like what seems like 3,000 years and I found a bunch of games that I used to play and I'm like oh hey here's Ape Escape here's this here's that and I think it's possibly in there the shield's not gonna work right there you idiot it's like hey man I'm trying no I'm joking <laughs> I just bought Metal Gear Solid 2 for the first time I've played that game probably 17 years Oh, it's wow. been quite a while for me, too. So when I play that game again, I'll get so lost. Back then, I, I, beat, I could beat it on extreme and get all the dog tags. Now I probably could even... Probably better beat on very easy. I don't remember any of what the dog tags are. Uh, better than me. I probably couldn't beat it at all. The only Metal Gear I ever beat was the solid for the PS1. Well, that's pretty solid. Solid. Give, do me a solid. <laughs> Lee can't get past this guy. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, no. What, Link? Oh, I think you see he's a hook shot, right? Or did you use a sword? I forgot. Dude, the Link shot. You're not a sword. That's not a sword. This is a Your sword. Your face is a sword. Ooh. You're a sword loser. Yeah, I'm not Kurt Angle. Oh. You want Kurt some aloe vera for that say? burn? Whoa! A creepy stalker again. That tree stump where that was what uh, Saria's secret place, oh, or whatever it's called. With this bedtime it's near music, house, right? No, I'm sure. <laughs> this bedtime music. Imagine listening to this, and while Tibbs tells you a story, you be put to sleep real quick. Insert Tibbs audio right. Yeah. The the minute minute of forest. The minute stake of forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn it down. You forget and he goes, No, idiot, listen to me, let's do this again. Easy. You ever thought about that? Like what if you mess up and the GPS is like makes fun of you? That's not where Double I said to turn. Now listen to me. Turn this way. That'd be hilarious. That would, yeah. I would you do have just learned off the, GPS. the minuet of ECW. Where are you going? What? Um. Just like, oh, okay. hey, where'd they go? <laughs> just a flash in the pan. Did that really just happen? Uh, yep. You know, I always thought it was funny how he stares at the ocarina while it just shimmers. <laughs> yeah. The way Sheik made an exit once it's Kung Fu. What's that Kung Fu? The legend continues BS. Uh. 
I am Kane. I can no longer help you. And he just leaves. <laughs> Alright, so like, that's the end of... like that. Yeah. That's the end of part 8. We'll see you guys in part 9 where Link will enter the Forest Temple. Jeez, that's going to be a lot of fun. I love this part. <laughs> it's getting good. Finally. Yeah, it's getting good. Get All right. Good. Until then, God bless and take care. See ya. Till next time. Welcome to Let's Play a Golden Eye Part 18. We're at the cradle. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico. We at the cradle. Or did you say dreidel? Dreidel. Here we go. Cradle. All right, the cradle. We gotta sell the score with Trevelyan. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa! What the? Um, what? What? Okay. Yeah, Ron. Can I ask you what's going on? This is a <laughs> emulation glitch, like the sky upside down or something. Um, are we above the, the sky? Are Look we at this. In space? Right? Space. Are we out of space? The are we like above, above the Earth right there? I thought you said we were playing GoldenEye, not Star Trek. Right? The... Space, the final frontier. Oh. Oh, man. He's activated the antenna control console. No. Don't. Go. So I got to destroy the antenna to the console, I mean the wait. The antenna to the cradle, or whatever. Then sell the score to Trevelyan. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me! Is there oxygen up here, or do I have to hold my breath? Oh, wait a minute! Aw, oh, man, Whoa. you can't use the... Well, how's the rockets going through them here on the cradle? Yeah, how's... Um, yeah, somebody's gonna have to explain that to me. Well, That's weird. So oh, there we go. Physics. Oh. There, that, that's all the explaining I need. Are uh, they in ECW calls. mode too? Oh man, I, I think they finally caught on to you. They're like, oh well, he's gonna play in ECW mode, so will we. Right. Love this music. Epic music. Oh wait, I just went back to the beginning. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start this LP over again. Hey guys, it's Mexico yeah, along with Ron Mo- no, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the body armor like I need it. So welcome to this LP for those of you who skipped ahead a few minutes. I'm surprised they had the body armor in this level on Double O Agent. Oh, I'm surprised too. Yeah, I've seen um, friends play through Double O Agent, and I'm like, mm, I have enough trouble just beating the game, like playing the game. I cannot. I gotta give anybody, everybody credit that's played this game. Double O agent or whatever. That it's, it's just insane. Right? I thought that's the antenna. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, Mexico. That joke is so overused. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't go down there yet. That's where Trevelyan is down there. But I haven't destroyed the antenna yet. Wherever, it, wherever it is. Well, there he. Oh no! I thought that was an Alec. No, he's still. I still got to chase him around for a little bit. Oh, Ooh, that would hurt. Ouch! There he is. There he is. <laughs> From the cradle to the grave. Your grave, James. Your grave. Well, I forgot how to destroy the antenna. It's been years. I I couldn't tell you myself. Yeah. I'd have been like. Ah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, we're I at the uh, we're at the International Space Station here. This is where the last uh, level takes place. That's one small step for man. Look, there he is. Uh, I forget the. Oh, uh -oh. There he is. You can run, but you can't hide. See if I can still. Oh man, I'm not get the the uh, destroy the signal on time. So <laughs> this mission's no. failed, but I at least wanted to sell the score of Trevelyan. So that means GoldenEye has uh, taken out, uh, I think, London. London. Yep, London's gone. God, sa God save London. the Queen. We are sorry. Apologies to our... There he is. I want to go kill him. 
Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? I said, where are you going? You're Rocky Balboa. That was always better, James. Yeah, we'll see about that. Dang it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, what? For England, James? No. For me. For me. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. <laughs> I'm falling back to the earth. Um. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fail. Fail. At least I killed Trevelyan. All right, let's try this again. It's all right. Let me do this. Forward. So I'm invisible oh, now. <laughs> all right. All right. We're restarting the. For those of you who started at this point. Right. This time I'm invisible. Can't see me. Hey, yeah. Uh, play as John Bond. John Bond. So are your guns invisible too, or do we just see two guns? I know. I know. I, 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 I didn't really think about till now. <laughs> Remember the movie? Uh, what was it? Uh, tomorrow was it, not tomorrow never dies. Uh, Down to the day. He he's actually in uh, the car. Where the car has stealth camouflage, and Bond oh. is still invisible while being in the car. But someone said, "Wait a minute, how is he still invisible by being in the car? Would he look like he's floating in the air?" Ooh. But nope, because the car uh, conceals him. And right here, that one of the guns are invisible too. <laughs> well, I mean, they are because the soldiers will be reacting like, "Whoa, what are these floating guns shooting at us?" Ah! There's, there's a pair of guns just floating in the air. Yeah. This place is haunted. Yeah. I can't make it my mama to go here. Whoa. Oh. Excuse me. Yep. Excuse my. Excuse so, wait, if you're invisible. Okay, Trevelyan can still see you, though. That's oh. probably because. Oh, he dropped a grenade. Okay, here's the antenna. Okay. You, you got destroyed. There you go. Objective A completed. All right, oh, so. Okay. Now I know. That's probably because Trevelyan knows. Drone gun, shut up. Can't hear anything. All right. Probably because Trevelyan knows that. You know, he knows Bond very well. All the gadgets that Q made for him. Because in the movie, he goes, the watch. Give me the watch. Because he knows the watch does more than just tell time. Which Ooh. is funny. Today, when I see people talking to watch, I go, who are you, James Bond? Is that a James Bond watch? I know everybody back in the day was like thinking, like, it would be cool to have a watch like that. Well, eventually, something like that kind of happened. Not to that extent, but, yeah, they're smart watch. Yeah. No glip remark. No Pete the comeback. Why? No, I had a watch that had a calculator on it. I thought I was pretty cool. I was like, cool, I can use this for when I do a math problem. I saw a watch when I was a kid where one side of it had the digital time and the other side had the uh, the hands, the, the clock. I've seen watches like that before too. I'm um, interesting. When I was a kid, I thought that was the coolest thing. I wanted my dad to buy it, but he said no. He's like, no. You never loved me, Daddy! No. no. I had a calculator or whatever. Because I was like, could use it or whatever. Alright, you guys can't use cal Alright, time to set the score. Got a watch. Ooh, your let's get this. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Is that it? No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, I just can't shoot me because I'm invisible. Look. Oh! No, for me. Yep, he's done. As a helicopter in outer space. Yeah, right. right. What is this, battle toads? Right. Let's fly back to Earth now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, I can't wait to see uh, everybody's uh, response when they see this. They're going to be like, whoa, what the? Right. Looking at that level. Here's looking at you, kid. All right, we're not done yet. I want to have a little more fun with this level. Ah, dang it. Go back to cheats. Here we go. Go back to cheat. Slow animation. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You know what? I can't wait to see this. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Look, even Bond was slow right there. <laughs> He's like, Ugh. yeah. What is this? The Matrix? Right. 
There's Alec. There's Alec. <laughs> there's Alec. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say if they were on the beach, I would I would think this is Baywatch. Yeah, right. go not watch. Move out of the way. James Bond watch. James Bond. Some watch. people stay in the darkness, afraid to step into the lulls. I think I believe I've seen a. Uh, was it Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan? Uh, you watch me. Right. Uh, Am I down to go to heaven? No, you're Hulk Hogan. Oh. <laughs> is that Jeff? Um, is that Jeff? Jeff, like, I well, told you, this would be better than the Genesis. This would be better than the Sega well, Saturn. I was really tired at that time. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff doesn't rage quick. Hey, man, he's he tough. He goes to sleep. Oh. Yeah. Slow but yeah, tough. Ron, how many bullets have you used on him? Dang. You know, so ironic. He said the caverns so slow yet again, James. Uh, you were saying? <laughs> oh. Jeez, just imagine if like our YouTube uh, subscriber, the YouTube subscribers, put this in slow motion. How slow you'd be going? Yeah, right. Oh, the, with, with the little speed up meter. Oh, but whatever, the drone guns aren't. Up. The drone guns aren't slow. Oh man. Yeah, those things are firing away. Okay, that's where it usually stops, says something, and you continue to chase them. There's actually, I think, something where speedrunners use to destroy the drone gun as Trevelyan is running right there. The explosion from the drone gun would kill him, and you already completed that part of the mission. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I got him right in the face. Let's see if I get it right here. Hold on. Oh, right in the line of fire. <laughs> that's that's some ECW <laughs> right there. Don't worry, folks. Our commentary is not the game. It's a character. Hello. Man, this guy's getting shot more times than the. Rappers. Right. <laughs> He's straight out of Compton. Straight out of, straight out of Compton. Cruising down the street in my 64 playing Goldeneye. Now that would be awesome. Yeah. I don't even know a few people or whatever. It wasn't until later on or whatever, like went to college or whatever. You'd, you'd have like those one friends that'd be like, yeah, I got a PS2. I got my GameCube and my ride. And I, whoa. <laughs> Not right. me though. We're gonna have a counter every, for every time we say whatever. Oh man. Anyway, no, my mine is anyway. <laughs> it's like an action movie where people get shot and die in slow motion. The good old days. Yeah. When you get yeah. shot, all right, you're shot. Oh, I fly back ten feet. Yeah. Because getting shot, those were good old days. They're gonna collide. Slow motion collide! Oh wait, they missed each other. How disappointing was that? I was expecting more. I'm trying to hit him. What the? Hit Forget him. it. Whoa! So that dang gun's faulty. I'm taking it back for a refund. Why he saw me right there? Why couldn't he freaking shoot me? He just ran past me. Oh Good wait, question. he heard that. It's coming back. He's like, he heard our commentary. He's like, well, if you want me to do that, I can always. It's like, come on, guys. Any time now. What are you guys in slow motion? Oh, wait. Yeah. I think there's a commercial where these people were playing basketball outside, and it was a commercial for fast food. About fast food can make you feel sluggish, and they were playing basketball, and one guy stole the basketball right off. Imagine playing oh. the NBA Jam in slow mode. Slow, yeah, slow mode. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, I actually do remember that. Alright, let's cut through all that. Let's just finish this once and for all here. I want to kill him with a rocket launcher. <laughs> My favorite weapon in the game. One of them. Because this game is a launch title. Not really. Dang, if this was a launch title, imagine that. Whoa. Yeah. Is 
No, nah, you can't Not kill him yet. You can't hit him yet. Okay. Not yet. No, don't. Fa oh, I thought I fell off again. I was like, "Whoa, where are we?" I was like, "Are we just gonna keep falling into the?" Whoa! He just dropped down. Oh! Oh, that's is that it? Oh, what? What? How is he? Wait, what? Oh, I got him. Blow him up, just like when I blew up Vince McMahon in that limo. It was me the whole time. Yeah. All right, he's gone. We did it. <laughs> well, what's that down there? What? Wait a minute! Wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that! Uh, he's he's a slow mode, and Natalia just leaves him. Well, you're too slow, and Bomb was about to jump off. <laughs> the question is, did he still jump? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, that was hilarious, man. Oh man, I really like that. That was. I needed a good laugh. All right, well, Bond sailed the score with Javelian. The lips aren't even touching. That's how you know it's Hollywood. I guess Javelian died a slow death. If you catch our drift, the slow. The ending right here, the movie, in the movie they're like not in the jungle right here, in the an open field where um, Jack Wade and his soldiers come from the ground or wherever it happened. But oh well. Easy dub you. Easy dub you. Easy dub you. Easy dub you. I urge anybody that hasn't seen the movie to go see the movie. Yeah, the movie is ECW. I gotta say, though, I wasn't expecting that the helicopter to just leave. But come on, right. man, you gotta hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen it, like, in fast animation. Bond actually runs real fast and like it looks like he's flying off by himself and the helicopter's still behind. That's hilarious. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know yeah. Bond had superpowers. Right, yeah. Nintendo, get the power. Nintendo Vision, I never heard of that. Whoa. I heard a Sega Vision. Right. Nintendo Visions Magazine and Sega Power Magazine. Whoa! You're talking about the alternate universe. Yeah. Which I've been to. The man with the golden gun. They showed him twice. And he don't pose like oh. that. Ah, the golden gun. The gun that I died from the most probably. Zero him off. You can't win. I just did. Even though I cheated. Boris, don't fight. It was like freaking the Miz's father trying to put his fist up to fight. Put your fist up and fight me now. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, that's Danny. <laughs> uh. Scientists didn't have guns. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, Seth Green? Oh. Could be. What? I never seen him in the game. Um. Huh? They didn't have guns either. <laughs> Come on, folks. This is in Arizona where everybody has a gun. Right. Or Texas, right. no. Sir, I noticed you're missing your gun. <laughs> you have a permit for that? That's Dr. Doke. Dr. Doke. That's not a real character. Shut up. Mayday. 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 Jaws. Archangel Zero. And Ooh. Baron Samedi. 
Well, that's it. Here's the less discussed. And, ah, not quite yet. We got two more bonus levels here. Yeah, I can't wait to check these out. And we'll see the Aztec Complex and Part 19. Until then, God bless you. Take care. For joining us, folks. Oh, yeah. Wait, whoa, you were lagging out. All I heard was for joining us, folks. Oli. Uh oh, being censored. Welcome to part nine of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Ron Moore, once again with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy. Let's get this started. Yeah. It's good to start it. How about be good to finish it? Uh, I don't know when that'll happen. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm talking about my LP. This LP will be done in 2022. 500 years later. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Link took out the wolf. Oh. We're actually at the entrance to the forest temple. Not quite inside the forest temple yet. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep. Link is uh gonna con the walls up here. I think there's a gold sculpture. Yep, there it is. I love those things. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Aren't they cute? Owned. There we go. Yeah, the Force Temple. I mean, not my favorite temple in this game. It is cool, but man, it would drive me crazy. Uh, just, um, I was not good at this temple. I really wasn't. It can be confusing, and we'll get to that part a little bit later, but yeah, this is still a cool temple. This music, though. <laughs> there you go. We just need the Ron Dub version of it. It sounds way better. Ron Dub, yeah. Ron, EC, Ron Dub. E Wait, fail. That don't sound right. EC Ron W. All right. Oh, watch out! Of course, you gotta see these guys. The the uh, Skull Watchers. Skull Watchers. Featuring narrative by Tibbs. Yeah. <laughs> right here, Ronnie. If you recall, these four ghosts right here. You gotta, you gotta catch them all. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch them all. You do gotta kill all four of these ghosts right here. In oh different boy, parts, like yeah, wow. in different parts of the temple, yeah. In order to light those torches back up to proceed further into the depth, the de depth, the depth of the forest temple. Dep, 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 dep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got another one. E e w. This is how you do it. Yep. You can have it any other way. This is how we do it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he beat me to it. <laughs> 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 gotta be quicker. Yeah. Oh, Man. you gotta be quicker than that. Oh. Trying to beat Ronnie in references is like trying to beat the Dompe race in the graveyard. No, wow. or maybe trying to beat the uh, runner in Hyrule Field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That makes All right, gotta fight these two douchebag skull guards. Stalfos, whatever they're called. Do you want to kill a Stalfos? I love this mini boss battle music, though. Same. Oh! Wow. Oh, what's going Whoa, on? Oh, it's right on. Link's standing right there, I think. <laughs> He's standing right there. Nice. I'm already <laughs> lost. Where we're at. <laughs> we're, the, we're the Force Temple. Not oh. that I ever got this far. Oh, that block looks familiar. <laughs> I was about to say, he forgot the notes. 
So let me check my note. Yeah. It's like, how do I do a thing? How do I hero properly? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, watch out indeed. Yeah, that... Whoa. I remember doing this LP on my channel, um, using the PS2 controller. And, oh, this temple was, uh... It's challenging enough, but trying to play this game with a PS2 controller is a bit awkward. I can't even imagine that. That's... yeah. Yeah, that would have to be a bit strange. Yeah. And so my favorite Nintendo controller was the GameCube. Lame. Mine was the SNES. That was... yeah. Gotta love that music. <laughs> right, yeah. Let you know you're in danger. <laughs> I'm gonna make it my ringtone. The force is strong with this one. Yeah. Ooh, shiny. Yep. Shiny happy people. Shiny happy people. <laughs> Alright, could this be a map or a compass? It's a map! It's a map! You got the Skip thing! Rogers. I got the thing, yeah. The thingamajig. The whatsy who's it? Whatsy who's it? I never heard that one before. The thing of my bob. Something, the thing of a Bob Saget. <laughs> the thing of a Sponge Bob Saget. Wait. I almost snorted. <laughs> snorted what? <laughs> oh, just snorted. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hola. Oh, come on, that's on target. Oh, that's on what? what? Look at that. What is up with that? Okay. Yeah, okay, there you go. That was, man, that was, a, that was BS. He was in pretty much the same spot as he was from before. I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Yeah, Gliotch. Gliotch. You Gliotch. Don't do it, Link. You have everything to live for. <laughs> the what now? That's a good question. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot answer that. What are some of y'all's memories of this temple? Never made it this far. Well, um, I'd have to say mine... Well, I, I think arguably my most favorite would have to be the uh, twisted hallway thing, because it just really screws with you. Yeah, that was twisted. <laughs> it would make me rage quit. Ganondorf, want to play a game of Twister, Link? <laughs> oh, like, you oh, choking? <laughs> highly unlikely. Badamsh. Yeah, highly unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. See if Shadow and Chance <laughs> are over there perking their ears again. <laughs> Thank you, that douchebag auto rock in the water. I hate that thing. Sometimes I forget about the size of that Deku Baba. Right, yeah. Giant Deku Baba. I wonder if that's in reference to the Giant Baba, the old school wrestler. Deku Ali Baba. Very well. Oh! Oh. Snap, crackle, pop. Link went doink. The clown. <laughs> doink. <laughs> Who I thought was played by Chris Jericho because I never knew all these years. <laughs> Surprise! What, it was Jericho all along? What? Uh, even Link here is confused by this temple. This temple's pretty challenging, especially if it's been a long time since you played through it. You know, I really do love, um, you know, the atmosphere, like the music and everything. Because, um, like one time I just got bored and I looked up the Forest Temple theme on, um, well, right here on this thing that we're on right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, somebody left a comment saying, well, it sound, it's like calming, but it, it's like there's a sense of uneasiness. Like, it's calm, but 
something's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that, uh... No, not ambient. I don't know if you say ambient. With, uh... Just a creepy ambient atmosphere to it. Yeah, it's like, you can relax, but don't get too relaxed. Yeah. Oh, this part of the level. Or the dungeon. Oh, jeez. So, which way do I go? Right. Which way do I go? <laughs> Seriously, which way do you go? I think somebody put something in the milk. Right. <laughs> Where's Skip Rogers? Which way do I go, Skip? First of all, don't drink milk. Drink Ovaltine. Ooh. And second of all, he has the maps that you need. Right. And now, word from our sponsor. Ovid. Yeah, word from our sponsor, the Score More Points tapes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and this freaking block, you gotta push it a certain way. To be able to figure it out, and I mean, I know there's arrows that point in the direction where you're supposed to push it, but yeah, this is a puzzling dungeon. Well, speaking of puzzling, we'll get to the puzzling part of the dungeon a little bit later on. You know, this situation is filled with dad jokes right now. I think Link. I'm ready to, oh, oh, sure. I'm ready to hear a bad joke. <laughs> I think Link has another thing in mind. Hmm, <clears throat> shoot for it. Oh, uh, there's another one. Oh. Did that wall oh never mind. A lot lot uh there's a lot of part of the walls that uh look discolored. A discoloration. I'm like, hey well, bomb that area. Oh wait. That's a pattern of <laughs> the wall. It's like the discolorations. Seinfeld. It's it's like a slight it's like a discoloration. So I'm moving blocks. It feels like I'm playing Tomb Raider. <laughs> Not that I played that game. I played a little bit of the very first one. That's the only one I played was yeah, the first I saw ABGN's review of the bad ones. <laughs> it's how they're all bad. Joking. Man, I remember um, playing some of the earlier ones too, where she was a lot pointier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to say nonetheless. <laughs> it was like, it was kind of like a demo, so yeah, if I remember right, we didn't really own it at the time, but. I was just like, oh, here, let me just try to go down this hill area. Here comes enemies, and I'm, like, trying to shoot them, and I fail miserably. <laughs> so Whoa. easy to die in that game. Were the movies any good? I liked them. Link, you can't use the grappling, the long shot. You gotta use an arrow. And Link don't have the arrows yet, I don't think. I believe not. Think, Link. What are you gonna do now, Link? Maybe try to slice through the wall again? Yeah. Maybe if you had the big moron sword, you could do it. <laughs> Ooh. Man, that was more of a burn than the Gerudo Desert and the angry Mario son. <laughs> Which has been attacking Texas lately. Apparently! <laughs> Under attack. Yeah, my girlfriend and her sister visited last week and. They're like, man, it's hotter down here than in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Texas. They say everything's bigger in Texas anyways. Yep. Including the sun. The sun. Hide from the sun. When I was a kid, my dad would sometimes call me son instead of Ronnie. And I'll go, wait, so I have two names? I like son better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> ah. Alright, come on, Mario 64 camera angles and Castlevania 64 camera angles. Oh, jeez. So, those were the days. I love those games, but yeah, the camera angles not the best, especially in Castlevania. 
for a split moment, I thought you said something about a camera's ankles. I'm like, what? Camera, <laughs> Kurt Angle? <laughs> the ankle lock? The ankle lock. No, we can't do that yet, Link. Can't do that yet, Link. The more you know. Yeah, it's going through the dough. Oh, here we go. Twisted, Twisted City. Twisted Sister. Could you imagine doing this while intoxicated? Oh, man. I have a panic attack. It's like, what's going on? It's like the room is spinning, and then the hallway is spinning, and it's twisted. I remember on a mission trip years ago, we were painting this room, and uh, a few people inhaled a, a, a little bit too much paint. And so they said, oh, the walls are moving. <laughs> and one of them goes, wait, it is moving. <laughs> yeah, they had to get out Holy. there because they inhaled a little bit too much paint. Yeah, painting. <laughs> yeah, too much paint. Yeah, painting too much Mario paint. Oh, here we go. Another mini boss battle. Oh, well, look at that. How come he's not falling in the pit? He's special, that's why. Yeah, I get special treatment. Just like Upper some people on Twitch. Into the pit. Right, up coming to the pit. Finish him. Da -da -da. Get over here. I like to see a Link, a uh, Zelda tournament fighting game. Zelda, I mean, I know it's kind of happening in Smash Brothers, but I mean, like, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat style. You play as Ganondorf, Link. Uh, That'd be awesome. Play as That'd uh, be interesting Impa, Zelda, Zant. Man. <clears throat> ECW, play as Midna. That'd be cool. Someone on Twitter... I think there's a, a question on Twitter saying, if you could pick a character from the Zelda series to where they had their own game, who would it be and what would it be called? Someone had put um, the, the Legend of Zelda, Midna's Curse, where you could play as Midna. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's probably like something like that hasn't came out. Right. All right, fan-made uh, game programmers, do that now. And, of course, you get taken down or cease and desisted, but oh well. Yep, that's all that would happen, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I know Nintendo has the rights to it, but man, Nintendo was smart. They capitalize on that and, like, make money off of that. You know, there was somebody on um, Facebook who had wished, oh, well, I wish that there was a game where instead of you playing as Link all the time, you can just play through Ganondorf's perspective and learn more of his backstory and... Someone's like, uh, we already, in a way, have that, which is Hyrule Warriors, but I'll admit, though, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. I've always wanted to play that. I never got to. All right, he, he's got the bow, which I think, I don't know if that means he has arrows. Let's see. Oh, nice, he does. 30 arrows. All right. Nice. Comes with arrows. Arrows sold yeah. separately. A Aerosmith, yeah. Errol Smith. So now you can shoot. See, like, now you can shoot the... Well, you gotta be sneaky about it. Shoot them while they're in the picture. <laughs> and uh, then they come out and you kill them. And that's one to be... That's how you light the four torches in the center of the temple. Oh, I did not know that. Come on. Oh, nice. Wow. Alright, here we go. There's the first one. Oh, well, you gotta oh, shoot well, all three that. pictures, but you can't be that close. You get the picture. The struggle. Dang it, free control. What's he doing? That's not going to do anything. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. All right, yeah. no, you can't be that close. Oh, you can if it's the last one. All right, because you, you shot out. You shot him in all the other pictures. All right, now you got to go to the... Uh, now you got to go down there. There you go. To the bottom and then fight it. All right, look out! You can't hit it though when it's invisible right there. Then there you, you go. Now, now there you go. Yeah, I used to use my arrows, Link, using this trusty sword here. Right round. Oh, you can do it, Link. Do it. Huh? Let's just, yeah, try to slice the torch. Yeah. Come on now, pass the torch. There you go. Nice. Would, wouldn't he be a backstabber by that logic? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Got another key. Alright, progress. 
<laughs> the way he walks up the stairs, looks like he's tired. <sighs> Should have took the elevator then. Yep. Back to the twisted hallway. This is a twisted situation, folks. Yeah. Now you can shoot the eye. Whoa. Oh, nice. Now the twisted hall is straightened. Yeah, straighten up. You better straighten up. Get the power. No power. Yep. Oh. Nice. What's in this nice shiny little chest? It's a good question. Oh, oh, shoot. You hear that? The wall master was about to come down. Oh, no. Some people get so freaked out by the wall masters. I can see that. Yeah, he is freaky. Oh, we got the boss key. Nice. Got the Sasha Banks key. And, oh, there, there he is. You hear him. Oh, he's back up now. That thing is creepy, man. I mean, seriously, it is creepy. Imagine that real life giant hand coming down and grabbing you. Yeah, no. No thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> I'd be worried about what it was gonna do with me. Right. Well, give the man a hand! Like I said, I wanted a hand, but not this kind of hand. Right. Take exactly. time with the wounded hand. Kill it, you idiot! Jeez. Touchdown! Right, yeah. The Legend of Zelda Return football. Review. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they have Mega Man Soccer, so. I was about to say, they got Mega Man Soccer, why not Zelda football? <laughs> hey, why, why not? not? How about Zelda tennis? Mario tennis worked. I can actually see that happening. I, I, I wonder if they'll actually endorse that. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Endorse the horse. You can play as a pona. <laughs> what? A pona. A, a pona, cause she pones people. Oh. All right. What's behind door number one? We don't know. So let's go back out the door. <laughs> Whoa! There it is. Floor mat. I said wall master. Well, whatever. Whoa. Oh! Master just sounds like he sweeps and mops your floor a lot. Link just got busted in the mouth. Knuckle sandwich. Right? Oh, they split up. Uh oh. There we go. Link won by split decision. Ha! Uh, looks like he has a split personality. <laughs> Now it just makes me wonder what people would do if those hands just kept splitting into tinier hands. Right, that kind of happened. Well, no, not, never mind. I think in Ninja Turtles 1, you shoot this uh, weird... You don't know, shoot it, I want to talk about. You... I don't know if y'all played Ninja Turtles 1 on NES, but there's these enemies, they jump around, and when you hit them two or three times, they split up into smaller men, they jump around, and they get harder to kill. Oh, that I do remember that. sounds annoying. Oh, there's another ghost sculpture left. Come here, you little booger. I said come... Jeez. Get over here. Right? Yeah, if they had... Like, Finish it! If they had the Legend of Zelda combat, Link would be almost like the equivalent of Scorpion with his long shot. Except he don't speak, though, so... He wouldn't really say, Get over here! He'd be like, Tur huh? Huh? If my memory served me right, wasn't Link in, like, an exclusive character, like, on some Soul Calibur game or something for the GameCube or something? Yes, it was. Oh, okay, so I wasn't losing my mind. Yeah, I well, think not I, yet, anyways. I think it might have been GameCube, but yeah, he was on the Soul Calibur game years ago. I wonder how he played. It'd be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I never played any of the Soul Calibur games. I think Vendor 22 and Archangel did. Yeah, that's the only thing that got my interest about that was, I was like, oh, Link, Soul Calibur. Right. Alright, more arrows. Bundle of arrows. Arrows. A bundle of arrows brings a bundle of joy. Arrows. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alright, climb the ladder of success. Climb the ladder, grab the briefcase, take it down, cash in the money in the bank. Yeah, at my job today, I saw like three or four different ladders. Three right. big ones and one small one. <laughs> I'm thinking ladder match here. This this area this area of the job is just begging for a freaking ladder match. Where everybody gets nice. hit with ladders and Terry Funk puts it around his neck, spins around, knocks everybody down. Oh, time to make the hallway twisted again. Imagine if you got in trouble in school, you had to go to the principal's office, walk down the twisted hallway to to miss uh Dang, what was his name her name? The the principal from uh, Matilda. <laughs> oh crap, I know who you're talking about, I just don't remember her name. Yeah. I saw a meme on Facebook, it said, Today's generation has Thanos, but we had this bitch, and it showed her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. I said, yeah, she would, she would pwn uh, Thanos. That Infinity Gauntlet wouldn't do anything to her. Agree. All right, what now? Oh yeah, this is the next torch we have to light up. I get a kick out of those cackles. Right, yeah. <laughs> they, they just troll you. They're like, eh, you mad, bro? Freaking blackboard from school. Brings back nightmares. All right, Ronnie, your turn. Go up and solve the math problem. Oh, man. And I was not good at math. Still not. I remember one day, though, in sixth grade, I had to get up in front of everybody and solve a math problem. But the fire drill went off. I was like, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't have to do it. Really saved by the bell there. That's Exactly, wow. yeah. The irony. All right. So now, time to pwn ghost number two. The blue ghost. Ooh, the blue po. She po. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. He's just sizing him up. All right, one more hit. Dang it, Link, one more hit. Get him. There you go, Lonk. Lonk is here to save the world. This must be the compass. Nice. More exercise, Link. Go up those stairs. Yeah. Yep, the Shadows of Monsters, which is the Floor Master. Almost. Oh, you, oh, you heard him coming, but he got off the floor. Oh, wow. A new hallway now. Yeah, you better, you better move out of the way, Link. He's about to grab you. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I remember this. You got to get on one of those platforms and shoot that eye over there above that door, but you got to shoot it through the torch to melt it. To melt the eyes to, to hit the eye. Oh, wow. Yeah, this oh, takes that's precision. A shot. Yeah. I still love this. Only someone like Link or Rambo can do this. Ah! Look at that. He missed. Uh, mind seeing Rambo do it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there we go, nice. Making it look easy. But it's easy not. peasy. Twisted Hall this time. Or the Hall of Pain, where you fight Mark Henry. It's like, oh no. Yeah. Exactly, big freaking stairs. Just jump up the stairs. Don't walk. Of course, you can climb them too. But all right, so I think. What? What was that? Oh, I guess not. Uh, I thought this was gonna be the third ghost. You, the third torchy light. I guess not. I think Link went the wrong way here. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it all looks the same to me. Yeah. Yeah, you go down that floor right here. This hole, right? That's right, you do. Whoa. With the checkered floor. It's your move. You gotta watch out. Watch out, though. The see, see, the ceiling falls right there. And you gotta be, see, you gotta stand on certain parts, like the switch right there, it's, it's, it's uh, safe to stand there. And also in the other spot over there where the little treasure chest is. This would be actually oh! both fun and nerve wracking to get through. Right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. More arrows? Arrows? <laughs> Oh like no, this is, this is the part I dread. Ow, ow, ow. Oh man, here man, we I go. This, too. this oh, puzzle. Oh. You gotta do this in, so in, in a minute. Yeah. It's not that hard, what Ronnie. Do I do? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> You gotta get good! I can do this in one second! Gee. I, I would mess it up. I was never ever good at puzzles. Ever. <laughs> so you know I'm not good at Tetris. Or anything like that. And Oracle of Ages, that game is puzzling. Just as soon as you mentioned Tetris, I had the theme running in my head. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then I crack. Now it's stuck in my head. Uh oh, what did he, he get it? Nice! He did it, alright. <laughs> You're a winner. Yeah. Come on, Link, size him up. Right. right. And then when he's not looking, hit him. Size him down. Size him down. Fight dirty. Yeah. Hit him when he's not looking. Well, he's just him fine. The dirty. Ring. There we go. Go that way, Link. Link getting greedy. Watch out, big spider! Yeah. The big spider. Ah, the last one is over there, right in the center of the temple. Well, we couldn't see because the freaking wall. <laughs> Can Link jump up? There you go. So I thought there, there he is, waiting for you. Now you gotta destroy it. What? What? What in the world? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, they split in four. You gotta hit the real one. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, there's four of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
really only one, but what the heck's going on? Yeah, yeah. Which one's the real one? Which one is the real Slim Shady? For the real Slim Shady, please stand up. It's yeah. Imposter Kane. <laughs> the Imposter Kane angle. The Imposter Kane and Imposter Undertaker. Oh man, I forgot about the Imposter Undertaker. I never thought about doing this right here. You use a spin attack to filter out the real one real quick. I just was shooting with arrows until the real one, until I finally got to the real one. <laughs> and again, I couldn't imagine this part while intoxicated as well. Yeah. It wouldn't go well. That's all I would say. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa. Somebody agrees with me. Uh, yeah. Chance is getting very excited about right <laughs> Uh, Sorry, yeah, Chance. Raru was not in this part. Well, but he might be in the very end of this part. Didn't somebody make a comment about Noisy that? Noisy dog. Or something? What was that, Mexico? Oh, so didn't somebody make a comment about that? The, the, the whole you saying that, Ruru or whatever? I thought I seen a comment or whatever from somebody on one of the videos. Might have been. Might have been me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. All the four torches are lit. This game is lit. And yeah, it is now. I guess he's tired. I of love me. that elevator yeah, part. Elevator. <laughs> yeah. It's just missing the elevator music. Oh, Link is behind bars. He's in high rule jail. Who's nah, gonna he'll, pay his bail. bail? His bail is fifty thousand rupees. Oh. So Suge Knight will come bail him out. Yeah. <laughs> I used to misread his name. Bro, Link. I used to misread his name. I thought I said Suge Knight or something. <laughs> so Link just signed with Death Row. Yeah. This took me a while to figure out here. Like, what am I supposed to do in this room? Then I somehow found out you got to push that. Oh, you can push those. <laughs> So I would have never figured it out. Right. Actually, there was a few times too where I got stuck in games and I'm like, dang it, how do I figure out where to go? And like, I'm not gonna lie, I would go to the store, look at the magazine real quick, find out what to do, and then go back home. Yeah, today you just go to YouTube. Back then, I had to go to the store. Hell, I didn't even buy the magazine, I just looked at the part where I needed help. And then the guy sees, hey, you gonna buy that? No, I'm done here I'm gonna... and leave. No, I'm done here, but I'm gonna buy the carpet. Snickers. Yeah. Roll out the blue carpet. Oh wait. Oh wow, what power, Link. Yeah. Can you help me push my car? Yeah. And by help, I mean you push it and I'll just stand here. Exactly. And can I have 10 bucks for gas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 rupees. Here's rupees. Hey man, how much more pushing? Keep pushing, keep breathing, breathing, keep pushing. Just baby. keep Nothing. pushing it. Don't push it. Don't push your luck. Yeah. I always thought it was cool though how this room operates. I don't Just think, like how my room operates. I don't think Link knows how to operate it. Operate it. The operation was a, was a success. That game operation? Oh man, I remember that. The next LP on the channel, Operation. <laughs> board game. Yeah. It's a cool rage quits. This game's stupid! With special guest Borjangs. And oh. John Cena! Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the weirdest combination ever. Yeah. <laughs> Where's John Cena been at? I haven't seen him. So I've never been able to see him. 
Only when he's uh, thug, the doctor th of thugonomics. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dang it, come on. Ah, oh, that the boss room is right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. It's all finally. All right. I was about to give this video a thumbs down. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not your fault, Link. It's mine. Not me. Here we go with the boss room. Like a boss. Yep. I love this battle. Well, what do you... Who do you fight or what are you doing here? Wow, that just messed with my head a little bit. This is weird. Well, I guess nothing to do. Link better go back. Whoa, wait. What? Whoa! What? There he is! You fight Ganondorf already? Ganondorf! What? Whoa, what the? Ugh, is okay, this is totally yeah. unexpected on my end. Uglier. Oh, oh Phantom Ganon. Huh. I was just about to ask you about this. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Whoa! You're going. What's this, Mario 64? Just go it's inside a painting. Question. Jump inside the painting. Maybe you go in that level right there. Okay, you gotta shoot him. What do you got? Oh, nice shot, Link. Link got him before he even really left the painting. I've got you now. Nice. <laughs> there he is. Get him. Well, a lot of these are fake. At least doing a good job. Spot. Oh wait, man. Oh, all right, that's the end of the horsey. Now it's time for Phantom Ganon. Who sparkles? Just bring it. Yeah. I think you hit the projectile back to him, right? Even I'm trying to remember. Huh? Couldn't tell you. Oh. Yep. Ah, nice little game of volleyball. Oh, Link lost that one. How shocking. Yeah. It's your serve. Nice. So, folks, the next LP on the channel, Pong. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised nobody's done that for real. Here we go. Well, I'm sure people have. Well, I'm mean, I'm mean, talking about the ST2K. Oh. I mean, you got, of course, we've been around for ST2K. Has been around for over ten years now. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's getting intense. Oh, nice. So that's game point. I right, keep hitting them, Link. Yeah, keep hitting nice. them. Nice. Down. There we go. Woohoo! Don't you know how to fight, Link? You're supposed to hit them when they're down. Oh, who's that talking? Not me. Oh, it's Ganon. Dwarf. We're worth his creation. <laughs> you created it. That's what you get for underestimating the guy in green. Right. Nice, another heart container. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Whoa, sorry. -a.
Now, where's that ocarina I gave you when we were kids? Oh, oh, I just tossed it. In the trash. Yeah. I got a pretty blue one. Yeah. <laughs> Medallion. There used to be a, some chips called medallion tortilla chips. They're like a poor man's version of Doritos, but they're still pretty good. Oh man, now I want. <laughs> they're probably not even. Wrong. Yeah, not in my stores anymore. At least I was disappointed. It'd be interesting to see if anybody in the comments remembers them. Right, Force medallion. I love that thing. Right. Sorry, I will always be your friend. <laughs> always? You mean it? <laughs> Until she unfriends you. <laughs> yeah. I got blocked on Hyrule Book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at? Just a little plant. Whoa! Whoa, jeez! Um, yeah. I That's not... Dang it, Bear 13, that's not funny. Oh, Hi there, Bear 13, I'm Bear be 13. <laughs> <laughs> because you and Sario broke the curse on the SC2K, I could grow and flourish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, shut well, up, Bear. As as he... Well, as long as Bear ain't hosting or whatever, we'll be fine. Yeah, he won't be able to be like, Welcome to part three of... Oh, Ronnie, Ron, you do it. <laughs> oh, dang. That's spot on. It's sad. ECW! What? That's highly unlikely. Yeah, right. I used to always say it wrong over the years. I said Hillian. Are you Hillian alright? Yeah. Back when SC2K first started, I was a commentator. <laughs> Jeez. But I heard the timeline is official now, right? Oh, I'm so lost when it comes to the I think uh, some people say either this game or Minish Cap is actually the beginning of the timeline. Oh, wow. Could be. That's all. Ron Moore's uh, Zelda timeline video. I mean, yeah. I've heard that Twilight Princess is supposed to be after this one. Oh, yeah. Because of the hero shade. Yeah. All right. So that is it for part nine here. Link defeats the Forest Temple. So we will see you guys in part ten to see what Link's going to do next. Maybe go to another temple, or who knows. Until then, God bless. And take care. See ya. Be there or be square. Welcome to part 19 of GoldenEye. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Hello! Whoa, I thought this was part 199. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> I got 99 guns, but a BB gun ate one when it fell. No, that actually worked out. BB gun wouldn't do much anyway unless you shot somebody in the eye. <laughs> yeah. I remember fighting Fat Man in Metal Gear Solid 2 one time to practice run. You shoot him with the M9. He goes, is that a BB gun? I'll show you a BB gun. Here. A BB gun? All right, so this is pretty complex here as we are in the Aztec complex here. Part 19, one of the bonus levels if you beat the game on Secret Agent. 
Ooh, shot him right in the neck. That's what you get. That's what you get. Uh, that's what you get for trying to be cool, trying to roll. It's funny how they roll, and then after they're done with the rolling cycle, then they go, eh. Well, I've always wanted to be cool, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the hidden door. Mexico. <laughs> Wake up. So these enemies are from the Moonraker movie, not Moonwalker. Moonraker. Hee <laughs> hee. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Oh, we dropped a grenade. I love this gun right here, the Desperado gun. I call it. I Despera love that. Desperado guns. These yellow suits they got on look like male April O'Neils. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. Yeah. <laughs> Dun Looks like something out of the 90s. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is trippy. Freaking I forgot about this. Star Trek spaceship or something. Enterprise. Whoa, what game are we playing now? All right. The Golden Eyes Star Trek Edition? Oh, uh, yeah. Can't I buy that for a dollar? Yeah. Boy, go to, go to, uh, like, uh, Special Effects or some other mom and pop game shop and, uh, you might get some games for a dollar. I don't think Special Effects is a mom and pop shop, though. I think they're a chain, but. It's off the chain. Okay, I can't shoot through the bulletproof glass. You know why? Because it's bulletproof. Oh, and nothing to lose. Cent. Right? Yeah, that's a good movie. Man, how did I miss oh, that? This is trippy. There we go. That was a fake mainframe. She was in the mainframe. No, no, no. The part in the movie, go not. She was in the mainframe. Check the computers. And Boris goes, she's a moron. A second level <laughs> programmer. She don't have access to the filing codes. Turns out she Ooh. did. Wait, <laughs> who did that? Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Exhaust every possibility here. If you don't leave this place, you'll be exhausted. Ah! You see the oh? Uh oh! So what's going on? Oh no! Oh man, they shoot lasers. Someone shoot lasers at oh oh! Normally I'd be dead. If I wasn't cheating, of course. Who shoot lasers at me? This is double O agent too, so this level I can't imagine how hard it is trying to beat it legit. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's done it and that's I give all the props in the world to that guy. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Not me. Not me. What would you guys have to say your favorite guns are? Uh AK forty sevens. Oh, not those. <laughs> <laughs> um, AK 47s and 187s, whatever they're called, and uh, the Desperado guns, and uh, the automatic shotgun. The shotgun automatic, that just, yeah, that's crazy. I yeah. really fancy the golden gun from here. Kind of kills me. That is pretty <laughs> fancy. So shiny. The silver PPK is pretty shiny. Oh. I've only unlocked the golden guns on Black Ops 3. Yeah. And it I'm is. killing one shot. <laughs> Two more drone guns right there. I break the Stone Cold glass. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, Stone Cold! Stone Cold's coming out! Ah! How am I missing that? Oh, there we go. And then here's John Cena. Yeah, where? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not using John Cena mode right here, as you can see. What? I the, was the told. Doctor Wait of a minute. Mode. Mode. Well, what mode? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot what I was supposed to do here. Do something, then not, then some other objective, and then launch the spaceship or something. I've never seen this level, so... 
No idea what's going on. Huh. Oh, you never seen these last two bonus levels? No, I've never I've seen the whole game except for like the bonus levels. The oh, well. I didn't get to see. I did beat this level right here legit on Secret Agent back in the day. Alright, exhaust bay closing, but I don't know why I did that. Um, oh, I thought it said eBay closing. <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, I gotta open it for the spaceship to launch later on, but I gotta do a few objectives first. I forgot what they were. And uh, I think a secret agent, I forgot. Um, I think all you gotta do is just launch the spaceship. But in Double O Agent, there's more objectives. I didn't even pay attention to what they were when we started the video. Oh. Uh oh. You know, this game is very addicting. It's gonna take the jaws of life to uh, pry me away from this game. Ha. Indeed. Whoa, look at that. Uh, look down here first. Look at this abyss. That's kind of huh. trippy. Like, it, that's gotta be like one heck of a fall. Right, yeah. The bottomless pit, like an uninvited. When you fall in, it goes, you keep falling. Oh, there he is, Jaws. Or is that the Great Kali? Uh, that's Maybe somebody. it's the rock. No, he's not that big. <laughs> I'm destroying the rocket launcher here. Yeah. Ah, oh, whoa! Oh, holy crap. He just... Man. He got out of the way. He don't even work on him anyway. What the heck? It's the tough man. Uh, oh, he's fast, too. Look at that. Going on here. Look yeah, at that. He's fast, nice. too. Yeah. I wish my watch could do something like that. Right? Ooh, got him with a golden gun. Time. Now what? Not so tough. Oh. So shiny too. I'm the golden boy. He's a golden boy. Yeah. He's a golden boy in the golden world. <laughs> That's fantastic. Goldfinger. When he's blasting. I remember there was a rumor that Sean Connery's gonna come back years ago as an aged James Bond or whatever, and. <sighs> Jay Leno was making fun of it. Here, here's a trailer, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a trailer of his next movie. It was called Cold Finger. He was, so, he was so old, and it showed like a Sean Connery looking like uh, you know, you know, in the be in the movies, in the beginning of the Bond movies, it shows James Bond walking out like someone's aiming at him, and then he turns and shoots at the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. It showed Classic. like a, a show like uh, a guy looked like Sean Connery on on a walker coming out instead. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my. Oh! I shot Gerald Briscoe. Wasn't he a former 24-7 champion? Yeah. Oh, I'm Kelly, <laughs> Kelly Kelly too. Oh! Whoa, that's creepy. Right. Now, of course, there's an emulator glitch, but the sky is usually like clouds passing by. It's just darkness now. Ever since the evil Ganondorf has yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what you get when you do both those LPs on the same time on the S2K channel. They lied to me. They said this wouldn't happen. It crossed over. <laughs> the Legend of Goldeneye, <laughs> um, a bond to the past. No, wait. A bond to the people? Fail. A bond to the people. <laughs> Free yeah, from bond, Edge. I, I used to work, uh, I made a dumb joke years ago. I used to work with a guy. His last name was Free. F-R-E-E. -E, free. <laughs> and I said... The eyes opposite of Bond, as in bondage, James Bond, and his first name is James. James Free, James Ooh. Bond, get it? <laughs> Not really, but anyway. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Good work, Bear. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Hilt, <laughs> hilt. Bear's debut, he didn't talk much, and then once he got to know us, man, it was no, we wish he shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things that he said you cannot unhear. Yeah. Unfortunately, if anybody goes back and listens to like some of those older LP, just yeah. be warned. Yeah, 2009 through 2012, I think especially 2013 he was around, and then he made like maybe a few more appearances in 2016. That was it. And then he went into hibernation. Yep. And we never saw him again. Yep. The Nintendo 64 disc drive is connected to the guidance something. What are you doing? Shut up. Well, he didn't say anything, but... Oh, no, what the heck? Uh, <laughs> oh, are we playing... Uh, are we playing... Uh, dang, what's it called when you hit the beavers on the head? The ground... Whack-a-mole? Whack-a-mole, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Whack him on no, the mainframe. The mainframe. Now for the mainframe event. I oh, fail. It's like Archangel's getting shot here. <laughs> I think he was one of the voice actors in this game. <laughs> That sounds like a zombie. <laughs> I give him an A plus on that. He could have been the ECW. Yeah, ECW zombie. zombie. <laughs> it would have been better if it was him. Yeah. Next thing you know, there's a new channel, Ron Mower Zombie Edition. So I'd watch that. On Featuring a, LPs with nothing but. It's on the Sci-Fi <laughs> Channel. <laughs> <laughs> the horror. I can't believe they put ECW in the Sci-Fi Network. That's, how stupid was that? What? No, no, the Sci-Fi Network sucks. I said stupid. it. Stupid. There, I said it. Now, not, not the original, movies. not the original ECW, but this is the watered-down, bastardized version of ECW 2006. Stupid. Wow. Well. But then again, the original ECW was on TNN, which is supposed to be the Nash Nashville Network, country music and stuff. So I guess ECW can't find a good home network. <laughs> they, they damn well never could. But at least the, the original ECW, ECW with TNA was much better. Agreed. The, the struggle. Yeah. The struggle. So with the ECW real. back then, they also had Rock and Bowl and Roller Jam. What kind of BS was that? Rocking Roller Jam. They try to be like wrestling. Let's script things and maybe we'll get popular too. No, you won't. Oh, yeah. So let's turn it into a soap opera. Jeez. Yeah. If we're for wrestling, we're for us. Into. Yeah. Rock, we and Bulge into. That's what it was. The the former ECW Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's book it. These guys are endless. Like, stop it. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. You keep, guys keep distracting me. All you're doing is tickling me. <laughs> well, at least we're painting the vicinity pretty colors. Yeah. It's in, new, it's in need of a new paint job. Yeah. It's like, here, Bond, I got a job for you. <laughs> yeah, MSN paint. I remember the the final. Remember the discussion of Rocky and Bullwinkle when uh, Bear goes, "Uh, I could this this game sucks. The graphics are bad. I could do better in Paint Shop. Paint Shop. Okay. It's beginning to look a lot he like probably paint. Could. Well, you see that? You see that? That guy just elevated, floated up there, he, like levitated up there before getting knocked back down. When Guardian levied Jerkwad. Whoa, 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 who? Hudja, whoa, huh? Yeah. What she nah. said. Yeah. Can't Look at these guys. Oh, oh I might fall down. I'm trying to hit them. Look, these guys are somehow still hit me. Look, they can't shoot through the metal. Up. It's a bunch of BS. Look at that. Hit them up, Ron. Look at that. I'm just waiting for one of these guys to just, like, freaking fly up here. Right, yeah. yeah I, I guess they won't do it if you're standing right there, though. <laughs> ah! Psh, oh. Why am I birdie? Yeah. Oh, ah, uh, you tried to do something. You failed. Whoa. Where are they coming? Oh, there he is. Oh, grenade. He dropped, dropped a grenade. Oh, you see that? They got, I think the guy got blown up in the air. That was cool. You can barely see it, though, because he was still in the vent. <laughs> that was funny. I got some venting to do here. Not really, but... If it was on Double O Agent, I, the first I got in this game was on the runway in Double O Agent. Okay, well now wait a minute, I'm confused here. I, I, thought the, I guess there's one thing I'm forgetting to do. Because the rock is not counting down. The launch is not counting down. Failure failure to launch, starting uh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, around the neck! Huh? I guess I'm a pain in the neck, huh? Right in the kisser. Pow, right in the... There's a game called Pow. Actually, P-O-W, Prisoner of War. Pow! You're a real pal. pow. I wish you could play a solid snake in this game. That'd be sweet. Yeah, I'm sure somebody will make something like that one day. And play it, and, and then snake could be in Goldeneye. I mean, uh, no, excuse me, uh, James Bond could be in Milgar Solid. And then Holy you do the crap. LP of that. There we go. Okay, For I, a moment, I thought you said something about Steak being in Metal Gear Solid. I'm like, what? Steak? Sure, why not? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's a pizza Steve. place here. There's a pizza place here. Um, they're they're now selling chicken fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Oh, they now, need that a... doesn't make sense in a pizza place. But if it's good, who cares? They need Raven Inspector to do a commercial for them. Yeah. Come to old Chicago and now we're serving fried chicken, fried chicken, and mashed potatoes over nine ninety nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that Re was that Raven Inspector or Cartman? Anyway. <laughs> One Here or the you other. guys, I'm going home. I think we now know the uh yeah we now know the voice actor for Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fat. I get shaped. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I am the authority. I'm laughing. So I never hard. played that game on Nintendo 64. Is it good, South Park? Oh wow, I've never I played did. it either. Venom 22 had it. I don't remember playing it with him, but. He said he called towards R Us one day, I think. He goes, yes, do you guys have South Park in for 64? And the guy on the phone goes, no, but we got Star Wars, though. Uh, what? <laughs> he didn't ask for Star Wars. That don't make no sense. His boss probably pushed him to sell the shells of the Empire or something. I don't know. But anyway, that makes sense. Which is a good game, but that's not what he asked for. That's not what I asked for. Here we for. go. Who's next in the Royal Rumble entry? Number 30. Uh, the Rocket Man. The Rocket Owen Hart. The Rocket Man. Here we go. Now, if you're that close to real life to a rocket, you're going to get blown up. Look at that. Anyway. Be dead. Might, as well, right? Might as well just toast some s'mores. Yeah. Well, hopefully get some s'more some, some, some gameplay. I fail. Uh, the part but 20, eat, but eat, but eat. which is the, uh, let's discuss <laughs> as well, the Egyptian temple. That was very interesting. Ooh, I love that one. I'm going to need more than ECW mode to beat that. Oh. Till then, God bless and take care. See ya. See ya. As always, thank you for joining us. Welcome uh, to part 10 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Zelda. Ocarina Time. This is Ron Moore as I hear myself in the background with Mexico <laughs> and Lady Zelda. <laughs> hey guys. It's good to be here. Or is it? No, it is. Link just got through beating the forest temple. And it's now going to leave the Kokiri Forest to embark on his next adventure. Well, this is this whole game's in one adventure, but on his next mission objective. No way, I'm getting this game confused with Golden Eye. <laughs> bad Ron Mower, bad. Yeah. <laughs> that cloud over uh, Life Mountain. That cloud over Life Hill. Should we be going over there? Life. Oh. Whoa, robotic. And we go into low rule. Robotic. I mean, wait. Yeah, yeah. Robot, robot. I said robotic. Robotic Mexico. Ah, 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 ah. Sound like Danny now. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm standing outside here of Danny's or whatever using his Wi Fi. Oh, yeah. All right, so now more horsing around here as we get on Epona and League Heads. I guess to Death Mountain next. As one little freaking thing gets in his way and it stops him. Just like uh, yeah. Halloween for a, uh, was it Atari 2600 where one little pistol can stop uh, Leatherface? Not Leatherface, dang it. That's Tech Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre. Uh, <laughs> Michael uh, Myers, or whatever the actor's name is from uh, Austin Powers, trying to kill you. Yep. Whoa, things got real emo real fast. Huh. Okay. Huh. Whoa, that wind. We live in Chicago now. The Chicago Bulls. No, I'm choking. Yeah, the Bulls are awesome back in the day. I remember Jay Leno, it was a joke, but uh, Jay Leno said, uh, Michael Jordan just came out this new book. Here it is. It's entitled, Boy, Do They Suck Without Me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, was he right. <laughs> All right, back in the Temple of Time now. Before going to Death Mountain. Oh, shiny jewels. Whoa. There he is again. And yes, you met Raru. 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 Watch out, you're going to get Shadow and Butch's, uh, or whatever the names are, uh, attention. Chance and again. Max. Yeah. 
Will Link have a chance to defeat Ganondorf? No chance in hell. Ha! I remember the death metal version of that on Forcible Entry, the Forcible Entry CD in 2002. You got no chance. <laughs> Okay, it says return the sword to its pedestal, but there was no slot to put it in. So how do you return it? Return it to the pawn shop or what? Yeah. You you return, you try to sell the master sword to those guys on uh, Pawn Wars, or Storage Wars, or whatever it's called, Pawn Stars. He probably, oh, I can only give you $3 for it. ECW, e e Nope. Oh, I can see this. E -C -E -C -W. E -C -E -W. All right, that's enough. <laughs> to e -C -W. Welcome to Ron Mower Idol. You've learned the prelude of ECW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait for somebody to say, post a comment. Does everything have to be ECW? Why can't you shut up? Shut up. Make him! I think it was Jim Cornette or someone said to somebody, You want to make this conversation pleasant? How about you keep your mouth shut? <laughs> Ooh. And let me tell you something, you mother! Alright, put the Master Sword back on his pedestal so that he can go back seven years. Back you to know, being a child mother. again. I wish I could do that. Go back <laughs> to my childhood that easily sometimes. If only. If only. Yeah. Go back to your childhood knowing everything you know now. That'd be so yeah. trippy. Yeah. But watch it, out! If you run to your uh, your, your uh, younger self, Marty, there could be a paradox. Hi, me. Nice to meet me. Nice to meet me too. Oh, I would like to have a talk with the younger me. Like, kid, you better get good. All right, back to the peaceful light world here. Light world. I'm thinking of. A link to the past, but you know what I mean. Yep. That we Nintendo dorks get it. That couple needs to get a room. E E E C W E E E C W. What a beautiful, peaceful day here in High Roll failed. 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 Who failed? Hyrule did, apparently. Ouch. Somebody. <laughs> We're alive! Was a fool. Oh, oh. We're alive from a capacity crowd at Hyrule Field. Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Ross, along with Jeff the King Lauder. Tonight, we're going to see, finally, after seven long years in the making, Link versus <laughs> Ganondorf at the Hyrule Stadium or Hyrule Arena. In the Hyrule Ring. Wouldn't that be trippy if you literally just stepped outside somewhere and then a couple minutes into walking, all of a sudden it's sunset? That would freak me out. I know, right? <laughs> I've never done that before, but I'm interested on actually trying to do that now. Uh, yeah, good luck. There was an episode of Married with Children where the Bundys, that the uh, it was like the Bundy curse. I think they were in England or something. And one half of the sky was light, the other half was dark. <laughs> Crazy. I think I've seen that one before. It sounds familiar. Yeah, it's the Bundy curse, and so like I think everybody in that uh because Seamus McBundy or whatever his name was, his ancestor like um was so mean to this witch that the witch put a curse on all the male Bundys, and so now I guess like the people of uh, Ireland or England or wherever is trying to kill the last of the male Bundys, which is Al and Bud, in order to for the curse to for them to be free from the curse. Ah, uh, yeah, I do remember that one because that was one where I watched more than once because at first I didn't get it. I was like, whoa, what the heck's going on here? And then I watched it again and I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, this is pretty good. It's Mary Children 2, Bundy's Curse. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to check that out. Again. I bet this cuckoo's like, you mother clucker, pick me up one more time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, stop riding the fence here. Which side do you want? 
He keeps. He, he's just on the fence, man. He can't pick. Yeah, but whose <laughs> side is he on? He should be on our side. Yeah. <laughs> the dark side. Oh. We it's have a, the best. Oh, no. Link turns heel. Dark Link. Wait, good God. Link has turned his back. Link has turned heel. What's going on here? Imagine that. Roll reversal. This time, Ganondorf is the face. If only. He'd be pretty over as a face. Nice. Yay! Success! Oh, just leave the bird up there. Okay, I see how you are. Yeah. Shot to the heart piece! And you're <laughs> to blame! This is arguably one of my most favorite locations. Yeah, ECW's domain's pretty cool. With the ECW Zoras. Yeah, I love Zora's domain so much better than Moron's domain. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> fail. You see that? Fail. Oh wait. Oh, he's still alive. Just do it again. Oh no, wait. We're live. Do it live. No, do it. Do it live. Do it live. I'll ride it and we'll do it live. Every game much, sucks. Right? I feel like doing that earlier in my live stream, NBA Jam Terminator Edition, freaking CPU and it's BS. I dunked that. You know, forget it. I'll restart the stream. No, I'll ride it and we'll do it live. Effing game sucks. Oh, he did it, guys. All right, to play us out, I, I, I can't do it. To let's play us out, I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no words on it. Imagine Bill Raleigh live streaming. Whoa, Lake Halia, or back then I just call it Lake Hilia. 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 Sounds like Muhammad Hassan's entrance music. Hilly, hilly, Banaru. I'm Banaru. This ain't the Wizard of Oz. Get out of here. Easy to for you. Okay. Okay, so what did that do? Ah, fail. Come on, you can do it. The prelude of ECW, there we go. I cannot unhear that now. EC, ECW! <laughs> now I'm going to hear it every time I play that. That's Ron's <laughs> ringtone whenever yeah. he calls. Yeah. Sound like it Mrs. Goes, Doubtfire. ECW. Yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire is singing. ECW! One of my favorite Robin William movies. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yep, Mrs. Doubtfire. Or there's supposed to be a spinoff called Mr. Trustwater. Fail. <laughs> I used to troll people at work. I'd be like, "Have you seen Mr. Trustwater?" They're like, "What the heck are you talking about? What movie's that?" Mr. Trustwater. You never seen that? No. Oh, my bad. I mean, Mrs. Doubtfire. Who in the blue hell are you talking about? No, I'm checking. Right, Mr. Trustwater. What'd you say his name was? It doesn't matter what his name was. How much the network? Nine. It doesn't matter how much the network is. It, it, it kind of matters. Because I only got ten bucks. The SC2K network. Nine-nine cents. Gotta love <laughs> 99 that. Nine-nine cents for a lifetime. Yeah. Those things sound like me when I get woken up before my time. Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Do they sell coffee here in Hyrule? Y'all want some coffee? Hey, who wants coffee? Buddy, you want coffee? We've got all sorts of creamers, too. Yeah. My 
Okay, I'm trying to remember what Link is doing here. I think, oh yeah, I think he's, um... Oh, that's right, he's gonna go see the Scarecrow seven years later to learn this, uh, to say the Scarecrow song. If you guys remember the purpose of that. I do not. Then get I out. Think so. Get in or get out. Go well, big or go home. See, the Scarecrow meets up with the Cowardly Lion and... No, I don't know. Like Hylia. Will Link beat this game in five minutes? Highly unlikely. I know that joke's old, but I love it. It never Same for gets the old. joke. It's All right. Classic. Oh, look out for the tic tac, tic tac, whatever it's called, coming after you here. The tic tac spider. Tic tac toe. Ah, Jinx, buy me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> uh, I'll get you a generic stuff instead. Oh man, not Mr. Pip. <laughs> Give me RC, RC Pro AM, whatever it's called. RC Edge, Christian. Yeah. Oh, he remembers. Okay, so Link. Place a song right here. What? What in the world? Wait a minute. Okay, he plays the same song that he played seven years ago. And seven years went by fast. And it's a lopsided song, but it's now the Scarecrow song. Alright, Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah! That's it! Next thing you know, he bursts through the area. Oh, no, no. Are you Josh Brown from Host Hotel? No, 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 no. Sh shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, so his buddy Pierre will show up where wherever you play when Nobby gives you the hint when she turns green, there's something up there, and you play the Scarecrow song, and his friend Pierre will pop up, and then you can use him as a hook shot. Oh, you see that? Look! It's, it's hitting him, but it's not registering, because he was... The game was um, loading, I guess, as uh, Link was uh, climbing the horse. So the spotter was attacking Link there, but Link was immune to it for a few seconds. I was wondering what was going on. That was funny. Were there scammers around back then in uh, Hyrule? Yeah, there were. If you remember A Link to the Past, you had the four thieves. Thieves running around. Those were always fun. Yeah. Yeah, they always yeah. repeated themselves too. No, you shut up and listen to me. The legend. Don't be a dumb. Yeah, don't be a dumb. What would be called the, the legend of of scammers, a hoax to the past, or ah! I don't know. That's great. The evil uh, now what do you call it, Josh Brown? Scammer dwarf, or I don't know. Fail. Can't think of nothing. <laughs> Imagine a hoax hotel video game. We gotta troll the scammers somehow. Do you just have it? The game comes with a per peripheral. Comes with a phone. <laughs> I'm surprised hey. there ain't a game like that. Yeah. Hoax Hotel for Nintendo 64. Hulk Hogan Hotel. Yeah, people in the live stream one time thought I was saying Hulk Hotel. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? You dumb? No, no. I thought you were saying Hulk Hotel, like Hulk Hogan's Hotel. No, I said Hoax Hotel. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? No, no, I just... Uh, geez, After a while, me. that scammer kept repeating himself. I was like, for a second, I was like, is it is it just a, a voice message thing on the other side that just keeps repeating itself? Or just is this guy really limited language and English? Yeah, listen to me, listen like to me, that. listen to me. It's written You're in the email. You're killing me. Shut <laughs> up, shut, shut the front door and listen to me. Why are you so stubborn? He's all stressed out, the animation. He's all stretched out. I, know, I, I thought it was, was funny so when, cool. they, when they stretched them all out. Oh, yeah. you need to shut up and listen to me. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so stubborn? Th so uh, listen to me, listen to me, open your ears and listen to me. Open my ears, open my heart, let the cash flow, oh, flow right in. Ouch. Let the rupees flow right in. Let the rupees hit the floor. Let the rupees hit the floor. <laughs> this guy in green just smashed my pots. Yeah. Whoa. Shut up, Navi. I know where I'm going. I'm going to Death Mountain. You see me? Shut up. It's a death row record. Don't be a dumb. Imagine Navi, Mel Solid. B ring, ring. Who is this? Snake! This is Navi! Who? Navi! 
You're God Fairy. I don't need a. This ain't a fairy tale world. War's no fairy tale world. Get out of here, Navi. And the force is strong with this one. Okay, I think Link, ha Link has to bomb this rolling rock, no pun intended, and talk to him. But if you can catch up to him, you might as well, yeah, just wait right there, let it come around. He'll come around. Gotta listen to this derp music again. Oh, wait a minute, boo, boo. You effed up. <laughs> all right, all right. Use that bomb then. Bomb shoot. Bomb pick at you. Oh, nice shot. Pow right in the kisser. How can you do this to me? You're you're getting to a servant. No, I'm not. You no, idiot. Probably. What? You're not Ricky C. Dairy Queen, the Hunger Buster, be the Dodongo Buster, if they were to promote this game when it came out? That would be pretty interesting. If I have a son, I'm going to name him Ryru. <laughs> no, because he'll get beat up every day in school. Hey, Ryru, come here, Ryru, Ryru. Ryru. Or he'll just have to beat up everybody every day. Yeah, just like Water Boy, he finally had enough. Stop making fun of me. Psh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I, I need to I just watched that movie the other sword. day. Funny you bring it up. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> He's trying to say Ryru, we can't do it right. After Ricky the Dragon Steamboat or after the Morons? I said after. I mean about. Ravioli Vagia. Volvagia. Vo, vo, I can never pronounce this. How do you say it for real? Is it vo, Volvagia? Volvagia? The vo, Volkswagen? Volvo? Dude, what the heck? I've always pronounced hmm, it, it either uh, Volvagia or something like that. Viagra? Whatever it's called. One of those. The vibrant Viagra. <laughs> uh, yeah, about the morons. Well, we're a bunch of morons, and we don't know what we're talking about. Ooh, we sound like Jay with Star Soldier. Oh. Oh, then we'll be eaten by ravioli. Volvagia? No, I can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that don't sound right. That's terrible. You know the controversy this game would face if it did that. Well, especially today. Back then, maybe not so In much. In today's age, yeah. Maybe not so much back then. Maybe a little bit back then, but now well, back, it'd be like, nope. Back then, they had to change the maps in one, one of the uh, dungeons in the original Zelda because it looked like the swastika. Oh, I do remember, yeah. Oh. Oh, we got the uh, Goron tunic. Nice. What? The Moron tunic. Oh, shut up. You're the dark cloud over my head right now because you won't shut up. You have the Moron tunic. Time for a tune-up. Dang, he uh, changed pretty quickly. Remember, uh, Jerry the King Lauder made fun of the Brooklyn Brawler saying, I remember somebody told the Brooklyn Brawler once to never change for anybody, but he meant, he, apparently, he thought they meant his clothes. Oh! <laughs> nice one. And I guess it was kind of true. Yeah. There you go. You gotta push out of the way. Easy freaking dummy. Death Mountain Crater. Now with potatoes. Yeah, don't be a crater hater. There we go. Oh man, he almost missed that. Whoa. Oh, there he is again. Stalker! Easy dog. C-W Why is the screen shaking? Is it a, oh yeah, well it's a volcano. Maybe it's about to erupt. You better get out of there. Maybe that's what it's yeah. like at the Taco Bell night. Yeah. 
What's this, Mario 64? Inside the volcano here. Bolero for ya. Easy to It's one of my favorites. Yeah. ECW. 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 Now you can't hear, unhear that either. That's all I'm so. gonna hear throughout this is ECW. <laughs> yeah. ECW. So the, the first comment on the page will say uh, ECW. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be from you. The Bolero yep. of ECW. Yeah. Unless I forget yeah. to comment on the video, be like, dang it, I forgot to comment on the video. Yeah. Oh, Lord! Valero, that's an okay gas station. Whoa! Firewall. <gasps> the hell was where'd he go? So where'd he go, George? Alright, so Link's learned another song. Oh, oh Link has another one another number one. Uh, album on the Billboard Top 100. Yeah. Oh yeah, this doesn't look very safe. He's getting a little greedy here. It's a green fairy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay, I guess things like, never mind. <laughs> Be like, screw that, I'm going home. It's not worth your life. He just pulled a Cartman. Yeah. Bartman versus Cartman. Oh, playing the Scarecrow song. Nice. Oh, there's Ooh. Pierre. So that's how it's gonna get over there. Wait a minute. Or not. Where are you going? Okay, Link says forget it. I'll just go to the Oh I guess I'll just go to the fire temple right now. Which we will see in part eleven. Do 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 This game is for ya. Until then Totally for ya. Until then, God bless take care. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss GoldenEye. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Lady Zelda. Howdy ho! Wait, what do you mean there's one more level? What are you talking about, Ron? This is the last of the two bonus levels. Which I've never seen before. Tell me. I, th I forgot what it's called. The ECW Temple, is that right? We can call it that. Alright, let's put paintball mode on. Alright, so here are the objectives. Oh, yeah, 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 Egyptian Temple. Egyptian temple. Recover I the golden gun and defeat Baron Samedi? Oh, I thought it was going to say Baron Corbett. <laughs> what? We're going to defeat Barry Yetis. Barry Switzer? No. Alright, oh, okay. so. Yeah, this is a, a bit tricky. You are uh, not just put to. Uh, I think you're supposed to retrieve a golden gun first. And that could be tricky right there. Sounds expensive. I think Baron Samedi is from the movie right The Man with the Golden Gun. Oh, yeah. Welcome to The Mummy Returns for the Nintendo 64. This is Ron Moore. Jeez, I'm surprised they never did that. They always did movie based. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of secretly rocking out to the music here. Yeah, it is epic music. Whoa! I do like this music, yeah. Oh, Whoa. there's Willy Wonka. Is that who that is? Okay. Or I should say, is that who that was? Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, what? He's, no, it's actually Baron Samedi, but he's not dead. He's still laughing. He's still laughing. Um, oh, that's right. You got to find the golden gun and kill him with it. Oh, crap. 
<laughs> that kills me. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, trying to be sneaky, Dr. Doke. Paging Dr. Monk. I just killed him! He has a twin brother. Whoa! All these guys have the same faces right here. What? No. All the pretty colors here. Yeah. <laughs> you just shoot and you don't stop shooting. Ah, shit. Jeez, imagine making it this far on double O agent. Jeez. There he is again. But remember, I cannot kill him yet. Look at that. Jeez. That... That's crazy. He's still alive. Uh, that didn't kill him, but I'm pretty sure he felt it. It looked pretty painful to me. Yeah, Baron Samedi's kind of like the Papa Shango of the James Bond series. So what time is it? Couldn't you just pull out a golden gun and shoot him? Off? Right? That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Even though I highly doubt that'll work, because the game might be probably has to be triggered by you capturing the actual golden gun in this level. See right here. Ah, Alright, there it is. Okay. Oh wait a minute. What? What happened? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, I always hated those things. You got to uh look the golden gun's like killing this thing. You can't kill these right here, I guess. Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta walk along a certain path. You gotta walk along a certain path on the tiles in order to get to the golden gun without triggering the drone guns. Mm, I'll remember that. Oh wait, I'm too late, I'm dead. <laughs> look, he cannot, yeah, look, he cannot destroy these things. Tie-dye guns, anyone? Right. I can't imagine how many killed by these things the first time. Oh, there's the gun, oh no, oh. I would be one of those people if I made it this far. Imagine this being white noise. You fall asleep to this. Jeez. That's Rambo right there. I fall asleep with this, the sound of guns. Oh, it's so soothing, man. Yeah. Alright, so I need to start over here and go along the right path on the right tiles there. Ooh, double the gold. Yep. Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> I swear. That laugh always catches me off guard. Seth Green, get out of here. Get out of here. Get over here. What do you want, Kabal? Why don't you die? You reminds me of. What Pete I wonder what people would do if there was a crusty the clown laugh here instead. <laughs> oh, someone, wow. someone can mod that in here. <laughs> a rom hack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there's there's a boss in Wrath of the Black Manta. They kind of look like Baron Samedi, and I think J-Man said, "Were we fighting, fighting Willy Wonka right here?" Welcome to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom for 64. No. Nah. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let me see if I go the right path here. Um, looks oh, like I did it. Nice. All right. Well, how do I? Well, let me grab it. How do I uh grab it? I'm afraid to move here because south. Of, oh, there we go. Got Ron me. Mower problems, Volume One. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, someone's shooting, ah, shooting at me. Ah, who's shooting at me? Oh, I got it's the infinite ammo. I don't need the ammo. I got infinite ammo. <laughs> not me. The door is locked. You mean the stone is rolled back? This is how we roll. Yeah. How do I get out of here? Teleport? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. That would be my guess. But like I said, I never seen this level before. Whoa. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, wait. Well, how? Oh, I guess the enemy has to open it? What the? Oh, they're just waiting to ambush me. Look at that. Not very smart, are they? Oh, even, even him. Come here. Now what? See how tough you are now? Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what? I think I scratched his butt. That's what you get for standing there scratching your butt. 
Wait, he's still alive. I just killed him with a. Maybe it wasn't with the golden gun. Uh, okay, I'm confused yeah. now. Oh, I think you gotta kill him three times if I remember correctly. With the golden gun. Maybe he's part cat. He only gets three lives instead of nine. Yeah. Yeah. He's a uh, part gato. Ooh. How you say part in Spanish? Part. I was gonna say oh, parte, man, but that's wrong. <laughs> parte, parte, gato, gato de parte. Come out and play. On, where, where you at, dude? Baron Samedi, uh, Mrs. Samedi, can Baron come out to play? Can Bear 13 play? Bear 13, Baron 13 Samedi. <laughs> so that was. Look how sneaky they are with these drone guns here. Look at that. I always love blowing those up. Yeah. Satisfaction blowing those things up. It's, ah, I took you out before you took me. Right. And then of course there's another one. What if there's a way to play as a drone gun in multiplayer? Just walk around, roll around as a drone gun shooting, <laughs> your, shooting your opponent? That'd be oh, fun. I'm surprised there ain't. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's. Oh, there could be a mod out there. So what are we looking for again? No. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, body armor. Surprised to see that in Dolo Agent. Oh, I shot him in the arm. I thought one hit. Come on. Yeah, I guess multiple hits with the golden gun on this guy. Because he's Baron Samedi. Oh, he's dead. All right. Oh, boy. That's it. Woo! You're a winner. Look You're at winner. Bond casually walk away. He looks like he owns the world right now. He does. But the world is not enough. That it's is like, hey, sure. look at me. I just pwned all these guys. <laughs> right. Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Dude, look out. Dude, look out. Turn, Turn around. Plot twist. What? <laughs> He's still alive. So, Ronnie, you're going to have to explain this to me. Slowly. Okay, I don't get what that. What's going on? What's going uh, that on? Was, that was weird. I don't get it. But, still beat the game, so who cares? Exactly. All right, <laughs> All right so, so, that is the end of GoldenEye and, and the LP here on the S2K channel. So, yeah, GoldenEye, this is a fun LP to do, especially with all the cheats. So, yeah, really, really enjoy this. Um, it was definitely fun uh, using the invincibility, the infinite ammo, invisibility, all this stuff. This is a real fun LP to do on this channel, and uh, the cheats, I mean, this game is epic game is alone epic. without cheats, but the cheats makes it even more epic in the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, this game is pretty good. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Makes it cool. All right. Well, this is a game that I never got a chance to beat, but I did play a lot of this in multiplayer, which is where I spent the majority of the game. I did play through some of the campaign. Um, or, you know, the main story or whatever, but um, I've watched friends play through the game and see everything and it just gives me really good memories checking out this LP. I remember my friends picking up a magazine or whatever, getting all the codes or whatever, and then playing, you know, seeing them play through this or whatever with, you know, paintball mode or whatever, different or whatever. modes, anything pretty much or whatever. And it really made the game a lot more interesting or whatever. Yeah, you could just blow through levels, but, it, you know, it brought a different aspect of the game. And I really had a good experience with this game. I'm never really a Nintendo 64 controller, but it really fit really well with this. Game. And overall, this game, I'd probably give it, let's go with a overall B grade or whatever. All right, or whatever. Lady Zelda? You know, I'm honestly with you on the whole, uh, hey, why not just slap a 9.5 on that thing, you know? Um, you know, there's a lot of good memories with this one. You know, it's a classic. You know, hats off to those who still have their Nintendo 64s to this day. I still do. <laughs> I wish I still did. Um, I, I have that, but I don't have the game, unfortunately. But I'm looking to restore, you know, that part of my childhood. It shouldn't be that difficult. But, you know, this was arguably, I believe, one of my most favorite levels 
and areas, but I, I, I really, you know, I really liked the um, silo as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I think pretty much any location, now that I think about it, um, <laughs> I, I loved, you know, the cheats, you know, turning on slow mode. And just it, I, I just thought it was funny. Yeah. Trying, trying to find my way out of a jail cell. And then just completely incapacitate these guards. And I'm like, yeah, okay, well, you know, at least you're going down in style because I have paintball activated. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, nice. but, but, you know, um, all in all, I mean, like, literally, if nobody has ever played this and if you know somebody with one of these consoles, I highly freaking recommend it. I mean, Nintendo never disappoints, even back in the day. <laughs> exactly. All right. So there you go with ECWI. I never played it. Well, I, I think I, might, I played it a little bit, but I heard Perfect Dark was actually better than this. What do you guys know? I've never played Perfect Dark, but I, all um, my friends praise that game like it's the best game. So I'm not sure. Venom 22 said it is better than is Golden Eye, but uh, I mean, I don't know. It seems like Golden is still more known, though. Uh, more popular, even though I guess technically in a way, uh, I don't know if it's talking about technically or just more overall fun. I don't know. Gonai has that charm as just, I'm not even a, really a huge fan of first person shooter games, but I love Goldeneye. And this game got me in, got me to watching some of the James Bond movies. So, what you just said so. reminds me, I have a friend that said the same thing too, never big in the first person uh, shooter genre, but this game changed his mind on the whole aspect of that kind of game or whatever. So yeah, this game, there's, I can see a lot of people out there who have never played a first person shooter, this being the first, you know, first person shooter they've ever played. Yeah. Alright, and there you go. That's the end of the Gold Knight LP on the S2K channel. It was fun to do it? this LP, <laughs> right? And would there be another hidden level? Called the ECW Temple. Now, uh, uh, the, ECW, <laughs> the ECW Arena. You go around, you got to shoot the different ECW wrestlers, and Paul Heyman is the final boss. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah, and this was, was fun to do on the Ron Moore channel as well when I did it in 2016. Uh, but it was more fun to do it on here with other people commentating with me. So thank you guys very much, and uh, th I think uh, – yeah, J-Man did some commentaries with us, I think, in this LP a little bit. Uh, BioPhoenix and Jeff weren't some. Uh, if I forgot oh, yeah. anybody else, please forgive me. But, yeah, all right. That is it. We are out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Lady Zelda. And I'm Mexicool. God bless and take care. See ya. <laughs>
what happened was apparently uh, someone in the comments. No, I think let I me remember know. hearing about something like that. Someone in the comments or in the Hyrule Warriors, wherever you're watching this from, let me know. Um, apparently there was this Islamic, yeah, Islamic chants, an Islamic prayer that they were actually chanting in that song. So due to controversy, they took it out and and uh, they released like the re-released the game, but taking that track out. Wow, video you know, game controversy all the way back then on the 64. Yeah. Now that you mention it, now that kind of actually does ring a bell. Now that I really think about it. Speaking of, ring, ring that bell on the S2K when you subscribe to keep notified. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to segue into that. Couldn't resist. Um, hey, that's a good thing, though. Even if you do, though, I've noticed a lot of times too, I hit that bell. Sometimes I don't even get the notifications, but that's just YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's how YouTube why I, is. Why I usually never plug my own channels or whatever like that. Like, please favorite, comment, or subscribe. And I'm like, if people want to, they'll do that. But the bell don't hardly work anyway. Well, it does, but it doesn't sometimes. It works when it wants to. It works if you're a big time YouTube channel, then it then guarantee it works. Even if you're not using it, but if you're a lower channel like this, it probably yeah. doesn't work. Then no one gives a rat's butt cheeks. Um, Wait, rats don't have butt cheeks. But anyway, dun dun dun. Um, apologize for the in-game audio lagging a little bit. Um, but I was gonna say, speaking of Zelda and controversy, in the original Zelda, wasn't one of the maps of the dungeon like a swastika? I've heard about that, but that's about as much as I've heard. Yeah. Do you, do you know any more about that or no? <laughs> I think it. Uh, I don't know if they took it out the game or altered it, whatever. But what is it with Zelda game? <laughs> Zelda games, the controversy of like Hitler or Islamic prayers or chants. I don't know what's going on with Nintendo. I don't know. Maybe somebody thought it would be funny to put it in the game, and then when it finally people found it or whatever, they're like, "Wait, what the hell?" Yeah. But you got you me. See that happening. All right. So yeah, the Fire Temple. Uh, on my Let's Play on the Rom War channel, boy, was I lost for a while because. I was getting my butt kicked at the game because it had been a while. What? Shut up! I know the door's locked! Hey, listen! You need a key to get in! Hey, did you know that you needed a key? Yeah, did you know you could no, also I thought shut I up? Needed, I thought I just needed to knock real hard and somebody would open it. Yeah. Hey, did you know that you need to break pots to get rupees? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> did you know? You see that, uh... The, it's a meme online. Instead of breaking Benjamin, it's called breaking pots. Ooh, I have seen that one. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, I said breaking Benjamin. I meant breaking bad. I'm thinking yeah, about bad well, breaking Benjamin. <laughs> Never mind. I'm thinking about money. Cha ching Someone's probably listening to that. You breaking bad, you idiot. Okay, why did Link just jump in that fire pit? Come on, I guess Link. he wanted to be smoking. If you have a fire tuner gone, that'll mean you're per impervious to getting burned alive. It's just like the uh, oh, Link, get it together here. It's just like uh, the Varia suit and Metroid. You can still die in like certain lava. <laughs> to be fair, I can't make fun of Link right here. I wasn't that much better in my OP. Jeez, just wait to the water temple, but we'll, we'll wait to that part to talk about that. Um, all right, so Link. How many around. temples are there, Ron, for uh, non-Zelda players as myself? What is there? Earth, water, fire. Wait, I'm thinking Captain <laughs> Planet. Yeah. Earth. Oh my goodness! Did you see my video of that game? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, Captain BS. That was the game. Oh. By your powers combined. I am Captain Douchebag. Captain Douchebag! Oh, <laughs> awesome cartoon, though, but the game was for NES is terrible. Of course, from the same people that made Dirty Harry for the NES. Mindscape. Ooh. Mindscape. I wanted that to escape my mind. Wait, fell. You know what I mean. No, that's alright. That's alright. Okay, Link is still stuck here. Oh, wait. Uh, did, at, at this point, I would have already gave up. There we and go. It there's the, the shortest LP. Yeah, there's the key. Says that me with a hiccup. Oh, I thought you were playing NBA Jam. Huh. Huh. 
I thought, you said, I thought you said Indiana Jones. Indiana Jam. Indiana Jam. Indiana Jam. Easy W. Easy Dub. Easy W. Easy Dub. Oh, you. Now I want to see this become a thing. Yeah. It should. Somebody <laughs> should make a ROM hack of it. Yeah. ROM mower. A yeah, ROM hack. The yeah. next thing you know, Ronnie uses the Konami code to keep it from us. Right, yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> Some people have been wondering, what took so long with Ocarina Time Part 11 here? Well, I've, I'm kind of slowly transitioned to full-time streaming, or twitching, rather than LPs. Don't worry, folks, I'm not leaving YouTube. Oh. Thank you, Bear13. ECW, ECW, ECW. So don't worry, folks. I'll still do my four streams a year. I think oh, I still oh, got yeah, two more left. You still got two more parts of uh, ECW Chronicles. Yep, ECW Chronicles is coming to an end. Oh. That'll actually be my f first full LP on the channel. Oh no, not this. Oh, what's going on, Ron? Is we this uh? Gotta avoid these tiles here and watch out for that inverted <laughs> anus in the background. What is this, Culture Guys? <laughs> yep, that's whoa. <laughs> really, yeah. I can't look at that the same way again. Oh, watch out, asshole. Indeed. He's not even kidding. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to be sick. I'll be right back, guys. <gasps> There's a ghost, Skullchilla. I just killed her. I, I just killed a, a Skullchilla in my apartment. They're getting bad this time of year. Oh man, that was I was not expecting that, but then again I've never been to the fire temple, so all of this is new to me. Yeah. You know what though, um I would say the fire temple and the Twilight Princess is harder than this. I don't know what you guys think, but part eight of the Twilight Princess LP. Man, that Ooh. was that was a fun one. I might put that in the description box. Check it out of me, We Got, J Man, and uh, Tibbs. Oh, wow. Tibbs said that was where he felt at home with SCTK, was that part right there. Nice. That's when we Tibbs kicked, is always that, welcome. That, that, that's when we turned heel and kicked him out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dang. Just like the horseman kick his thing out. I grabbed Tibbs. Oh, they're going to say. I grabbed Tibbs by the hair. I, I grabbed Tibbs by the hair. Wait, what hair? And I had to say, I try to tell you about you sometime. Get out of this channel! Get out of my life! They kick him in the stomach and slap him in the face. <laughs> I thought you were going to say when uh, uh, Shawn Michaels kicked Booker T out of the NWO. <laughs> oh, <Literally. yeah. laughs> oh, man. That wasn't as memorable, though, as when Sting got kicked out of the horseman. Oh, hell no. That was like... I don't I don't think anybody saw that coming. Uh, typical Ric Flair. That, that, was, that was February 1990. It happened in Texas, too. Uh, wow. I remember watching that when I was a kid. They just kicked him out of the horse, man. I was like, what's going on? And then Flair, they all held him down, and Flair's yelling like he usually does. I tried to tell you! I bought you some time! Tear that contract! No, no. Get out of here! Flair. <laughs> Rick Flair never yells. That's just his normal voice. Get out of this business! <laughs> Get out of my life! And then kicks him in the stomach, and he's on the ground, and Flair, smarten up, kid! Just slaps the taser out of his mouth. And Jim Cornette goes, whoa! Ha -ha. <laughs> Yikes. That was not a good day for Sting. Oh, man. Or Sting Vance. Sting and Flair, one of the best feuds in wrestling. I That's why I was so... I I, I don't know. I, I'll admit this or whatever. When I saw their match on Nitro, I was like, oh, man. What, Sting the versus last one? Flair. The, what was it? Yeah, the last one. Yeah, that was sad. Or at least they closed it out like that because that was, you know, Flair and Sting. They, WCW's going under. Why not have the final match be with two... Uh, like two of the biggest names in that company that you know had a long feud and Sting won his first world title, you know. Oh man, yeah, that was like hard watching that. I was like, wow, this is like I said, I had just got Direct TV and I got to watch the last episode of WCW. Then after that, I was like, wow. Yeah, you get special crap. To, oh, special crop. To do the job. <laughs> I misread that. What a load of crop. Indeed. Look at that, you got a key! You got a key! I 
remember was playing. I was playing. I linked to the past. Now I was a kid. I'm thinking like maybe 11, 12 years old, and the part where in the dungeon it says, "Oh, you can't get through the store. If you had the big key, you can get through it." And my friend goes, "I got a big key right here." I'm like, "Oh, gee, shut up." Ooh. <laughs> I like. That's like a young bear 13, I guess. I don't know. I got a big key. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, go, people go back and check out some of Bear's LPs. I think which one of my favorite was, uh, was it Super Mario RPG? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Just don't ask Bear to host anything for you. Oh, this is Bear right, 13, yeah. and oh, crap, I give up. I give up. Ronnie, you do it. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> All you gotta do is say, this is Bear 13, I'm here with Wii Gama. Jeez. If I can host, anybody can. Well, apparently that's not true. <laughs> Whoa. It's all bare. Uh, Link! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Link, you dumbass! You got stepped right in the fire! What's he, wait, what's he doing? I don't think this is how you do I don't remember either, but I don't I think he's doing something. Don't you gotta push a crate? On What are you doing? I have no idea, because, come on, I have never been this far. Maybe um, maybe if I bomb the fire, everything be alright. What are you thinking? Oh, it, it, you know, I don't know. Wait, cage match! He's climbed the top of the cage! Damn, that's He's a big over. cage. I know, right? Remember those blue steel cages back in the WWF in the 80s and the early 90s? No, I remember oh. seeing videos of those. I was like, why did they... I was like, what the... Actually, I think they had, the last one that might have had it was 1999. With Stone Cold versus Vince McMahon. Remember that? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Where the Big Show debuted. It's the big show. Uh oh. This is oh scary. man, I remember the big show. Oh look out! Oh. Oh. oh, oh boy. I remember the big show's dad. No, I'm joking. Ah. Andre the Giant, yeah. No, the storyline. Man, that was so many, uh, My dad died of cancer, and then the big boss man makes fun of him. My daddy died of cancer. Yeah, nobody cares about your dead daddy. <laughs> Dang, oh man. my god. I was like, damn. And then he went to the funeral. No, he went to his mother's house. So you tell me your son, the big show, is a bastard. He's illegitimate. <laughs> Jeez. And then the funeral, we dragged his dad's casket on behind his car, and the big show's on top of it. No! No! I remember no. watching that live. I was like, mm, this has just gone a little too far. There Don't was, you think? I was, I was telling my friends. <laughs> Bruce Pritchard said there was a real, like, funeral thing going on a few graves down, and they were like, what the heck is going on down there? I'm like, oh, I think they had to apologize to him. <laughs> Jeez. They are at a real graveyard. Real gravesite. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine that you're at a funeral and then you're just watching somebody get dragged off like Well, looks like they got it worse than and us. And there's like cameras filming it like, what is going on over here? And like, imagine Vince McMahon. Oh, you gotta make sure to drag the casket all the way, come on. You gotta get this done in one shot, come on. You know what though? That's still not as bad as Katie Vick. I pretend I don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably That's all I'm gonna best. say. I'll, I'll let... I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, and maybe someone in the comment section will uh, mention it, but I'm not. Yeah, Chino, we're talking about you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Chino's, I don't want to know part of that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll just leave. I'll just say, I'll just leave it with uh, necrophilia. It's not cool. Okay, so moving on. Yeah. That uh, Intercontinental versus World Heavyweight title match with Triple H, that was pretty good, though. But just yeah. the whole feud in general sucked. Yeah. The storyline was. Yeah. I like when Kane lost his mask, and it became even more dark and sinister. But yeah, that's when he became a heel again. He's lost his mask. Oh yeah. Choke slam RVD. Yeah, this would be a perfect home for Kane. Doesn't it? Hellfire and Brimstone. Perfect home for Kane is uh, Tennessee. Yeah. The that's, mayor but Kane. Not before uh, he tombstone Linda McMahon. Oh man, that was crazy. Yeah. Imagine that. The mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, Tombstone Paul dro drove uh, someone on, on President Trump's cabinet. <laughs> you, that's not really that hard to believe, though, so. No, I'm joking. <laughs> and Stone, Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin can say he stunned the president. That's really not that hard to believe. I remember when Stone Cold met Trump. He's like, oh, I don't care if you're worth $1 billion, $2 billion, what? What? $3 billion. What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you say? I'll open up a ten million dollar can of whoop ass on it. <laughs> yep. And Trump just right there shaking his head like, oh, all right. 
Yeah, he wasn't good at taking the stunner, but neither was Linda McMahon. <laughs> Oh man, I was the best at taking the stunner. Me and my friends used to do that all the time and be like, alright, let's see how you do the stunner. Actually, we I, actually have like an old VHS tape, which I'm not in possession of. One of my friends is, if I ever get a hold of them again, and we used to just practice that. Alright, you do your stunner, boom! I still like a rock, that, just flip all over. Yeah, if you, get, <laughs> if you get a hold of that, you gotta upload it on your channel. I would definitely. I would definitely, and I would give, it, it's, it's crappy, um, VHS quality or whatever the hell it is, you know, yeah. but I would love that. We used to be like, alright, let's do the stunner. I used to get all crazy and then flip over like The Rock. I thought The Rock sold it pretty good. I think, uh, oversold it. Some people think he oversold it, it looks stupid, but I think he did alright, but I think Triple H sold it the best. Oh man, I remember, um, who the hell was it? Vince's first stunner and his head's just shaking or his body's all shaking. He's like, ugh. Yeah, plus <laughs> it, like, it, it, it looked awkward too. Like he rolled over on top of Austin or whatever he did. It's it was like, weird. But, but to be fair, that was his first bump. He wasn't, you know, he's not a wrestler. It was his first time taking the stunner. Um, what else? Uh, did, you, did you see on Twitter? I think it was on Twitter. Becky Lynch stunned Stone Cold. I've heard about that. I still haven't seen it. And he sold it pretty well. He sold his own stunner pretty well. How many people have stunned Stone Cold? I know The Rock. Well, Did Mr. anybody I else? I think Vince Man has when the corporation was like holding him after they beat him up. Yeah, <laughs> okay, Vince too. Because on, um, the, hopefully I, I plan to do an LP, my next LP after Umbrella Chronicles uh, WWF Royal Rumble for the Dreamcast. That's uh, Vince McMahon's finisher on the game as a stunner. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, yeah. And then he does Stone Cold's taunt because he used to do it to Stone Cold to mock him. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I, I I don't I genuinely don't know where the WWE would be now. Probably not around if they didn't have that Stone Cold Vince McMahon feud. Right, yeah. That, that was big. Yeah, it's pretty much what saved the company. Yeah. Them. All right. Now I'm trying to think of something. I'm like, mm, wait, aren't we doing it? Zelda LP? Why are we talking about wrestling? Oh yeah. And again, right. we always do get off topic. Yeah. You know oh, Zelda. Well. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> we got off topic here. I mean, I prefer, I prefer, like, diverse topics instead of just, oh, hey, you know, this is what we're doing, you know, we got this person. Yeah. <laughs> are you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yeah, so, so you play as Chris Hansen. Yes, you are free to go. But then the cops take, free him, to go. take him down. I saw the temple. <laughs> All right, you're free to go. Don't worry. And then he walked. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. That makes sense. Watch, he's going to leave. And he'll be back. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry, folks. I I can't look at that the same way again now. <laughs> <laughs> the Legend of Hansen. Uh, the Legend of Chris Chris Hansen. Predators of Time. I don't know. Those freaking fire slugs. Look at them. Man, imagine seeing a fire slug that big in real life. Um, I don't want to say what I would do, but it wouldn't be good. <laughs> I remember in uh, the Twilight Princess um, LP, the Fire Temple, they had those, and Tibbs goes, Be careful, Ronnie, we have to put a slug in the back of your head. And J Man's like, Whoa, Jeez. whoa. <laughs> yeah, because I bet nobody was expecting him to say that. <laughs> yeah, Tibbs turned heel. Or he was never really faced the whole time, he was just playing everybody. Yeah, it's me, He's Ronnie. Playing everybody. It was me all along, Ronnie. Now, there's a lot of people I miss on the ST2K, but Tips, you know, he is really, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna BS, but that guy knew his stuff. Oh yes, was Zelda Metal Gear? Yeah, definitely. I really do miss his presence on here. I know I say that with like every freaking video, but yeah. Yeah, but he he's always willing to at least do the less discuss of certain games. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna pull the Tips, and when we do the less discussion, I'm just gonna record. A pre-recording and be like, all right, Ernest, it's your turn. And be like, nope, I have a pre-recording. Just play it. <laughs> yeah, and like, um, now he would say, uh, damn, what was I gonna say about him? Oh yeah, like he, you know, he's Mr. Big Shot now. He's married and works full time. So ooh, I guess that's more important than doing commentary with us. No, no not really. <laughs> Calling you out, Tibbs. Maybe Ronnie turned hill. Then he shows up the next part. What was that, Ronnie? <laughs> it's like, what was a long, drawn-out April Fool's prank? So April 1st of next year, we reveal, we're just playing, guys. <laughs> and knowing people, they would probably fall for it again. 
And now, uh, yeah, but um, it wouldn't work because it's too far away from April. It would be it would oh be man, it's fair. It? Yeah. Um, but nothing's gonna beat the me and J Man April Fool's joke. But anyway. Yeah. All right, Link gets the next key now. All right, progress. I'm so proud of Long making progress. Zelda Dungeon, ah. is an awesome freaking website. It is. Zelda Dungeon. Um, the one of the guys I, I don't, is he still on there? Moss, mosses or moss? Hmm. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but before he, uh, I think before Zelda Dungeon or right at the same time, he had him and his friend Vic had their own YouTube channel called Moss and Vic, and I was a subscriber to them, and they reviewed some games, and it was cool. But they had to stop doing videos on that channel because Vic was going to film school and Moss was uh, going to start to devote more of his time to... Uh, oh, okay, now I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you know, it's just been so long since I've heard about them. Like, I almost don't want to sound messed up. I forgot about them. It's been so long. Yeah, they commented on a few <laughs> of my oldest videos that I took down a long time ago and was giving me some uh, constructive criticism. And they said... You need to get off YouTube. You're not gonna last more than a year. You suck. And I locked myself in my room and cried all night. And I'll prove them wrong. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't say that. But <laughs> um, no, but they. I did converse with them. And I don't know who it was actually, Monster Vic, but uh, who I talked to. But uh, Vic said he was gonna. Um, no, Moss said he was gonna um, devote more of his time to Zelda Dungeon. And I think the channel might still be up, but they removed all the videos. I'm thinking, man. Oh, I, I know it's their videos. They can do that, but. Why, man? You know, leave it up like Sickle Fan leaves his up, or Skip Rogers leaves his up. Oh, you know what? I think one year, some people that are subscribed to my channel will remember this or whatever. I think it was it was a long time ago. It was like 2013, 14, one of those. I took, I didn't take down all my videos. I put them private, and I think I only left like my first video. And everybody, somebody commented on the first video. They're like, "What happened to all your videos?" <laughs> yeah. And then the next day, I was like, "They're up, April Fools." Nice. Oh, I should have thought of that. I remember, I remember my April Fool's prank on my Rumble channel 2009. I said, um, yeah, guys, um, this is, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just stop doing YouTube because I have two jobs now and I just don't have time to do this anymore. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. Finally, I said, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for, uh, the support you've shown me so far. Blah, 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 blah. God bless and take care. Oh, yeah. April Fools, and it shows Nelson go, ha ha, and the video ends. <laughs> <laughs> and my coworkers watched it. Ronnie, we saw your video, dude. You were, you had us depressed, and then and then you fooled us like, ah. That's not cool, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, and I got fire too. No, I'm kidding. Oh, um, no, I'm just speaking of oh, fire. Dang. Back to the fire oh, temple snap. here. Yeah. Oh, Snapchat. Follow us on Snapchat. Um. Is there a ST2K no, no, Snapchat? No. <laughs> Unless you guys want to make one, I'm not going to have anything to do with it because I'm. I got to run this channel and then the Twitter and Twitch and Facebook pages. Screw that. I Kevin, have. Kevin runs don't have Discord. Enough time for that. I'm on Discord. I'm one of the administrators, but I don't really do jack to it except post stuff. Kevin's the one that does the admin thing. Kevin ad Nash. Admin side of things, yeah. Good job, Kevin Nash. He's not watching this. He don't watch any of our videos. Well, that's a good thing he didn't hear that then. Yeah, so we can make fun of him. Ooh! Kevin's an idiot. Without me, S2K would have never been... No, not really. It's actually the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't watch the videos. He, he pays people to watch it. And be like, yeah. they just skim through it. Alright, there's nothing mentioned of you. You're and, good. And now we're from our sponsor. The S2K. Or wait. Don't! <laughs> no, it's okay. The website, which is no longer around. Oh boy! That's all I gotta say. Oh, he should be dead. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe he is dead after all that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, he, well, he's in hell. Oh, you're in hell. You're gonna burn in hell, Undertaker. You're gonna burn oh. in hell. Now I can't unhear that. <laughs> Next time Victoria oh. plays this game, she's gonna be at that part, and she's gonna be like, "That's just gonna." Pop up in her head. Swear, Sw man. Swindoll said when he was a kid, Paul Bear scared him more than the Undertaker did. Well, damn, I believe that. <laughs> uh, look, yeah, I'm, I'm, look at his face. 
And his, listen to his voice. Yeah, he is creepier than the Undertaker. The Undertaker is like a cool kind of scary type of character. Paul Bearer, I mean, geez, that, that was, yeah, the makeup he had at the time, his voice. Oh, my Undertaker. Oh, yeah, Paul Bearer was scary. Yeah. William Moody was his real name. He did an excellent job doing that character. Before that, he was like a white redneck guy named Percy Pringle. I did not know that. Yep. And then he came to WWF as Paul Bear. I go, that's Percy Pringle. Wow, it looks different, but I rec that voice, you can't not recognize it. He still sounded the same, except he made his voice sound creepier. And, uh, wow. Percy Pringle is Paul Bear. I didn't know what a Paul wow. Bear was in the funerals. I didn't know what a Paul Bear was until I attended my first funeral when I was 20 years old. Because when I, oh. throughout, throughout, throughout my childhood, I thought the name Paul Bearer was just a scary type name, you know, like an emo type name. Then my first funeral, I was the honorary Paul Bearer, and, and it was spelled different. I go, Paul, Paul Bearer? As in, oh, wait, I get it now. <laughs> and all these years, I, all those years, I didn't know, I didn't get the reference. Paul Bearer, The Undertaker. Paul Bearer. Wow. I forget what rapper it is, but my brother listens to rap music all the time, so there was like one part of the song, and so you're gonna meet Paul Bearer. I'm like, what? I'm like, Paul Bearer? <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> all right, yeah. Oh man, Ronnie, I am so lost, I have no idea where to go in the fire temple. Ooh. That's why I never got this far. Uh oh, that snail's pissed. That's oh. why I just stick to Zelda games that are 2D. Yeah. 2D or not 2D? Yeah. 2D extreme. <laughs> and by 2D, I do not mean the ones on the CDI. <laughs> yeah. Such as Wand of Gamma oh, Wand. Oh man. <laughs> and, and, uh, feces of ECW? Oh man. Oh man, that, that they should make people like when they get terrorists. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make you play this game. No, 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 please don't. <laughs> yeah, jeez. No, the scammers on Hoax Hotel try to sell people less of Zelda games instead of like, the CDI games. Oh my God. No. no. <laughs> yes, I sell you the wand of Gamelon. Oh, okay. So you get to play with your own wand, and is it for the NES? No, no. Listen, shut, shut up, and listen to me. Listen shut to up, me. shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut up, shut the front door. See, shut this door right here, and then go to the next part. All right, so. All right. Oh, watch out for the firewall. What? Uh, Thank you, Skip. Yeah. Yeah, my computer has a firewall of its own. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice, nice move, Link. All right. Is, is it me or is it hot in here? I'm, I can't be the only one here sweating. Yeah. Nah, it's just me. People in Hobbit Warriors watching this. Why don't y'all shut up and uh, talk about... Shut up and talk. Shut up and talk about Zelda instead of wrestling and other stupid things. I did talk about Zelda. I said I like playing the 2D Zelda games. I think that's Zelda 2. I'm not sure. Yeah. One of the Zeldas. It's uh, for the NES. All right, so we're going to stop right here. And we are going to continue this at another time to see the rest of the Fire Temple. The Foya Temple. The Foya all right, well, things are going to get a little more challenging here, and things are going to start heating up. And we'll see you guys in Part 12, Fire Temple Part 2. Until then, God bless and take care. See ya. Be there or be square. Oh, man, I forgot to record. No, I'm kidding. Welcome to Ocarina of Time Part 12, Fire Temple Part 2. This is Ron Moore once again with Lady Zelda and Mexico. Howdy! Alright, we're back. This seems exciting. Well, yeah, so look down there. That's where, that's the room where we saw Darunia from. So we're right above that now. And all these foyer, uh, foyer sticks. Reminds me of Mario Bros. Foyer. Now. Yeah. I was wondering what was going on. Oh, I don't remember those fake doors. Oh, man. Oh, man, I hated those. I still do. Right? That's not real life, huh? Ah, ah! Holy Look at that. You can tell that's a fake door, too, yeah. Oh, well, you could probably bomb that one. Okay, you can, but it don't lead anywhere. <laughs> Alright, this part is tricky. It's like... This fire maze it's like, is nope. real frustrating. Oh, no. And plus, you got the bats chasing after you and stuff. 
Oh, this yeah. This game's driving me bats crazy. Driving you batty? Driving me batty. It's driving me bat doo doo crazy. Oh! Ouch. Tick, tick, tick. It's a wonder I've never made it this far in this game. How far did you make it again? Uh, let's see. I think when, what was it, when we're inside that whale or whatever? Oh, Jabu Oh, Jabu Jabu's Jabu belly. Yeah. But like I said, I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the best Zelda player. Ever. <laughs> Wake up. Please don't eat me. <laughs> okay, so he thinks I'm uh probably uh v Volvajaya, whatever his name is, or whoever is going around eating Gorons. Hmm. Was Zelda ever in any Bomberman games? Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head. Link, you have to go around, and uh, I think Link has to go around in order to get to that Goron. Jesus. So if Link was smart, he would use the power Nintendo Power. Yeah. Is that the song? <laughs> they, they took out the Muslim prayer. Uh oh, hurry up! Ah, of course, and of course that's ah, oh, that's frustrating, man. That freaking blocks you, so you gotta go figure out another way. Now you gotta step on that again to activate the timer again to lower the fire. My wall. level of frustration has just went way up. Don't go chasing firewalls. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. to the lavas and the volcanoes that you're used to. <laughs> Ron Moore pulling a Weird Al Yankovic. All right. Oh! Oh! oh another one. <laughs> Wouldn't it be called Ron Moore Yankovic? <laughs> Ron Moore Yankovic, yeah. I would actually listen to that stuff, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a thumbs down a hundred times on YouTube. Now YouTube probably demonetized and demoted algorith algorithmically. So knowing YouTube, they'll just probably get rid of the whole thumbs down feature anyways. They're all, we don't like the, we don't like the fact that you're not thumbs up in videos. We don't like the fact that you're not thumbs up in our YouTube rewind. Ooh! Okay, here's the mini boss stuff. Was it fire? Was his fire dancer? Uh, you're asking the wrong person. Techromancer uh. or? Uh... <laughs> Foya dancer. Thank you, Star oh, Soldier. Oh, oh. Hey, that looks like Danny boy. That looks like the Skull Kid on fire, or uh, no, the Scarecrow on fire. Excuse me. Uh. Oh. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> ECW, ECW, ECW! Everybody! <laughs> oh man, that sounded totally metal. Red Respector, ECW! Okay, you gotta hit that little bomb, whatever that is. You made that boss battle fight, I know Tibbs does, with uh, Adolwa, whatever his name is, from Majora's Mask in the first temple. No clue. Well, he's, he's, he dances around his chance constantly and sounds just sounds funny. You mean Venom or Archangel? Which one of those guys? No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> Dang, how many hits? I always get those two mixed up. Yeah. Venom Angel's like, the one that kind of looks Archangel. Asian, but he's not. <laughs> he looks Asian, but he's not. Oh, man. It's like uh, <laughs> it might, it might be Kim Jong Un's uh, long, lost, long, lost, long lost illegitimate son. Ooh. Ooh, snap. I didn't know that until now. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. And this is how you rescue that Goron. This it, is it, that's all, folks. No, I'm joking. Oh, I thought you did. Wait. Yeah, maybe you, oh, maybe wait, you will wait. here in a minute. Yeah. Oh, hurry up. Easy. 
Uh, I'm trying to hurry him. Fail. Whoa, you sound like Danny Fail there. With the side of He's like a female Danny going robotic. Uh, 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 uh. At this point, I don't even think it's Danny's internet. I'm, I'm, I'm so determined now to know. I, I think Danny's a robot. I'll no, just say no, it. No, I think YouTube is still conspiring with SC2K against SC2K. Hey, could be. Matter of fact, we have a spa among us. Victoria, you gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. Ha, Jeez. Ha, ha. You sold us out. I was never in your employ, Ron Mower. Can't sell out to somebody who you didn't work for. Care. Oh, look, kids, we've got a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the, the slow clap, clap, clap. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, live on Saturday Night Live, Ron Mower featuring... <laughs> ACW mode. I would set my DVR right. if Ron Mower ever came out in SNL. That'd, be, that'd probably be like the one time I'd watch it again. If Chris Farty was still alive and on the cast, I would do a skit with him. That'd be awesome. He could sit down with me. Remember, remember, remember that segment he had on Saturday Night Live called The Chris Farty Show? Where he, oh, yeah. Where he I would interview like those recorded. movie stars and stuff. He interviewed Arnold Schwarzenegger. And some other people, he be he's, he goes like <laughs> he would say something like, "So Ron Mower, um, you you know you remember your YouTube channel, Ron Mower? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. You remember um your collab channel, the SC Two K? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe that's so. really cool. <laughs> oh well, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm stupid, man. I suck at this. Oh, I can't interview anybody. No, no, it's okay, man. You're doing a good job. Maybe really? that's where Bear 13 got his uh, influence. Yeah. Or his, uh... <laughs> Ooh, this is special crap. I mean, a special crop. Megaton hammer. Hammer time. I, I keep reading that as Megatron hammer. Yeah, Megatron hammer, yeah. <laughs> Voltron hammer, no. But yeah, like Chris Farty interview, interviewing Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's what Bear 13 did. So, Ronnie, um, you, um, you remember that video you did of uh, Mario Brothers? Oh. Chris Farty asked Schwarzenegger, you remember that movie Terminator? Uh, yeah. I do. Um, you remember when uh, you killed Evil T-1000? Oh, jeez. Yes, I do. That uh, was yeah, awesome. That's a pretty big part of the movie. And then he started <laughs> starting being hard on himself. Oh, I can't do this, man. I suck. And they're like showing him pity. No, no, you're doing good. Really? Thanks, man. <laughs> that was so funny. That's what. That'd be me and Chris Farty's segment on Saturday Night Live. Is maybe that's just what. Maybe that's just what Bear was going for. He's trying to pull a Chris Farley. Yeah. And if you were to have me co-host or be the special host on Saturday Night Live, ladies and gentlemen, Ron Moore. Who? Who? No one would know. Who? Rock am. comes out. Unless I Rock do comes it. out. Who in the blue hell is that? I just like to do a special appearance of Clutus Gamer with Conan O'Brien and get my channel some uh, clout. There you go. Oh, that would actually be interesting. Uh, PewDiePie was on there and he didn't really do good or perform as good. I don't know if he was just kind of nervous to be on the Conan O'Brien show or what, but someone made fun of him about it. Oh, PewDiePie is not that funny after all. Look, he did. He, he choked on here on national TV. Hey man, I was on TV too. It was on local news, but still. And to be honest, I mean, that, that is kind of nerve. He probably was nervous, or maybe you know, doing that with Conan O'Brien, he's probably starstruck and nervous to be on uh This ain't YouTube anymore. This is like mainstream stuff. I mean, PewDiePie is freaking big. He's like the most subscribed person on YouTube, I think. But still, like that'd be intense. If, if if for some reason they had me be on Clueless Gamer, like you remember that time when Conan, 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 Conan. How do you say it? <laughs> Conan. <laughs> Conan. <laughs> you ever went out? Conan the Barbarian follows a random person on Twitter, <laughs> and they got a lot of followers because of it. And they they kind of like interviewed. They kind of got, I guess, had the 15 minutes of fame because of that. And what if uh, Conan just uh, on on live TV? All right, guys, we're going to subscribe to a random YouTuber. Let's see. Oh, the name Ron Mower. That's that springs out. Let me subscribe to him, and then all of a sudden I'm going to get all noticed. I wake up the next day. Uh, you now have 6,000 subscribers. Whoa! You look what at your notification on? box, everything, you're going to be like, oh, my subscriber count jumped up by yeah. a whole lot. <laughs> That's not the first time he's done something like that. Like, years ago, he, like, uh, did something where he wanted to have his audience vote who has the best overnight commercial 
Well, I'm, like his show would air like at maybe two ten in the morning in Houston or wherever, and there would be like sponsors, and now we're from our sponsor. And there's like furniture companies selling their furniture, and it was kind of funny how they did the commercials. This guy had a chainsaw. He started slashing the furniture. Oh, we're slashing half prices. Half prices, not furniture. <laughs> and that's a fact, Jack. Well, he won the vote and got put on the show. So, and then he follows some random person on Twitter who gets some clout. What if, like, he were to do that to a YouTube channel, a gamer channel? It happens to be me or SC2K, and then we end up, I end up on the show. That'd be freaking intimidating, but awesome. That'd be awesome. You can handle it, Ronnie. I know you can. You can do it. Please welcome up Ronnie Green, aka the Ron Mower. They have to have me come out in a John Deere lawnmower. Uh, you couldn't be worse than a uh, Bear 13. <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, he'd be sitting there. Um, hey guys, this is Bear. Um, hey Conan, you know that show? Conan, the late night with Conan O'Brien. Uh, yeah, the show that we're on now. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, and what? Oh, yeah. Did did you hear the story when Bear called Billy Mitchell? Oh no, I I, I I've heard about. Whoa! Hello. 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 I think we lost. Did he get him? Oh, well, Mexico. Was this his number? Oh, oh, you went out. Uh, your voice. Your voice went robotic and went out hello the hello can you hear us can you hear me yeah um so who's mexico <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like he called billy mitchell picked up hello um <laughs> is this <laughs> is this billy mitchell uh yes sir <laughs> oh, oh, uh, oh um yeah um, my name's uh bear and uh, and billy mitchell actually said like uh i think bear said sorry i'm just uh I didn't expect you to pick up. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It happens a lot. Because his phone number, I think, was at the time, I don't know about now, 1-800-HOT-SAUCE or something. 1-800-HOT-SAUCE? Yeah, because of Billy Mitchell's hot sauce. Oh, my God. Now, that's a Mexico number right there. And people saying Billy Mitchell's a cheater. Let me tell you guys something. No one's a bigger cheater than me, all right? So shut up. <laughs> oh, now, now he, there say. he goes. He rescues the final Goron. It's the final Goron. Barry could do a voice of a Goron. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. See. I'll tell you what. All right, there we go. And then we get to uh, the last key. I tell you what. You got the key. Yippee ki yay. Mother. That's as far as I'm going with that. Oh, here we go again with the fire maze. Link's like, forget this, I'm going back inside. Oh, I hate mazes. Even when I was a kid, I'd be like, no. Amazing grace. Just go around the maze. Yeah. Can't say. Well, they hello. Sorry, Victoria, wine. you're you're cutting out again. Oh, oh no, there's some oh, YouTube executives at my house. They they wanted me to close down my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, Mexico, cool. you're not cool. Wait a minute. All right, here we go. Back in this room again, where Jerunia was at. It's so interesting seeing this part of the game. It's it's always interesting to see part of the game that you've never been to, or never will be to. This part I'll never beat this game. Is. This part reminds me of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Does it? Ooh. Yeah, just those three faces up there with the fires in their mouth, the flames in their mouth, and it just reminds me of the stones. Uh, and that I wonder if that's where they got the inspiration from. Who knows? Maybe Indiana Jones and the Temple of ECW. Oh, the no. Legend of Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Look out. Yeah, sorry, Victoria. All we heard was. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I... She's going to want you to edit that out. We apologize for the technical difficulty, folks. We are under attack by. You know who. Yeah, it just happened to me when Star Soldier would be like, I couldn't hear you. All I heard was. I, 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 
So the last thing we heard from Mexico, there was a knock on his door, and then after that, we never heard from him ever again. On the next Unsolved Mysteries, Alex Jones, there's a conspiracy going on with YouTube, they're kidnapping YouTubers, trying to get them to shut down their channels, and they don't do it, they get kidnapped, never seen from again. And that's pretty much it. And now we're from our sponsor. Yeah, let me do this radio show here, this podcast, where I'm on video with my shirt off. Screw that, put Ravenous Spectre on Unsolved Mysteries, I think he'd be a good host. <laughs> I'd watch it for sure. Rabbit Inspector as Alex Jones. If they made a, <laughs> a biopic of Alex Jones. Oh man. I would watch that. No, not this again. You know I kind of would too. It's that asshole again. Hey, Ronnie, I have a name. I'm, I'm right here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Light, light likes. More like hate hates. Because who likes them? All right. So, oh, another ghost sculpture. I wonder how many that is for him now. Oh, sorry, Victoria. We're still we still having trouble hearing you. I don't know if I want to hang up, or leave the call and come back. Maybe that'll work. We gotta fight fire dancer again. We gotta fight fire with fire. Yeah. Our fire extinguisher. Foyer with foyer. Who here has a, a show of hands? Who's used the fire extinguisher? My. My. I used it, but it wasn't for its original purpose. I think I just sprayed it all over the place. Whoopsie. They used it in wrestling. From the piss of Ohio, it's Kane. That's gotta be no way. It's not Kane. No, it's not Kane. It's a uh, fake Diesel. <laughs> It's the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. <laughs> Former 24-7 champion. Our 47-8 European continental champion. Whatever Ron the Truth Killings calls it. <laughs> yeah. Our K-Quick, whatever his name is. Alright. Another key? Oh, a bomb. Man, yeah, come on, really? Let's make some <laughs> progress here. Move on to the boss. Come on! Oh we're wait, very, a minute. we're getting very impatient. Oh, we're about to now. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember Lee Marshall from WCW? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think I've ever heard anybody else mention that name before. Uh, well, he was one of the voices of Tony the Tiger. Wow. People are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, wow. I learned a lot from this video today. The more you know. Welcome to Ron Mower's education. This video All right. is educational. All right, <laughs> we, got, we got the Sasha Banks key. Boo! No, I'm sure. <laughs> Rusty doors. Use some WD-40 or something, man. Hold on, I'll go get some real quick. More like East WD-40. Why, Mara? Oh, look at. <laughs> oh, that's close. Alright, so now. How close, Ronnie? Too close. Now it's boss time, finally. We fight. <laughs> we fight Vol Volvo Magna vo Volcano. Yeah, you better drink up, get some uh, nutrients or uh, your pre workout, whatever you're drinking, get that in. And now we're from our sponsor. You know, no, I'm just... and, oh. oh, I can't help but think of that one song, Link, He Come to Town. I don't think I heard that one. You should totally check it out. Okay, so... Do it. Do it now. He's got to play... It looks like he's got to play that game of uh, where you hit people on the head. Hit the thing on the head. Whack-a-mole? Yeah, whack-a-mole. whack a Volva Gear, whatever his name is. Here we go. That's gotta be Bulbaga. Bulbagaya. Remember, you gotta get good. Right, here we go. This fiery battle with the subterranean lava dragon. No oh, man, the suspense is killing me. I can't watch anymore. 
whack them all. Oh. You know, this is like arguably one of my most favorite parts of the battle. Yeah. Oh, Link, use your sword after you. Okay, now use your sword. The other way. There you go. And so that's not a sword. This is so. Yeah, get the bigger on sword. This is a sword. Don't that's chop at it. That's not a sword. It. That's a spoon. Don't chop at it. It's not a sword. You're not a sword. Oh, get. In ECW. In ECW. Yeah, this makes the. Uh, I saw that come. This ma this makes that battle with uh what's it called D King Dodongo look weak. Ooh. <laughs> I know I have no life. Ima imagine Victoria and Danny commentating just those two. <laughs> Are you here? Is well. Well, well, it'd be better than Mexico's lame jokes. <laughs> oh, look out. You can walk over those fire pits and not actually fall in. I did not know that. I'm gonna try it and then I'd walk in and die. Damn it, Ron! Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> and that's how you pull a Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Ron, I believed you. I believed in you! Remember Mexico when I promised you could walk through those pits? That's right, Ronnie! You did! I lied. Because ah! I didn't save my progress. I didn't save my game. You know, this should remake the original Legend of Zelda. <sighs> I'm surprised they have You know, I'd like... See that happen. That be ECW. That would be cash ECW. It's ching cha ching cha ching cha ching cash out. There, there we go. That's the end of Volvagaya. It's over. It's finally over. It's over. Thank you, Bear. Oh my God. ECW. The, the word of the day is ECW. Are the three words of the day? Oh man, and it burned up. I was hoping to hang it on my wall. See ya. All right, let's, uh -oh. let's get out of here. Are we there yet? Are we there? No, I'm sorry. I don't even know where we're going. Can we get a pool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. That's hilarious. They almost knocked him off the roof. Oh, oh. yeah, like when Hulk Hogan knocked uh, uh, the giant off the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then they man. had a match. And he fell into the Detroit River, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, God. Somebody get some help. Ten minutes later, they're wrestling. Yeah. Or however many. <laughs> he wasn't even wet. They should at least have him come down the aisle soaking wet if he really did fall in the river. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate your help, dude. It turns out the Hulkamania, you to be a real man, brother. You gotta be a Hulkamaniac. So Darunia is now the Sage of Foya. Thumbs up. The video, if you will. No. <laughs> medallion. I still wish we had medallion chips. Those are pretty good. Dang. Dang. Now, Link, it's the third medallion. So I'll be the smart guy. I'll give a thumbs up in the video, but it'll be like in the comment section, like a little thumbs up emoji. Yeah. Be like, there's your thumbs up. That's not what I was talking about, Mexico. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Alright, so that is the end.
of part 12 and the end of the fire temple of Ocarina time thank you good guys. riddance all right so see you guys in part 13 which may be the road to the water temple oh man looking forward to it god bless take care see ya till next time people